What's up everyone? It's been a while since I've posted a new what if. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new what if. This what if future Gohan was sent to is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon universe? Sorry if some of the words come out wrong. I had to translate this what if from Spanish to English. I hope everyone enjoys the what if. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and follow my gaming channel link will be in the description. Beyond the immense universe where countless worlds lived, the planets and the cosmos were governed under a hierarchy, gods, and mortals. This hierarchy was respected among them and there is always one above the other in divine terms, but who says that mortals cannot overcome this hierarchy? Well, on planet Earth in Universe 7 there existed a being capable of surpassing the god of that world himself, and also the god who rules over the latter and not only him, but all the gods or guardians of each star in his galaxy. Kaosama it is very rare to find these beings because they are only gifted beings, some fight for the future of their mortal brothers, and others seek their destruction. This is the story of this warrior, they are Goku, who was not just any mortal, he was a legend in his universe and currently the greatest defender of the earth, but those days would end when he had to leave for the longest time. The one who was most devastated by this was his little son, they are Gohan who loved his father, admired him, and when he lost him, he was left with a void like his other colleagues. However, life had to continue, and although Goku will no longer be here, Gohan World had to continue and be happy six months later in a city in the southern capital nine kilometers from this, this piece would end, two subjects, known as androids. Beings modified by an ancient mad scientist capable of giving life to two abominations like this in an act of revenge against son Goku for defeating his army and preventing the conquest of the world. It would end up condemning him to death the remaining warriors Vegeta, Piccolo, Krillin, Yamcha, Ten Shin Han, chaos would end up dying against them, the world was plunged into chaos, but there were two beings left alive, the children of these great warriors, Goku and Vegeta. Gohan and Trunks, who were already young adults planet Earth on a hill, were the two warriors Gohan and Trunks talking why can I transform? Trunks, who was barely a 14-year-old boy, was frustrated. You're almost there, Trunks, you will soon transform, when I transformed it was because they killed Mr. Piccolo, Krillin, and the others. The anger was unbearable Gohan remembered how they killed his friends in front of him and when he looked at their bodies Gohan's anger exploded, transforming like his the super scion of legend at that moment an explosion could be heard in the distance like a nuclear bomb or really Gohan began to get angry to scream and raise his power and thus reach super. Scion Trunks day you're taking with you Gohan, you won't be able to alone and even though without an arm react, you won't be able to help me Ippermise not to get in your way, please Trunks looked seriously at Gohan who only looked at him to smile at him. Well, I know how you feel, are you ready? Gohan, who accepted the Scion's request, made Trunks happy, but before Trunks could fly, he was knocked out by Gohan. Forgive me Trunks, but I think this is my time, but you must continue, in a few years. Not from today, you are in charge of taking care of the Earth and oh, the universe Gohan looked at Trunks to shed a tear, but with a smile relax, let's destroy this more calmly, there must still be people hiding the young man like Gohan in terms of age. Black hair and orange scarf was the worst of the two, Android 17 however, a kick through the android against a building and standing in place. Damn it, today I will eliminate you androids. Get ready Gohan said very angrily to face the two with a cold look. Gohan, I'm surprised you're so stupid 18 said looking at Gohan and 17 came out of these with his torn clothes, I like these clothes, you made me angry. Gohan 17 with a smile he looked at Gohan but inside he was burning with anger get ready because I will kill you 18 stood behind and 17 in front looking at Gohan who was getting into a fighting pose I will not die, even if my body is destroyed. I will get up because my desire to fight are bigger. I will defeat them no matter what happens. After his speech to fill himself with courage, Gohan and the two threw themselves into fighting in a two versus one battle. Gohan threw energy on the floor to hide and get away from the sight of the two. Gohan flew into the air. The two overcame him and attacked him with energy attacks, but Gohan protected himself with a key barrier. Gohan stopped a blow from 18 with his arm, but 17 hit him from behind and threw him against the floor. Gohan in a maneuver came out of the rubble and placed himself to the side throwing a powerful energy from his arm against the two who together threw another energy colliding. Both energies were equal but in an instant Gohan beat them both. After this 17 and Gohan threw themselves in an energy fight while 18 supported his brother in a hand-to-hand -hand combat 17 dodged Gohan's attacks but one hit him. Squarely and after moving him away, Gohan grabbed 18 by the foot and buried her in a pile of rubble, causing entire buildings to fall on them. 
The two came out of these looking at Gohan, who was serious and injured to release his power even more. The atmosphere changed to a dark and rainy one. The three of them stared at each other. The curious thing is that in another place there was a girl, a small woman despite her height. She had a good physique. Her clothing was white and she had pigtails in her hair. Kamion. Brave hero, you can, you must avenge the death of my master Aya. How I would like to have someone like you in my family without wasting a second. The two androids, this time more serious and angry, threw themselves at Gohan in an exchange of blows. Gohan with only one arm fought against the two who mercilessly threw attacks, fists, and kicks. At the end of this Gohan just separated and flew away, but between the two of them they collided with him and threw him against a building the girl covered her mouth. As a sign of pain and sadness, her face showed the great desire to avoid screaming, but she couldn't even avoid the desire to cry. When the androids began to attack Gohan, the cry of pain and frustration could be heard after the powerful impact caused by the combined attack of both. Ugh, what a good fight 17 descended with a triumphant smile. It's true, but there is no one who can amuse us anymore, but in those two they were listening to a little girl coming out of the rubble with her mother hugging her, very hurt. Look 17, those two are still alive, it's true, the two were pointing at the two creatures, Noon will save you now, give up, and prepare to die, that is not true. Dash dot. Pow, Gohan was very badly injured with wounds and blood on his body to face the androids again. You are persistent, Gohan, I already told you, damn you. I will not die, because the spirit of my father and my fallen friends are in me, mommy. It's only Aichan Maraichan. Gohan looked at a little girl and her mother hugging her as a sign of protecting her. Gohan would remember who she was. How did they survive? It does not matter in another place. Not only was the mysterious girl happy to see the warrior standing again, this made her open a huge smile on her face full of happiness. t -sis, it's in, what do you not see? Look at you, you are Miss 18 Mach Gohan who did not respond and only expelled his power, surprising the androids a little. I may not be able to, but there is something that can. Dash. Gohan launched himself against the two androids and grabbed them by the neck to launch himself directly into the sky. Letus Geo damned the two began to hit the Scion, but he did not let them go no matter what and left directly from the planet's atmosphere, leaving at full speed. What are you? W-U-A-G-R-A-H-A-H-A-D-A-H-H-H The two androids arrived in space courtesy of the Scion who also arrived next to them. The two began to drown in the infinite space maybe. They are androids, but they are humans too, you told me. That's why, they anyone else damn you too. You're committing suicide, it's fine with me. As long as I can defeat them once and for all the two tried to free themselves from Gohan, but they couldn't. Their goal was to free themselves and reach the atmosphere, but Gohan prevented them. And now. To finish with his last words and his breath full of blood due to lack of oxygen, let's see how long. You can last 17 tried to hold his breath as much as he could, 18 also, but they couldn't avoid drowning and that's because Gohan caught them off guard and they couldn't prepare themselves. And knew you'd say that that, Mirai-chan, I promised you a happy future, right? I will grant it to you no matter what. By O-N-I-I-Chan and now, D-I-E-N-N-N-N, -N -N -N, but in those two they were terrified by seeing a red star full of fire in front of them. It was the sun. Gohan, in a last effort, self-destructed like Vegeta did, and with this he released so much power that androids 17 and 18 were trapped in this explosion, pushing the androids towards the star that actually took them and like the fire on paper. It ate them alive while they screamed in delight. Despair, a deserved end for two genocidaires, but this clearly, it cost Gohan his life, but in this world he also defeated the androids in space. Gohan's body was seen floating, already lifeless with blood in his mouth and eyes due to the lack of oxygen during the race. In a certain place the woman who was watching the fight remained silent, without words, just tears in her eyes and looking at the scene. Brave warrior, what a noble action, without a doubt an absolute hero, I knew that you will die like a hero, but this, you are like your father that the girl couldn't help but applaud for this in another place, a place where there were certain houses. There was a lot of noise and there were many lively places except in a certain place. A small woman was on what appears to be a rather deteriorated roof which indicated how old and in poor condition it was. Why was this woman crying? Nobody knew but his image showed tenderness and pity on the other hand. The woman wiped her tears and decided to take a walk through a nearby forest. The girl was walking calmer, trying to relax because of what had made her cry, but during the walk she realized something. As if her curiosity got the better of her, she went into the small forest. 
She just wanted to forget about the bad time she had had and in that moment she noticed a young man with orange clothes in quite bad condition like the one. The girl's eyes opened, but not only because she found this boy hurt, but something in her made her blush slowly. The young man was attractive, yes, but she blushed because of something else. Something else caught her attention and the time has come. I know you will take care of him better than anyone. I'm entrusting it to you. In the scion's mind, something was returning little by little, and with it the warrior gradually became aware. Open dead? At least free the earth from the androids, Mirai Chan, I kept my promise the black, very black space was disappearing. The scion slowly opened his eyes and woke up in a bed quite bandaged, more than a bed it was a kind of quite dusty and dirty armchair. Where I am, you woke up a voice was heard calling the scion's attention, and when he looked on one side he saw a pretty girl with some cloths in a bucket. Who are you? My name is Hestia. Hestia, that's how it is I'm dead, no, you're alive, I found you lying in a forest and I saved you really? With surprise the warrior became a little excited, but I do remember having died. Does reincarnated open? You're probably thinking that you were reincarnated, right? Gohan became serious about what he heard. How did he know? How did you know what I was thinking? Because I am a goddess, dear, and I will be honest with you. I had seen you in a small house, similar to a church that was quite deteriorated in appearance. It was a rather humble home. In an armchair, Gohan was sitting with quite a few bandages on his body. Have you already seen me? I don't understand what you mean. Gohan sat quite hurt while Hestia approached with hot water. That's right, dear. Like I told you, I'm a goddess, yes, but the god of my world was another, and he... Gohan remained silent and clenched his fist remembering Kami-sama, who in turn was one of his dearest friends. You know, it must have been hard Hestia took him by the hand the reason I know you is because I observed your world for a long time what did you observe us? That's right, truthfully, for certain reasons I was able to know your existential plane and I looked at the earth, it was a beautiful world until those two monsters arrived and well. But why did you look at our world, by a certain friend, but with time you will know you understand, but how am I alive? It should be. I didn't know that. I can only tell you that you are here so if I reincarnated, it seems IZ, incredible, but I have my memories and everything sometimes it happens. Some humans reincarnate with their memories as a reward for their future actions IZ. Wait, it seems that my power is still in me too. Gohan looked at his hand while a little energy came out of it. Well, I guess that's life, right? You are very brave. Let me tell you that I always admire you. Did you admire me? That's right. It was amazing, that way of fighting, that way of looking at and facing those two even when you were below them, you are amazing. Although well it's just me, he 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 Gohan was getting a little nervous about how the girl was getting closer to her. Face to his you also saved my life, thank you the girl was blushing a little because of how Gohan looked at her. You're welcome, he he he, I can't believe I have my hero by my side, I am not a hero, Hestia-chan if you are, even if you say no, for me you are the scion was amazed by this and could only smile. Well, but now I don't know what to do. I don't know what this world is like or anything Hestia's eyes were shining. She didn't know how Gohan ended up in her world, but one thing was certain. A girl doesn't want to lose her the boy you are attracted to makes his place truthful Gohan. If you want I can talk to you about this world that would be great. Thank you Butin those moments a scream could be heard coming from afar. It was a voice known to Hestia but not to Gohan. Kamisame ahoys it. He's my son. Bell your son? Do you have children? At this clarification, Hestia blushed like a tomato because of how Gohan understood it. And oh, it's not that. Let me explain to you, Kamisama. I'm here. At that moment, a young boy, around 15 years old, with white hair and wearing adventurer's clothing arrived. Kamisama, who is he? Abel, welcome. He is the one I told you so much about. He is Gohan. My hero is Gohan Ho. Hello, O-H-H-H. So you are the hero that Kamisama admires so much? Thibaui faced Gohan, sticking his face comically close. Yes, I think so. Your mom helped me. Which he's not the Tuo. After an echo scream from Hestia, she explained everything to Gohan, explaining that he was not a blood son, but a companion, and that she referred to him as son like all the gods of this world. Oh, I understand. Forgive my offense, don't forget. He 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 he, nice to meet you, Gohan san. I can't believe you're in front of us. You must have done well in the fight, okay? Yes, Bell. It's a long story, eh? Yes, Hestia told Bell about what happened. Leaving him in tears and really sad, the boy fell to the floor on his knees in front of Gohan. I am so sorry, Gohan san. I was disrespectful to you, no. Don't worry. Don't do that. It's not necessary, but you. Just. 
The important thing is that my world was left at peace, with that I no longer have regrets the two were amazed by Gohan's words, hearing him like that, and above all, Hestia couldn't hold back her tears, but she hid it and wiped her eyes without Gohan noticing. Gohan Sani's brave thank you Gohan, I don't know how you came to this world, but what do you think about staying here, won't I be a hindrance, no tad all they both shouted at the same time. Let me explain to you Gohan the three left the house and looked at a large city full of castles and houses without counting an immense tower in the distance, it was so big that it could not be described. Tesis the city of Oreo, here live the gods and their children who are actually mortals who join a deity and form something called family, A, eh? I see and Bell is your son that's right, he and I are the only ones Gohan thought that maybe more members I'm so sorry. Don't worry, we have held each other well, during my time I was investigating out of curiosity into existential plans that a friend recommended to me and I was able to see you. Dot my hero Izzy Gohan didn't ask the name because Hestia told him it was personal. She told me about the son of the greatest hero in that world and that was where I saw you and me goddess only talks about you bell he he he, I'm flattered and those families, what do they do? They live together and become adventurers where they go to fight monsters in the dungeon dungeon, it's that gigantic beach tower outside, they defeat monsters from different floors and get gems to coexist a eh? interesting, Bell, are you one? That's right, but I'm level one, level one. Adventurers are classified into levels from one to seven, but those at level seven are very rare IZ Gohan, Doyu, do you want to join? Hestia, with a very shy voice, looked at the scion, she thought that due to the atmosphere of the house he would reject this offer. Join, yes, if you don't want to, no problem, just by seeing this house. Who would want to join? Kamisama. I'm not interested in that Hestia-sama. I see that you are someone with a good heart for helping me, and you also know me. If I can be of use, I will join Aureli. UPI 3 thee. The goddess jumped with so much happiness that she hugged Gohan, burying him in her enormous charms. Despite being small, she had giant mountains. Oh, sorry it doesn't matter well, then let's make the contract and see what level you are after a while we see Gohan on his back, still bandaged, and Hestia on top of him. Here I come Gohan all right the goddess pressed her body against Gohan's making him blush a little but the one who was there was Hestia, I'm on my hero's back, ah uh, what a big back, I feel so hot. After all the preparations the contract was made showing some writings and words on Gohan's back okay, only the following is missing and Hestia with a drop of blood from her finger to fall on Gohan's back to show his statistics and those the goddess was amazed. She knew that Gohan was strong and what? He had to go through with the androids, but... What's wrong? Gohan looked at the goddess. The numbers, they are not in Spanish, they are in Latin Latin, 7 your level is. Point seven dot, and in Latin, everything is in Latin. Hestia was sweating profusely and couldn't say anything. Is that bad? The scion asked seriously. Gohan, Latin is only used in sacred writing. Your level is sacred sacred, and what does that mean? That you are sacred human. Hestia was with a wide smile. I and knew you were amazing, but this is more than amazement. It's something unique, beautiful. I can be part of your family. Eh, yes, of course. Of course, great. So I'm level seven. Minus seven, that means he is taller, but the statistics cannot decipher it so they leave him with the, and on top of that a sacred human Gohan did not understand anything but seeing Hestia's happiness and knowing that she was part of your family. Nothing else matters Gohan, welcome to the Hestia family the goddess stretched out her hand and Gohan reciprocated by giving it to her. Thank you, I will do my best after that bell was amazed level seven, minus seven Hestia corrected the tis to say, he is taller, but it is not known how much the tis incredible thank you and also. Dot a sacred human, what is that? Bell asked. Yes, I'm curious too, Gohan asked. Okay, I'll tell you. They are the humans who have surpassed the deities, what did he say? Bell, as if cold water was falling on him, he fell to the ground. Humans who have that's right, they are the mortals who have surpassed gods regardless of their hierarchy can that really happen, on Lion Legends, wow, Gohan you are amazing he 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 he, well, let's go eat, you're probably hungry Gohan. Yes, a lot in fact the three were eating, but they were surprised to see that Gohan was devouring the little food that they could barely get. Hestia had not told him anything because she understood that he must be starving. You eat a lot, Gohan-san, I'm sorry, it's hereditary, we scions have that custom scion? Bell asked something curious. Gohan told Bell that he was a mix between a scion and an earthling, he also told her about the exploits of his father and the way in which he sadly died. 
I'm so sorry Gohan-san, I didn't want to remind you of something so tragic don't worry, I know my dad is resting in peace like my friends, now I have to start over and be stronger you are amazing and tell me Bell, what else can you tell me about this world? The truth is a world ruled by gods and adventurers, the stronger you are, the more prestige you will have, when they find out what you are capable of doing, you will be famous I didn't want that Bell are you sure? Gohan nodded. Better take me to that dungeon tomorrow. It's like a video game video game? No, nothing it seems that the technology of this world is very basic butari you sure? You should rest a little don't worry, I'm fine. It seems that my injuries are much better Gohan, wait are you sure? Hestia asked a little nervous about the warrior's tenacity you haven't even been there for a day don't worry, Hestia-sama, and if I'm going to stay, I want to help as much as I can. Gohan, how great you are Hestia hugged Gohan who could only laugh nervously at his attitude, it reminded him of a certain girl from his past life. Hestia was happy that her hero was reincarnated in this world, she didn't know how it happened, but if she found the person in charge of that she would thank him. Gohan stayed to sleep in a corner, unfortunately where Hestia had no other rooms except bells, and she slept on the couch. Forgive me Gohan, I don't have any more rooms, but if you want you can stay on the couch, don't stay in my room, Bell was the next to speak. Don't worry, I'll sleep here you didn't know how sorry I am Gohan approached Testia and held her head. Thank you for all this, I promise to do my best for you and Bell. Hestia sama and for you Bell Gohan. Moved by Gohan's humility, the two looked at each other and nodded. Hestia was more than happy because Gohan, her greatest hero, was not only with her but he could help them out of this misery. Next morning a new day in Orario was present for adventurers and God's Gohan was dressed in the clothes that Hestia found him with and Bell was dressed in a dress with a small armor okay. I'm ready Gohan gripped his hand with great strength. Me too, Gohan guys, please be careful the two went out with absolute calm. Gohan was as always the center of attention partly because of his worn clothes but many did not pay attention but his biggest draw of attention was his arm so this is ordinary. It's true I can feel a lot of strong TKI. It's true the energy you dominate Bell. Do you train? Not much. He 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 if you want I can train you or really. Yes but it will be difficult to do us in matter. Thank you very much the boy was. Bowing before Gohan but the scion suddenly felt something watching him which made him turn around very seriously. The two were passing by a tavern and a girl with gray hair and a maid's outfit stood next to the two. Excuse him. The girl was a little scared is something wrong, miss, I think they dropped it. This or more specific to him the girl passed a gem to Bell at hot. I changed them all yesterday Sod hats a gem, huh, Gohan looked at the gem and Bell handed it to him so he could see it. Thank you very much Bell thanked the girl who was looking at them both, but in a way she stayed looking at Gohan. When she saw him she thought he was quite handsome. They are both adventurers, it highs although this is the first time for me really, I thought you had more experience without offending you offend me, Bell calmed the girl with a smile. At that time, both of their stomachs were roaring. We forgot to have breakfast Gohan I think so the two handed them a lunchbox. It's not much but. No, we can't accept it Gohan got nervous it is true that it is wrong for us to take someone else's lunch, especially when we barely know them don't worry, I can eat when the bar opens event so. Don't worry, but promise me you'll come to eat tonight. The two looked at each other and she looked at Gohan. Ish okay, the scion smiled at him. That's what we will do when he arrived at the dungeon, Gohan was amazed. So this is the dungeon, Gohan looked at the huge place because it was so early there was almost no one. Let's go and we have to register you the two arrived where a woman with elegant clothing and glasses, brown hair and elf ears Belkuen. Hello the scion greeted the woman Bell, and this, young man, Hayes a new member of the Hestia family, they are Gohan hello really. Don't be offended, Gohan, but. Are you sure? The girl looked at the scion's missing sleeve. Go for this, don't worry, I'm sure I can do it well the way I am this okay, then let me do the paperwork, what level are you, 7th 7, what did you say? 7 e e e. The woman's scream frightened those present, covering her mouth and taking the two to a room where the registration ended. Dash 7, this is crazy, you are superior to 7, even 8, 10. Can I still enter? Yes, sure, I've already finished the documents. The rather nervous woman came out looking at the warrior. Numbers in Latin, level 7, I bet. Hestia Sama got a very good one the girl stared at Gohan and Bell who were left talking after her while the registration was finished and Gohan could enter the dungeon Gohan with your level you can even enter high levels 
You don't have to start with the first one, thank you, but I want to get used to it, so I better do it this way, IZ. Good luck to both of you in the dungeon Gohanitur and ran into wolves and creatures that attacked them, but the scion killed them with immense ease. Dropping many gems, so these are the monsters? It's true they are weak, but I better get used to them. I don't like killing creatures, but these seem to be of a different type. Besides, I have to get stronger and win something the scion with his arm launched energies that upon impact with them eliminated them in two by three. Wow, Gohan-san, you're amazing, Bell said, looking at all the gems she dropped. Thank you, and how are you doing? Gohan was going to pick them up and put them in some bags that Hestia gave him for that, well, with this one there are four full bags. Gohan held the bag with his teeth well, ha, Bell destroyed a creature, wow, for bags so fast, thank you, how many gems do you have, just these Bell gave him five gems well, with this we start part five, I'm sorry don't apologize, you're doing a great job, thank you. I want to be stronger for someone to someone, yes that a girl Gohan was very innocent, however, he understood something about that. IZ, then become stronger, I will help you as much as I can thank you very much Gohan SAN and those, more creatures like lizards appeared there are many bell was scared. Take some, and I'll take care of the rest alright, after some time on the first floor, Gohan and Bell had taken more than ten bags of gems. Gohan, there are ten bags, ten bags. He he he, but it's true these creatures are very weak here. Why don't we go up a little higher? But, it's true, we can't anymore, we are very full with so many, tomorrow better all right, Bell and Gohan took the bags that were as big as shopping bags. You are very good with the knife, thank you, I'm sorry for not being able to go up to a higher floor, I had the experience and I was stupid, I really was a fool for going up to that floor, they almost killed me, that's why, I have to be stronger. Because I want to be more useful to Kemisama and not be a burden, Gohan looked at Bell as he stood, he saw Bell as trunks or as a child. Bell, you will get stronger, but that takes time and patience, understand, Gohan, Bell wiped away some tears, yes, if you want tomorrow we can go up a little higher, do you think, yes that's fine, when Ain left the dungeon, her mouth was open. Did they collect, all that, yes, how much can you give us for all these gems? Gohan asked. Wayne to weigh them, but we will tell them right away Hen Bell collected what an entire team would take in a whole week. The girl was sweating looking at Gohan, and also the boy was not tired or hurt. His clothes were already like that sorry for waiting. They both won today. Point ten zero 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 zero. A valis ten million valis? Is that a lot? Gohan asked. Of course, I see conceit is a lot of money we will give it to you in a suitcase. I hope you don't mind does not neglect many adventurers watched Gohan and Bell receive all that money. They were speechless. That amount would barely be earned if an entire team got together and in more than a week of fighting. But these two, or rather one, only wanted in less than a day it effortless when Hestia arrived. She had a shocked face. Wow, they won a lot. It's incredible. Ten million. Thank you Kami Samoa's Gohan who won the most IZ. Because in that case my new little one earned the right to decide what to do with the money Novestia Sama. I know they will use it better than me or really. Why UPI the girl started to jump very happy ha. Huh? But what I do want is to know more about it. That's why I thought if you could let us go out for a while off course. But first I'll look at the statistics of both of them after this. Bell had become stronger and Gohan, since his statistics were at the top, so it was not necessary, but still Hestia wanted to be close to Gohan. After going out, Gohan and Bell were at the bar where the girl from recently invited them. Hello guys, the woman came out to greet them. I hadn't introduced myself. My name is Seer Flover, I'm Bell Craner, and I am Gohan the R. Gohan. Ain't nice to meet you upon entering. Both were given a bowl full of food by a lady. You are friends of Seer, huh? They are both very cute, especially your young man and also muscular. The girl looked at Gohan. Wow, it looks delicious. Gohan began to eat, surprising the woman. Ha ha, it's the spirit boy bring us more. Please hear you have more. The woman brought more food to the two. Gohan ate like never before and Bell was a little nervous. What's up, Bell? You have to eat a lot, Itis, okay? Thanks to Gohan-san. I will be able to earn a lot tonight. Seer approached both of them and looked at them very beautifully. Watching Gohan eat like that amazed him. Don't you think it's great? Seeing so many people gathered together, Seer looked at everyone in the place. There were quite a few of them and especially many types. Gohan looked at the laughter and smiles of the people and felt so calm to see so much peace. Yes, you're right, Gohan said it with a somewhat melancholic tone. The two seer noticed this when they saw his arm and that attitude made him feel a little sad because he thought that Gohan didn't happen to him because of simple things. 
Meow, customers arrived with reservations a girl with cat ears gave way to a group of people one was a woman with red hair and was wearing a blue top, her eyes were closed, then it was a blonde boy, two dark skinned women and a guy with wolf ears and messy gray hair and marks in his eyes, then a woman with green hair, a bearded young man and a girl with orange hair and finally the woman with blonde hair hey look at that girl idiot look at the emblem they are from the Loki family the giant killers. Everyone sat at a table until the red haired girl screamed. They drink T.O. the bottom end after a clash of glasses everyone paid attention Loki family? Gohan asked, looking they are very regular customers, replied Seer. Hey, you heard, two adventurers will earn you ten million in a single day, one of the dark-skinned girls said. If I also heard it, it was said that he had only one arm hung, I'm sure it was just luck the cat guy with a drunken attitude opened his mouth with a drunken countenance like that day, tell them I'ns what thing? About that incident when we let Minotaurs escape and you killed one on the fifth floor about that puny tomato that was full of blood and you saved from the Minotaur. He was an idiot who became an adventurer and was filled with his disgusting blood. The two dark-skinned girls laughed a little and the others made faces of laughter and others of annoyance. Then leaves without thinking. What a cowardly idiot. Ha 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 Bell made an angry gesture but held it in. Gohan noticed this and remembered what the boy told him. Gohan stopped eating and remained silent, but with a serious face to take Bell's arm as a sign of calming him down. The guy kept making fun of that boy to the point of becoming annoying, but being from the Loki family no one could say anything and I was very nervous, but... Haida Gohan stood up and walked to where everyone, drawing everyone's attention, in those moments, Gohan placed her hand on the table, but the simple pot made her break and then she looked at the guy. Why didn't you shut up and stop bothering people? Do you like to make fun of people? Gohan with a very cold and serious tone looked at the boy who turned to look at him with an angry face. Do you want to fight, idiot? I will not allow you to mock the spirit of the people everyone was watching the scene completely silent. Gohan's voice was seriously intimidating. In those moments, the guy looked at his sleeve to start laughing. Dees a man like you provoke me? Do not make me laugh you are tough with your mouth. Show it with your fists wait the green haired girl tried to calm them both down but the cat boy silenced her. Do not mess bet. Okay, hey, you're handsome young man, we're sorry. Shut up, Loki. I'm not intending T.O. let it pass over you made fun of my friend. I will never forgive you for that friend. So they are one for another. The subject made a face with the expression that they should go outside and Gohan nodded. A fight? Against the Loki family? That guy is crazy they are going to kill him. Gohan saying T.S.S. my fault bill could only feel terrible for what she forced Gohan to do. Everyone was outside, including the waitresses and the Loki family. You're stupid. Humiliate yourself like this. The guy with his hands in his pockets looked at the scion who was still serious. You make fun of people's weakness. I'm sure each of you was weak in the past. I'm a high-level imbecile, but you don't even believe that I'm going to have mercy. You talk a lot. Dot fight this DZE. The guy launched a kick. Everyone covered their eyes so as not to look at this, but before the kick arrived, Gohan grabbed his foot at super speed, leaving everyone speechless, but the guy... At what moment? P.O.W.W. Gohan kicked him in the neck, sending him flying and making him crawl all over the floor. Loki's family, the waiters, adventurers, and others were left without words to describe what had just happened. Gohan just looked seriously at where the guy felt to approach and see him unconscious. Even if someone is weak, if their spirit is strong. It makes you invincible Gohan turned around and you are missing both Gohan returned to Bell while the members of Loki looked at Gohan. Those present made a way for Gohan to pass and return with Bell but not before looking at Loki's family. Grudges, no one responded and Gohan just turned around again but a voice interrupted him. Hey it was the woman with red hair who was other than the goddess Loki who are you? I am son Gohan, a member of Hestia Sama's family did you say Hestia? Gohan walked up to the older woman and Seer, I'm sorry for the commotion. It's better that Bell and I leave Gohan gave them a bag of money and left the place seriously. Wait Gohan, your change. This is a lot keep it. Lunch was delicious the scion left again with Bell while they were seen by everyone. Hey, didn't you hear the rumors that a one-armed adventurer won ten million? It just can't be. Everyone was looking at where Gohan went, quite nervous, but the blonde-haired girl from the Loki family was the one who watched the most. Gohan and Bell were walking. Bell didn't say anything until Gohan looked at him and stopped. You are more calm, yes, but Gohan, you didn't have to do it if I had to do it. You are my friend and I am not going to let them speak badly of you. You may have known me for a short time, but I already love you like a family Gohan. 
Bell couldn't help but cry. He was grateful for defending him. He also wanted to hit it worse. It was impossible, and Gohan helped him. Gohan approached and took him by the shoulder. Don't cry. In the future you will be stronger than him. But as I told you, with patience and perseverance you will be yes. Gohan couldn't contain himself and hugged Gohan who hugged him. You remind me of me when I was little Dash. In a fairly large house, compared to Hestia's, this was a rich man's mansion where there were many adventurers of different ranks. We see the werewolf from a while ago lying on an armchair, quite sore. Well, bet, they really hit you hard. One of the dark-skinned girls was wearing a white top with yellow stripes. She was looking at a sore bed whose name was the poor guy that Gohan had beaten up. Shut up, idiot. Leave me alone. It's because of that attitude that they left you like this. A green-haired woman with a more serious and even wise attitude looked at the guy who was getting more irritated. It told them to know. A Y Y Y. However, that boy is incredible. He defeated Bet, who was level 5. In one fell swoop. A boy with blonde hair was very thoughtful, and when he remembered the kick that Gohan gave him, he became more serious. Ish a level 6 adventurer? No, even being a level 6, I wouldn't have won so easily. Could it be 7? When mentioning that number, everyone became tense and thoughtful. Those who went to the bar became even more tense. Impossible. Are you saying that there is another level 7 adventurer except for Otto? That's impossible, Loki's voice echoed, but the most curious thing was that he did it with a tone of comical anger. He said he was from that tadpole's family. It can't be that she has someone of level 7. It's ridiculous the girl took a pillow and started biting it. Andy's also handsome. I refuse. When saying this, a drop of sweat fell on each member. Hayes not level 7 Eins who finally spoke did so with a normal stoic tone year. Hayes, greater than 7, greater than 7, IZ. Yeah. Loki and everyone shouted in astonishment. Are you serious, Eins? That's right. In the dungeon it was said about a boy with one arm who earned 10 million in a single day and was also taller than level 7. Sothir is someone who surpassed level 7. The blonde boy swallowed saliva. Sawater is no longer the strongest. That means that Freya-sama's family. That Hestia, she's lucky Loki was sitting with her arms crossed with a vein on her temple for knowing this news. The next day, oh, I see Hestia was sitting in front of Gohan and Bell. It wanted to tell you, forgive me Hestia Gohan apologized to Hestia for the departure. Kamisama, this was my fault, don't be angry with Gohan calm down, I'm not angry really, what's more, I'm happy, I'll be able to look at that ironing board in the face and blame it. Ho 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 the two of them with a drop of sweat looked at the goddess who was laughing like a crazy person. But what makes me most happy is knowing that they are fine. Thank you Gohan for defending us Hestia rested her arms in front of her and with a very pretty smile looked at the scion. It was a pleasure, Hestia Sama the goddess gave Gohan a cute giggle. Gohan, Bell, I want you to reach higher and that's why I will do my part. I thank you both, especially you Gohan, for giving me the courage. I'm very happy Hestia Sama the goddess blushed with Gohan so I'll leave them for two or three days or maybe less. Will they be okay? Where are you going Hestia Sama? To do my part to help them, forgive me Gohan, for leaving you alone when you just arrived today. I will make it up to you don't worry, you must take care of your affairs. I will stay with Bell and train him at the same time excellent after that the two were preparing to go to the dungeon again well Bell, today is training you will have to overcome this day without my help in the dungeon to be able to better observe how you fight really? Bell was a little scared. Don't worry, if something happens I will intervene, but before we go. At the bar last night Gohan appeared again before the workers I come to apologize again. I also think I broke a table. I came to pay for it don't worry boy. But I receive it the largest woman who was the owner received a Gohan bag with Valus but you know. I'm amazed that you kicked the chatty dog's ass it out of anger. Hayes the most annoying of Loki's family and the worst thing is that no one told him anything until you put him in his place. We are all grateful here IZ Gohan are you going to the dungeon again? Seer appeared before the scion with two boxes of food. Yes, I'm going to train Bill, that's fine. I'll take care of that boy a lot. Families take care of each other, it's true, the scion said seriously. To Gohan, I want to give you this, are you sure? Yes, and thanks for the money last night, I see. It's okay. I'll see you soon. Gohan said goodbye, and the waitresses saw him with a smile. Without a doubt, Gohan earned the respect of everyone there, but above all, he was seer somewhere else in a dark place where there was a giant elephant statue. A party was being held, thank you all for coming. I am Ganesha. A shirtless guy with an elephant mask shouted from one point that he was the god Ganesha at the party. There were many gods and goddesses gathered. They were even talking about the new adventurer who surpassed level 7. 
Did you hear? An adventurer surpassed level 7. Are you serious? That's how it is and whose is it? Ida said that it is from. The men could not speak because they saw a certain goddess enter, known for her poverty, but now she entered with a beautiful dress that highlighted her body and despite her height, it looked beautiful on her. Is that Hestia? Yes, she's beautiful, it's true Kukuku. Thank you my hero Gohan. This dress cost me one million but it was worth it Hestia with a mocking face said in her mind to approach the food but in those the men were absolutely captivated by the goddess who entered with two escorts and wore a white dress like Hestia. It's Freya-sama. The goddess walked with an elegant tone, but observed a certain goddess who, although her dress was that of a maiden or a true goddess, ate like a scion. Hestia, Freya, it's been a while, yes, although I don't like you very much, hee hee hee, I really like your attitude, okay, what about that dress? Hee hee hee, courtesy of my new son, his name is. There are these tadrodes, a voice coming down the steps at full speed and arriving at Hestia. Oh Loki, how long? Freya greeted Loki. Yes Freya. Hey, tadpole. Loki stared at Hestia, who looked very pretty. And that tadpole dress? He he he, jealousy Loki? I can imagine why you think I bought it. Yes, you are definitely lucky to find someone with a level higher than seven. Huh, Fran, most of the gods were amazed. Some had already heard that rumor, but now it was proven ho ho ho, that's Loki. Plus he's handsome, tall, and very kind. He's the perfect boy and he's all mine, ha. Huh? But what good could a poor tadpole like you see? Hestia got angry. Well, it turns out that I have something that you don't, an ironing board. The girl bounced her breasts in front of Loki, who felt an arrow in his chest. On the other hand, Freya was just watching the fight. In the dungeon, along the way the adventurers, and even some adventurers stared at the scion who only ignored them, it seems that his reputation was already taking a long step. You became famous Gohan ESI don't care bell he he he, the two entered the dungeon where they could see the line of adventurers in those bells. They stared at something in the adventurers who were going up. What's wrong? Gohan asked. It's not that I was looking at other people's teams. They are very good. Gohan kept an eye on the teams and, unlike Bell, he didn't find it attractive. He thought it was unnecessary for him. Well, the truth is I don't see the good in it, but if you want you can buy yourself Aureli. Yes, what I earn is also yours, Bell. Of course you can Aureli. Thank you. Back at the party in Ganesha's house we see Hestia and Loki fight, but Loki had Hestia by the cheeks while the gods bet on who would win in the end. Loki releases Hestia because his pride was destroyed. His pride is a woman next time. They see you it won't be with that flat chest shut up Loki crying came out of Hestia's sight. You're not going to change. Hestia one more voice was heard behind and Hestia turned around. Hephaestus, that's great. I wanted to see you a beautiful girl with a good physique, red suit, red hair and an eye patch over her left emmy. That's right. I wanted to talk to you and warn you that I will not lend you any more value, Harud. Do I look like the type of goddess who uses her friends as a bank? Besides, I'll pay you later, eh? Are you happy because you have that adventurer in your ranks? Did you know? That's right. He's already famous. An adventurer above level 7. That's new Gohan became famous in a single day. And he also has one more secret that I won't tell, eh? Which one? I won't say it anyway. I want you to help me with two things I'm listening at that time one of Freya's bodyguards approached her ear. Hephaestus, Hestia, I have to leave you leaving now, yes, I had to check something and. I already did it besides, I got tired of playing with the men here, the men were sad, and also came out with depressed faces while Hestia and Hephaestus broke out in a drop of sweat watching Freya leave. Incredible. And well? What do you want from me? So, I want to ask you a favor, but this time it's serious you tell me that. I am willing to spend every last penny I have to get it from your hands depending on what it is I may not talk to you again I know Hestia became very serious. I want you to make a weapon for Bell and an artificial arm for Gohan Hestia was serious looking at Hephaestus who was also serious I want you to be the one to make them yourself please I will give you all the money I have down to the last cent don't you think that's something cynical about you? Your son earned that money. Inno, Hestia screamed loudly. But I went to help him. I want to give him something of myself. If it were up to me, I would cut off my arm and give it to him. But I can't. I want to help him even if I have to sell my pride. Do you want to go that far for your son? Hestia asked you, why? You would not understand Isid because it is your ticket to victory? No. Hestia began to shed some tears. Because is my hero. Your hero, if you saw what I saw in him, you would understand. I don't care about money or anything like that. Seeing him in front of me. It was a gift, and I want to let him know how much I love him. Bell is my other son, but Gohan. Hephaestus looked at Hestia with a serious face. She wondered what did he see in him to make her act like that. 
She wasn't like that with Belle, with Gohan yes, she wanted to know. After the dungeon we see Gohan and Belle in front of a weapon store, the prices were very high in fact. Do you want one? Gohan asked. I don't know, Gohan, I think I'm using you Bill was serious, he felt that he used Gohan only for the gems he earned, it wasn't like that, but that's how he felt. Gohan smiled and took him by the shoulder. Bill, you remind me of someone who was by my side for a long time or really, Bill, we've been friends for a short time, but I'm already very fond of you, how can I see you as a younger brother? Gohan. Bill, if I'm already part of your family, I would like you to see me as such Bill was amazed. What he was doing was despising Gohan, and that made him feel bad. I'm sorry, Gohan, you're right. Don't worry, Bill, you did well in the dungeon Gohan gave him a small smile. Valabelle, a young man with a bag appeared in front of the two with blue hair Mr. Mayak, Hennis to meet you Gohan, he is Mr. Mayak Nisito, meet you Gohan, stretched out his hand, and the young man reciprocated. You are Hestia's new son. Nice to meet you, didn't he go to the banquet of the gods? No, I'll give you this. The young man took out two tubes of medicine. Are you sure? Gohan asked. If you are a friend of Bell, also mind Butari, you sure? Bell was now the one who spoke, but the young man only nodded and they both received it. Thank you very much. The two received it and the young man said goodbye, Gohan. I want a team. Bell looked at Gohan who nodded. That makes me happy, especially because tomorrow we start training. Properly the next day Hestia was with Hephaestus. Will you do it? Hestia looked very happy. Yes, but I only do it because that boy showed a lot of courage and you have how to pay great the girl jump with happiness, but... The arm you are asking for is somewhat complicated and may take a little longer. It's okay. It doesn't matter. What makes me happy is that the woman known as the Divine Blacksmith will do it in person t sis not heaven, so I can't use my divine powers, but... But, Tom, make that arm that you ask of me, if I need them, that's why I must do it somewhere else that means. Yes, I will use my powers, but only because you are going to pay me, but it will only be so that his deactivated nerves activate again and how will you do that? I will need your help. You will be my assistant, all right, Hephaestusipant, a kind of secret door and a kind of blacksmith shop came out of it a first class weapon and an artificial arm? The arm will be the difficult part. During that morning we see the Scion and Bell training in the back of their house, where they wouldn't bother anyone, although of course where they live there are few houses. Bell attacked Gohan with his knife. He didn't want to do it, but Gohan said that this is how they would start physically. Gohan dodged Bell's attacks very easily, but with his serious attitude Bell was not able to even get close. You are very slow, Bell. You need to improve your speed, but you have good attacks for someone who has only been an adventurer for a short time. Thank you, Gohan-san. The boy was sweating from fatigue while Gohan remained serious. Well, I think I've seen a lot. I think I know how I can train you, actually. That's right. First, we must improve many things in your movements physically. It won't be easy at all. I'll do it. Bell got up with some difficulty due to exhaustion. Hey, Gohan. Do you think I can master key? For now, it will be somewhat difficult because, as I say, you have only been doing this for a short time and your body has not trained enough. But if you train enough, you will be able to achieve it. K.I. is an energy that the more you have been training, the easier you will be able to release it. I.Z. Bell was getting a little sad. Remember what I told you. With dedication and never giving up, you will achieve it. Yes, Bell regained some spirit. Hey, Gohan, what was your father like? Bell sat next to Gohan while Gohan looked at the sky. He was a great warrior. He was very strong, and he was very affectionate. He was always proud of I.Z. It was the same with my grandfather. And what was your grandfather like? He was also very affectionate. Gohan looked at Bell. It reminded him a lot of Trunks who also lost his loved one when he was so young. And of course like Gohan, hey Gohan, could you show me all your power? Dot. Kami Samuels talked about you and some golden hair. I would like to see it's okay Gohan stood up and, fulfilling his disciples' request, stood somewhat away from the H.A.A. The scion gave a loud scream and in those moments an immense pressure was present, surprising Bell who watched as a golden aura began to appear surrounding Gohan and his hair turned a deep gold. Completing the transformation. Bell was amazed. He couldn't describe the amazement he had and the incredible feeling. However, not only him, every god felt that sensation. It was a power that they simply couldn't describe. Gohan returned to normal. That was. That was incredible. Gohan Santisis called Super Scion Super Scion. Is that your maximum power? For now, yes, for now, I want to be stronger, Bell. I want to overcome this barrier and go much further. Bell admired Gohan more and more, because the warrior, despite having that amazing power, wanted to be stronger, and well, humans are supposed to always try to be better. 
Let's continue Bel Yeah. After a morning of training, the two walk back to the dungeon but first stop to eat. Now that I think about it, Kamisama said he wouldn't come for three days ice it because of that festival of the gods, it must be. Sometimes they have a lot of parties hey, white hair meow. Orange boy meow a girl from the bar with cat ears yelled at the two who turned to see her. Good morning, good morning, the two greeted the girl. At that moment, the girl handed Gohan a purple purse. In need of favor, I want you to take this wallet to the clueless seer hey, sorry, Anya, you're not explaining it well, especially not Gohan-san. A blonde-haired girl who was carrying some towels in a bucket said to her friend, How stupid you are, Ryu. You should understand that I want you to take Seer's wallet after she forgot to go to Monsterphilia that was Gohan-san. She took the day to go to the festival. She must be in trouble without her wallet. Please, Gohan-san. Ah, uh, now I understand. Of course, the scion looked at the purse. Thanks to both of you, by the way. What is Monsterphilia? Bell asked. I'm also curious Monsterphilia is a huge annual festival celebrated by the Ganesha family the cat girl while imagining a huge coliseum they take over the coliseum for the whole day and tame monsters that they bring from the dungeon in front of the crowd. While people and adventurers went straight to the coliseum for the festival, on a small floor above there were two figures sitting at a table and one of them was Loki and behind him was Ainz. You like the son of some family again and you decided to go for him? Loki asked while drinking juice. Yotsan blame me, this one is special, a lot changing places a finger slid over a piece of something dark while some symbols turned blue and the same with another object. It was Hephaestus looking at the two objects, but the curious thing is that she had a few drops of sweat on her face. One is ready Hestia Hestia was happy or really, I fear son's gun bell how good, and the other one, I still have to finish it, I think I will have it ready for tomorrow I see Hestia became a little sad. She was happy for Bell's weapon, but unfortunately there was still one missing don't get depressed. Plus I need you to bring your son to make sure there is no failure. Alright by the way, don't forget the loan I'll pay you when my cute Gohan can do push-ups with two arms I think it is fair hey Hephaestus, thanks for breaking the rules for me I didn't break the rules, I just used divine power to repair the damaged nerves. It's like medicine you understand well, who is the son you want now? I am man as beautiful as my title, without a doubt we would be the perfect duo someone who is like you. Yes, just by seeing him I already wanted him with me eyes. On the other hand, watched the people pass by and in those moments he watched Gohan walk among the people with Bell at his side, but in those moments Freya got up from the table. She had to wear clothes that covered her face and body because due to her beauty she hypnotized anyone. The gods could barely resist her. Humans if they fell head over heels for her, she was the second goddess with this gift. Where are you going? It have to go the woman left, leaving Loki and Ainz alone. What's up? What's happening? Nothing while Gohan and Bell were looking around for Seer, it will be difficult, Bell said. Don't worry, Bell, we will look for Seer for his KI, it's true. Knowing that makes me more eager to learn how to use KI, Gohan only gave him a smile, Gohan, at that moment. Gohan and Bell heard a scream, and without wasting a second, Hestia launched herself at Gohan, who had to hold her up so she wouldn't knock him down. Hestia-sama? Don't throw yourself like that I can help it. Hello Bell Kami-sama Gohan. I missed you so much. Hee hee hee. Thank you. You too. By the way Hestia-sama you have some cream on your face. I bought a crepe on the way here. Clean it up Gohan. The girl brought her face closer to Gohan who had his arm busy holding her even though this girl didn't get off. But as there you have something else the girl with a somewhat seductive voice pointed her nose at the scion's mouth suggesting that he use his tongue but because the scion was very innocent he didn't notice it. Gohan looked at Bell, who only raised her shoulders without understanding what Hestia was referring to. Your lips, Gohan, Hestia said to Gohan in his ear. The scion was a little surprised. Are you sure? The girl approached the scion who did so without wasting time. Hestia blushed and with a smile as big as her joy she began to lift the scion's neck who in the end had to let her go. Wily in a dark place full of cages a man seemed to fall unconscious while footsteps were heard through the place full of beasts you serve me, a female voice said, looking at a specific cage. It wanted to check your growth a little more but... Outside the place the three walked around the place to find a crepe stand soiree looking for a girl. Huh, yes, I want to return this wallet Gohan took out the purple purse from his clothes. Ed, I see, I can't take my eyes off you. In those moments, Gohan would get serious in a place to look and in those moments he would hear the screams of people coming out of a tunnel and behind him a monster that looked like an ape. A monster, Hestia got nervous just like Bell. Chase that boy the beast looked at the three or more specifically at Gohan. Are you looking at us? The monster threw itself at the three but Gohan used his palm to launch an air attack that threw the beast against the wall, crashing it into the wall and in that moment it turned into a gem. 
What did you want, creature? The scion asked angrily. That's my Gohan Hestia screamed with excitement. Bell could only be amazed with a smile and the people began to applaud the scion for his feet. Gohan faced the beast and felt more similar energies everywhere. It's not the only one. I feel eight more similar energies Gohan said out loud to run away. Gohan, where are you going? I feel eight energies like that of that creature near here. I must stop them. We go with you. It is dangerous and need to go. I can't be a burden, okay, but Hestia Sama stay here. It's it's okay. I'll pick up the gem L-E-T-S-G-O the scion to bell on his shoulder, and like a wild beast he flew out of the place, surprising the people. Dash Gohan dot bell dot T-O the gem, while Ganesha was sitting seriously in his chair how many escaped, nine sir escaped. Right now our force is trying to hold them back Itis, not enough to ally with the other families to stop them but sir it would be a humiliation when it was our fault I am Ganesha, the god of the masses, our greatest smile is seeing the smile of our children we're sorry. They both apologized. Let's continue the festival, but don't let it get out of control yes, both subjects left the place and Ganesha looked at the public what are they up to? Distraction? Confusion? On the other hand, Freya watched from afar. On the other hand, we see Ain and a girl with pink hair in a corner. She was talking in her ear. Oh, really? Apparently some monsters escaped from the Ganesha family SHH. Don't speak loudly, sorry, but they said that if we found any adventurers nearby, you know, let's look for the son of Hestia's family, the white-haired boy. No, I'm talking about Gohan-san, but could he help us? It is obvious that you are blind. Did you forget that day? And those you can hear the voice of Loki and Ainz, is something wrong? Ainz asked. The princess of the sword. It also helps us those present were heading to a place and there were two monsters causing problems there are two. When Ainz was preparing to cut them in seconds, something fell from the sky and with its legs stepped on them both, destroying them in a second and then jumped out. Gohan, the gems that doesn't matter, we must defeat the others. The people come first, the scion said with a cold and serious voice, scaring and astonishing Gohan. Below, the girls looked at the boy with a drop of sweat, as well as some others who managed to watch the scene. It was Gohan saying, wow, and I don't use any weapons they called themselves Ain and her friend, you were right. It's amazing the pink-haired girl looked at her friend. Gohan moved around the city quite seriously, which surprised Bell a little. It is true that people could be in danger, but there were adventurers who could take care of the monsters, and he was right because they watched how some adventurers defeated a giant worm. It seems that they are defeating them Gohan with his seriousness continued looking Gohan don't stress too much remember that there are adventurers below Nobel we have to finish them all quickly it's better to be sure Gohan San. While in a central area of the festival we see Ainz killing the remaining monsters without difficulty it seems that the other adventurers looked at this with some amazement. Not for nothing is she the princess of the sword it's true amazing wow it seems that we don't need the help of Hestia Sama's son Ain with a smile looked at her friend who nodded. However, bomb, a loud bang accompanied by a powerful roar echoed throughout the city, silencing the crowd's Ganesha Sama, he has escaped U.S. not tell me. That's right, sir. The Lidzerman escaped what did you say, at hat point, all the places in the sight began to feel heavy footsteps, and in seconds the seven meter tall lizard man appeared, with black scales and the appearance of a reptile on his strong legs and equally strong arms. That creature is from the lower floors, and is a subchief Ganesha was a little upset because maybe things did get quite ugly, or rather they got ugly. The beast appeared in seconds in front of Ainz and the other adventurers Hayes Elidzerman. Tesis bad, very bad the adventurers were scared. Ainz was no exception, but she did not let herself be defeated and launched herself against the colossal beast, who stopped her thrust with his arm to hit her with the other. Incredible, knockout princess of the sword the creature gave another roar and with a very large jump launched itself against the world to start causing disasters. Ainz got up very difficult that Ganesha is a moron, how can he think of bringing such a monster here Loki, somewhat annoyed, watched the beast walk to get to where he was going. Ains wait. The girl ran away without wasting any second of her time. Adventurers, join together, you must stop that thing Ains shouted at many but some were afraid because they were low levels. This monster was a sub-boss, something that only the floor boss surpassed, and it seems that the only reason he was brought was for a siege t -sis bad. If it comes to that, maybe just otter. He would help us so easily, it's true Ain was nervous, but in those moments she clearly remembered a certain boy from Hestia's family. It's not true, we still have Hestia Sama's son Ain ran out and her pink-haired friend went after her. In the sky, Gohan and Bell, who was holding on to the scion, watched the beast fight against the adventurers who barely stopped their steps. Gohan, look at that Kamion the Scion was arriving and was under the creature Gohan I will stop him wait Bell, don't. 
The boy did not wait and launched himself against the creature, scaring the scion who was rushing at full speed in his desire to fight. The rampant beast took out adventurers blow by blow without mercy causing a stir in hoes. Two adventurers from Loki's family looked nervously at the creature Hedioni. That's an underboss, right? That's right, if we're not careful. The creature would notice his image and would throw a punch at the two who were barely evading him how fast it is. Careful, the creature launched another blow, but in those eyes he appeared and stopped the blow with his sword, but with great difficulty the beast showed a smile of joy. Eins. K-Y-A-A-A-A-A. The three were pushed against the wall and the two Amazons lost consciousness. Ish really an assistant boss? He looks more like a floor boss. Damned. Bell fell on the lizard man with his weapon, but the fear was that just by touching it, the knife would break, scaring the little adventurer. The lizard man would throw him next to Ainz against the wall. Ainz was about to lose consciousness watching the monster approach. People were watching and the adventurers were also arriving, but how were they going to deal with such a beast? The creature placed its dark alligator gaze on Ainz who was trying to get away demons. G R R R R R R A A A. The girl and everyone closed their eyes because they thought that this was the end of the princess of the sword the fist that was going straight to Ainz seemed to stop in the middle of the road, creating a strong wind that made the blonde wonder why the fist never arrived. And there was Gohan stopping the monster's arm with his arm looking with a cold look at the beast you are. Both Ainz and people and adventurers looked at the scion in amazement because although he had only been here for a few days, he was already making a name for himself. Damonster Gohan pushed the beast with such force that he made it fall on its butt, making it angry and get up in seconds to launch another blow. Gohan's fists and the creature collided, producing a strong wind, but the surprising thing was that because of this the beast broke its arm, people were even more amazed. You caused a lot of damage and also hurt many people. I will never forgive you, the scion, with his fist raised, launched himself at the monster and, like a bullet, pierced him through the belly of the beast, who could only fall on his back and be extinguished in a smoke bomb while Gohan landed on the floor. The beast dropped a gigantic gem on the floor and Gohan just turned to see if he defeated it and if he did. It dot you did it, the scream of a girl who was none other than Hestia who was next to Bell gave a shout of triumph while everyone and those who were hiding began to applaud the scion who noticed the people and a drop of sweat came out. You did it, Gohan. M.Y. Hero Hestia ran out and jumped on the scion to hug him. Gohan, that was amazing. Bell approached the scion who gave him a thumbs up and Bell did the same. Bell, are you okay? That was very dangerous. The scion was angry with the boy who lowered his head. In the end, I couldn't do anything. Bell, with a somewhat downcast face, looked at Gohan who sighed. That was dangerous, but I'm glad to know that nothing dangerous happened yet. The adventurers came to congratulate Gohan and continue with their flattery. Even some adventurers came to flirt, which Hestia did not like. Ains managed to detach herself from the wall to look at Gohan quite amazed Ains, my little doll. Loki came to help Ains, but what he really wanted was to touch her. By looking at those quirks he would get rid of them and in the process he hit Loki on the nose. You better help me with the girls okay. Sorry. The scion was approaching Ainz and Loki are you okay? Gohan seriously approached the two and Ainz gave him a smile. Yes, thank you. By the way, that gem is your safe. I think so Ainz pointed to where the gem was and watched Hestia lifting it up. He he meanwhile, on another side, Freya looked at the scion from a roof with a rather dark smile. After the events in the city we see Ain fill out reports about the accident there were no deaths or serious injuries thanks to Gohan Sand who stopped that lizard man. I knew he was strong, but without a doubt he is on another level. The girl smiled at this, but then became serious. But we don't know who is to blame for this. We also get to see Gohan Bell and Hestia rest at the bar place courtesy of the girls because of what Gohan did. How are you, Gohan? The scion heard a voice, and when he looked he saw Seer approaching with a towel. I'm fine. Thanks for letting us stay here, but it wasn't necessary. It's the least we can do for what you did. That beast was coming in our direction. If you hadn't stopped it, who knows what it would have done. I'm glad it didn't happen. By the way, here, sir. The scion handed her the purse and the girl received it with a smile. You were involved for bringing it to me. I'm sorry, it's no big deal. You know, Gohan, everyone says you looked like a hero defeating that creature. No, I just did what I had to do. That's not true. The truth is I could see some of the fight and you looked very cool. And I fell in love with you. Gohan was blushing a little at what the girl said, who was covering her mouth with the tray. I'll go help downstairs, see you, Gohan doi fall in love, fall in love? I never knew what that was, the scion watched as the girl went down the stairs. I said okay for someone to feel that way about me, when Gohan went to the bedroom where they were, he saw Bell quite happy. 
Go on, look, Kemisama bought me this egg knife. Yes, look at the scabbard, says Hephaestus. She is the goddess of blacksmithing air. Yeah. I'm happy for you, Bell Gohan. Forgive me, but I will give you yours tomorrow. Can you wait? Hestia approached and with a very cute tone put her hands in a sign of supplication. Did you also buy me something? It wasn't necessary. No, yes it is, and believe me it is something that you would like a lot I didn't know what to say. Thank you Hestia Sama hand by the way, just tell me Hestia but. I didn't really like that prefix, please it's okay. Hestia no, thanks to you Gohan, for coming to my side, I want to help you as much as I can, and help you be happy Hestia. And me too, you are like a brother to my Gohan the Scion nodded at that clarification. Well, and at that point we have to change that giant gem did you bring her, of course, you were the one who won it, with this we will start remodeling our house changing scene we see an adventurer pack a gem in a bag hurry up support. You're very slow the guy with a bad attitude was addressing someone who was behind him, it was a small girl with a hood, what was scary was that she was carrying a huge bag on her back, it was bigger than her. What useless support, well if the monsters surround us I can use you as bait the guy was leaving and the little girl was following him with a fallen look, the treatment she received was more like that of a tormented slave. After what happened the other day we see Gohan training with Bell again, he was so happy with his new knife that he woke up eager to train, which made Gohan happy. Kamion Bell, are you tired yet? Gohan dodged Bell's attacks while the boy perspired and sweated with great difficulty, Gohan only gave him a smile. I need to level up, I must be stronger and you want to overcome the SSJ, we also have a very strong gold bell by the way, Gohan. How are you going to overcome the SSJ? Hearing this, Gohan became more serious. He had no idea how to start. If he were Goku, he probably would have already thought about the same thing, but he didn't know how to do it. I didn't know Bell, I can only keep training and hope to achieve it I think so too as the two continued training Hestia left the temple to watch them both train for a moment before interrupting them. Gohan, Bell the two stopped to look at Hestia. I'm sorry to interrupt your training, but I have to borrow Gohan me, that's right, remember that I told you that your gift would be today or really? That's right, but I can only take Gohan, forgive me Bell don't worry, Kamisama, I'll train a little more, I'm looking forward to seeing what they will give you Gohan here thanks Bell immediately Hestia and Gohan set off, Gohan preferred to walk to adapt a little more and not cause a fuss. Hestia walked with Gohan, holding his arm, and very happy, the scion didn't bother him, but he did feel a little sad. Where are we going Hestia? Actually we have to meet a friend friend, look, there's this one, Hephaestus, Hestia was shouting towards a place, shaking her arm, Hephaestus was in a corner waiting for the two. When he looked from afar, he visualized Hestia and Gohan. Hestia, you were late, I'm sorry, look, he's my hero Gohan. Many likes Gohan hello the scion politely stretched out his hand and Hephaestus took it. I must admit that Hestia is very cute thank you okay. Follow me the two followed the goddess of blacksmithing. Gohan was just surprised by this but he didn't just ask questions after all it was a gift upon arriving at a kind of place full of armor and weapons. Gohan looked at them but felt that it was not such a necessary gift. But in any case he was not going to be ungrateful. Come in Hephaestus with his hand on the wall let out a kind of private forge you have many secrets, huh, yes, and don't tell anyone the two entered, Gohan curiously looked at the elements made to make the equipment, they reminded him of Bulma's laboratory and things like that. Hephaestus, were you able to finish it, yes, here it is, I can say that it is even my best creation Gohan, I need you to take off your shirt hey, don't worry, it's for something special alright Gohan took off his shirt. Hestia only bit her lip to avoid making any obscene sounds or things, but her face said it all. The girl was not secretive at all. Hephaestus was more reserved, but she did not deny that the scion had a good physique, but the scars hurt him. They attracted attention, I must admit. He has a good physique, Hephaestus thought to herself. Why should I do this? Stop, this Hephaestus took out a box with an incredibly noticeable length. Hephaestus began to fill some symbols with some of his blood, and when it opened, there it was. An arm similar to Gohan's, but made of grayish-black metal, and even some golden marks and symbols written on it is it. Gohan was speechless with astonishment. Wow, that's great Hestia marveled at this. Hestia, that's what? That's right, Gohan, it's an artificial arm. I know it's not the same as having a normal arm, but... Did you do this for me? Hestia was the one who told me to do it. Hephaestus looked at Hestia, who was sad. Gohan turned to look at her. I wanted to help you with whatever I could, remember that you are my hero, I always wanted to do this for you, Hestia approached Gohan and looked at her with a smile and even some small tears. Gohan didn't know what to say, 
He was happy, but something in him felt that this moment was so special that he thought it was a dream. Despite being a full-fledged warrior, the scion couldn't help crying a little and bowing his head. Edo not deserve. Don't despise my help, Gohan. Hestia, still smiling, looked at the scion. No, Hestia, I, am. He he, I know, it was a joke, but let me help the goddess tip the hand of the scion who looked at her and she did the same. Thanks, thanks. Hestia took Gohan's hand to squeeze it and he did the same. Well, then let's proceed, Hephaestus said with a smile. Hephaestus carried out placing the scion's arm, it reached the shoulder where some strange metal objects adhered to his flesh, making Gohan complain a little. That means they adjusted to the nerves, it's ready Gohan just looked at his new arm go ahead, try to move it Gohan with all his strength began to try to move it and he succeeded. The metal arm amazingly moved and even Gohan could move his fingers but with some difficulty this arm is made of divine energy that adheres to dead nerves and revives them, regenerating dead cells. You can move this arm like a normal one, and it does not rust but is not indestructible. I can believe it, this is like a dream Gohan was so happy that he simply couldn't help but smile Hestia for some reason started to cry but smiled anyway Hephaestus was happy because she could understand his situation. Train slowly, don't overdo it thank you both, really my Gohan, I'm so happy Hestia hugged Gohan and he also hugged her. Happiness was now something that was left over. I guess I won't bother about the money enjoy it Gohan, take good care of it Hephaestus looked happier at Gohan who smiled at him. I must say that it is nice, very much after this Hestia and Hephaestus were alone talking thank you Hephaestus now I understand your desire to help him, he is a pretty special boy yes it is by the way, who is he, well I. It's okay, don't tell me yet as we agreed, I will pay you take your time, after seeing it I am not able to charge now no, I'll bring you the money later and then I'll pay Gohan, I'll do it Hephaestus just sighed. Hestia was so serious and determined that he was amazed by this and did not want to discourage her. I hope so, after all that money was from Bythe Way, what you gave me barely covers part IZ, 1. E-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-
Hey Gohan, don't you wear armor, me? No, I don't like it and it doesn't help me either that's worse. Just look at your face. That scar is surely from not wearing armor aimed comically pointed at Gohan's face who only had a drop of sweat coming out. Either way. Are you both free tomorrow? Next day Gohan and Bell were waiting for Ain, who arrived wearing casual clothing with a white shirt and red skirt, long stockings and slippers. Sorry for making you wait don't forget, Gohan responded. You two are so alike, you don't say anything about a woman's clothes you, you are younger Bell with a nervous attitude responded to Ain, who took him by the head, I'm barely 19, an airhead. Hey, the same as me Gohan responded with a serious but relaxed attitude. P.S. Here Gohan is a little younger in age, although the truth is that it is not noticeable, but anyway well let's go now where to, just follow me. Fools the three walked around the place quite calmly until Bell asked where they were being taken out of simple curiosity. Let's go Ain pointed to a gigantic tower Babel, that's right, let's go to the Hephaestus family eh, but aren't they very expensive, you recently earned a lot of money in one day, have you spent it yet? The two looked at each other. Bell gave a nervous laugh and Gohan only had a drop of sweat coming out. The truth is it was time for them to earn more jewels again. Hestia's debts and her weapons were always quite expensive. I Z, that mechanical arm must have been very expensive, right Gohan? Eh yeah I Z, well it doesn't matter anyway. Follow me upon entering they saw a large arsenal of armor, swords, weapons and many luxury things. Many were extremely expensive up to and including millions. There is no doubt that they were from a family of a blacksmith goddess. Everything just very expensive Bell was only scared of the prices I'm sure that if you did an expedition, you would achieve a lot expedition? Gohan asked, looking curiously at things. Idis, when you team up with more adventurers to go deeper into the dungeon at the deeper levels, you will find stronger monsters, but the reward is much greater. Ah, it sounds very interesting to train. How about we do it Bell? Hey, but both. Of course we are a team, right? Yes, it's true Aine was just smiling to see so much enthusiasm for both of them, although she thought that now the two of them could form more complete teams than the two, or that they were simply a duo, that was fine too. Because many of them were like that. On the other hand, in another place, ha 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 ha, what a dit you Hestia based on you a laugh could be heard in what seemed like a crystal ball. Hestia only pouted. Shut up, it was for Bell and my cute hero Gohan, I don't mind getting caught, yes, yes, sorry, sorry by the way, were you the one who sent Gohan to my side? Gods like us cannot reveal information like that you didn't hide anything, shut up, but it wasn't me so. I already told you, we can't reveal secrets, hey, I'm very happy, super happy to have my hero by my side, but... Why me? Do I have to repeat, I have to know, if Gohan and I get married? What did you say? Hestia pouted and began to play with her fingers with a very noticeable blush. Yes you are open so it was. You will know when you see it Hestia. Ask her directly when you get to see her. I have to go. Bye Hestia smiled thank you friend for making my dream come true. A-H I have to go to work meanwhile. Gohan Bell and Ain went up an elevator to get to where there were more weapons and adventurers only here it was not so striking. What is this place? Bell Gohan asked just looking at the places. Since you are one of those who like simple things, I brought you here T-Sis where the new adventurers of Hephaestus family make their weapons to promote themselves everything just cheaper it's true, compared to the others below do you want to go see? Ain said to the two, Bell nodded very happily and Gohan was curious to look, although he didn't really want to buy anything. While Bell looked at what she wanted to buy, Gohan and Ain walked calmly, looking at everything. That mechanical arm is very good. Did you get it here? Well, Hestia-sama was the one who actually gave it to me. I'm so happy with it, Iz. Gohan, you must take care of Bell. Please, I'll give it to you. Don't worry. I won't let anything happen to him. He is like a brother to me, and I will protect him. For the moment when we earn more, we will buy something much better, so that he is more protected with you. I am sure they will do well. In fact, they can try to explore more floors for better profits and also to get stronger in that case. I accept by the way. Wouldn't you like to hire a team? A support at least a team, eh? It would be interesting to meet more people I can look for one if you want. Thank you, Ain and Gohan got along quite well, making a very good friendship. Gohan, I'm going to buy this one excellent Bell Ain just smiled looking at the two of them. They got along like brothers, like a family. Bell was very lonely and Ain felt bad for him, but when Gohan arrived and helped him, she could be calmer. When they finished shopping, they both thanked him for the day. Gohan, Bell, wait. Here the girl passed a piece of armor on each of their forearms. Ain Sanway cannot accept this don't do it for me, do it for yourself, you don't know when an adventurer dies, I met many who never came back I understand you, I understand what it's like to lose a dear friend. 
Gohan, with a serious face, said to Ain, who was a little surprised, too, and Bell was respectful. Gohan, Bell, please take good care of yourselves. Gohan nodded with a serious and strong face. He would not allow any of his friends to die again, and he will do everything to protect and help Bell. Gohan and Bell were leaving. The boy decided to stop by for something to eat before arriving with Hestia, and also, Gohan had an almost unstoppable appetite, but the good thing was that they had something to buy. Gohan returned alone, but then a girl on some stairs collided with him. He excused him, are you okay? You didn't escape damn P-R-U-M. A guy with a sword came running and scared the girl when the guy swung his sword. The scion intercepted him with his hand, taking the sword with it naked, surprising the guy. What are you trying to do? The scion said seriously to disarm him with a kick, scaring the subject. Don't get involved. Why are you defending her? It's true I don't know her, but I won't let you kill for the sake of killing damned. You better stop a female voice could be heard at the top of the stairs as she looked at the Ryu who was carrying a bag of groceries. If I were you, I wouldn't do anything stupid. He doesn't need to fight because I'll be the one to finish you off. The girl released a strange pressure. Even Gohan was surprised because she showed great power to the point of scaring the boy. The boy was just leaving. Gohan was not angry with Ryu because instead of getting involved, she helped him. Ryu said, thank you, don't forget. I know you could do it alone. Sorry for getting in there, don't worry. I'm glad that a friend offers me her help. The girl blushed a little because of this hint. She knew that her friend liked Gohan, but she could see why she fell in love. It's true, the girl, huh? Gohan would realize that she was gone, but he could feel a small presence similar to the surroundings, so Ryu could also see it half felt it, and it was because it was hidden next day Gohan and Bell trained calmly this time it was different since Gohan was sitting meditating, and Bell was practicing martial arts movements that Gohan taught him. Reach beyond the SSJ that for the moment I can only continue training and hope that I achieve Gohan. I think we better prepare to go to the dungeon. Good idea. The two were getting ready to go to the dungeon bell with his new white armor that covered his chest. Abdomen and shoulders as the separate element that Aang gave him, Gohan only placed his instrument on his mechanical arm. Wouldn't you have preferred to buy more expensive armor? After all, you really like those things I think I'm one of those who doesn't waste money on luxurious things, plus my level is not worthy for things like that don't be overconfident, that doesn't matter, but prepare yourself. After all today we are going to go deeper or really, of course, it's part of training okay, let's go Hestia on the other hand was asleep in her bed very peacefully. We're leaving Kamisama good luck to you both half asleep Hestia said goodbye to the two who were leaving the place preparing to go. Hey Gohan, why don't you buy equipment too? It's not necessary. I prefer to leave the money for better things I zed upon reaching the dungeon you could see the other adventurers walking directly towards it. Ready, somewhat nervous, don't worry, have confidence, I don't know, but I'm excited to know what creatures are down below now with both arms it will be easier by the way. Ain San told me that we should start organizing a team, what do you say? Well, I think it's good, but I don't know where to start men either. She said something about support. We should start their good idea. Excuse him, Oni Isamus. Orange boy and white-haired boy the two turned around and saw a small girl in a white dress with a huge bag on top of her. Nice to meet you. Sorry for interrupting you, but... Do you need support? You're the one from yesterday, said Gohan, looking at the girl with his serious face. Are you confused? I explain, I am a poor support, promoting myself to collect what I am an adventurer. No, wait, you are the girl from yesterday, right? I think you're confusing me, sir. I'm a theriform animal person. The girl took off her hood, revealing small animal ears. Eh, how interesting the scion approached to see the ears. This reminded him a lot of his other world where animal men coexisted with normal people. Despite these differences, they lived very peacefully. Well, until the androids killed in cold blood, do you know her? Bell asked Gohan. I think I was wrong. It's nothing okay. If you want, we'll talk there. Okay. The three were going to sit in a fountain near the place. Why did you choose us, Lilaruka? Bell asked the girl while Gohan was standing with his arms crossed looking at her. He suspected that she was the girl from yesterday, and that's why he looked at her. He wanted to know why that guy was chasing her, but maybe he was wrong, and it was better not to talk. Well, I saw them alone, and I thought I could join. So what do you say? Bell looked at Gohan, who was still serious, but a small smile appeared on his lips. Of course, why not? You can come really, yes, but we were thinking of going quite deep into the floors. Still, do you want to come? Eh, so you are the adventurer who is above level 7? Bell nodded in approval for Gohan. Oh, I heard about you. I didn't think I would go directly to you. Well, it's decided. Let's not waste time yet. Inside the dungeon we can see Bell fight against some monsters. Some of them also attacked Gohan, but he killed them with immense ease. Much greater than before. Wow, they are both very strong. 
but above all, Tula Laruka was amazed by Gohan's strength. Thank you, now that I know how to master it, I can give it my all the sound launched the golden energy through his mechanical arm, singeing two monsters in seconds. Wow. Bell, don't trust yourself, now you'll do it alone, yeah, okay, aren't you going to help him, the girl asked a little nervously. Don't worry, this is part of your training, I see that you have grown a lot and what will you do, I will observe it for a while and then we will descend further we will go to deeper floors today, yes, we must see what awaits us below, and I also want to see the IZ. you are very brave, Gohan Sama just tell me Gohan highs. ah, I'll go pick up the gems they left on the floor alright the girl began to collect the gems like the scion and bell, but she noticed bell's knife. Gohan Sama, could we go down a little further, how about the tenth floor, tenth floor? Bell was a little scared. Well, if you want, but... I also want to go down. Bell said with great determination, making the scion smile. Okay, are you ready? Yes, but are you sure? As long as they are with me it is allowed, right? It's true and you Lilith. Yes, if we can get more jewelry the two began to walk deeper and deeper, most likely they reached beyond the tenth floor. Where very, very deep Bell with a drop of sweat next to Lilaruka or Lilith were serious Gohan too and those on the floor appeared a dark bat monster that has sharp fangs and the ability to create sound waves that interrupt concentration and some small demons. They are bad bats Lilith screamed scared and Bell took out his knife to prepare for the fight and also imps. Bell, Lilith get ready and hose the flying creatures began to send waves out of their mouths that made them cover their ears they are sonic waves these creatures. They are interesting Gohan launched himself against them creating a sphere of power in his arms and hitting them all producing a strong explosion. Bell did not stay still and launched himself against the demons that were attacking him but he evaded the attacks although with great difficulty. Lilith remember, stand back okay, the two attacked and fought against the monsters but Gohan was the one they attacked the most, it was his instinct to defeat the strongest first. So many Bell already had some injuries but many had already fallen these deeper floors are more powerful, huh, Gohan was fighting and killing the monsters more easily. Well, so be it Gohan walked away and with his hands launched three KI attacks that destroyed all the bats, making them fall singed and many imp Bell had just defeated his last imp. Although I ended up quite tired, they did it Lilith screamed with great happiness looking at the bodies after this they began to collect the gems from the monsters because there were many of them, as well as tear them out of the bodies of the monsters. That was amazing, Gohan-sama, we have a lot of jewelry thank you sorry for not being of much help the little girl had a depressed face looking at the floor, it was as if something made her feel like she was always useless. You are very brave lilith John, and you have helped us a lot. I thank you for that the girl looked at the scion and then lowered her head a little and smiled a little. Gohan noticed this but decided not to give it any importance. After this the two left the clear dungeon with the secret that they went to such a deep floor to avoid any scolding. Well, they collected a lot in with a drop of sweat looked at the bags of jewelry you'll have to forgive me but I'll give you the money tomorrow, okay, if you don't care, the two said. By the way, did you get support? Yes, she said she was from the Soma family, Bell said to Ain, who became somewhat tense. The Soma family, huh? They, well. Do you know them? Gohan asked. Yes, your family sells drinks, but. There is something about them that always forces them to push themselves even further, even putting their lives on the line. Iz Gohan with a serious face thought about the girl, she undoubtedly demanded a lot of herself first carrying that huge backpack when she is just a child in addition to being the one to ask them to go down to deeper floors, it makes sense hey, did you say something, no, nothing by the way, Bell, and your knife, Ain looked at the back of Bell where he keeps his weapon, Bell would realize that he didn't have it, McKnife, where is he, Bell was very scared. Calm down Gohan tried to calm him down but Bell started to shake like crazy because it was a weapon given to him by Hestia herself. Better stay and calm down, maybe some adventurer found it, I'll go look the very serious sound left the place while Bell calmed down with the help of incense. In a store we see Lilith with Bell's knife, the owner who seemed to be a member of the dwarves did not buy her the knife and the girl left disappointed. How is it worthless? That knife cut many imps without bruising, the arm was a better option the girl was walking calmly until she saw Ryu and Seer walking with shopping bags, but when she passed by them stop it. Raya stopped her very seriously. Shown that knife, it's very similar to a friend's the little girl got nervous, she saw that they were acquaintances of Bell and therefore of Gohan, if he found out, it would be a terrible outcome for her. It's mine I didn't think so Ryu threw a coin and hit her in the hand, making her drop it. After that, the girl ran away but ran into Gohan who was descending from the sky. 
Lilith, to make matters worse, Gohan was here, maybe he noticed and was upset, and to top it all off, Seer and Ryu arrived. Girls, it's good to see you, by chance, haven't you seen a black knife? I thought someone would have found it in the dungeon. This one? Ryu showed him the knife and Gohan sighed in relief. They are the best, thank you the sound put his hands on both Seer's shoulders and blushed and was happy while Ryu was too but instead of smiling he was sad. Where did they find it? I in the garbage can I in a garbage can. Mmmmm Gohan was serious looking at him Valagohan, is that arm new? Seer looked at the scion's arm very amazed how great you look so great he thinks if it's true, I couldn't say it, but you look very good. Ryu looked and even touched the scion's arm while Seer approached Lilith. Don't be mischievous again. The girl was surprised by this and lowered her head. Gohan, on the other hand, turned to look at the girl seriously. Next day Gohan and Bell trained as always but the scion was transformed throwing fists and kicks into the air still don't feel like I'm over the SSJ. What am I missing? Ah, this makes me frustrated Gohan got angry remembering the androids what if they appear here again? What if some monster appears like the one from that day that not even I can stop? Gohan, Gohan, Hestia, who was laying out some sheets, approached Bell, looking at Gohan like that. Hey, what's wrong with you, Gohan? Hestia approached and caressed Gohan's arm. No, it's nothing he 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 you still haven't gotten over those traumas, huh? Hestia with a serious face looked at Gohan Bell. She also became sad. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. It was very hard Hestia held Gohan's cheek but calm down and try to lead a calmer life. Okay, I will try. But we must prepare ourselves more for that dungeon good I like it. Are you better now, Gohan? Bell asked. Yes, thank you. I must calm down by the way, Gohan. Thanks again for finding it. Don't worry. I think it's better to eat and go claim the money. Do you think? Yes, of course. Surely Lilith is waiting for us after this, in another place quite far away. What looked like an old man was passing by. He was quite uneasy. It can't be. We can't pay for those things you decide, old man. If they want to continue with the deal, you better obey. Of course, if you want everything to continue well, T-Sis something that we gods must discuss among all. We didn't have time. Tell your other friends that they better continue. Of course, if the happy gods don't die, you are worth nothing if we compare them with others. The call through a sphere was cut off and the subject hit the chair. We have no choice. Again with Gohan Bell and Lilith, the three received a large number of bags. We win. Two million valis. Lilith couldn't believe it. The money was there in four big bags. The girl was amazed. Well, this was more than anything because of the monsters that Gohan killed on the 15th floor. Don't say that. You guys helped too. Bell, I'm amazed by your progress. Keep it up, yeah. Well, I think we should distribute. It's true. Lilith here. Gohan handed her a million dollars in her bags, leaving the little girl astonished who didn't expect this. Minus one million. For me alone? Yes, of course. We also want to hire you actually. Yes, answered Gohan. The girl couldn't believe this. It was as if she had never received money because she kept looking at him without taking her eyes off him. Really, all this, is it for me? Yes, of course. You are very weird, Dash. In the bar where Seer and Ryu were working, there were a large number of people drinking. The place was very lively, but at one table, above all, there were two people drinking a Hestia era that was causing a somewhat annoying commotion for her colleague. Lestimiak, there is a girl after Gohan, I can't allow it. Gohan is mine the girl began to cry comically while Mayak watched her comically nervous because the goddess was having too many drinks. Damn, who is that girl? Gohan is only mine. Calm down, Hestia. Gohan is not an object I already know, but I am the one who knows him best. What do you mean by that? Eh? I'm the one who knows her tragic life. Who else? The drunk girl said comically, shaking her arms. Mayak was a little surprised by what was said. There were cases where the gods became obsessed with humans and Hestia was not known for this, but hey, it was not strange that Hestia was not known as a normal goddess either. The jars of alcohol were piling up on the table and Hestia was getting drunk to the point of falling on the table. Don't make so much noise Hestia, ah, uh, I, I only love him. Hey, you are a bit annoying Hestia Mayak observing Hestia at the table already lost in drunkenness could only observe but the boy remained thoughtful looking at the sky what kind of life would he have had for Hestia to notice him. Also, who is he really? Next day H-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-
You better not move Gohan gave her a glass of water and Hestia only received it a little angry. Gohan thought that maybe it was because of that hangover that she was in such a bad mood. Hestia-sama, you still don't know how grateful I am for the arm you gave me. Gohan looked at Hestia with a very serious but respectful tone. Huh. Oh, you're welcome Gohan. I see that you're very happy seeing to you. Yes, even if you always have a scary face, I'm sorry about that, it was a joke, Hestia-sama, it wanted to thank you properly, and I thought I could invite you to eat, since you like food so much, are you inviting me to eat, Hestia sat on the bed. It wanted to invite Bell too, but he says he's busy, Bell. Hestia turned around and looked at Bell, who was changing the sheets, and when she looked at Hestia, she winked at her in a certain sign. Bell and Hestia's relationship was always professional. He did not feel that love of man and woman, but after certain cases in which Hestia spoke of a certain warrior with whom she fell in love after observing his life and his history and seeing that for things of destiny would end up at her side, he wanted to help her how did Hestia know about Gohan's life. At the moment it is a mystery, and it is only known that a friend helped him dash thank you, Bell, Hestia thought so the idea of taking me out to eat. And did your Gohan think about it? Well Bell gave me the idea, and I don't think it's a bad idea, do you want to go then? Dash yes. Of course, Hestia got up, leaving the hangover aside for happiness. Gohan just looked at her and gave her a small smile. Gohan, see you at six o'clock in the southwest of Main Street, love, but I don't know where it is, I'm telling you. Bell said, poking his head out the door. Great thanks, Bell. Changing places in a gigantic bath with statues of what looked like gods, and it was extraordinarily large and beautiful. There were those that looked like women taking a bath. It was a spa of goddesses, and there was Hestia bathing while humming a day to date. The girl was very, very happy as Hestia you. A tall woman with orange hair approached Hestia Demeter. It's been a while. Well, you really have great ones, Hestia. You two returned the response. What are you doing in the temple bathrooms? This is the first time you visit them. It's because I'm going to see someone in a while. Wait. A man. Demeter gave a comical scream as there's something wrong. Hey, Hestia is going to date a man. The goddesses who were in the place listened, and as if they were given the biggest gossip, they approached the two. Hestia, the one who had no hope in heaven, Thelalitatona, who is it? Tell us, tell us, mm, 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 it's someone from my family. A human the girls began to bother Hestia with sounds, making the poor goddess leave the place upset. Yes, they are annoying, I'm leaving, and just so you know, it's someone who has silenced more than one of them. Hey, Hestia, what do you like about him? Demeter asked. All, in the evening, Gohan was in a place where there were some couples. The scion felt a little uncomfortable, but on the other hand, he liked to see people living in peace and being able to be happy. Gohan a voice called to the scion, and it was Hestia. The girl arrived with white casual clothing and shorts. Didi make you wait? No, don't worry, you look very pretty th. Thank you, Hestia was blushing. Okay, let's go. T sis the boy Hestia was talking about. A woman appeared behind a bush, and more began to come out. There were girls who followed Hestia worse look how handsome he is. Hestia did not lie. Hey, who are you? Gohan was surrounded and many began to caress his arm and body, which made Gohan very nervous. Ah, he has a metal arm, but what happened to you? Ah, Gohan. We're sorry, Hestia, we were curious and we followed you, and you weren't lying. Hadimeter approached Gohan and took him by the arm, making him sad and nervous. Stay away from mine, Hestia took it and Gohan ran away just by doing so. Ah, uh, Hestia ran away, don't let him escape. The two arrived at a street and when they all arrived, they couldn't find them and it was because Gohan had her like a princess while she was floating in the sky. Are they friends of yours, Hestia? They are goddesses, they are like hyenas, they can never be satisfied, yes, they are energetic, eh? Well, let's go down. No, Gohan, I want to be like this, please. Hestia pressed herself against the scion's chest, who blushed a little. It does not bother you. Don't be stupid, of course not, never if you want that, then let's go. The two began to fly while Hestia was still in the scion's arms. Hestia, how do you know me? Gohan asked while looking ahead, Hestia just smiled. Wiggits can sometimes see certain worlds, and a long time ago I noticed yours out of curiosity to a certain friend who told me about a great warrior who lived there. It was not a world that was here, but she allowed me to see it, a great warrior. Yes, silly, your father dad. Yes, she talked a lot about him. She said he was an amazing defender of life warrior, and I was just curious to meet him. Don't get me wrong, I didn't fall in love or anything. I just wanted to meet him. Gohan listened seriously. 
When I found out that he died I was sad, but there was nothing I could do, but when I realized that later two monsters would arrive and cause destruction, I couldn't continue seeing something like that. If I understand you, it was horrible. But when I found out that he had a son and that he was still fighting for his world, I was captivated. Gohan opened his eyes. I kept watching that brave warrior fight and never give up. The gods cannot intervene, but we can at least encourage. Dot Gohan Hestia, always. Gohan looked at Hestia, who was letting out some tears. Gohan, you are a true warrior. You made me see the fighting spirit. No matter how much you fell, you stood up. I am so happy to know that that warrior would end up by my side. I don't know how, but I am thankful that it did. Dash Hestia. The girl gave him a small kiss on the cheek. Your father and friends would be proud. Keep it up, Gohan, and let me watch you. How much you grow, thank you. Gohan lowered his head a little and Hestia still took it in her arms. And who was it that told you about my dad? I can say it. Her name is something special, but if I have the opportunity to introduce her to you, I will, yes, I would like to. Thank you for encouraging me, Hestia. Hestia was very happy being carried like a princess while the two were doing their thing in what looked like an alley. We see Lilith give a bag of money to a group of adventurers. Oh, this is much more than what you normally give us. The poor girl was scared on the floor looking at the guys who were bigger hula owls, a useless. Support like you to be part of the Soma family? The guy put his foot on Lilith's head, the adventurers. In that case, work until you die. And in a cruel act, he pushed her down some stairs behind her while they left laughing at the cruel act. The adventurers, Lilith looked at her hand and thought of a certain boy with his mechanical arm behaved to continue. Until I achieve my goal, the next day in the union where Aina worked, she and her partner were working naturally until her partner spoke. Did you hear Aina? Another member of the Soma family came to fight over the money again. I don't understand. The drinks sell well. He heard a rumor and it says that it is because the Soma family is delivering valuable things that require a lot of money, huh? What are you talking about? I don't know. But it seems that something is making them have to give much more effort than normal how strange, don't you think? Yes, it's as if something makes the gods themselves work. On that same day, Gohan Bell and Lilith were again on the previous floor fighting those monsters. The semi-scion killed all the monsters with ease while Bell did have problems, but it was part of the training for him to fight alone. Lilith just watched, but until one of the bat monsters attacked Bell, she would use a magic item to support him. Bell, don't lose concentration. Gohan shouted at Bell while he affirmed with a loud yes. After finishing off Minnie, the three took a break. Well done, both of you, said Gohan, taking out some boxes of food. Are you going to eat all that Gohan-sama? Yes, but of course I won't eat alone. Gohan gave them each a box, something that I miss about Lilith. You give it to me, of course, you have to eat thank you dot thank you, the girl received, somewhat surprised. You've come a long way Bell. keep it up thank you Gohan, and you? How are you continuing with your training? I still haven't found a way, the only thing I can keep doing is training until I find a way Lilith only listened, but did not ask because she thought it was perhaps something related to the mechanical arm that the scion has, perhaps he is training to move it without problems. Excusing Gohan Sama, Bell Sama, can I be absent tomorrow? Yeah, no problem, right? Gohan looked at Bell and he nodded but asked why. The Risa meeting with my family that I cannot miss on second thought Gohan San, we haven't had a day off since you arrived either I think it's good to rest a little, if that's okay meanwhile Hestia was looking at some books that she had stored, many of them were divine books, others were books that were not understood, well, things of gods. I have many books that I don't read, I don't know what to do with so many. Kaya the poor goddess, in an attempt to store one on a shelf above, fell and dropped many eye that hurt me the goddess was rubbing a bump that was forming on her head, but comically a heavy book fell on her head again making her another one. My little head. Eh? The goddess looked at the book which had some very strange symbols, or rather kanji what is this? The goddess looked at the book, it was very big, almost like a telephone directory. It's not for nothing that the poor goddess has two bumps now, but the pain seemed to go away when, in a curious way, the goddess opened the book and began to look through it. Ah, uh, yes, this book is the one they give to the gods when we become one. I had forgotten it, but I lost mine. Where did I have? That's how she gave it to me. Ha 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 the goddess was browsing the book and looking at it very seriously. He had completely forgotten the composition of the tree. Wow, the goddess stopped on a page. She did not show the book. She had it so close to her face that she did not mention a word. I didn't know this. The goddess remained serious for a few seconds until she felt her two adventurers, one of them the love of her life, arrive. Kamisama, we're back. Bell said happily. 
welcome, Hezida greeted the two but Gohan jumped on him, making the poor scion tick her so he wouldn't get hurt. Bell was just going to leave her things on the table. Kamisama what happened, nothing, I was reading and I dropped some books books. Do you have books, Hestia? Yes, although some that I don't even remember Gohan helped lift some Hestia took the big book and closed it, placing it on a nightstand that she bought despite the super dead with Hephaestus, she bought some things that she needed ha. Do you have some in our language, can you lend them to me? Gohan said. I'll lend you everything for you, Hestia said comically, and Gohan only let out a small laugh, although he admitted that Hestia seemed very pretty to him and he blushed when he saw her. Hestia was very gentle, kind and above all very playful with Gohan. The scion didn't know much about that, but he really liked that attitude of hers. Thank you, Gohan took the books. He took a few, but they were enough to read. The scion, despite being a warrior, did not lose interest in books, especially when these books were from another world. Let's see. Magic. Hey, this. That title brought Gohan's attention, and on its cover there was a kind of fruit, but half of it had something strange that the scion noticed and would catch his attention in addition to some branches that book is about a story about heaven, but that's just a story. Not even I read it mmmm looks interesting and that Hestia, ah, uh, I'm reading that one, forgive me, but when I finish it I'll lend it to you of course there is no rush Gohan left with the books to go to Bell to see if he was. Interested in reading any, maybe one of these books has information on how to access a power greater than the one he wanted. Next day Gohan was resting from the dungeon today but he also trained tomorrow and decided to rest a little to go get something to eat for the three of them were Seer and Ryu hello, is there someone? Hello Gohan Ku and Seer greeted Gohan with a nice smile. Hello, I would like to bring something sure, aren't you going to the dungeon today? No, I decided to rest today and continue training you train a lot, huh? You don't have that body for nothing. Huh? I mean, I'll take care of you. While Gohan was waiting, he noticed something on a shelf. Do I read too? Eh, yes in my free time, but this book is not mine. I left it with a client, eh? I see if you want I'll give it to you, not Hanks. Maybe the owner will come pick it up later. Well, he's been here for several days and they haven't come for him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I don't know. But I think that no one has come for him. It's fine. I'll take it, but tell me if anyone comes for it. Of course, the girl said with a smile and passing him the food. Gohan was like a favorite customer because of his appetite. Thank God goodbye, Sears goodbye was with a blush, many already knew that she was in love with him and this even made her victims of jokes from her friends, except for Ryu, who she didn't know why, but something attracted her to him, but she didn't know. I dared to say it when we arrived, Hestia was not there and Bell was resting on the couch. Agahan you arrived if you have I thank you, I was already hungry and Hestia. He's back, hey, what about that book, they lent it to me where Seer, but I didn't know I should have taken it. Oh, can I read it? If you want. Take oh thank you after two meals. Bell sat in a chair to read. Gohan was meditating in the back, trying to relax. Let's see, there are two types of magic. The first is that some races are born in it, and the second is the farna that the gods grant as a blessing. The second is a form of self-expression. What do you want? What do you regret? What do you worship? What do you swear? As Bell seemed to read the letters, they seemed to begin to disappear. While Bell was reading, Gohan continued meditating. Mbambiyan, the Super Scion. Is it possible now that I think about it? Well, I've been here for a while and it's so quiet Gohan opened his eyes and felt something climbing onto his arm when he saw that it was a lizard which he carefully took and placed on the ground. Incredible, I can feel like it's a real arm. I'm adapting to it very quickly. Dot A. Adapting, that's IT. Gohan shouted with excitement to Have to try it. If I do it, I might reach a new level. At that moment, Gohan transformed into SSJ and looked like that. Clearly, his image and face became more serious. He always was, but now he was more serious. I'll stay in this shape, well, except to sleep, so I'll get used to it. The idea is to do things that I always do in this way. Well, I'm ready at night. Hestia arrived, and when she saw Gohan doing push-ups with one arm but transformed into SSJ Gohan, what are you doing? Hello Hestia Gohan with a more dominant voice greeted Hestia who was a little surprised. If I am not mistaken, are you? Yes it's a long story Gohan told Hestia about his plan to overcome his power and through this plan he managed to do so. IZ, it's a good idea. If you say that this transformation causes you a lot of anxiety and tension, making it more suitable will give you greater freedom when it comes to fighting. Yes, exactly. That's why from now on I'll be here to control her as much as I can amean. Are you even going to go out like that? Yes, why? Just don't go killing anyone or exaggerating, okay? Hestia, with a smile, patted Gohan on the back. 
Yes, I know wallets go inside then yeah, on the other hand, and the books that Gohan had, one accidentally fell, maybe he left it in the wrong place or who knows, but it ended up on an open page that said a word. Bad. The other part was covered by another book that fell next to it. Those inferior deities, is it my idea, or lately they live very calmly with those humans, I think it is my idea, in the end, seeds are always rescued from rotten fruit. And that's what I'll do I have a goal, but for now, what will I do to achieve it, despite my position ha 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 ha, but calm down, the world alone has many stories, but all of them boring compared to yours, the tree shakes and when the fruit falls, is it rotten or is it just a hoax and his worms inside? What if I told you that just escaping won't do any good, your space is small, but vel exitium vitae why are you asking something so logical for you? Dash exitium. That annoying brat. Is she still bothering me? No, but it's time, isn't it? Not yet, wait a little longer. He will be the one, what if you don't want to, it will, but there must be a reason, you just have to search, however, it will lead us to your desire, we just need time, for now, keep using it it's annoying but good. Pretending to be from that side of the fruit, but the curious thing is that this filthy disgusting thing is where they get something they like so much the figure was taking a kind of fruit. Are you talking about that alcohol that those humans and gods drink? How can they like something so simple? I didn't know, but it serves our purpose. We just have to give them a little and they continue and continue to get us more of these things. I never thought they were so useful they will never know what divine delicacies are. On the other side of a fruit, sometimes fruit might taste better than fresh fruit. When you get addicted to it, another place, Gohan and Hestia entered the house where Bell was asleep. Bell, wake up, eh, Kemisama. Did I fall asleep? You're not used to reading, are you? Hestia took the book to look at it out of the corner of her eye and see what it was about. Gohan, are you done? Yes, it's over, the scion responded, somewhat seriously, but with a small smile, but Bell, upon noticing it, observed something strange. Gohan, why are you like this? Idis a plan that Gohan has to become stronger, and control all his power, hey, and what does that plan consist of? I will stay like this all the time except when sleeping, so I think I can control all my power, eh, that's good, yes, but something difficult, when I am in super scion my anger and my emotions get a little out of control. If I get too angry, I could lose my mind now Bell was scared because in this world there were humans and even gods who were somewhat annoying and if they were to irritate they could make a mess of Gohan, but it's the best. In fact, I think I'm starting to see better because this helps me, but I doubt that even a god can defeat you, right Kami-sama? On this earth perhaps, luckily, they do not exist in this world. Those? Those? Gohan asked seriously. They are ancient legends, they are even in the books that Gohan lent you, we call them, the rotten fruits, rotten fruits, asked Bell. They are from an ancient legend about a legendary tree, but we do not know about them because it is something that is beyond even our title, even in the books it does not say everything but well, what we know is that at the highest of the deities like us, there are others and that's where those legends come from are there beings higher than you, Kamisama? Yes, but we have never seen them, only ancient and respectable deities can talk to them, Gohan, your father, I understand, trains with one of them are you talking about Keosama, that same one, wow, incredible Gohan Bell fawned over Gohan. But how do you know about yes you said that you have never seen them, eh, yeah, ha 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 ha, for my friend your friend, you will know if she comes back, for now I will not say more. I am not allowed to talk about her Hestia said to herself in a low voice. You understand what I more or less heard in heaven is that the rotten fruits are those that are born destroyed and without their purpose how interesting, Gohan said, looking at the sky thinking about them. By the way, Bell, what book is this? He's lending me this one. Gohan. Is this a grimoire, grimoire? Bell was excited when he heard that name. What is a grimoire? It is a magical book, very expensive by the way, but the bad thing is that when you read it it stops being useful. Hestia showed her pages, and they were indeed blank there is no, and Seer lent me the book, said the scion, somewhat annoyed, but not with Bell, but with himself. Forgive me Gohan, I'm really sorry no, it wasn't your fault, but I have to go ask Seer for forgiveness Seer, who is she Gohan, Hestia had a half-closed face looking closely at the scion. She's a waitress where we eat and a very dear friend MMM something wrong, nothing, Baka Hestia comically turned around and left, Gohan was surprised and so was Bell. The next day Gohan was going to talk to Seer about the grimoire, however neither she nor any of the waitresses took their eyes off the scion. Forgive me, Seer, I didn't know about the grimoire, if anything I will pay you for it no, eh, I mean, don't the end, no one knew anything of Enzo. 
It was the fault of the one who left him. We can do nothing he was able to finish the sentence breathing deeply. I guess you're right. By the way, Gohan. How did you dye your hair? I need my hair. Yes, it looks great on you, the blonde. Too much. The poor girl could barely speak, seeing Gohan like that barely allowed her to speak. No, I didn't dye it but... Gohan, Ryu appeared behind and looked at Gohan, amazed by his change. Hello Ryu Ho, hello Tate Gohan, the usual thank you, I have to go, then we'll talk more calmly, goodbye. The scion was leaving the place. Did Gohan dye his hair? I didn't know, but he looks gorgeous yeah, hey, did you say something Ryu? No. Nothing Ryu was leaving the place. Many adventurers stared at Gohan, some of them already knew him, but seeing him with that change seemed surprising to them and some even thought he was very handsome. During the morning Bell and Gohan were training as always, however Bell was more difficult. Kamian Bell, more serious yet Thiboe attacked Gohan with much more difficulty than before. Gohan was now much stricter and harder to fight. The boy was amazed. It was as if before he was far from Gohan, now he felt untouchable, and the scion was trying to calm down. Pow not like that, stronger yes, yes the boy attacked Gohan again, Bell was very tired and so was Gohan, but Gohan was amazed at his tenacity. I'm not. I'm not going to give up. Bell created a fireball from his hand at that moment and threw it at Gohan, who was a little surprised, deflecting the ball into the sky. Hey, well, you learned something new, huh, it it. Magic, yes, that was very good, you are learning very quickly, it seems that little by little your body is evolving, let's see again eh, but I don't know how I did it Dao hat you did a while ago, try to concentrate all right. Bell stood still with his hand in front and instantly, although with difficulty, created another fireball. Interesting Gohan said seriously looking at the boy. Lukan, San, I did it yes that's amazing I'll throw it. Better not, you made it, you advanced, but it's better for Hestia to tell you what's happening. Yes, re right changing scene glug glug aha the soma family wine is delicious on the other side we see loki talking to Anna, both of them sitting in an armchair while loki drank a strange wine anjum goddess loki said that the members of the loki family do not worship their god but their alcohol not exactly for example this terribly expensive thing is a failure for them they worship their perfect item that they don't sell it to just anyone perfect yes just one sip and it makes you deeply intoxicated the only thing that unites them is their pleasure in drinking it. It can't be. Is that what everyone is like? Ain said with some sadness. The families of the gods were to form bonds, even knowing love, but knowing that they were only united by a single pleasure drinking, it was something very heavy, plus her being from the guild. That's all of them, and to do so they need a lot of money to at least drink a little. That's why they are so desperate to get money besides. Now Loki had a serious face, Aang and his vice-captain, the half-elf, Reveria, stood looking at such an act. I will tell you this only among us it is said that the elements that make the best wine of the Soma family come from a kingdom far superior to the gods, and that in that kingdom that wine is garbage what, died say, Aang was amazed. The two girls also even produced a drop of sweat. A kingdom above the gods, that's right, but not even we know those kingdoms, however it is said that many years ago, the god Soma, who was addicted to alcohol, was able to feel the pleasure of that alcohol. The curious thing is that he was told show the world a little of what our world can offer you, died a kingdom superior to you, show you that delight? Because, Noon knows, that idiot never told us, not even the gods, only his family, but for that they have to work and work like crazy, in fact they don't even spend the money for themselves, they only collect it to drink and that's it, but as I heard, it was a deal. A deal, that's right, but there is only one other god who knows about that, but I don't know which one it is, we gods thought that Soma was crazy. Even that alcohol made him addicted and a complete idiot, but why show something that in the end ends up being the cause of so much pain? Loki this time stopped his smile and became completely serious, even scaring his two daughters. I didn't even know, but the gods. We didn't like it at all, well that's all I know, Anachan, did it help you? Yes in fact a lot, despite working in the union they never told us anything that geezer is not allowed to talk about that then why are you? Loki said again, it would be worse, he smiled. Because I. I'm a joker. And they don't prohibit me from that those present had a drop of sweat falling. However, Loki was seen clenching his teeth a little and then taking a sigh. Well, Einstein, let's update your posts, understood, the girl said, somewhat nervously, opening the door for her wife. 
I will touch all your skin if you do something strange, I will cut you then cruel. The door was closing, Shay's an interesting goddess, yes, and also very intelligent and never thought I would hear that about higher realms the gods are strange, but the curious thing is. Reveria became serious. When she talked about that topic at the end, she felt a little annoyed Doi to think I made her angry. No, calm down. But surely, she remembered something that she didn't want for a second, but we all trusted her in the dungeon Gohan and Bell arrived at the place. The curious thing is that Gohan arrived as a super scion. He he he, I think this time it will go very well for us, don't you think, Gohan? Yes, in addition to being able to train my energy control, this will help me a lot to control all my power IZ you comer. Before you were more serious, I'm sorry, don't apologize. By the way, Lilith hasn't arrived yet. The two arrived at the agreed place, and when they saw Gohan on the side, they noticed an adventurer as if he was bothering the girl. Hi unhappy leave her, Gohan screamed in annoyance, and when he went to see what someone else was doing, he approached him. What do you want? Said the scion annoyed, Bell also became serious, however, more so with his partner because Gohan was very unstable in that state. Calm down, are they coming with that girl? Yes and what? You have to inform you something. Let's catch that girl together what? Gohan was a little excited because he thought something else, even though the scion was just as innocent as his father. He knows when they are referring to bad things. Come on, you're also going for the money I save, right? Both of us, let's take the money from that pack mule. What are you saying? Bell also got angry, but Gohan tried to calm down even though he was about to explode with rage. The scion sighed and calmed down. Get away from my garbage site, A-H-H. I said get away. Gohan grabbed him by the shirt and pushed him to the floor. Bell also stood next to Gohan. Gohan, calm down. Remember that now you are controlling your emotions, it's true. The warrior sighed. If necessary, leave it to me. The two stared at the adventurer who stood up very angry. Damn, the guy stood up and left the place, both of them looking at him very angry, Gohan giving a long sigh. Gohan-sama, Bell-sama. Lilith, how long have you been? Bell asked. Gohan became a little nervous thinking that he might think something bad. What were you talking about with that guy? Don't worry, Lilith, it was nothing, Gohan said. By the way, what did that guy do to you? Gohan-sama didn't do anything to me. Did you do something to your hair? So, well this. She looks good and about the rest, don't worry the girl was walking directly towards the dungeon, but her attitude was not very encouraging. Doyu thinks she's upset, let's leave her alone for a moment until she calms down, but what did that idiot mean by stealing from her? Gohan asked seriously. I don't know, but I feel sorry for her, so small and being abused Gohan clenched his fist. During the entrance to the dungeon, Ainz was at one of the entrances when he saw the three enter, but when he saw Gohan, he stayed looking at him, more amazed by the change in luck. You are. You're the one from that time Gohan looked at Ainz and recognized her for coming with the quarrelsome idiot. Some time has passed, I think so. How is your friend? Okay, training to defeat you, I understand. Tell him that I have no problem fighting with him as long as he doesn't insult people again, much less my friend. That's what I would like to talk to you about. I want to apologize for his behavior that time. The truth is he is always like that, you understand. Do not worry, and your friend? Is he okay? Hey's fine. Training too, now that I remember he was like that? Afriand, yes. But well, I have to go. Goodbye. Gohan said goodbye to Ainz while she watched him leave. Did you change your hair? I see you met Gohan Ain appeared next to Ainz Gohan, like that, the level 7 adventurer yes, he is someone powerful and now that he has that arm he is surely more powerful yes, I see that he is a good person itis, it is very friendly so, Arde is going to fool those kids, yeah but isn't that the adventurer of the rumors, poor idiot, it's going to be terrible for him a group of adventurers were talking while being heard by the two wanted be. Well, I'm sure Gohan won't be fooled. Something happens? No, it's nothing, Ain said, calming Ains, but Ain was a little serious. While in the dungeon the two reached one more floor than the tenth floor, the place, as before, is a quite different place because it had a gloomy landscape. Well, this will serve to train my energy control, said Gohan. Gohan-sama, Bell-sama, there are coming two fat creatures came running with a club, each one was two orcs. This time they are different from the ones we fought, they are orcs, Bell said. I see. Well, let's see what you're done, said Gohan, getting into a pose. The two beasts came running, but Gohan finished him off with a blow to the stomach while Bell began to cut his ligaments, making him lose his balance and stabbing him in the chest, also beating him good job, Bell, Gohan said. 
There are more coming, Lilith shouted, and two more arrived. Gohan, with a wave of ki, finished off the orc while Bell carried fire in his hand and threw it like a fireball, hitting him in the chest and defeating him. Oh, not bad, Bell Lilith, wetted it. Ed Lilith, where did she go? Gohan, upon hearing this, looked around. They took her, no, he's coming back, and that, who knows, let's see, eh. Bell noticed some strange balls on the floor Tsis, to attract monsters Gohan, upon hearing this, looked at the surroundings, and indeed more began to arrive. The orcs attacked the two but Gohan finished with two blows, and Bell also managed to beat him with two, of course with more difficulty. Lilith, where is she? Bell screamed until she felt something being torn off her leg. When they saw the girl, they both saw the girl on a mountain. Lilith, what are you doing? Bell shouted. Gohan also looked at this, but without expression. I'm sorry to both of you, but this is the end. Goodbye the girl was leaving, but Gohan looked at her seriously. Gohan, he betrayed us, I see that, but I also have my doubts they continued fighting, but why did he do it? He was curious about her family, and I investigated her. It seems that she is famous, but not in a good sense. How do you know? In the books that Hestia lent me, however, I want to know why she did this, so let's see why I understood. Let's finish this quickly. Meanwhile, the girl was running quite seriously. I'm sorry for both of you, but you are very kind. Goodbye, Gohan-sama, while the girl was running when she reached an entrance. She was kicked and pushed by the young man who spoke to Gohan. You are damn prom. You made fun of me for the last time the guy began to kick her in the face and grabbed her by the hair. How easy it was for you to fall into my trap trap. Yes, you can't use paths on this floor. There are three more on other routes, and you came to me the boy ripped off his coat, taking everything he had in him. Are you having fun? More adventurers arrived to where the two were. Look, he has saved a lot. He even has a magic weapon that's good, not. Nah. The guy threw him a sack from which a kind of giant ant came out. What are you doing? A killer ant, yes, a dying killer ant sends signals to its friends. This place will be infested with killer ants. More adventurers arrived with ants like this to the site you're crazy. You didn't want to become their food, right? Damn. The boy ran away, but was killed by an ant that effectively filled the place with them. Hello, it's burning. This was terrible, right? The man took one of them and put her in front of her. You know what you should do if you don't want to die, right? The girl was scared and could only hug herself. Dash, okay. The girl took off a key and handed it to the guy. It's the key to my store, where I exchange jewelry for money perfect. The guy gave Lilith one last blow and together with his friends he left the place quite happy to take the little Lilith and, as if she were a miserable old rag, throw her towards the ants. Ha ha ha, that's why I hate adventurers, but not if I deserve it for deceiving the kind Gohan-sama, maybe I should give up, but it hurts. Why did God make me like this, small and weak, I just wanted to survive. The girl remembered the time she was humiliated, beaten, and tortured by the adventurers. Her hatred was for that reason, because these unfortunate people used her as a pack mule. She is barely a little girl. Being treated like that was the most inhumane possible, especially coming from men I was alone. I wanted to be with someone. I lost my parents, but... It's all over. When the girl was going to be eaten, she felt how all the ants were pushed by a current of air so strong that it killed all the ants. Are you okay? Gohan approached Lilith to take her in his arms. Gohan-sama. Bell, take care of those beach ones. I'm about to explode, and if I don't control myself. You destroyed the entire dungeon? That would be bad, you know. I think so, he said with a small ironic smile. At Hestia's house she was cleaning the house until she looked again at the books that Gohan was reading. How much has happened since then, and those times I was a girl, what do they really want? There is a friend, even the gods are in trouble, but I will not leave him alone. My desire for him is true, the support of both of them is from the Soma family, eh? That family. Gohan, if it were up to me I would stop you, but... Meanwhile the two were fighting against the ants, Gohan stepped on some of them like insects. Gohan, you are not one of those who abandon people, I know that very well, I know it better than anyone. After finishing off all the ants, Bell, very tired, threw himself on the floor while Gohan stepped on the last one. Lilith, are you okay? Gohan approached the girl who was sitting with her head down. What are you doing here? Well, to save you, what else? Said the scion, lowering himself to her height, looking at her. We finished off the orcs and ran, although when more appeared, Eins came to help us and that allowed us to get there faster. No. Why did they save me? If I betrayed them the girl was excited but the scion was serious or really, did they not realize that I was deceiving them? I stole Belsama's knife. 
What the hell is wrong with them? Especially with you. Are you stupid? Or an idiot? Hey, calm down, I can't. I lied to you. With the amount of money I got, sometimes it was 40 to 60. Sometimes I was greedy and it was 30 to 70. I told you that they cost twice what they were worth. Sometimes I said things. Do you understand? I'm a bad person, a thief. The girl began to cry while Gohan screamed, only listening seriously to get up. IZ, you have done bad things and I see that you are sorry and yet he saved me. Yeah, because, because I don't need a reason to save people who need help. You did bad things, but still. You're not a bad girl. Gohan took out a key from his pocket, which surprised Lilith Mikey. But how? Flashback, the guys were running very happy until they crashed into something that was like a wall. What the hell? Gohan was in front of them, the scion have you seen a girl with a huge suitcase, H.A., those killer A.N.T.S. are surely eating it, what did you say, that bitch has given us a great loot, and like you. Pow, Gohan kicked him, sending him flying against the wall, crashing him into it, and creating a large crater. You miserable people. What did you do to him, the scion asked, very, very angry. Screw you. Pow, now it was Bell who hit two of them, the other one could only run away because of fear. Better than your Gohan, or you'll end up killing them, he he he. Let's save her, yeah, aren't you upset? No, I think she's not bad. She looks like us, what a coincidence. I thought the same thing. She reminds me of many children I saw in my old world. To survive at all costs, she is alone when Gohan was going to leave. He saw a small key on the ground and that is what Lilith wore around her neck. I Z, come on, the two ran away. End of flashback, you think it's yours, right? You're seriously giving it to me, why? I already told you, Lilith, you are not a bad girl. You are not the only girl in the world who has had to steal to eat and survive, but that does not mean that you are bad. I don't like that you steal, but I see that you are sorry. You weren't doing it for fun, right? The girl began to cry harder. Then let us help you. You did something wrong, but you apologized. Plus you're my friend. That's enough for me to save you. Your friend, the scion nodded while Lilith began to cry harder until she hugged him and repeated. I'm sorry. In tears, I know what it's like to have to fight to survive. It's hard, said the scion, stroking his head. Belt could only sigh with joy, even lying on the floor from the fight. You do not hate me? Don't be afraid. I don't hate you for that, and I promise to help you so you don't resort to that, and I won't let them hurt you either thank you, the girl said, still crying on the boy's chest. Somewhere else who's is this immense power? Said the old man sitting sweating a little. Wiley in another place we see Freya sitting with a drink. Oh my god, you're the one, the woman said very happily while she drank some of the wine. After what happened in the dungeon, we can see Freya sitting in a great sunset drinking some wine. How strong you are. You are the one and that's not all. Something tells me that you can be more, much more. Freya with a strong smile of satisfaction watched the sunset sitting very comfortably. But how strong are you? Can you be stronger? Is there something that limits you? Is it a stain? The woman drank from her wine glass again. I leave it in your hands. Otar. After what happened in the dungeon, we see the three Gohan, Bell and Lilith were walking through some destroyed ruins. I see that you are calmer, Gohan, Bell said, looking at the semi scion who just looked at Bell with a small smile. Thank you. I hope I'm not annoying like that. Don't worry. Gohan sama. Lilith, after being silent for a while, finally spoke. Gohan wanted to say nothing so as not to damage the calm atmosphere, but she was the one who spoke, which indicated that she was already much better. Are you sure of this? The girl had endless questions, but for now she limited herself to asking something that was far from the main topic to start a conversation. Hey, I deceived them, I took advantage of their kindness and even betrayed them. Gohan and Bell looked at each other, they were both serious, but Gohan was the one who approached her. It must have been hard. Gohan grabbed her head, making her blush. It's not easy to be so young and have lost your loved ones. I know perfectly well. I won't tell you that you didn't do the right thing, but you regretted it. So I don't hate you. You are our partner Lilith's eyes watered and she quickly wiped them. And they won't hurt you again. If they bother you again, I personally will keep them away. Gohan tried to contain his anger. Gohani's right. I don't hold a grudge against you either, Belsama. Well, forget about that and let's go sniff. Yes, the girl wiped her face to nod somewhat nervously. Thank you, Gohan-sama, Bell-sama, for bringing me my key. It was Gohan, Bell said, pointing at Gohan. The scion only smiled and turned his face away, but Lilith continued crying. The three arrived at the temple where they lived in a better state thanks to Gohan. Eh, so this is your support, huh? Hestia looked at Lilith, who was leaning Nicito Migu, Hestia-sama, I am Lilaruka Arde. 
I'll go make some tea, Bell said, leaving the place. I'll help you, Gohan said. Ah, but there are only three cups. No problem, Gohan and I share a cup Hestia, with a star in each eye, looked at Gohan who only looked at Hestia. Bell didn't know why Hestia didn't buy more, that is, they could buy things, maybe she didn't know how to handle money or she simply shouldn't ask. Fence that fence Bell left with a nervous smile while Gohan just laughed a little and went behind Bell. When the two were leaving Hestia stared at Lilith who was a little scared. Well, I will ask you first about your determination support. Do you swear that you won't make the same mistake again? I swear. The little girl responded immediately, and to show her that I'm not lying, I want to give her this. Lilith put the key that Gohan returned to her in her hand. What is this? My savings, hey, I can be sure that Gohan-sama's artificial arm is not cheap. I have seen the symbol of the Hephaestus family, am I right? Support. I'm not doing it out of pity, far from it. He saved me. I want to prove that I'm telling the truth. Okay, I believe you. Hestia silenced her by raising her hand because the girl was beginning to get desperate. Have no what I said. If I received it, I would be doing something that Gohan would never have wanted. He saved a friend and it is normal. And if you were not wrong when you said that it was the most expensive thing I could buy, but I want to pay for it. Hestia sat in front of Lilith Booty still don't like you. Hey, it's obvious. You lied to both of them. But leave that face Lilith clearly lowered her head as a sign of sadness because it was true that she took advantage of both of them and even more so of Gohan. Because despite her serious and even cold attitude, she was quite kind. But leave that face, if I sit at the tea is spoiling, well I won't even scold you, but I can understand why he did it. Hey, Hestia-sama? Ignorim, fine, I'll judge you for Gohan Ku and Lilith lowered her head quite depressed, even her ears were lowered. Take care of them when they are in the dungeon, especially Gohan. Lilith raised her head in amazement. Surely sees you as a little sister like Belle. For both of you, you are like two adorable brothers that he wants to take care of. And as brothers, they must keep an eye on him, of course, if you have changed. More so now than if they make him angry. Siblings, if you have changed, take care of him like a sister. When an older brother is in trouble, his younger brothers also have the right and duty to take care of them and help them. Show me that you have changed. Lilith smiled very happily. Hestia Sama. You will be part of the group and I will let you take care of him, but... But... Hey's mine, do you understand? Hestia leaned in front of Lilith who was blushing a little. We brought the coffee, said Bell and Gohan arriving with the cups. How beautiful. Dear. Hestia clung to Gohan, making him blush a little. Darling, t -sis how my mother referred to dad well, Kamisama really is in love with Bell was drinking the cup of tea, sitting on the side. Doesn't it bother you? Well, not to you, I see Gohan-sama more, as an older brother the same with me, one day I will find mine, but for now that is not my goal and which one is it, get over her, Bell lowered her head a little, earning Lilith's curiosity. By the way, why did Gohan-sama dye his hair? Fashion? The three tenths the little. And besides that, his pupils, even his body. Shall we tell him? Hestia asked Gohan who was looking at Lilith quite seriously. You know, forget it, when I prove to be trustworthy again, tell me but. Don't worry, Gohan-sama, the important thing is that I have to earn my place. Gohan did not want to hide anything from her, because she was his partner and friend, however she was determined and therefore Gohan respected her decision. Okay, Lilith, I respect your decision, thank you, Gohan-sama. After the moment we see Gohan and Bell arrive back at the dungeon, people were still rumoring about the scion who just ignored them, but in the end it was so annoying that he could only sigh. I see that you are achieving it, thank you, how long will you be like this? Not yet, I need to make it something that is my own, as if it were myself in this state, and I still have a lot of frustration, but not so much anymore, that makes me happy, Hesty, and you have also helped me a lot, thank you, not Hanks to you, Gohan-san. I have become stronger thanks to you. Something tells me that I will level up faster. You recently said that you wanted to get over someone. Who are you talking about? Doya remembered that I told you why they made fun of me. So, don't tell me. That you want to get over that idiot. I mean that one? Gohan held his forehead. You can tell that the emotion still overcomes him. Not to him. Not to her she. The blonde who was there that day. The princess of the sword. Gohan was trying to remember and Hei remembered the beautiful girl with long blonde hair who was not very expressive and remembered that it was she who apologized for her friend. So, her name is Ainz, right? That's right. She is known as the Princess of the Sword. She is very powerful. She saved me from that Minotaur. I couldn't thank her properly. That's why I want to get stronger to impress her. And oh, answered Bell strong and firm. 
holding his hand. To overcome it, hey, yes, I know it sounds strange, but if I surpass her no one will make fun of me again, and I will be recognized like her, and you Gohan looked seriously at Belle and gave her a smile at Doris and sound strange. In fact I'm glad that you have those goals, it's not bad to want to surpass someone you admire, for example I always wanted to surpass dad, but I feel like I'm still far away. That's why I want to train and be stronger. Gohan remembered Goku and that he was a warrior who never gave up. By losing him he and the earth were not only left without their best warrior, but also the one who motivated everyone to continue even if the enemy was stronger Gohan. Let's get stronger together. Bell stretched out his hand to hit her with one give me five off course Gohan did it even though it hurt Bell a little. Sorry, I have to control my strength he he he, yes, but I see that you do it well. It's not like when you took the cups that you destroyed them just by touching them. That's why we only have three sorry about that the two continued walking until they arrived inside the guild to look for Aang and give them permission to go higher since only she allowed the two since according to the rules only Gohan could but when they saw Aang, but not alone. Ainz the princess of the sword was actually next to her side. When she saw her, Belle turned pale and turned around just to leave. Where are you going? Gohan asked, looking at the strange attitude that his friend had just taken. I, I'm sorry what happened, this it. To Gohan-san, it's good that you're both here. Ein-san wants to talk to you both what's happening. Gohan asked the blonde-haired girl. Bell still couldn't look at her. I, I want to apologize to him. Ein's pointed to Bell, who turned to look at her. With him, yes, my partner made fun of you and I wanted to apologize for that Bell opened his eyes in surprise. Gohan looked at him seriously, waiting for him to respond. Bell Kuan answering was saying something seriously but Gohan stopped her with his hand. Bell, what do you say? Bell looked at the floor. Ainz was a little nervous, and it was no wonder that her partner said very cruel things to the poor boy. It's like when a veteran humiliates you just because of the experience that you don't lack. However, Gohan had taught him that being weak does not make you useless. It is true, you will have hard days, you will even want to give up and throw in the towel, but he knew that Gohan went through worse things, and in certain things they were the same. Don't worry, don't apologize, and I don't hold a grudge. Thank you for saving me that time. Bell made a brief bow towards Ainz, who nodded, bowing just as Ainz felt as if a weight had dropped. Gohan closed his eyes and smiled secretly too thanks by the way. Ainz Gohan was now the one speaking. Hey, yes, thanks to you we were able to arrive on time with Lilith. I owe you one no. It's not that big of a deal if you need something from me. Ask me, mm, 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 I'll think about it, the girl said in a stoic manner, although her voice was very pretty like her. In fact, seeing Gohan with golden hair and taller and stronger made her look at him more closely. Why did you dye your hair? Do you like gold? The girl asked, taking a lock of hair. No good, and your eyes, are they blue? Is it magic? It's good that. You look good, the girl gave Gohan a small smile to turn around. You are very strong, level 7, I know what I will ask of you, huh, what is it, train me, H-U-H. -H. They both shouted at the same time, but Bell was more nervous. Will you train her? Bell comically grabbed Gohan by the neck. I'm sorry, but I am someone of my word, and we also owe her one, she stayed fighting against those things, and that way we got there faster, but then how will I overcome her if you make her stronger? Bell cried comically. Don't worry, I never said that I wouldn't continue training you, and if you think about it like that, if she gets stronger it will be more motivation for you, don't you think? Ed, that you're right, that's fine, Gohan placed his hand on her shoulder. And so maybe I can learn to control myself more easily, Gohan squeezed his artificial hand. On the other hand, Hestia was reading by surprise, but she liked reading, especially that book. The deities that are over the entire galactic cosmos. K.O. Samus, he had heard about them, they are supposed to be the lords of the entire region that govern, galaxies, planets, the gods and humans of that border. Incredible to think that Gohan Kuen's father trained with one of them well, it's not for nothing that his writings are in Latin, the language of warriors, the incredible thing, is that there are more deities that are above them, but it does not explain how they are, nor do they explain how they are chosen, well, here it says that it is through a great tree, hey. Different fruits can also be born from the great tree. The rotten fruit. Hestia lowered the book with a serious look and a look at the floor. How long has it been since that day, my friend? What are those rotten fruits? In a dark setting in all Orin on a high bridge we see Gohan waiting on a bridge even as SSJ and behind listening to some steps we see Ainz arrive with his armor Didi make you wait. No, Gohan responded, turning to look at her. 
The truth is you surprised me when you told me that I could train you when you defeated Bet. You are undoubtedly level 7. There is only one adventurer of that level. Good to you too, Satwo. Huh? Gohan stared at the sky for a while, quite seriously. Well, he is not seeing and he only obeys his goddess, but you are friendlier the girl gave him a smile. Gohan could not deny that she was very pretty, although she did not deny that Gohan was very handsome, but that only passed through her eyes. Minds for a second and nothing more well, the truth is I don't know much about swords, but I will help you in any way I can thank you Eins bowed before Gohan after a warm up and stretching of the scion. The two stood far away and both stood in an Eins fighting pose with their sword. She didn't like fighting with unarmed people, but if Gohan was level 7, he would surely have more surprises. Eins attacked Gohan who saw Eins attack and surprisingly stopped it with one finger, surprising her. He didn't expect this, dodging it would be more logical, but he stopped it with a finger. Your good Gohan took away his weapon and stood in the same pose again. Ein stood the same way. The sword blows began and Gohan dodged some and stopped others with the finger of his artificial hand so it would be less obvious that they didn't hurt. You stopped my attacks with your finger Eins asked in a normal way although his tone showed some surprise. It's my artificial arm Eins pouted which scared Gohan a little. It's not true, and the first one, Gohan had a drop of sweat coming out. Kamion, don't lose focus Gohan lunged at her and gave her a light blow on the stomach with his palm, making her fall. I'm sorry, did I hurt you? Gohan said, offering his hand. No, I'm fine, you're fast Inno you are stronger than this, don't hold back, come at me with everything Gohan stood in a battle pose and Eins nodded, placing himself on guard again. The two began to fight like that until the next day where Eins was already quite exhausted sitting on the floor and Gohan was serious without breaking a sweat to stretch out his hand while Eins accepted it. You fight very well, even without a weapon thank you. You two how did you learn to fight so well? Itis inheritance, my father and a friend of his taught me a long time ago well. They must be very good yes, my father was strong and I always admired him. He filled me with pride and my other teacher was also someone very special Eins noticed Gohan's way of speaking, which made her a little scared because she felt that he was touching on a delicate topic. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have talked about them because of what you mean. Don't worry about that, and yes, as I see that you noticed it, but I'm over it I see, the girl said naturally but trying not to sound so empty. When you love your family you never forget them. No matter where you are Gohan listened to the girl's words and could only show a small smile, but not before getting up. Thank you for training with me, I would like to continue doing so I didn't see a problem thank you, goodbye Eins bowed and left the place in the dungeon, in a certain area of the floors, the screams of agony of the monsters could be heard that were destroyed very easily by a sword. Such weak creatures, none of them are fit for me to carry out their orders, a burly man with a red band and two large swords, one on his shoulder and the other behind him, was defeating monsters after monsters. Son of the rank seven, huh? How interesting the man showed a small smile but was interrupted by a minotaur that appeared behind him, mm -hmm, you look strong, so let's see. The minotaur lunged at the warrior who took the sword with his bare hand, scaring the minotaur and breaking the weapon at the same time. The Minotaur felt fear when he saw this and therefore his instinct made him retreat, but the fear seemed too great to flee, even the creatures had their pride as warriors. Take height, the beast watched the subject throw his weapon in front of it and little by little it approached it as a sign of trying to take it until it actually grabbed its handle and pulled it out of the ground. On the tenth floor, Gohan, Bell, and Lilith were calmly passing through the place without much to think about, just defeating monsters, but Gohan stopped for a few seconds. What's wrong Gohan-sama? No, nothing. I just felt something. Surely they must be more adventurous to fight MMM. Where will we go? Well, I would like to go deeper this time. I want to see if I can find more powerful creatures to help me increase my strength. I doubt it now that we look at when creatures attack you or even hit you that shows that I still don't control the pressure of my strength either. But why with the creatures and not us? Asked Bell. Easy, power gives off pressure when it feels threatened or when the person does it themselves. By expelling your power, it is like a warning sign, but the more lack of control you have and the more dangerous or the more power it is. In the case, I can control mine so that it doesn't do anything to people, but since monsters are threats, the pressure is released. Ed, I understand Velagahan Sama, you are amazing. No, I do not think so. Of course Lilith clenched her fists, looking with admiration at Gohan who could only sweat a little. By the way, do you both train before coming? Yes, every morning, Bell responded, holding his arm. 
but in the conversation some strange creatures appeared bell can you take charge yes leave them to me bell said seriously approaching where the creatures don't trust yourself kill them quickly okay lilith put him next to me okay the girl responded stepping aside from gohan to be sure bell took out his knife and got into a fighting stance Lilith began to throw spears with a wrist bow to support Bell. Bell began to attack all the beasts with his weapon blow by blow without mercy. Bell showed no mercy to any as the scion taught him. Don't trust yourself. Beat them quickly, especially when they are in a group. Don't create blind spots. The creatures felt scared when they looked at Bell and Gohan and ran away. Bell Sama is amazing. Yes, he is. He is learning quickly, Gohan said with a smile. Booth has no mercy even if they are weaker. Never trust yourself, Lilith. Defeating them quickly is better, Gohan answered Lilith to move on. She left behind him with her backpack, but it didn't weigh on her. However, bigger fat monsters appeared to support them. There's more, Gohan said. Yeah, Doyle want me to finish them. Okay, half and half, that sounds good to me, Gohan said with a half smile. I also have to exercise. Yudo at daily good answer the two said to each other at the same time and joined their backs to fight Gohan could be stronger but his friends when they watched each other's back it was something much better like in those times where his father and his friends joined forces to fight. While the two were fighting the warrior continued fighting against the minotaur who simply could not do anything against the warrior. He stopped his sword blows very easily while the poor creature became more and more scared and in a desperate attack he took the subject with his horns who with his simple arms broke a horn, causing it a lot of damage, and as if it were an insect, they began to hit it. Ain, on the other hand, was very thoughtful at her workplace. What's wrong? asked her pink-haired friend. I'm thinking about what the goddess Loki told me. Do you really believe that there are gods above the current ones? The pink-haired girl was a little surprised by that direct question. I don't know, maybe why do you say that? I have heard in ancient stories about gods fighting each other, but they are just stories well, they are not just stories, but I'm not referring to the current gods and oh, Ain got a little excited, but then sat down again trying not to look strange. A long time ago, I had the opportunity to read some writings, and in them they mentioned about ancient fights where many gods died I don't believe it the two began to whisper so as not to be heard. There were wars like this a long time ago. It is even said that the god Zeus participated in it and survived by a miracle Ain was shocked by what she heard. They were called. The rotten fruits the goddess Loki told me something similar I asked the god Hermes a long time ago and he answered that he only knew that they were called that way because of their origin, but nothing more. There are even rumors in scrolls and divine writings that they were the ones who created that legendary beast won't you talk about. That's right, but I only knew that if you knew that, why did you never tell me? Because it is forbidden to say it like that, Ain, Ain was sweating a lot. But they only call them rotten fruits, why? Are they vegetables? I just not known, I only know that, and that, they are beings of pure evil, those who bring death, fuck, how scary if you want to investigate further, ask the other gods, but I don't think they will answer you much the pink haired girl left the site, leaving Ain quite thoughtful. On the other hand, the man who was fighting the Minotaur looked at him completely bored, but something was happening to the Minotaur who was starting to turn red. Ready, at night, almost at dawn, Gohan arrived back at the training site. My body feels calmer, I feel it. I feel the frustration going away, I'm getting used to it there is again arrived I'm sorry I always make you wait don't worry list, yeah by the way, Gohan Kuen, can I ask you something, tell me, why are you looking for more power if you are already level 7? Because I still feel that there is more in me that I must overcome, and I do not plan to rest until I achieve it. I cannot allow myself to be weak to protect those I love seeing that seriousness and aggressive attitude. Eins couldn't help but blush a little. Who knows why? Maybe because some women like to hear from a man that they don't want to give up and not be weak, especially in this world where the strong are the ones who stand out IZ. I like that attitude Eins went on the attack. Again on the other hand, Hestia was hugging a pillow while sleeping. Ah, Gohan Kuen. How daring. Don't be so aggressive. Worse if you want it that way. My god, he never matures, said a voice next to him, but this being was floating and had very special clothes. It was a good day in the city of Oreo. A few days had passed since Gohan began his training, making the SSJ state something inherent to the being, making it like your natural state, although it sounds easy, it is not. Because the Super Scion is the maximum state of a Scion when he reaches Fury and awakens his internal power therefore, being in that form means being in a state of Fury, you lose your reason, and even if you have a pure heart like Goku or Gohan, in this state you become a being thirsty for battle and even blood. 
Gohan was walking through the city quite calmly, being with people and being in a calm environment helps a lot to relax and that's what Gohan wanted, even many adventurers made advances to the Scion but his seriousness scared them as well as excited them. Ugh, I don't feel as much pressure as before, I'm calmer, it seems like it's on the right track Gohan a voice shouted in the distance and Gohan turned around to see who it was and it was Seer who was rushing towards him. Seer. It wanted to see you, the girl hugged one arm, the flesh one, and leaned on it with a light blush. Were you coming here? Actually yes the scion was going to buy the food where Seer worked because thanks to what he did that day against the monster he gave him a discount for what he bought and they cooked very well despite it being just a tavern. That's good, let's go a sir, wait. The girl, while hugging him, took him to the tavern but what awaited the semi-scion left him with a drop of sweat. Do you want me to wash these dishes? Gohan looked at the mountain of dishes with a drop of sweat. I'm sorry, I escaped from, I mean I was taking a break and my mom scolded me and as punishment. And do you want me to wash them? Gohan asked, pointing to where the dishes were. I'll make it up to you later, okay? Well, it's okay. I think great, thanks the girl winked at him and left. I guess it will help me train my force control Gohan took a plate with extreme care and luckily he didn't break it but it was so difficult that the scion had a drop of sweat coming out while he started to scrub it. I'm doing it he said quite happily until someone approached and it was Ryu. Ryu, let me help you thank you the two began to wash dishes but Gohan had to control it with so much strength that he exerted it to the point of making a comical face that even made Ryu laugh. Are you laughing? Gohan asked, but without being upset, on the contrary he also laughed. Making that face, anyone laughs, why do you pretend to measure yourself, Ida's a long story let me guess, your strength. Do those muscles produce that much force, let's say yes interesting hey, nothing, forget it Ryu, you were an adventurer right, yeah sorry if I ask you, but why did someone so strong have to abandon that job? Ryu made a sad gesture that the scion noticed. No, forget it he was not as strong as you think Gohan, that was my defeat Gohan became serious for Givma, I made you remember something ugly calm down, and if you allow me, how did you do that to your arm, this? Gohan touched his artificial arm I guess because of the same reason as your Ryu, he was also a weakling when I saw you defeat that proud man and you showed him that with one arm you could silence him. I was amazed, you are amazing no. Note at all Gohan blushed a little. You know, whenever you want you can train with me really? Ryu was a little surprised. Clear I accept your offer, then we'll see what day whenever you want. Hey Gohan, why don't you form a team? I, yes, I am sure that many would like to be on your team. You would be a good leader I'd know. I wouldn't mind having a team, but as a leader, I don't see myself as one you helped Colonel San, and I see that he became strong because of you. Believe me, you would be Gohan scratched his head a little, quite thoughtful. If I formed a team, would you be on it? Ryu was amazed by this. I can see at a glance that you are very wise when it comes to groups, and I would like to have someone to help me lead, and Seer to Gohan turned to the wall and looked at Seer hidden in it, did you notice me? Yes, and what do you say? The two looked at each other. But me, I don't know how to fight fight Tingji's not what makes a Seer warrior, it is the heart Gohan. And so he says he's not a good leader? Ryu thought. Okay, but I won't leave my job here, me too, Gohan Kuen, don't worry, I wouldn't ask you that. Plus I want to learn a little more before doing it and I would like to learn from you too very good, Ryu said with a smile. And me too thank you they both blushed slightly, both of them were very dear friends and they didn't know how the other would take the subject if one said that she was attracted to Gohan, neither of them knew but they suspected it. After helping Seer and buying the day's food, Gohan was going directly home when he observed a large number of adventurers walking together and talking. A team, it would be nice, like in those days Gohan remembered his days with Goku, Picoro, Yamcha, Ten Shin Han, Chaos, Bulma, and even Vegeta. Everyone gathered and Goku stretched out his hand saying, Come on son. Gohan's eyes glazed over and then he reminded Trunks that he was like his brother. Gohan couldn't stand it and his tears came out. I hope you are resting in peace, Trunks, cheer up for a millisecond as if a small lightning bolt came out of his body but he also remembered Hestia, Bell, Lilith Seer and Rio Gohan had made great friends who he considered his second family, he loved them like never before. And he was willing to give his life for them dad, I will be stronger, you always became stronger for the earth and us, it is my turn now, I will do it for you, for Mr. Piccolo. For everyone, oh, but look who I found Gohan heard a voice that he recognized because it was the same one from that day. When he turned around he noticed that it was the wolf boy from that day, bet. It's you, get off. 
Hindrances, bet. Rivera scolded her companion because he was not alone. She was accompanied by a girl with orange hair and the two Amazons. As energetic as always Gohan closed his eyes in that state. His mood was very unstable and it was an excellent opportunity to control himself. Excuse me, Rivera said. She was the most polite from what you can see. It's not necessary. I was leaving anyway. Gohan turned around. Wait there. What do you want? Gohan turned to look at him. The presence gave him a drop of sweat. Bet dot don't do it. He's going to defeat you again, the two Amazons said, calming down their partner, but he continued looking at Gohan as if he was driving away bugs. Fight me again, no thanks, Gohan responded dryly. Fear, no, but fighting like this doesn't interest me, but look, I don't know what trick you used that time, but I know I can beat you what confidence you have. Use it to make yourself strong right now. We are going on an expedition deep into the dungeon. Would you like to come? Not because you are one of the losers. The four of them were scared bet, imbecile. Riveria, already fed up with her partner's arrogance, was about to shut him up, but she felt someone turning to see. It was Gohan, who was looking very angry at Bet. She started to sweat. What is this power? So weaklings, huh? Bet was smiling, but Gohan just sighed and exhaled very forcefully. It's a shame that you see people with those eyes. Maybe we are weak in a small group, but I love them and I wouldn't replace them for anything. I advise you not to talk about people like that because you could swallow your words. A warrior is not in power. But in the heart, Gohan touched his chest with his mechanical arm. I assure you that Bell will become so strong that no one will ever make fun of him again. Good luck on your expedition. Gohan turned around and left the place with the bags of food in his hands. Those present were amazed. Gohan, despite the provocation, did not let himself fall so easily. He acted more mature than they thought. You should learn from Shut Up. When he comes back, I'll make him immense. He hasn't done anything to you. Shut up, Tioni. And you also laughed at his friend. The girl turned her face away. Enough, let's go, Riveria told those present who were leaving behind her. Gohan came to a wall and leaned against it giving a loud sigh. Gohan didn't want to admit it, but he wanted to hit the guy until he cried out for mercy, but he knew it was better than this, and as he said himself, one day his disciple would silence them. Bell, one day, you will be so strong that no one will make fun of you again, I promise, but Gohan noticed that he did it, he did not let himself be overcome by the impulse, and that suggested that he was achieving his goal. On the other hand, Hestia was awake sitting in her bedroom. It's been a while. You come to visit me. I just wanted to visit. You know I can't be in these worlds so easily. It must be great to be in your position. Sometimes I wonder how I met you things happen. Yes, if you always repeat that, you know it's annoying. Ha 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 ha. You never change Hestia. Hey, can I ask you something? I said about Sun Gohan. I see you figured it out. I'm surprised that you asked me that. I thought having your prince would make you happy you. Da, did you send him with me? The voice that was covered by a shadow only showed a smile. Mean someone else but why? I'm not saying I'm not happy, but... You're alone, right? Yes, Gohan is outside and Bell is training in the back. No one listens to us, you know what multiverses or realities are, right? I'm not stupid. They are alternate worlds to the realities where we live exactly. There are infinities. For example, worlds where Gohan died fighting with those androids, etc. Others where his father is a ruthless killer, others where he died in Namek, others where he is a fool's fool, etc. What's the point? Hestia, forgive my rudeness, but although you are a goddess, you are a minor, but I trust you, and that is why I tell you this. But for the moment I cannot reveal more weight, let's see, you tell me all this, and now you tell me. Words can also mean death. But this time we are not talking about any reality I didn't understand Hestia, something big is coming, that I don't even know about, hey? That's all I can tell you, my friend. I'm sorry it's not enough. We'll see you again. Wait, is that all? Hestia tell Gohan to go to Mayakuji Mountain when the time is right. There he can find in the future what could help in the future Mayakuji Mountain. Here, I'll give it to you, but please let it be at a critical moment. I, I say goodbye. Goodbye, friend Hestia. The girl disappeared, leaving a very thoughtful Hestia Mayakuji Mountain. The day passed and a new one arrived. We see Gohan training with Ainz who could not counter Gohan even though the Scion dodged an attack with his sword and took her by the arms, but Ainz managed to get away to face him. You freed yourself, nothing bad, Gohan said with a slight smile at Ainz. I thank you for training me this week, as you know I will go on an expedition for a few days, and when I return I would like to continue training off course, delighted I found out about my partner. I apologize again, I just bowed before Gohan, who could only half smile again, don't apologize for those things. I wish you good luck on your expedition, thank you very much, the girl gave the scion a smile. Without a doubt she was very pretty, or rather beautiful. Gohan saw him like that, but didn't say anything. 
After that, Gohan and Bell train now, without a doubt, since Gohan trains Bell, the boy has changed a lot to the point that he was not that cowardly child from before. Now Bell was more aggressive, stronger, and determined. His way of fighting was much better. Not bad, Bell. You have improved. A lot thanks to you, Gohan-san. I feel that little by little I will catch up with Ein-san Doyle want to reach her that much. I still haven't forgotten the humiliation of those days. If I reach it, I will know that I can beat anyone, and later, I want to know that I am a rival for you. Gohan-san Gohan opened his eyes in surprise, but then smiled in a big way. I hope to see you that day thanks to you. I have arrived. No, you have done everything, and I think it is time to test that new strength. By entering the dungeon ourselves, are you talking about the three doing an expedition? Yes, exactly. I think it would be fun to do something as a team if you want that upon entering the house and organizing to leave. Bell was organizing his armor so we'll go very deep this time. Let me tell you that I am excited to look at deeper floors me too. I'm curious. To see the monsters below Hey Gohan, but are you sure the three of you are going? Yes, don't worry, we will be fine and don't forget, don't distrust yourself. If we see that it is difficult we will return okay. I should go get the food Bell was going to the kitchen. Gohan, my cute Gohan Hestia, arrived to hug Gohan, making him blush a little. I will miss you. I hope it doesn't take too long, don't worry. We'll return tonight. I'm not going to take them that deep. By the way, have you finished training that Eins? Okay, I don't know what. Hestia comically pouted. Yes, she went on an expedition with her family, you understand. Take care of yourselves. Good luck, thank you, Kamisama. Have a good day. Gohan, Hestia said goodbye, doing something similar to a wife. Gohan nodded and left, but Hestia looked at the leaves. Ah, the statistics of both, but it was too late because both had left Hestia just sat down to look at the two sheets incredible. Bell has improved a lot and Gohan, well, what can I say is amazing, there is no adventurer who is capable of challenging him, perhaps not even the gods themselves fence. Hestia at that moment remembered what her friend who recently visited her told her. Mount Miyokuji. But that place is... Hestia took out what her friend gave her. It was a small box barely the size of her hand. Do not use it or open it until it is time. It may be your last trump card, but what do you mean by that? On the other hand, in the Orio district near the entrances to the dungeons there were a large number of adventurers gathered. A small blonde boy was standing in front of everyone next to a flag with a symbol similar to a clown. It was the symbol of the family of the goddess Loki. Now we will begin our expedition deep into the dungeon. As before, we will divide into two teams so as not to fill the upper floors. I will lead the first team, Gareth the second. This time we are accompanied by blacksmiths from the Hephaestus family. We will meet on the 18th floor. From there we will go to the 50th floor. Our goal is the area. That no one has reached the 59th floor the mission has been carried out. A greedy adventurer opened the box. Freya was listening to someone while drinking wine IZ. But a minotaur will not be enough to help him get stronger. What do you mean by that? I want to help him overcome that need to control his impulses. It seems that is what he is training now, control your impulses. That's right. I don't know what you mean either, but I want to see the results. That's why I want to use he and it with Loki's children. It seems that one of them dared to offend him. Freya was drinking a little of his wine, doesn't it refer to? That's right. He is just a small defense to not enter that part of the dungeon. I want to contribute something of my, for him. He he in the dungeon, Gohan, Bell, and Lilith walked very calmly until Bell stopped. Hey, Gohan Lilith, don't you feel something strange, strange? Lilith asked. Yes, as if they were looking at us at that moment, the two of them were taking a slight look around Gohan, especially there seems to be something strange, Lilith said. Gohan was very serious looking at every corner of the floor until he felt something. There are no adventurers, nor almost monsters on the other hand. Bell was very nervous because this reminded him of that day where the Minotaur almost killed him. Minotaurs are quite strong creatures that not just any adventurer can take down. But Gohan at that moment something that made him get quite nervous and turn his head I can feel that a great power from far away. It is so great that I feel it from here. The two became nervous but their fears passed on to others when they watched and heard loud footsteps arrive and make the whole place resound. Palm, palm, the Minotaur appeared and in his hand he had an adventurer whom he had left seriously injured to throw him to the side of the three what, a Minotaur, Lilith was scared because Minotaurs should not be on this floor, it is a very low floor for a Minotaur. Gohan looked at the subject's body and upon seeing him in that state he became angry with the creature like never before, however the subject grimaced in pain, implying that he was alive. Gohan Sama, he's alive. Lilith shouted happily, making Gohan approach the subject. Are you okay? Hey, Grua, run away. They are monsters. The subject held his arm tightly trying to hold back the pain, are they? 
Bell asked, looking between his eyes at the Minotaur, but there is only one. No, there are more. They are worse than that beast and faster. And they go directly to where my friends are. They are very strong. No one can against them. They are going to kill them. Please. Help them. The subject began to ask between tears Loki's family. Gohan asked, remembering Ainz. Gohan-sama, can you defeat that? Gohan, I know what you're thinking. Take Lilith and go help them. I'll take care of the Minotaur. Bell took out his knife and looked at the Minotaur who seemed to rest his gaze on Gohan. Bell-sama, Gohan-sama can take charge. I don't want to. I want to face it myself. Bell suddenly raised his voice to Lilith, who was amazed. Gohan looked seriously at Bell. If I want to surpass Ainz and never have them laugh at me again. This is my chance. I won't disappoint you, Gohan, Bell. Bell-sama. Gagahan, don't waste time. You don't want to see innocents die again, right? That family made fun of us, but I don't want them to die. It's our chance to show. How strong we have become. Gohan opened his eyes in amazement. Watching Bell speak like that amazed him. Even though he looked a little afraid, Bell was facing that beast. It was like watching Trunks when he challenged the androids. Seeing him like that amazed him. Lilith was no exception either. She was amazed by this. For her the two were very dear people, but she was no one to forbid them to fight either. Sure, sure, Lilith, let's go. Gohan took Lilith and carried her on his shoulder despite the suitcase. This was nothing for the scion. Bell, it won't take long. I'll finish quickly. Do it too. Eno the two gave each other a smile. Gohan proceeded to take the badly injured subject in his other arm. Hold in tight Lilith. I can feel them. If they are very strong, got too strong, I would say, okay, Gohan burst out directly through the open part of the floor. This alarmed the Minotaur, but Bell interrupted his path. Where do you think you're going? Gohan said quite seriously, the Minotaur making a sign of annoyance as if he had to eliminate him first. He got into a fighting position. That's right, it's time for my revenge take. Bell launched an attack with his knife towards the chest of the Minotaur who managed to stop it with his sword. With his free arm he hit Bell, which he managed to dodge, but grazed his cheek, drawing some blood. But Bell did not stop here and also threw a blow, hitting the Minotaur in the face, but he took advantage and took it from him to throw him against the wall. The Minotaur turned around, but he didn't wait for Bell to come out of the rock somewhat hurt. We haven't finished Monster G-R-U-A-H-H-H-H. The two of them launched themselves against each other, clashing their bell weapons with great difficulty, keeping the lion against the Minotaur, who seemed to be very calm until he felt himself being dragged, which impressed him a little. Changing location on another floor further away from the current, quieter one, there were two very injured adventurers, all of whom were in a larger area to properly care for them. Did several Minotaurs appear? Bet was with his group helping the adventurers they were monsters. They were on the ninth floor. Will they be survivors? I doubt it. It's been a month and no sightings have been seen. The important thing is that they are fine, but these were different. They were real monsters. Pom-pom. Silence the boy with blonde hair said while some small rocks began to wobble on the ground where those present were silent. Pom. Pom. Pom, pom, pom. Something is coming. Grua, a huge sword came out directly towards those present who dodged it, but the attack created a large crater theater attacking U.S. The blonde-haired boy shouted while everyone took their positions. Riveria, the wounded understood. The green-haired girl looked at a short reddish-haired girl who nodded, however. Boom, the two were hit by a strange black energy causing an explosion. The two girls were left speechless as they saw the two clearly die. Three creatures appeared out of nowhere. They were minotaurs, but they were different, more muscular, with armor that was a little smaller than normal, although due to their size they were not as scary. Minotaurs. So small. Bet mocked until the boy Finn and Riveria spoke with a trembling voice. Minotaurs of damnation? They heard about them, they are supposed to be legends. What are you doing here? One of them, as if giving a war cry, charged a blow towards everyone which they dodged, but with great difficulty. How fast, despite its size, stroke. P.O.M. Dash one of them hit the boy, throwing him against the wall captain. I finally defeat. In one blow. Reveria said completely in shock until he launched a blow towards Reveria, but one of the Amazons managed to block it for her. However, the girl was thrown away and was taken by the other Amazon. Unhappy, the girl took out a giant sword and threw herself at the Minotaur, who stopped the weapon with two fingers and smashed it against the ground. It's very strong, damned, bet now who attacked carrying fire in his legs I will tear you to pieces, but the minotaur grabbed him by the foot and hit him directly against the floor with a whip. 
Irons was now the one who launched himself against the Minotaur that was releasing Bet. The two saw each other, and with the defense of his forearm he stopped Irons' attacks that managed to make him move more than the others did. The amazing thing was that the Minotaur seemed to fight with intelligence unlike the others who faced this era. He was agile, making good decisions when defending and attacking. Incredible, it's as if I knew martial arts. The attacks came and went as the other three watched Irons managed to dodge an attack and get into position. The Minotaur cracked his knuckles and neck, surprising the girl. The monster began to do a kind of shadow boxing type warm-up and made a provocative pose for Eins. As if she felt mocked, Eins threw herself against the monster who launched herself, stomping on the ground and in seconds reaching Eins to give her a series of blows and finally a spinning kick, making Eins crash into a wall. What power, Bet stood up, very hurt, looking at the monster who seemed to use his thumb to wipe his nose. Bed got up and threw himself at the monster that blocked his blow, and with an axe-style kick he buried it in the floor to start walking. No one can beat them, maybe they are at the same level as Otter. Finn said, getting up, very hurt. The Minotaur charged against Ainz who stood up very hurt. A-I-N-S-S was the cry of everyone, watching the monster approach Ainz, she closed her eyes until P-O-M-M, a blow threw the Minotaur against the wall, surprising the other three, everyone was silent, seeing someone in front of Ainz who was tall, had a good physique and was wearing an orange and blue dogie. Monster, you will fight me, Gohan appeared with Lilith on his shoulder and the other adventurer on his arm. The scion looked very seriously at the four who were staring at the scion. In a certain seat in what seemed like a dark place where there was a tall man sitting, he was calm, very serious, this man was the guardian of the dungeon, Uranos. Uranios is an old man with a long beard and wears a black robe, like others, he is a god in charge of the dungeon, however, he was now quite nervous looking at a screen. I can believe it, minotaurs of damnation, how come they are here, those creatures are supposed to belong to the previous dungeons for the KO heroes, how come they are here? Ureno spoke to himself, but the nervousness was that it seemed to make him talk to himself. Poor children, they will die. However, the old man was amazed to see that one of them was knocked down with a kick and thrown against the wall. That is. Returning to the dungeon Gohan was looking seriously at the minotaurs that were placed in front when he saw how one was thrown towards a wall. Those monsters are the ones that give off this great power, they are different from the monsters we have faced before Gohan looked at the three very seriously while lowering Lilith. Lilith, do you know what those are? No, I have never seen them. They are minotaurs, of course, but they are very small, almost your height, yes, but they are very strong Finn, Tiani, Bet, and Ainz as Reveria watched Gohan and his support come to the aid of Ainz herself. Ainz, are you okay? Gohan turned around and helped the girl. Gohan, how did you get here? Or rather, what are you doing here? He told me about those creatures and I moved as quickly as possible. Finn was amazed to see how that boy knocked down the minotaur with a kick. He was aware that there was another level 7 adventurer, but even under his approach, if this Minotaur and Otter fought, maybe not even Otter would be well served. Istit Gohan, the second of level 7, Reveria helped cure Tioni and her sister Istit Yu, Bet got up with great difficulty. I see you're still alive, Gohan said in a mocking tone. Sorry for disappoint you, it was a joke, relax Gohan looked at the wall and from there the Minotaur came out again, however he gave a small spit to the ground, however the blow seemed to have hurt him. Ish unharmed, Lilith was scared to see that Gohan's kick didn't seem to affect him. What Lilith doesn't suspect is that it did hurt him and it showed a lot on his face. What are you doing here? Reveria approached Gohan. To help obviously, Gohan responded, still looking at the beast. You, even though. If I lived in resentment, I wouldn't gain anything I, I didn't know what to say. However, those are minotaurs of damnation. They are very strong IZ that Lilith helps the wounded. Leave this to me, Gohan approached the minotaurs with a face full of somberness. The others were going to approach, but the first made a no sign and began to take off his wristbands. Don't be so cool now. Do I want to die? Or what? Gohan, completely angry, shouted at Bet, who instinctively fell when he looked at Gohan's look. Even Lilith was scared. Gohan-sama, Bell-sama. I know, I'll finish quickly, Gohan said, getting into a fighting position. The Minotaur faced the Scion in a boxing position, which in his mind made Gohan look more serious. It's time for you to fight with someone your size, fight the Minotaur launched himself at Gohan, coming towards him, but Gohan dodged his blow, surprising him, and Gohan hit him directly in the face, throwing him against the floor. The poor creature was dragged along the ground. Each one of those present could not help but open their mouths and eyes in such a way to see Gohan beating him in such an easy and even impossible way, 
even Rainus from his place could not say anything other than being amazed. The other two watched their partner fall so easily in battle that they faced Gohan. Behave nothing against you, but I must beat you. You have hurt innocent people, and if I don't stop you, you will continue like this. The other three took off their armor to do the same thing this one did. Incredible, did I defeat him? Reveria and Finn couldn't help but say that. Bet didn't want to admit it, but he was amazed and also nervous. Is that so strong? Tiny and her sister Tiona were also amazed, but they also liked that. Maybe because they were Amazons, a tribe of warrior women, seeing a strong man attracted them. Tioni was, in a way, attracted to Finn, but it was because of his kindness, his warrior side as with her sister made them react differently. P.S. They didn't fall in love with him, but he did attract them, did you see? I defeated him with one blow. Yes, I think so, Tioni responded somewhat nervously. Hey, but don't you think it's curious, and what? Tiona asked. He is something special, like a real warrior side. Gohan launched himself against the other three who at the same time launched themselves against Gohan. Incredibly, they began to throw punches and kicks quickly, but Gohan dodged them and stopped the three and very easily because his face showed a lot of seriousness. Ish fighting against the three of them, said Reveria Eines. On the other hand, she was looking at Gohan in amazement. While this was happening, Bell and the Minotaur were fighting. Bell launched a thrust at him and amazingly grazed his cheek and the Minotaur responded by launching sword attacks in different areas while Bell dodged them but some managed to graze him. Damned Bell kicked him in the face, which made him bend a little and at the same time got angry, launching a blow that made him crash against the rock. I, I will not give up. Bell stood up again, wiping the blood from the grill on his lip. If I don't defeat you... I will not be able to see Gohan's face. The Minotaur lunged again and crashed his weapon against the ground. In one maneuver he dodged it and with both hands he took the knife and buried it in the Minotaur's side and with a loud scream he made it slide causing a large cut that made him scream. No firebolt. Bell put his hand in front of him and started creating a fireball but he didn't stop. Not yet. Concentrate while the Minotaur was holding his wound. Bell took the opportunity to begin to concentrate and something began to happen to him. A very thin white aura appeared in him and began to concentrate. Now. G-R-U-A-H-H-H-H. However, it was not enough because the Minotaur recovered and hit him with such force that he was dragged along the ground. Damn, Bell got up quite agitated. Gohan, on the other hand, was beating up the Minotaurs who couldn't do anything and Gohan managed to knock the second one down with one kick, throwing him against the wall. One is missing, said the Scion, looking at the third one who was quite injured. I'm not using my true strength, but I can feel it. I can control my power better. I no longer feel so agitated and so upset. I can calculate attacks better and keep my strength under control without completely accessing it. I knew it. The training. It's working. That boy is amazing. He is capable of fighting the four of them alone, said Gareth, amazed, next to Finn. If I am not mistaken, he is the second level seven, right? That's it, Finn responded. How young? Gareth said. That's Gohan-sama. Cheer up Lilith encouraged Gohan while bandaging Ainz. She didn't do it for pleasure, but it was a request from the Scion or not. Bell's key is decreasing, Gohan said to himself, clenching his fists. You are amazing, you are more intelligent than the other creatures I have met here, however. I will finish this now, prepare yourselves however, the four of them joined their hands together and created a red energy. Gohan did the same but it was golden in color, creating winds that covered everyone. Now, G-R-U-A-H-H-H, on the other hand, Freya appeared as if she was feeling pleasure while holding her cheeks with her hands. What a beautiful view, Kura up. Do it the combatants launched their attacks, but, as expected, Gohans attacked the Minotaurs, scaring them and being devoured by the attack, producing a strong explosion. Gohan just looked serious showing that he had to make no effort, but even so from within he seemed to be powerful beings. When the smoke cleared, the others looked at this feat in amazement. Ready, Lilith, we're leaving air. Like that, whatever you say, the girl said. Wait, Gohan, I ain't stopped the scion how, how do you have so much power, let's leave that for later, my friend is in trouble, and I have to run Gohan took Lilith and they left the place in the blink of an eye. That boy. Fiam, Gareth was about to speak, but Ainz left the place just like Gohan left. Wait, Ainz bed got up and also left behind her. Wait both of you, Tioni yelled at them, but it was late she looked at Finn who nodded. I guess we owe them the favor, Gareth, can you take charge, yes, it's okay. The latter responded. 
Meanwhile, Uranus was in shock died to defeat them alone, returning with Bell. He and the Minotaur clashed weapons with each other. Bell was very hurt and the Minotaur had minor injuries apart from the cut. Bell managed to cut one of his cheeks, but the Minotaur hit him directly and sent him crashing against the rock. The Minotaur was preparing to swing his sword at Bell, however he stopped when a current of air was in the place. Both of them turned to look. Bell, Gohan shouted with Lilith on his shoulder. Gohan, are you done yet? Yeah, I see. I think I'm taking too long, said the rather beaten boy. Bell Sama, let Gohan. I didn't want to. Leave the stubbornness. I want to fight this battle for myself. I don't want anyone to get involved. No one did Belsama dot Gohan Sama tell him something. However, Gohan was serious looking at the boy. Gohan understood what Bell was trying to do. It was pride, the pride of a warrior. Gohan was half scion and his warrior blood made him see Bell with different eyes than anyone else's. It was pride. Gohan was proud. He felt proud. Of course, he was worried about Bell. It was true, but he wanted her to be strong, to face danger. Because in life, we will face many things. If you hide behind someone, you will not grow. Sometimes you must take risks to win, and he knew it because that made him look like his father, a warrior who did not give up or abandon a fight. Gohan also knew that because his life taught him that. Bell, finish it. Gohan shouted, surprising Lilith. Bell smiled and held his knife in a new pose. Understood, Bell began to walk slowly towards the Minotaur, and after a few seconds he ran away and their clashes began again. Gohan Sama, Bell Sama no. Trust Lilith, if you continue to belittle him, the less he will grow, Bell can do it, trust him, said Gohan, looking at his disciple. Maybe if I had never looked down on Trunks, we would have won against the androids a long time ago, forgive me Trunks, I won't make the same mistake, I will trust Bell. I trusted him the two began a battle until Gohan felt the Loki family arriving behind him. Eins, it wanted to see if I could help. Hey, if you leave him like this, he's going to kill him, said Abet, smiling arrogantly at a serious Gohan. Shall we help him? Riveria asked. Don't get involved, said a serious Gohan, alarming everyone a little. He will win. I trusted him. Gohan looked at the fight that Bell was fighting in an excellent way. However, the Minotaur was also showing his superiority. Isn't that the tomato? Ha! He likes Minotaur's Gohan listen seriously, however, he remained serious, watching the fight, and he began his mockery again, but Gohan tried to calm down and did so. It's the one who saved Ainz, yes, that Minotaur surely wanted to kill him for a long time, don't underestimate him, said a serious Gohan, making him click his tongue. He will win, he will but isn't it level one? He won't survive, Tiona said to Gohan who was still serious. He'll win, said a serious Gohan, he was just saying that, he didn't respond or pay attention to the others, he was focused. Bell clashed his weapon against the Minotaurs, the attacks came and went, sword and knife, dodged one, dodged the other, hit one, hit the other, again their weapons collided and the sequence was repeated however in an instant, Bell began to move better, dodge better, even doing and attacking with martial arts movements. Wasn't it level one, asked Tiona, beginning to shed a drop of sweat. A month ago, I had no experience with Bet's eyes. Did you do it? Finn looked at a Gohan who was still serious. I just taught him. He is doing it for himself. What the hell did you teach him? Bet made a face at Gohan who was still serious. Come on, Bell. Finish it. You want to be a strong warrior, don't you? You want to show the world how strong you are? Prove it. Show them. Gohan began to say out loud. As if he heard and did so, Bell took his position again and prepared to fight, launching himself against it. However, it suddenly broke while the Minotaur launched the sword blow to avoid it from a maneuver towards the sky, placing its hands on its side, which amazed me. A little to the scion H.A.A.A.A. Bell amazingly launched a fast key attack passing through the Minotaur's chest and coming out against the wall producing an explosion. The Minotaur remained standing and Bell fell to the floor without being able to support himself. Silence remained in the place so that after a few seconds Capum, the Minotaur fell dead to the floor and generated a large gem those present looked amazed as a level 1 adventurer defeated a high story Minotaur. Belsama was all an astonished Lilith could say. That idiot did it, said Abed, fascinated by what had been done, everything was silent until Gohan was the first to break the silence, walking towards Bell, who was getting up very difficult and hurt. Bell. Gohan. You did it was all a Gohan said who went from a serious face to a smile to bend down and help Bell support him on the idiot. Yes, I did it. Bell started to cry to hug Gohan who hugged him. 
I knew you could. You are a warrior. I am proud of you thanks to you. I was able to do it. Did I become strong? Yes. Together let's get stronger. You reminded me of my father. That made me more motivated to get stronger and overcome my limits. Thank you. Belsama, Gohan Sama Lilith ran towards the two to hug them who hugged her the same way. Also your Lilith, thank you for supporting us on the other hand, Ainz looked at the scene with a smile. I think they shut you up, Bet, said an Ainz who was going directly to the group, Bet clicked her tongue and only turned around to leave, but in her face I noticed something as if she wouldn't leave him alone, maybe it was her fault. Go on San, I thank you again for your help don't worry, Ainz, well I must take Bell and Lilith, I think we had enough adventures for today. Gohan said goodbye to Ainz, who with a smile nodded at what was said and watched the small group retreat, Bell in the arms of Gohan and Lilith, to a side in the end the two groups walked away and the day passed. However Freya was sitting with a smile very different from the one she normally wears. Do I defeat the Minotaurs of Damnation so easily, said an otter with a drop of sweat. Yes, and he controlled himself, it was not his true power how, said a surprised warrior. It seems that she was able to control her emotions and is able to use that beautiful golden power at will. Oh, just by looking at it, the goddess licked her lips in the house. There was a bell with bandages asleep in his bed, I see, so I get over it, said a very smiling Hestia. If you had seen him, he fought in an impressive way. It's strange that you let Bell fight alone and wanted. Dot to finally show the world how strong he had become, besides getting into his fight would have been dishonorable for him, you're right, but he did it. And all thanks to you, how you've changed things here, my hero. Hestia stood up and placed her arms around Gohan's neck, making him blush a little. Hestia, the goddess gave him a kiss on the cheek, thank you. You don't know how happy I am to have you with us, the goddess, as a last touch caressed his cheek to retire. Rest Gohan Kuin the scion could only touch his slightly red cheek, he was very innocent, but it was clear that he learned about the subject. This did something to the scion, it was as if his strength rose even higher also, when he saw Bell fight. He felt that his strength was rising, perhaps because of his scion blood, but also when he fought against the Minotaurs, wanting to protect Ainz and the others, he felt more of an increase in power. His human and scion blood, when united, created a power. And Gohan that he didn't know Hestia arrived at her room and threw herself on her bed to hug the pillow. It kissed him, because it wasn't on the lips, Hestia Baka, Baka the goddess began to comically hit herself with the pillow to throw herself onto the bed. I'm going to sneak into her bed tonight, if that's what I'll do. The goddess began to laugh comically, but when she turned to her nightstand she noticed the book now that I think about it. I had not heard of that kind of monsters, minotaurs of damnation, let's see, let's see. Here it is, but Hestia's face was filled with amazement. It can't be, those are monsters from the KO dungeons, what were they doing here? Those dungeons are supposed to no longer exist, wow, where did they come from? Well, I'm glad that Gohan defeated them after the event that occurred in the dungeon. Some time passed Gohan-san. Are you okay? Ain, who saw the scion again, asked him quite nervously. Yes, of course. Why wouldn't it be? We heard that you fought against Minotaurs of Damnation on the dungeon floors. Ain couldn't help but raise her voice, which surprised the adventurers and even the workers there. But why the astonishment? You were stupid. Those beasts are legendary monsters. Everyone knows it. So I remember that Hestia told me that, Gohan said, crossing his arms. We still don't know why there were monsters of that level in the dungeons. They are beasts that should not be in these earthly plains, said an Ain with a drop of sweat. Well, even more so, they were very dangerous, Gohan said seriously. If we know, we will take care of it right now, but it seems that it was just those well that makes me happy by the way. Bell, I noticed that you are quite serious and focused, huh? Well. Yeah. Level 3. Ain scream was so loud that literally everyone was perplexed. Level 3 in just out a month and a half. Bell scratched his head a little nervously. That's right, I'm proud of him. Gohan took him by the shoulder, showing a smile to the boy who was smiling too. All thanks to you Gohan Ain looked at the duo in amazement. On the one hand, one defeated a group of mythical beasts alone and the other reached level 3 in no time. You two are amazing said an Ain looking at the group quite happily. By the way, those minotaurs didn't expel any gems, not now that you mention it, but they did release some strange objects mmmm, how interesting, Ain said quite thoughtfully. Changing places we see Bell putting on his shirt level 3 in just one month, Bell, you make me proud, said a very happy Hestia. Thank you Kamisama, but it is undoubtedly thanks to Gohan Nobel you did it, you tried hard and you trained like never before, you deserve your reward Gohan, well I'll leave you alone, I'm going to arrange some things, well, and now it continues. My pretty Gohan, Hestia threw herself on Gohan who was sad. 
Wait, Hestia, I can do it alone. Moo, what a party pooper the goddess made a pout, however, seeing Gohan take off his dogi and begin to show his Greek god physique made her blush and put some rags on her nose. Hestia, dash. I'm fine, the goddess said comically, biting her lip and covering as much of the blood as she could. It's supposed to be the gods who tempt, not the other way around, said a rather red Hestia. Well, let's see your level now, although I don't expect anything new because everything is always at the highest level. However, when she put the paper behind her drop of blood, Hestia was perplexed. The paper immediately showed all the writing. But it was golden, and it also seemed as if a golden fire enveloped the Latin letters and the number. What power, said an amazed Hestia. When Gohan arrived, he already had an amazing power, but now. I can't describe it, it's abysmal, and it keeps growing and growing every second Gohan turned to look at Hestia, who was smiling. Gohan, dot, don't you have limits on your strength, Hestia, a nervous Gohan asked. Ah, no nothing Gohan, your training works, it seems that your power increases, do you think so? Gohan stood up and looked at his arm. Yes, but you will only know when you free it, at the moment you have no skills, but I doubt you will need them better not, I don't want to make a fuss, plus I still don't completely control my power. I sit because you still break the dishes, Hestia approached in a daring way, making her arms squeeze her bust and neckline. Seeing her so close, Gohan blushed a little. Yes, sorry about that, don't worry about that at all. Hestia got closer and closer to Gohan, who blushed a little more how cute she is, he thought. Ah, uh, I, I have to go out and buy food, that's what Bell said. Silly Hestia took the scion's hand to caress it. Hestia, I Gohan looked more closely at Hestia Yotsan blame me, being like this, any girl gets like me. Hestia smiled more to take Gohan from the chest to think I'm doing it achieving, asked the blushing scion. You will know soon, said a calmer Hestia, and a more tender smile, but that made her look prettier. Well, I have to go out. See you in a while, will you go out? Where? Let's see their nicknames, nicknames. When Bell comes, he will explain it to you. I must go, Hestia gave him a kiss on the cheek and left. Gohan was left with a doubtful face again, but more so because of the nickname changing places in a rather large temple. We see Hestia wearing a fine dress, Gohan defeated for Minotaurs of Damnation. Without a doubt, a great reward awaits him, said a very proud Hestia. She did not expect any money, but was proud of her children, especially Gohan. Hello, Hestia, someone grabbed her shoulder, take it heard that your son defeated four minotaurs of damnation. I am amazed, ah, yes, I see that everyone knows it, are you kidding? Your son defeated four beasts from the supreme dungeons, only gods or mystical heroes fought there, yes, but that only opens another question, what were they doing? Who knows, maybe they were survivors of some ancient one, remember that the Kaosama of the West created some in different areas of the galaxy maybe, but we never heard of one on Earth MMM, good point, but anyway, it is in the mouths of all the gods like your son Bell who is at level 3 in a month, even the princess of the sword took a year to level 2 now that you mention it, someone from the Takamikazuchi family also leveled up, right, yes, Makoto Yamato, I'm going to be serious in this. Denata Stake raised his arm. Yezum too the two arrived at a large door with some symbols that opened. Let's get good nicknames for our children where Gohan it. Was it because of the nicknames? said a smiling bell. What's that? They are the names by which you are known in everyday life. It is something like a title a title. Hey interesting. Gohan put a hand on his chinny hope they give us some good ones. I'm anxious I said that important. Of course yes. Bell comically pressed her forehead against Gohan's who had a drop of sweat coming out. You understand, but calm down I'm sorry Bell scratched the back of his neck and when he turned around he looked at the armor. Level 3, I never thought I would get this far, it's time to change armor it's true, you know whoever made it knows how to make them, yes, I want to find out who it was, said an excited Bell. Yes, me too Gohan took a piece and looked at a name written Wolf Kratso huh, Gohan, Bell Hestia arrived home quite agitated Hestia, Kamisama. Rejoice Kamisama, so. Yes, Bell yours. It's normal, eh? Bell had a comical face of astonishment. And Gohan's, Bell looked at Gohan who became tense. Gohan, it will be. Little Rookie. Is that his name Bell Sama, in a tavern Gohan Bell and Lilith were eating Bell was comically bored yet and Gohan Sama's, Gohan was sad. Gohan sis. Legendary Warrior. Eh, that's great, Lilith said very excitedly but Gohan was serious. It's not that I don't like it, but it seems exaggerated to me well. I think it's great, worthy of you, Gohan Kuen. A voice was heard next door, and when I looked, it was Seer and Ryu. Girls. Congratulations, Colonel San, and to you, Gohan San, thank you, Bell said. Thank you, but. 
Why me, silly, you defeated four minotaurs of damnation, that's worth celebrating. I didn't think you were so strong Seer sat next to Gohan and Ryu in front. Actually, we all know that already, Ryu said. On the other hand, the adventurers who were eating and celebrating looked at Gohan's table. Hey, are those, yes, the one who leveled up in a short time, but above all. The one who defeated the supreme minotaurs are you, talking about beasts that are stronger than a level 7? Yes, it's surprising it seems there is another warlord rather. He is the legendary warrior the adventurers looked and talked about the two but especially about Gohan. It is true that Bell is striking but Gohan is, so to speak, the latest news of the moment are they talking about us? Gohan said, looking behind him. Yes, Gohan, you are a star, more than that. You also helped Loki's entire family. It is another feat. I am not saying that what Colonel Cohen did is not good, but... Yes, I understand, Bell said with a smile. Gohan just scratched his head a little and said, Ah, uh, yeah, well, it's your party, Gohan Cohen. Let's get started. Seer raised his glass and Gohan took the hint. Ah, uh, yes, sorry, however, Lilith looked somewhat serious at Seer who was eating calmly. And can you stay? A Lilith asked Ryu. Mamma Mia said that we could stay with you, and that you should spend a lot of money Gohan turned to see the owner who raised her thumb. Gohan only had a drop of sweat coming out, however, his appetite already made him spend a lot, but without worrying. Very well, then. Cheers, those present clinked their glasses until Gohan felt the bitter taste of the liquor. Era, Gohan Kuen, haven't you tried alcohol? It's true, since we've known you, we've never seen you drink, it tastes very bitter, Gohan said, coughing, something that made the adventurers turn around. They were surprised that someone so famous couldn't stand liquor. Cersei, but don't you have juice? Yes, I'll change it right away, thank you, by the way, Gohan, haven't you gone to the central floors yet? With your level, you can go without problems, Ryu said. Now we are determined to go, said Gohan. I.Z., and are you going to the 13th floor? In fact, we have already gone to 15. The two girls were amazed, and even some adventurers have they already gone? Yes, but only about twice they like risk. Huh, well, I guess I'm not surprised about you. What about the superiors? Not those yet, but I'm interested, although we will do it little by little it seems fine to me. However, then it is good to form a group I think so. Then we should think about that. Ha, huh, in that case. An adventurer stood up towards the table of those present doi who have problems with your legendary warrior team, Gohan turned to look at the man. Hey young man, then why don't you join ours? Of course, although we are only level two, however. The man looked at the girls, will you lend us these elves? Gohan made a face of astonishment, friends share their things, the subject's friends approached things? Said a serious Gohan with an annoyed tone. Bell just sighed while thinking they're dead. Did you tell my friends, things, what aren't they supposed to be your things? Gohan made an angry face, but before he got up leave. You are not worthy of him, Ryu said in a stoic manner, highlighting that trash like them did not deserve to be Gohan's friends or companions. Calm down, Fairy said, the big guy, we will show you something better than this child, Ryu smiled secretly. In your dreams, what did you say? The subject approached his hand, don't touch him, e. Ryu took an object from the table and twisted the man's fingers with it, throwing it to the floor. I will not allow you to insult my friends, and even less my teacher master, Gohan thought. Bitch, I will not have mercy for being a woman the subject launched himself again, Ryu took out a knife, Gohan was about to move, but at that moment pow, my mom broke the table with one blow, scaring all the customers, including the scion. If you are going to fight, do it outside, here you come to eat and drink the subjects were scared to the point of sweating. Let's go. I won't open an account for them, shouted Mamma Mia Why? Yes, the guys threw a bag of coins on the table to escape. Ryu sat down calmly again. Wow, how impressive Ryu Gohan thought, looking at the girl. Normality returned, although Gohan still felt sorry for his nickname. Next day, not this one, Norris at Bell looked at the armor again where they were first bought. It seems like they don't have any anymore, Gohan said, looking at them too. That's bad, Bell said comically sad. Oh, what if we ask the person who answers? Good idea the two were going to where the attention should be, but they ran into a red-haired man talking or rather arguing can't you treat them better. I risk my life to do this, a welcome. The seller seemed to ignore the subject to address the customers, yes, don't you have the wealth crotzo armor? After Bell asked this, the salesman turned his gaze to the guy next to him, who also turned his gaze to the two. He was a young man with red hair and a scarf tied around his neck, and he was wearing a red tunic. The subject began to laugh, drawing the attention of the two if you want the wealth armor. Here they are. 
The young man put a box in front of the two of them, implying that the one they were looking for was him. On a kind of bench where some adventurers passed by, the three sat at a and never thought that my creations would be acquired by the legendary warrior hearing that nickname made everyone in the place turn around in astonishment. And also from Little Rookie the truth is, I would prefer if you called me Gohan, said a Gohan with a drop of sweat. We wanted to meet you in person, Mr. Croso, Bell said while Gohan nodded. Please didn't call me that he said something seriously, showing some sadness. Or do you prefer Mr. Wolf? Gohan asked. No. Well, that's fine, Soyu or Gohan, Bell Crannell, you are my clients, right? Since it's the second time they've bought me, Wolf said somewhat proudly while the two looked at each other. Yes, sure, Gohan answered. This made everyone in the place with suitcases or some sort of blacksmithing equipment cluck their tongues and even leave with faces that indicated jealousy. The two saw something curious. This sorry, but we have to mark territory well, Gohan, Bell, do you want to make a direct contract with me? Contract? Gohan asked. I will only work for you, and we will make you weapons, armor, whatever you want. Oh, that sounds good also. I can do maintenance on your artificial arm, really. Gohan said happily. Of course, I see that it is a quality weapon. Trust me, well, I don't see why not, said Gohan, looking at Bell, who also nodded. Okay, I appreciate it, and I don't want to sound bold, but I would like you to do a big favor for me. Of course I will pay you back a favor. Let me join your group, Gohan, and Bell opened their eyes a little ifinally reached level 11 Wolf, who was with the boys, looked very happy at the place. Sorry for asking this. Gohan, don't worry. You just had to say you wanted to come. Gee, thank you, said Wolf. Quite happy, on the other hand, Lilith was not quite happy. Sure, it's good, but... Why don't you go with your family? The girl asked the blacksmith who didn't answer. Lilith, we already spoke truthfully. Bell was addressing Lilith, who interrupted, Yes, I know they don't get along, but Gohan-sama. Lilith, we must learn to be a team. The scion gently reprimanded the girl who pouted. Gohan only caressed her head. Eh, don't you like that tadpole is here? Guelph said to Lilith. I'm not a tadpole, I'm Liliruka Arde well, nice taste Liliquejo forget it Gohan had a drop of sweat coming out Lilith, but Mr. Kratzo makes very good weapons. Wait, Gohan-sama, did you say Kratzo? Wolf scratched his head a little. Yeah. The cursed blacksmiths of magical weapons, excuse me? Gohan said while Wolf turned his back. If fallen nobles are still, do not understand me too, Bell said. Don't you know? The Kratzo were a clan of blacksmiths who gained fame for their ability to make magical objects, but one day they lost their skills, and now they are in ruins. Gohan opened his eyes a little and looked at Wolf. Is that true? Bell asked. Yes, sorry for not telling you no. I'm very sorry. You must have had a difficult time. Wolf showed a smile. Well, that is nothing more than a name for some nobles without money, but that doesn't matter, right? You're right. That doesn't interest me. You're a good person, and that's what matters. Gohan took Wolf's shoulder, who was smiling at what Gohan had said, but then the ground began to break and some small creatures came out of it. It seems like they came to visit us, that's what I see, Gohan said. Leaving to the orc, even I can handle him okay, Gohan said. I'm one of those, Bell said, looking at the little ones. Well, I'm one of those over there, Gohan approached some of the three began their fights, Lilith supporting as much as she could, Wolf destroyed the orcs while Bell destroyed some little ones just like Gohan. Incredible Wolf said looking at Bell and Gohan who was destroying them with one hand. Wolf, Lilith, skip it, Bell shouted at them when he saw a kind of armadillo curl up and roll away against them. However, Gohan grabbed him with one hand easily and kicked him, sending him crashing into a hill. I think I still have to control my strength more, Bell. Good perception, thank you. I am stronger. I will be able to reach her soon. Very soon, yes. I know in another place we see Loki's team fighting against some colossi with fire in their mouths and eyes. But how you get in the way, shut up, Bet said, kicking the monster. I still can't believe that dwarf minotaurs humiliated me, Bet thought, remembering the humiliation that the minotaurs gave him. On the other hand, the others watched Bet and the Amazons fight. They are motivated, may I know why, asked a small man with a beard. The others won't learn anything. Since the incident with the Minotaurs of Damnation, they have been by Finn's side but fighting these monsters is not the same. The Minotaurs of Damnation are mythical beasts. I still can't believe that an adventurer alone defeated them, I can't believe it either. I was defeated with one blow, and he defeated them like that Finn remembered Gohan seriously. May I ask your name, said the bearded man. They're Gohan. Reveria said, and upon mentioning it, Ainz jumped down and cut a monster with one thrust. 
It seems that she was also motivated, Finn said, looking at Ainz with his sword raised. On the other hand, Loki was sitting in a cafe drinking quite happily. Well, what do we have here? A voice that made Loki open his eyes a little appeared. Tadpole, she said, somewhat annoyed. Is that the way to call the goddess of the hero who saved your children from dying? Hestia rested her arms on the table while Loki clicked with his tongue. Some gods and adventurers who were sitting immediately turned to pay attention to what Hestia said. This obviously made Loki uncomfortable. One thing is that it was where the gods meet, but it was between gods and humans. Damn Tadpole. C.O.F. C.O.F. What were you going to say? Hestia became more attached while bouncing her big breasts in front of Loki who got angrier. Did you just come to shove it in my face or what? No, but in the end you owe me a favor, don't you think, me, a favor? Loki shouted furiously in your dreams, eh? So the great Loki family is not going to pay their favor to the family that saved them from dying against the Minotaurs of Damnation. Hestia comically sat arrogantly looking at Loki who turned to look at everyone present. G-R-R-R-R, it's okay, what do you want? Loki said resignedly to a happy Hestia, but to Loki's surprise, Hestia became serious. So far nothing E-H-H-H-H? An annoyed Loki shouted at Hestia, but Hestia became serious. I need you to talk to me about something what? Loki said annoyed. I hate to admit it, but you know more than me in certain things. I need you to tell me about damaged fruits the damaged fruits. Are you talking about rotten fruits? Isn't it the same? Do you know why they are called rotten? Because they are the worst and most decomposed thing that exists in the universe Loki also took on a serious tone. So I know about them. I know very little Loki approached Hestia talking about that topic here is inappropriate. I will tell you later, but... For what? That is out of our responsibility, okay? Hestia said, leaving. And about the other thing, it's not. For now. For now, a nervous Loki said, but Hestia was already leaving a thoughtful Loki. The god kings are born like a fruit. But in the end, there will always be fruits that are born. Rotten. Loki reached Hestia's side and left the place at a faster pace than Hestia herself. What did he say? On the other hand, Gohan and the others Lilith collected the stones from the ground. It was easier than I thought I think so, Gohan said, crossing his arms and Bell sitting too. The armor you make, Welf San, is amazing, Bell said. Thank you. Among our colleagues we don't do our best by the way, Gohan. Do you want armor? It's not good for you to fight so unprotected well. The truth is I never thought about it, but now that I think about it. Do you want one? Welf asked. Welf San, could you create armor that weighs hundreds of kilos? Huh, Welf was amazed by this. It's just that. I would like something that heavy. I say, if possible, Welf was thoughtful, but thought that maybe it was for protection. But even so, something that heavy was dangerous. Don't you think it's dangerous? Don't worry, it's for something else. Could you please? Welf scratched his head thoughtfully, but in the end he responded. Sure, I'll do it. Leave it to me, thank you. Gohan responded happily. Well, let's have lunch as soon as Lily finishes collecting the stones, Welf said to jump down. But then he heard some screams and loud footsteps towards where the others were. We're in danger. It is a dragon infant run. The three boys watched the adventurers pass by and turned to see that it was a gigantic dragon. Where is Lilith? Lilith, Gohan shouted, but the beast was already arriving where the girl who saw the beast Liliquajo run. Welf shouted, but the beast already set its sights on the girl and began to chase her. The girl ran like crazy, and when the beast was about to send its nose Lilith, Gohan screamed and strange rays appeared in his irises from his eyes. Haia, Gohan launched an attack with his hands, completely disintegrating the beast and making a stone fall. The boys were amazed, but Gohan was more so because he felt inside him for a few milliseconds a completely different power. Wow, Gohan, what a power, Welf said with a smile. It's true, thank you Gohan-sama, it's nothing, but... Incredible Gohan, your power is immense, Bell said to the scion who was looking at his hand. Tesis my power? I am stronger every day changing places, I'm sorry Gohan, but I can't measure your level anymore, I understand, Gohan said, looking at his hand. How long will you be like this, although if you return to normal it would be quite strange you think, yeah by the way, Hestia, were the minotaurs that I defeated that dangerous? Gohan asked, surprising Hestia a little. Yes, in fact monsters like that should not exist in this dungeon Gohan opened his eyes a little. Hestia had told him before, but Gohan became more serious. 
What really are those creatures, Gohan, long ago there were more than one dungeon really, that's right, but that was before the gods came down to earth, what's more, we gods also participate in battles and dungeons Gohan would have widened his eyes in surprise. Are you serious? You too, yes, but that was a long time ago, in short, we gods only fought in those dungeons without having families, we did it only to improve ourselves and also to be able to be chosen by the great kings of the galaxies, the K.O., the greatest heroes too participated and those who passed the dungeons became God's KO, like the one who trained my father, that's right, your father was someone amazing, he trained with a god that no deity can see so easily Gohan smiled a little. Event so Hestia, you are amazing, you even fought monsters like that, I admire you Hestia was blushing like crazy. Eh, well, it was that. Ha 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 ha, thanks in the end he could only say that and stammer Gohan, you fill me with pride, that desire to improve and save a family that treats them like weaklings, I can only tell you, keep improving yourself like this, not for me, but for you. Gohan felt Hestia's hand on her face Hestia. Do you remember what you collected from the Minotaurs when you defeated them, so, those coins? Those coins are called sons, thank goodness you collected them how much are they worth, sons are not exchanged for money, they are exchanged for treasures Gohan opened his eyes. That's right, these sons are divine treasures, if a good blacksmith forges them, it doesn't matter if he is a god or mortal, they will be divine weapons divine weapons. That's right, you have four sons in total, you can create four divine objects, and as I see that a Kratzo blacksmith has joined you. It is an excellent opportunity Hestia passed the sons to Gohan use them to create the best weapons or the best equipment that can exist on earth. Gohan Hestia looked seriously at Gohan who was looking at the sons in amazement. Then, I can create what I have had in mind. In mind, yes, after thinking about it I want two special objects but you have four sons I'm not mistaken, I only want one, the others will be for the other boys Hestia opened her eyes. I would expect it from Bell but... Are you sure? Yes, I don't want to brag about anything, but my friends have suffered a lot, and it's because of you and them that I have a home and people to trust, Hestia, I want to return the favor. Hestia opened her eyes and changed her amazed expression. For a smile Gohan, surely your father and your friends, may they rest in peace. Would be proud to see how strong you have become. Who spoke after explaining things in calmer, the four sat down to have a round table among themselves. I'm sorry Gohan-sama, yes, forgive us, we put you through a lot Wolf and Lilith apologized, bowing. No, don't apologize, it was Gohan who helped us, no, that's not true, you don't have to apologize, the four of us were able to get here, remember that we are a team at Gohan's words, the three of them smiled, agreeing to what was said. It's true we're a team in those days, he entered the tent opening the door, the dinner is ready, the princess of the sword, Ains Wallerstein. The entire team was gathered at a bonfire, and in front of it was the end we're going to welcome our visitors, especially son Gohan-san, to whom we are indebted. Treat him well during dinner. Everyone was very quiet. They were having fun and chatting except for a certain young man who ate in a way that attracted the attention of others, and if it was. Gohan, he had like six plates on one side, excusing Gohan, lowered the plate somewhat embarrassed. No, don't worry. You must be hungry. Eins took one of the plates and filled it. No, I doubt this. Don't hold back, Tenines handed him another full plate and Gohan received it. Well, thank you Gohan began to eat as Goku did. Ainz looked at him with a smile. Argonauta Tiona and Tioni stood aside from Gohan how did you manage to become so strong? I would also like to know the two Amazons stood to one side of the scion and Tiona put her hand on the scion's leg who blushed a little on the other hand and made a comical expression of discomfort like when they approach your boyfriend. And in front of you why did you dye your hair? Tiona grabbed the scion's hair a little and pulled him. Or I am sorry the girl apologized when she saw that Gohan winced in pain. Well... W-O-H-H-H-H, a hi a scream in the distance caught everyone's attention and Gohan stood up to look behind him. This voice, Hestia, K-Y-A-A... A scream was heard along with a huge sound of something rolling and indeed it was a figure with a black hood and a huge gem behind her. The girl who was none other than Hestia fell on the grass and two stones to one side big ugh. It's a good thing they didn't fall on me Hestia. The girl turned around when she heard her name and there was Gohan who was surprised. Gohan? Gohan, my Gohan, I knew it. I knew you were well. What happiness. Without wasting time Hestia hugged Gohan who blushed a little but reciprocated the hug. You came here alone? But the gods can't enter right. I don't care where it is. I will go to the end of the world for you, Hestia said through tears with a smile. Okay, the scion was surprised, but he didn't stop smiling. 
I say the same Hestia, upon hearing this, was not only surprised, but also took Gohan by the cheek, who blushed a little more. The goddess began to bring her lips closer to the scion, who was surprised, but something in him made him stretch his lips, however, more gems fell at an angle. Side making a loud noise kyaa, huh, Gohan was also surprised, but when he realized what he was going to do he blushed more. When? I'm sorry, Hestia, I threw them Hermes appeared to the side, but Hestia gave him an angry look, making an exclamation point. Or I am sorry, did I interrupt something, unhappy? Well, these are floor boss gems, right, Hestia-sama? Kami-sama, Bell and Lilith were getting closer Bell, that's good, you're fine too yes, Gohan was the one who helped us the most Soyeri Gohan, Hermes politely approached the Scion, I'm glad I'm Hermes, ha, huh? nice to meet you the Scion responded to the wealth greeting and even Ains approached Ains, I don't know what. What are you doing here? Hestia shouted comically, but without a doubt the appearance of certain people aroused hostile feelings in wealth and Lilith. Gohan, Sama, Makoto approached the boy nervously. Gohan remembered her as well as those who were behind her. I'm sorry on her knees and with her face on the floor, Makoto asked the family for forgiveness for bringing the beast before them. No matter how much they apologize, it won't be easy to forgive them, Welf said with a very serious look and it was no wonder because they had a difficult and even risky time. Luckily as a team they were able to help each other and above all because they had a good leader who was Gohan. Gohan and Bell, but especially Gohan, were serious but the scion's gaze did not denote anger. I'm so sorry, another girl in Makoto's clothes apologized, but she had a part of her hair covering her face. Blame me, I still think I did the right thing. In the end, I thought about my friends, Uka spoke. I'm surprised you say it like that, Big Guy Wolf got angrier. The gaze of the two filled the atmosphere with an intense silence, but the one who cleared it was the scion who stood up. Get up Gohan took her by the hand and lifted Makoto up. She said nothing except being amazed. I didn't blame them, in fact I don't hold a grudge against them, we survived and that's the important thing. Besides, I can understand them, sometimes you have to make difficult decisions. For the ones you love, Gohan looked at his mechanical arm, this made him let out a gasp. Sound in those present Hestia and Bell were silent and quite serious however, it was easier to ask for help than to endanger others, together we would have defeated that monster faster and you would have helped us, Uka, somewhat angrily, looked at the scion. He thought she was mocking him and trying to be tough, he thought it was bold, and he even thought she was making fun of him, making him look like the bad guy. Do you see that I'm lying? Uka responded coldly but directly. In fact, she didn't see a lie in his words, without being able to respond, she just stayed silent. Don't worry, I don't hold a grudge against you, but I won't forgive you for putting my friends and yours in danger again. Do you want to apologize, become stronger and never do something like that again? Bell, Lilith Welf, and Hestia smiled at what Gohan had said. Luka lowered her head and approached Gohan, raising her fist. Ipromise, I will become stronger than you good Gohan bumped his fist and left the misunderstanding behind. Changing places, it was a destroyed place, explosions could be heard, there were collapsed buildings, corpses scattered everywhere, children, adults, elderly, it was absolute death. They were not lying, without a doubt he is a diabolical being, perhaps because he has the cells of the cold demon family and he was also created by that evil scientist. He is perfect. It means that he achieved it. Who are you? A voice was heard behind the being that had K.O. clothes and pointed ears. I see you found me quickly tell me who you are or I'll kill you relax, I'm not your enemy. In fact, I'm like you, someone with a purpose to destroy. The being turned to look at the figure that still didn't show itself. You are perverse, but you preserve the cells of those who were the heroes of this world. Wouldn't you like to try again the pleasure of measuring yourself and showing who you are? The figure showed a smile I hear you. In a world of death and destruction there were two beings staring at each other. Don't you want to prove that you are the strongest being in the universe? You know you want it, since you are not only a warrior, you also have the blood of the one who had the universe at his feet. You destroyed what was once given to you to destroy. What goals do you have now? Theon, you said, the universe is now at my feet. Before I didn't have that ambition, but now I feel like it's fun. Wouldn't you like something more? It must be boring to be the strongest and not be able to prove it. I already demonstrated it. Killing the most powerful warrior in the universe. True, but tell me. Wouldn't you even like to show him? To the same gods that you have no rival? Toth gods? What do I gain from that? I repeat, kill even the one who was above them. They are Goku. 
I think so, however, until you kill the gods you will never be a supreme being what does that mean? Thebeing was beginning to lose patience, do you mean that until I kill those gods I am not perfect? That's the same, if you destroy them you will be supreme, perfect in its entirety you understand that you are one of them, right? So should I kill you? There is no problem for me don't worry, I am not a god who seeks good, in fact I am like you, if you want my life, you can take it whenever you want, but first tell me if I lie. Don't you like the idea of being supreme? You have seen things that you have not. Your cells have a supreme power, something unstoppable. Submit to what we want to submit, and thus you will achieve your ambition. To be a perfect being. Bio android cell. The image of a creature that looked like a green insect was present before the subject, and he looked quite serious. Are you looking for it to be your dog? Note at all, I'm not stupid to do something like that. But I repeat, you have more than you don't know. Follow me and I will help you get it in exchange for, you're welcome, just to destroy and bring death you're not from around here. Are you? I am from something known as another plane. Unfortunately, I can't yet and neither can you. So, should I wait until you can come back? Of course, if you are willing to come with me, if you lie to me or do something stupid, I'll kill you. Of course, it's more to show you my loyalty. From now on, I am at your command. You command. I obey what a strange being you are Andy will give you one more gift a gift, that's right, it's something we got a long time ago, it's something that will undoubtedly be excellent for a perfect being like you, only, you have to train a little to use it he he he, it sounds interesting. Okay. Show me. Looks like we have a deal Edo it because I no longer have anything to do here, I like that idea of exploring other worlds, to destroy perfect now tell me. Who and what are you, my name is Kitu. Amakeo. Changing scene so I did it, said the being still sitting on the throne. I see, it's okay, although that is not the original and you know it Eno, that doesn't mean that I don't prepare it enough and that also when we find the original, it will be invincible, that's fine, but don't take too long, the faster you master it. Dot the faster we Makeos will be the masters of the universe, neither the damn organization nor the Makeoshin themselves will cause us problems again and will look down on us, soon we will be too. Makeoshin did you say the Makaoshin? The rotten fruits? Uranus said on the floor, quite exhausted. Okay, so that's what the earthly gods know us as. What a funny nickname. And I think it fits us since we are born rotten, but from the heart you are demons, don't be confused. We are Makaos, whom shut up now the being hit Uranios in the face, knocking him unconscious again, producing a strong movement in the room. You will not get your way, the supreme ones will stop you. Hey friend, how annoying you are, if it weren't for the fact that I need you alive, I would have already killed you, how should worry about is them, but soon they will no longer be a problem anymore, the resurgence of the Ma'era my lord, is there anything I can do, a voice could be heard next to the Makeo. Lynch, nothing yet at the moment, there are also two gods in here, you better not move if you don't want to die, the Minotaurs of Damnation were out of luck and still wonder, was it really a god who defeated the Minotaurs? They are not supposed to enter this dungeon to fight exactly, but it seems that someone broke those rules you wouldn't think it was a human, what nonsense you are saying, Lynch, there is no mortal who can beat that kind of creatures. However the Minotaurs of Damnation were not released by my hand, those creatures are sealed in this dungeon to control certain things, it seems that someone is trying something how interesting, said the Lynch. On the 18th floor it was still night and Gohan was sitting meditating next to the crystals in a lotus pose with his arms crossed, quite serious. Gohan looked at his hand after opening one eye and moving it. The seriousness was not lost and he gave a heavy sigh. It's been a while since I did the control training. I don't know how much I should do it, but I feel like I already feel that tension in the slightest when I was transforming. However, I think I will continue like this a little longer. I must clear my doubts. Here you were a female voice was heard behind the scion who was so focused that he didn't notice that a tender voice was heard behind him. Eins, the girl sat next to the scion can I sit, go ahead, Gohan said with a smile. I'm already sitting, should I stand up and ask again? In a comical way, but without leaving his serious attitude, Eins said these funny words, but Gohan just smiled. Don't worry, stay there okay, he said again with a funny and serious face. You are very funny Eins you think, yes, you know, we met on the wrong foot, but your family is very kind and I really want to give them my most sincere thanks, especially to you, you are a great girl and I admire you for that because of what Gohan said. Eins blushed a little, not because of the first thing he said. Well, yes, there was a reason, their family started off on the wrong foot, but Gohan knew that they weren't entirely because of them. He observed that among them there were educated, kind people. 
and among the mines, Ines did not make fun that day, in fact she was serious as if she was listening to the werewolf and did not pay attention to anything he said to her, she even showed annoyance for her friend. What made her blush was that Gohan told her that she was an incredible woman and she was, she was strong and kind, beautiful and above all very tender, Gohan did not tell her in a way that denoted perversion, on the contrary. He told her in a very kind and honest, which she liked a lot because many only look for her for being beautiful but not Gohan. He treated her like a girl but also like a person with feelings denoting a pure heart thank you and I think the same as you I showed a cute smile that made Gohan smile the same. Gohan, can I ask you something? Forward how did you get that arm like that? If I can know the truth my weakness Ein's weakness, I can only tell you that because I was weak, a child who always hesitated, it cost my friends their lives Gohan squeezed his metallic hand but felt Ein's hand take it. Do you feel my hand? Eh, eyes ando you feel this? Ein's took the hand and brought it to his cheek, this made Gohan blush a little. Yes the, yes I see, so this arm feels, which means that you feel, losing a loved one is painful, I know, but remember that as long as you can feel, you will feel them supporting you, use this as a motivation to become strong and not lose never. For them you told me that this weapon is a memory of your father, so remember that family is always by your side, that's why they are family Ein stood up and surprisingly took Gohan by the shoulders and brought him closer to her. Eins. The girl slowly brought Gohan closer to her, and in a surprising hug she took him it is painful, but remember, the family, no matter what, is united and not even death can break those ties, nothing else matters Ainz it must go Gohan, rest Ainz said it, leaving Gohan who was looking at the sky. It's true dot thank you, also thanks to you, Hestia next day wa, Gohan is too early to get up Hesia, while giving a nice yawn, looked at the scion who was putting on his clothes and passing the SSJ suddenly. Hestia, I no longer have to expel power, I can go to the SSJ at once that's what I see, incredible, and that's what I see, incredible, and I almost no longer notice anger in your words almost, you always speak intimidating really. Gohan crossed his arms and made a face that made the goddess laugh. See, you're being intimidating now eight. I'm not. Don't worry, it's a joke, besides. I like that, it makes me feel. Different. He said this last thing, getting close to the ear and whispering in a special way that made Gohan blush when he felt his breath. When leaving the store they saw many climbing up a cliff to Gohan, Kamisama, we are going upstairs to see something, do you want to come? It sounds interesting, said the scion. If it's okay, let's go and Bell went up the cliff while Gohan and Hestia did too, however the goddess yawned more and more. Didn't you sleep well? On the contrary, I slept excellently next to you. It's just that we got up very early, Gohan. Yes, I'm sorry, but I was planning to look for those monsters to defeat them. Since they said they had not seen them, it's not very strange. We didn't see them on the way here, but don't worry about that and better rest today, but we can't let them loose, don't worry. Gohan, you also said that the objective of those monsters is this, right? I think so. I think that was what today, in that case it is better to wait for them, Hestia. I couldn't ask you what kind of creatures are those, I couldn't tell you because the descriptions were very vague, but according to my suspicions, it's a Gohan-sama. Look at that Lilith from above called to the two Gohan lifted Hestia on his shoulders when the two looked into the distance they saw a large meadow, many crystals, and some creatures flying over these. Wow, how beautiful, said Gohan. The monsters come to this area just like us. You can say that it is a beautiful paradise of monsters, he explained. How gorgeous. Gohan looked at the beautiful place. It was simply so beautiful, surrounded by crystals and creatures that made him remember things from his life. Like, for example, his old home, surrounded by beautiful nature, monsters too, but the good ones, almost non-aggressive, good all before he lost it. It reminds me of... Did you say something, Gohan? Nothing. It's just very beautiful. Right, Hestia? Yes, you are right. Gohan Kuen, after the look, everyone arrived at a small place with a sign that said, Welcome, friends, Tesis Libra. A city made by adventurers, everyone entered a small city of some wooden houses, and it seemed to be very neglected due to its old and abandoned features. There were some shops, but no one could be seen. Anyone would think it was a ghost town just by looking at it. Is this whetstone for 13,000 valis of theft? Sammy is this bag. It's old and costs 20000 How can it be legal if you don't buy it? I don't care a short man was lying down looking at the little Lilith who was undecided whether or not to take the bag. Everything here is expensive even the inns that's why we camp outside I see. After all it is a very remote city. They must need a lot of money to maintain their economy because they are so remote, the scion said with a hand on his chin. Well, it looks like you know a lot, Gohan. 
Well, just a little hey, handsome and intelligent as well as strong. Without a doubt my Tactiona tipped the arm of the scion who was surprised by the action weight. Please don't hit yourself like that, what's wrong with it? Eins on the other hand made a comically angry face as if she was jealous. Wait, I have to see Hestia. If I leave her alone, she will start buying things she doesn't need. When Gohan saw his goddess looking at some things, she was going to see that she didn't waste money. She had the habit of buying things that were sometimes unnecessary, but when she went, Gohan saw someone she knew. Hate you it turned out to be the guy who had been looking for a fight at the end for a long time. Hate you TKS, I should have guessed, someone of your level here, but I would rather not believe it, but this time you will pay me for it the subject was approaching Gohan in a threatening manner, but he felt a girl step aside. It was Ainz and the Amazons. Moldo, you better stop, he's level 7 and they're there too. A friend of the subject stopped him by taking him by the shoulder. TKS, the sword princess, let's go without further ado. The three left knowing that they had everything to lose and it was obvious. However, the feeling of rage was in them in such an obvious way that it could be felt in the air. Gohan only watched them leave without understanding why that hatred towards him. What do you think? They are idiots, but what did I do to them to make them be like this with me? Don't pay attention to them. They're just jealous, Tioni said with a smile, but Gohan only let out a sigh. He didn't like creating unnecessary enemies, especially when he hasn't done anything to them. After a while checking the city, all this helped the scion to further improve his skills. However, he began to feel some anguish for not being able to know where those monsters were. Hestia told me that they were undead beasts and that's why I couldn't feel their energy. I must be prepared for the worst. Go and look. Look what I bought the tis. A perfume. How is it? Smell me the goddess placed her neck in front of Gohan, who had a drop of sweat coming out. However, he did what Hestia asked of him. Sniff, sniff, you smell good. In fact, very good really. Do you want to smell more? Did I buy perfume from a scam site? He only knows how to spend Gohan-sama's money. Hestia had a vein popping out on her face. And you bought that backpack weighing it to return to the surface and he need a perfume. A maid always needs to be nice in front of her boy, right, Gohan? You don't like sweaty girls, right? Oh, good. The others listened in Ainz and even Tiona smelled each other and even looked at each other. I honestly don't think that makes a woman different, Miss Hestia. We were thinking of taking a bath. Do you want to come, or really? If we go, Hestia was very happy. Me too, Lilith said. Mikatone, her friend, looked at Uka who nodded, making them happy. Let's go too great, let's all go the girls were happy among themselves while the men, especially Gohan and Bell, showed a smile I guess resting from time to time isn't bad, right Gohan? Bell looked at his friend and even brother, who smiled slightly. Yes, I think so, I will go too. The Reese. Are you? Gohan and Bell were attracted by two arms Gohan, Bell, can you give me a second when you get to the camp, that's okay. In the camp bet, good job, don't make me look for antidotes again. Grua. When looking at a certain figure, the werewolf made an angry face. We will separate into two teams. Goliath was defeated so. Wather does here, so a lot of things happened, and they are staying here how many? Meanwhile the three walked together if I am not mistaken, you are a god, right? That's right, I'm Hermes Andy C, nice to meet you, and tell me what we can do for you, come with me Hermes climbed a tree, and the two did the same. When they saw they realized they were on a lake and there the flock of women was contemplated in all its splendor. It should be said that the two of them almost fell from the tree but the one who held on was Bell while Gohan closed his eyes quite blushing. He was already surprised because I felt their energies in this place. S-H-E-C-H-E-C-H-E-C-H, why did you bring us here? Gohan, very upset, looked at Hermes. The warrior tried to whisper as quietly as possible but his anger was clearly visible. Because we had to come here, did we have? Gohan asked with a question mark on his head and a drop of sweat. T says certainly something Master Rashi would do. Gohan remembered his father's perverted teacher. How strange, Gohan. From your expression it is as if it were the first time you saw a naked woman. You are very ready. The truth is, it is the first time I have seen a woman without clothes. P.S. I won't tell you when Gohan traveled with Bulma and Krillin because Gohan was very young. Really? What a surprise. I thought you were the type that is good, you know. No, no what? Hermes sweat dropped and even his face was impressed. You know, being with. Ah, uh, Hermes, some of the truth is I don't feel very comfortable in this either well. They are both very innocent and they are strong anyway. This is not good. Let's go. 
However, Gohan was slipping from the tree. Was it fate? Clumsiness? Whatever it was, in the end Gohan slipped to make a maneuver and fall on his knees into the water. However, the action alerted everyone. Gohan Bill shouted quietly and Hermes and Hermes only made a sign of surprise. Damn, what a silly oversight. Argonaut, did you come to bathe? Well, I thought you were shy, but oh well the two Amazons seemed calm in front of Gohan, especially Tiona. I, Gohan-sama, from the distance Lilith was covering herself, however a certain goddess showed herself in a very natural way, Gohan. Hey, did you want to see me? But you didn't need to spy. Hestia, without shame or anything, faced Gohan, who was blushing. However, looking at Hestia, despite her size, she had an excellent figure. Gohan shook his head hard, and as he did so he began to walk behind until he bumped into someone, and when he looked with one eye he saw that it was a beautiful blonde who was blushing. I, I'm really sorry Gohan bowed before everyone and jumped up the tree, leaving Ayn stretching out his hand. P.S. Sorry if you don't like the scene, I wanted to do it to change it and give it some comical atmosphere XD Gohan arrived at an isolated place and sat on a rock. What an idiot I am, what did I do? I must apologize Gohan held his forehead with his hand until he felt another familiar energy on one side. I said Ryu, Gohan got up and from some floors he felt the energy but when he remembered what happened recently he preferred not to be so direct. Ryu. Gohan, and indeed the girl's voice was heard. The girl covered herself a little but not in such a nervous way, rather it was a reflex. Don't worry, I'm not looking yet. Da, but you don't need to hide, wait, I'll get dressed. No, sorry for bothering you, I'm leaving now eight, I'm just going a little IZ, so that happened they probably thought badly of me, what an idiot upon seeing Gohan's sad face, the girl couldn't help but smile a little. Don't worry, I'm sure they know you didn't do it on purpose, don't apologize so much for that event so, I did something wrong, I must pay the consequences consequences, Gohan, you are very humble, but I don't think you should go that far you think, yes, you act like it's the first time you've seen a naked woman actually yes or really, yes, but why do they act like it's not like that, no, excuse my rudeness, let's better change the subject, I was thinking of going somewhere, do you want? To come with me, yes, sure can you help me pick some flowers, and as asked, Gohan took flowers on the road with Ryu. The two walked until they reached a pretty nice place, but in that place there was a mound of dirt with some sword stuck in it. Tesis. It's a tomb of my family Gohan opened his eyes a little. A long time ago my family was tricked by another into a dungeon and everyone died except me. Sometimes my mom lets me come and bring them flowers Gohan would have more eyes this he understood this well, partly it was the same with M.I.Z. I'm sorry don't apologize, you know Gohan, would you listen to what I have to say? Go ahead a small silence was heard I am on the blacklist of the guilds, because I wiped out the entire enemy family revenge, that's right, night attacks, traps, driven by anger, I avenged my comrades and when I was about to die after finishing off the last. Remember, someone saved me, seer seer, I see that's how they met, huh, that's right, my mom knew it and she still received me, sorry for telling you something so horrible. Don't apologize, in fact I can feel your pain, this arm, I lost it in the same way hey, you also lost my family a long time ago, my father, my teacher, my friends, everything. That I lost them all Gohan looked at his arm or really? And how monsters took them from me? Well, not my father. I lost him due to an illness when I was a child of Enso. Losing a parent is painful, and even more so at that age. Yes, I wish I could tell you more. It's not that I don't trust you, but... Don't worry. You don't have to remember hard things. You know, Gohan, I am a treacherous and murderous elf. That's why I don't think I can be with you. I could even betray you, Gohan. Looked seriously at Ryu. You shouldn't lower yourself like that. If you had wanted it, then why did you help me? Hey, you're not like that, I understand, sometimes we want to take revenge, but that doesn't get us anywhere, I was able to avenge my family, but I still know that I will never see them again, you feel at peace, but you shouldn't forget. Not that you can form a life again, that's what I'm trying to do Gohan, Ryo approached the scion and took him by the hand you are without a doubt someone who deserves my respect. You are a great person in the small area between some houses there was a small indistinguishable tavern. Demons, wow, you're upset this morning's group of adventurers were drinking in said fight until the one who seemed to be the leader hit the table with his glass. That idiot only because he is level 7, miserable the subject spoke with a drunken attitude. You are jealous? Shut up, it's your problem too. He's a rookie who reached level 7 in one fell swoop. There was only supposed to be one of that level and this one appears as if nothing had happened we have been trying to get there for years and he arrives in a jiffy. Since I hate him, we must do something to make him pay. 
What a curious conversation. I would like to hear more, huh? The subject turned his face to look and observe someone with a hood. He heard that there is a little goddess in the dungeon. Can I know what she is doing here? What do we know? What do you want, bastard? The adventurers stood in front of the individual. Why courage, but don't worry about that. I don't dislike it. I rather like it. I see that you want to take revenge on someone. If you want, I can help you. You. And how, don't worry, you do what I say, and I promise to help you the being gave a sphere to the adventurer. And what do you want in exchange? Only the goddess, nothing more the adventurers looked quite doubtful, but immediately the reason came to them as to why he wanted her. Well, I never thought you would want to do it with a goddess like this, you are perverse, but as long as you help us we don't give a damn what a dirty mind, but it doesn't matter. Just do what I tell you the hooded being turned behind him to return his gaze to the adventurers, but then he retired and left the tent to look up. Next day did you spy on Ainz. Bet-faced Gohan who had a drop of sweat coming out. Damn you did what not even I could. Enough beat. The Amazons took the subject by each arm let go of me. Stupid Amazons go hand and do anything. We blame the god Hermes for everything damn. First of all, what is he doing here? Bet kicked comically while the two of them took him away from the scion who was looking at the werewolf with a drop of sweat. So Gohan, will you stay a little longer? Yes, you better be ready in case those creatures appear IZ. I'll stay hey, I'll help you but are you sure? Don't you like me being with you? The girl had puppy eyes, although they couldn't be seen from her stoic gaze. However, it was enough for Gohan to shut up. No, is not that. So, okay, but stay by my side. I don't want anything to happen to you all right thy sayings. I'm sorry for what happened yesterday, don't apologize for that. It was an accident. No one was to blame except the god Hermes. So don't stress thank you Gohan bowed a little but with that seriousness of not taking it as anything the two were talking calmly but Hestia was watching the scene from a grate in the tent. That Ainz I don't know what. How dare she? Hestia was biting a pillow Gohan if you wanted to see me naked so much you would have just asked me. Hestia felt a hand on her mouth that took her after this bell entered the tent Kamisama. Bell looked everywhere but didn't see anyone except a piece of paper and a bottle of perfume which she took and read when she finished, opening her eyes in surprise. Gohan, Bell ran towards Gohan let me go. Even though it may not seem like I'm a goddess Hestia was tied to a tree, kicking while being watched by some adventurers who were guarding her. And now what? asked an adventurer who was guarding the goddess. Wait for the weird guy to come and take her. I must say he is very brave if he wants to do something to a goddess yes but it's not our problem he 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 exactly after that Gohan and Bell were walking along a cliff are you sure this note was in the tent where Hestia was yeah I can feel his energy he is close hello oh well but look who came the adventurer appeared before the two where eyes Hestia what did they do to him Gohan showed a harsher voice squeezing his human fist the adventurer felt some fear if you want her alive come with us unhappy Wait, Gohan Bell took Gohan by the arm, although somewhat tense, although Gohan had already mastered the phase better in his being. Bell always prevented Gohan from raising a fist unless it was necessary. Who knows maybe it's a trap, we must be careful it's true, thank you Bell what do you want, follow him both the two listened and were taken to a cliff where all the adventurers were waiting. Where is Hestia, your goddess is fine, but if you want her you will have to defeat us are you serious? Do you want to fight Gohan? Bell raised an eyebrow but Gohan showed no change in his face other than seriousness. Are you sure that's what you want? If we win, you will give us whatever we want if I win you give me back Hestia. Are you ready? Of course. Pow! Gohan did not delay and punched him lightly in the face, throwing him against the others. Idiot, what an aggressive way the guy was wiping the blood from his nose you said you were ready, and be thankful that it didn't hit hard Gohan got into a fighting pose quite calmly. Better give up and tell us where our goddess is, Bell said with some concern for the guys, because if they continued like this, Gohan would take them back on stretchers. Gohan, let me fight now Bell faced Gohan. Don't get me wrong, I don't see the need for you to fight get lost brat do you mind fighting me, damn, now truthful the guy took out a black sphere which surprised Gohan a little that negative energy. To Kethis, the adventurers broke the black sphere and were enveloped in it in the distance. Hestia and Hermes made a face of fear but so did Gohan. What the hell? Hermes got up from a branch where he was sitting, looking with some fear at the adventurers what the hell. The place was filled with a black smoke bomb that surprised the two who were taking cover what a dark energy. Where did it come from? Gohan still with his arm on his face watched the scene and from there the adventurers came out with a strange black aura but their eyes were red as if they were bloodshot. What happened? Bell asked with a drop of sweat. 
Bell, don't trust yourself. I don't know what they did, but that dark energy. The adventurers looked at their hands, however, they made vague movements as if they were not sane, and then looked at the two and made faces full of evil because of their smiles. We will kill them. In a deep voice, the leader took out his sword and launched himself at Bell, who stopped the attack with his knives, but with some difficulty, Bell. Gohan dodged two of them and kicked each of them far into the distance. Hermes arrived next to his companion, looking with a drop of sweat. What does this mean, Hermes Sama? This power is lynching necromancy. How did they get it? It can't be. Hermes remembered when he was going to enter the tavern and stopped to hide. Ways it that guy. While the two were fighting, they felt a sword collide with one of them. Hey! Letus help Yuka and her companions came to help Gohan and Bell you guys. Don't get involved. One of the cursed adventurers launched himself against Makoto who began to fight him but with difficulty damn. A blow to the adventurer's head made him turn around and when he saw they were standing next to Ryu. Hestia, who was tied up, was kicking until she felt hands begin to untie her. Lilith, you was able to find you through my sense of smell thank you. I must go quickly this energy. It is something that we gods hate to death energy. That's how it is dash. Don't you know who we are? You must disappear where the ones who will reign. The prophecy is written, the heroes of time will return and you will be lost. I, I must carry this. I am in charge since I formed it. I created it to protect them and those who accompany me are the ones who will carry. My legacy, my legacy must live in you. Da, please, until the day comes. The gods will fight. Gohan, use all your power. Forgive me for being so weak, weak. Look how far you came alone. You were always the strongest. I always believed in you. Everyone believes in you. Show it. Your power. Whoa, a woman's scream was heard as she jumped out of bed. It was Hestia who comically fell out of her bed. I, that hurt me. Hestia rubbed a bump on her head, but then she calmed down more. A dream, Hestia wiped her eyes. Gohan. In the dungeon it was another day where the adventures of the Gohan team began their stay, however this would not be the case. Won't Lily Rennet come? Sorry, Wolf, the gnome who takes care of the place where she lives got sick and said he wanted to take care of it, Gohan said. Without Lilith it wouldn't be the same, Bell said. Yes, forgive us, Wolf, but not today. I see, don't worry, said the redhead. Hey, do you want to come with me? I said I would pay them to let me join their group we're going to make the team that they asked me so much for, especially yours Gohan really? Gohan said. About that Wolf, I would like to ask you a favor, truthful, it is about this. Gohan, who was carrying a box with him, opened it and there were four incredibly luminous objects, however Wolf was amazed to the point of sweating. This here. Yes Hestia told me they were. Gohan, Bell, please come with me in a remote place, a kind of house with a fairly old tone, the three arrived. Is this your workshop? Gohan asked, entering the house and clearly observing blacksmithing objects and materials. Sorry it's so dirty calm down, they both said. Gohan, are those sons? Wolf took the suitcase and more clearly opened the object that held four large stones that were highly shiny. Sons? Bell asked. They are the minerals of the gods, precious and most valuable stones from heaven E.H. Bell was excited, however Gohan looked seriously at Wolf to nod. Incredible, these elements are prohibited in this world, but when they are obtained by beasts like the minotaurs that you defeated, an exception is made Iwas thinking of asking you if you could use them to create a weapon for each of us. Did you say a weapon for each one? No, Gohan, you won these I went to share it with you. We are a team, right? Wolf was surprised. Bell was expecting something like that and just limited himself to smiling. Wolf little by little a smile was forming on his face looking at the scion. I, I didn't know what to say. Just, thank you. I wanted to be the one to pay you, and now I don't know if I can pay you this you didn't have to pay me anything, Wolf. Among friends we take care of each other, you're right, the boy said, raising his thumb. Can you make them? Bell asked. Of course, Kratzo blacksmiths have the ability to use and create things from any element, Well, go on. What weapon do you want? I want a cane, a cane. Wolf said. Yeah, are you sure you want a weapon like that? That's right, the truth is, my father had a similar one, it was a valuable object for both him and me, when he died I inherited it, but I lost it later. I would like to look like him with something similar, please. I know it's not the same, but I would like to create a memory like that again, do you want it to be magical? The boy asked. 
No, I just want it to be a cane. I don't want it to be magical. I just want to carry that memory in me again. Wolf showed a smile again. Gohan, your goddess Hestia told you that I can make magic items, right? Gohan had a drop of sweat coming out. I knew he was asking about me sorry, said the scion. Don't worry, but I was worried that you would change your mind when you found out about me. Forgive me for trying you like this. Don't apologize. I understand how you feel, but don't worry. We don't use our friends as tools. You are my friend for who you are. Thank you, Wolf said with a smile. The truth is, I hate creating magical objects. A weapon is something valuable. It never betrays you, but a magical weapon. They always look for it for fame and stuff. That's why I hate it, I understand, Gohan said with a serious tone. I'm glad you defend your wealth ideals, Gohan. I didn't like depending on those things to fight either. I just want to carry a memory that brings me closer to my father. Nothing more I see, the boy said, smiling. With him it doesn't have to be magic either, Bell. Normally I don't make magic weapons because everyone always wanted them for their selfish desires, but you are different. I'm so glad to have met you, Wolf. Anyway, these objects are magical, so they will be magical in the end, Dash. Don't wait, Wolf, if you don't want to. No, Gohan, I want to do it. Now I know that you are worthy of carrying my magical creations, especially you. Please allow me. Wolf, are you sure? Surely the two looked at each other, and when they saw his face, they could only smile. Okay, let us be the ones to carry your greatest wish. Dot to use something magical. For our friends. Wolf stretches out his hand to Gohan, and the two between a handshake sealed their friendship with Bell as well. During the creation of the objects, the elements shone with each hammer blow. Incineration and work that was done to the wealth weapons maintained its seriousness. I didn't make magic weapons again, because it was always the same. I always looked for someone who would carry their responsibility correctly, like a true warrior. Finally, I found someone who can carry and show the world the correct way to carry them. I am so happy to have made it to this team. After finishing the hammering and removing it from the water with special tongs, it was finally ready. It took a total of four hours to Welf, but I managed it. Finally, this list Welf showed the weapons to each one a bell was another knife similar to the one he had, but this one was blue with a strong shine in addition to having made a kind of neck guard that covered his mouth and nose ninja style. Oh, how nice another knife, yes, enjoy it, thank you, and for you, Gohan, take it, Wolf handed him a suitcase, and Gohan opened it, and there was, a red cane with a ribbon in the center, Gohan looked at it and showed a fairly wide smile, even Bell was amazed by Gohan's smile, because although he showed a certain smile, this one was deeper, more emotional, thank you, Wolf said the scion, taking out his cane and spinning it around, then proceeded to tie the sheath and place it on his back, it looks very good on you. Gohan, thank you, thanks to you too, Wolf, and forgive me for making you do. Don't apologize, Gohan. I know we don't know each other very well, but I want you to know that you can count on me and you with me. Forget about magic weapons. You are our friend just for being you, Gohan, stretched out his hand, and Wolf shook it, smiling too. Thank you, on the other hand, Hestia was in Loki's mansion. Yes, in Loki's mansion, which Loki didn't like, but Hestia knew it, and instead of getting uncomfortable, she decided to take advantage more than ever. I see that you don't like me being here, obviously, Loki responded. Well, do you want me to talk to you about that topic? Is that all? That's how it is and why? That is something that does not correspond to us, we're Loki gods. I believe that just as humans have the right to know how we manage the heavens of this world, we also have the right to know how those who are above ours manage it. Loki changed to a surprised face because he didn't know what to respond. What a surprise. I never imagined you were so professional. Thank you, Hestia. Do you know why they call it rotten fruits? No. According to the stories of the gods, above us there are gods who govern not just one, but all the worlds of a quadrant, but not just any quadrant. I'm talking about a quadrant of the universe, the Kaosama. True, ding dong correct, but very few gods communicate with them. Loki moved his index finger like a clock PS, and the anime there is a translation error. It is not the galaxy, it is the universe, that is. The four KOs govern each cardinal point of the universe. Even above them, there is one who supervises the four KO. Yes, I know. And well, you already know the rest of the hierarchy of the universe, yes. But you haven't explained to me yet what I'm asking you about, right? Do you know where they come from? Loki changed to a more serious expression. No, I do not know of the tree of the universe and life. The kaiju tree. Or the world tree, the world tree. The tree of life itself, from those trees are born the gods who are in charge of the creation of life Hestia sweated a little tree off life. He he he, you had it saved. Changing places Gohan Bell and Wolf trained with their new weapons, clashing them against each other it's been so long since I used a cane wow, Gohan, you are very skilled, said Wolf and Bell, who clashed their weapons against Gohan. 
The weapon that Wolf created for him was a western-style sword. It took him quite a while to make the force thanks to you, Wolf, said Gohan. We just need to give Lily some fruit, I'm sure she would like it, Bell said. Since she is a support, she is perfect for her. Yeah, but Wolf, you said you didn't want. In fact, Gohan, I didn't have the need to imbue them with magic, since the sons are magical on their own, so. Yes, the weapons are already magical, Bell and Gohan looked at their weapons, showing their classic faces, we're ready. Tomorrow we can go to the most prepared floors, yes, that's good news, well, it's better that we leave it like this. I have to start with the armor that you asked me for, Gohan, don't overdo it, are you kidding? I'm more motivated than ever Wolf looked at the weapon despite saying that he didn't like magic weapons. This one was an exception perhaps because it was not a normal magic weapon. On the other hand, in a dark setting there were objects floating in this place and above all there were two beings floating but only their shadows could be seen. Well, the Minotaurs were defeated. Was it some god? I didn't think so. They are prohibited from fighting even if it is to save their children then the small greeting we sent was not enough to scare them, stupid god of the dungeon. You dare to challenge us, Hedoas, and know who he's dealing with just like we did with your father. We will show you what we can do. It's time to leave this place again, my lords. An image was made behind the two subjects. The preparations are ready. I think it's time to choose who they will bring Operfect. And just in time, it's time to review them, yes, and to think that we are in charge of this objective patience. My brother, very soon our world will return and no one will be able to stop. Us, not even her. Ha 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 ha. At night the two warriors slept peacefully, however Hestia was the only one who did not sleep remembering what Loki told her. Flashback the Tree of Life, as its name suggests, gives life to the supreme gods of the universe. Ifa fruit is born red, it is a candidate to be KO, but only four can be chosen. Those chosen ones are decorated to KO eternally even upon death o. And the golden ones, they are the supreme, as you see the tree decides, and even more so the destiny. Dot but. But, as in every tree, when a fruit is born, it can be born rotten Hestia let out a sigh of surprise. Rotten fruits. That's right, and these are known as. Makeos, next day very well ready on an early morning, Gohan and Bell were next to Hestia. Bell was wearing a kind of cape that covered his brown body. Gohan was wearing something similar, but his was uncovered on the chest and due to his physique, it was tighter. Ina told us that we should use them to enter the central floors and that you already were buted was only very short times, and without direct permission, well, I wish you the best. At the entrance to the dungeon, we see many adventurers enter Hestia was watching until she heard a voice in the distance. The important thing is that they return safely, yes, was the exclamation of six adventurers Makoto, don't overdo it just to level up, yes, a pretty girl with samurai-style clothing and hairstyle was addressing her leader. We're leaving, Takamikazuchi-sama, yeah. Eh, so they are the children of your family Hestia approached who was other than Takamikazuchi a god Hestia, are you going to the central floors, your warrior legendary and little rookie should go too, right? Yes, in fact Gohan doesn't really like being called that really, but it's better than the warlord yes, but it is very painful even though it may not seem like it yes, they got up very early and already left IZ but I am not worried about them, especially Gohan, they will. B. A Tremor. The two gods were silent for a few seconds, feeling the movement beneath them. There have been many lately, I'm sure it's a coincidence, but... It reminds us of those times, right? No, not actually by the way, you were just a novice, I'm sorry. In fact I wasn't there either, don't worry, that was a long time ago while the two were talking. A guy with a hat and a red scarf was watching from a high place with a girl with blue hair. Central Flores grew a, a wolf attacked Gohan's group, the scion took out his staff and with one blow he sent it away, destroying it. Bell used his two knives to destroy one easily as well. Welf also used his sword to defeat others. But in those two they went against Bell and Welf, however. Flash, a green fire-colored arrow hit the two, burning them on the spot. Well done, Dad Lilith Gohan said to Lilith who had a green bow in her hands. This weapon, it's incredible the girl with her fingers using the rope created a kind of arrow that seemed to be on fire. He right goes the girl shot her arrow and hit two wolves, burning them completely. Nice shot. Lilith. Bell praised Lilith, who blushed a little for a moment. Well, let's collect the stones and go to a better place. Lilith began to collect the stones until some rabbits appeared. Bell Sama. They are Bell, they are Almiraj. Bell shouted comically. He he he, they're adorable. It's a shame. They're not what they look like. Gohan took out his staff and the rabbits took out axes. As you imagine. Pow, Gohan defeated them with one blow, making their gems fall to the floor. Dash hundred. 
Dot that hurt me too Bill comically took it to heart, earning a laugh from Wolf and Lilith Bell towards a pout. Let's stay friends the three nodded. Orally we see the man in the hat again eating a lollipop next to him, a girl with blue hair. It seems that many adventurers are quite afraid of Warrior Legendary, a new level 7 adventurer who was even able to defeat even four minotaurs of damnation. There are even some who believe it is a lie also about Little Rocket. Many believe that it is a lie about the time it took him to level up. He was able to level up two more levels even than the Sword Princess in that time that boy. They are Gohan. He is someone quite mysterious and it is, the guy said calmly. Everyone is very hard on them, but I want to get to know him even more. What are you planning, Mr. Hermes? The subject turned out to be the god Hermes, the Greek god. Hermes stopped for a few moments a long time ago before the gods were even forged. There were many dungeons in which the gods, kings of the universe, observed and mediated those candidates to be so. Many heroes turned out to be gods. The girl stopped for a few seconds, somewhat confused. What is this about Hermes-sama? Theminotaurs of damnation were monsters of those times. To choose the gods, the girl had a drop of sweat coming out of her face. What did he say? You only know about them through stories, because we never thought we would see them again. However, here four appeared they are supposed to be beasts that were sealed sealed. Does that mean that? Someone frees them impossible. Well, but at least things didn't get worse. Don't you think so? I think so, but this makes me more interested in this is how. The last thing I want is for him to get into trouble. That's my girl the guy slapped her on the head, making her pout. Changing places where was the man sitting on a great throne completely dark flesh, in moments, lightning passed close to his face, causing that being to succumb to fear. It's been a while since we've seen each other, Lord of the Dungeon, you. Flash, the subject could not say anything because in moments he saw the being of short stature compared to his own in front of him. You should feel honored that a poor second-rate god is in front of me. What are you doing here? They shouldn't be. Is a being as inferior as you giving me orders? Uraniums, the man remained silent. You are only good for three things. The first is to keep the monsters from this stupid dungeon from leaving. The second is to keep the KO seal under control. And the third. Took it in the way. Uranios put on a face more of fear and concern. Wait, what do you have in mind? The subject covered by a completely cape showed a wide smile. What do you think? Thebeing showed a wide pointed smile. Oh, this will be fun. It will soon start. Changing the scene inside the dungeon, we see the group of Takamikazuchi running as if there were no tomorrow. They were quite hurt. In the distance larger, heavier footsteps could be heard, and from afar a shadow of a large creature with chains crawling on its hands and legs could be seen. A loud howl was present in the place, scaring the adventurers even more. What the hell is that? They appeared out of nowhere and devoured the monsters as if nothing had happened. We must go Makoto, yes. The girl shouted as she saw the beast getting closer, but the beast threw its chain at them, creating a strong movement that caused everyone to fall. Quickly, we can't beat him, but what the hell is that? He have no idea, shut up and run away, shouted whoever was in front. The creature observed this and showed a smile. Aren't you going for them? Another voice was heard behind, and the beast, still with its fanged smile, denied, but then began to walk more slowly. It was as if it were playing with its food. In a closer area, Gohan's team was destroying more monsters. They don't give us a break, said Welf. Don't let your guard down, Gohan said. Uka, that beast will catch up with us soon. The girl named Makoto arrived with her leader who had a girl behind him, both of them looking at the group of Gohan. Hey's legendary warrior, he, we will go through them. The girl was surprised. What are you saying? I value their lives more than those. I don't know the group showed a sad face, but no one said anything. Instead, let's ask for help. Don't talk nonsense. They wouldn't help us fight that the guy ran away and the others behind the Makoto grimaced in pain and just paid attention and continued. Gohan's team fought until the scion felt something that disturbed him when he looked at a group that passed by them. C R A N A A H E H E H E H E H E H E H. A bestial roar was heard. Everyone covered their hatred, even Gohan. Look at that. Lilith pointed her finger up, and behind her a gigantic figure was seen. Oh, so those guys led us to you. The immense beast that appeared before the warriors was a gigantic wolf with armor similar to a knight and had chains tied to its arms. What is that? Bell said in shock. The beast gave a big sigh finally free, we are free, your majesty Gohan and the others looked at the creature that pointed to where the adventurers who arrived were running. Die. Stop. Gohan shouted, raising his hand, but then he felt something throwing itself at them. 
Gohan, be careful, Bell shouted, taking Lilith and Gohan to Wolf. Both of them from one moment to the next they jumped, avoiding the attack that created a strong explosion. The incredible thing was that the group fell from a floor. Gohan recomposed himself and together with Wolf began to jump over the rock. And Rock Bell, Gohan, the two approached as best they could and tipped their hands, but more rocks fell on them. Gohan started to break them with his legs, but unfortunately the floor was close and Gohan was very focused on helping that he couldn't destroy them, and he fell to the floor with the boys and the rocks fell on top of them. Look what you did, said the beast to the floating being. I think it happened to me, they must be dead water fool, if you do that, they won't be able to free the others, anyway, let's go, we must go to that place quickly, it's our mission Eno, while we're on the move, we shouldn't draw so much attention the two individuals left the scene. Below this, on another floor, the rocks were piled up until a scream was heard and they flew out. Gohan destroyed them with one blow. Are you okay? Gohan stood up and looked at Bell who managed to save Lilith. Yes, I think so, said the boy. Are you okay? Your wolf? Gohan was taking wolf, but he had an injured leg. Wolf, your leg. I'm fine, the boy said, getting up with Gohan's help. What the hell is that? Wolf said looking at the skyways at a beast from the central floors. I doubt it, Bell said with a drop of sweat. Gohan looked at the place quite seriously. Tease is bad. We can't let that thing walk free somewhere else. Hestia was running directly towards the guild with a worried tone. Hasn't Gohan's team come? Hestia asked a little angrily, but then sighed a little, took a breath, and exhaled it. We haven't seen them, said Anna Hestia, trying to calm down. Please, I would like you to make a search group. Ina nodded and the others did the same until Hestia heard a voice. Hestia. It was Takamikazuchi who arrived with Makoto and Uka somewhere else in the closed space where there was only darkness and some stars it seems that we can finally break this barrier and go to that place. Are you sure this? It will come out, but first, let's bring who we had in mind. It's time to put an end to this stupid error. This individual is the representation of how dangerous humanity is if it is not under control. It will be fun to see how a being like this turns them into dust. I'm ready. It's time to put an end to this. Open it. Where uranium was lying on the floor and the hooded being showed its face, it was a humanoid being with pointed ears, a patch, and black hair, but on its forehead it said, Ma. Poor fool. He thought we wouldn't do anything to him, but it turns out we are not gods who should be trusted, thanks to all the divine mineral from the ancient dungeons that you gave us. Now we can start. They deceived me. Said the god lying on the floor, idiot, for years you thought that they gave us the mineral to keep the seal controlled, but it turns out that they didn't. You are a traitor, you are wrong. Those you trusted are already dead, hey? Four years that damned organization has kept us in the shadows, and every damned space-time of the dimensions, but that will end, they can't do anything here. And you cheap gods will remember those times of war before taking the throne the being approached uranium and tore off a necklace that he had between his long sleeves. What are you doing? Don't worry, we're not going to release them yet, and I won't kill you first, but what I do need from you is this thing. The being from the chain ripped off a small object, and from it took out a key. Stop, shut up, the subject hit uranium in the face, leaving him unconscious. Now gathering the material, and this key. We have this, the individual joined the two pieces, and, as if the matter were manipulated by him, put the objects together, and finally created a kind of clock-shaped cane. Ready, they give to the gods, done, now all that remains is for you to do your thing, my dear little climbers. Get to the center and attract them. Let them in. It is time for them to die in our name. It seems I'm done we returned to the previous plane so, let's go to that place. To bring it? That's how it is are you sure he would cooperate? No, it's more like he'll kill us the other one got nervous, but maybe not. Remember that he has something that the others don't, the cells of the greatest heroes, but also... That of the worst villains, I'm sorry Hestia. In a kind of abandoned temple there were certain people gathered in that simple place the one who was apologizing while bowing his body was Takamikazuchi. His face reflected signs of guilt and regret. He was known to be a very kind god and especially to the goddess to whom Hestia apologized. Behind the god were his children, those who recently went to the dungeon on the central floors were with their heads lowered in sign of repentance and apology. On the other hand, Hephaestus and some children of Takamikazuchi were also present. Although they have been desperate, I am sorry. Hestia did not say a word. She was looking at the window with a stoic but serious face with her hand resting on the colored glass. One of them couldn't stop looking at the floor until hearing the goddess's words made her look forward. 
What kind of monster was it? A giant wolf with chains in its arms, the girl responded as she looked at the gloomy face of the goddess who turned to look at them. Was. Yes, I never thought that such a monstrosity was in the dungeon, Hephaestus responded, looking at the floor. However, Gohan should be able to, then why? Hestia Pareto fists with rage, scaring those present a little. It trusted Gohan, he is fine, but if something happens to him or Bell, I swear by my title of God that I will curse and hate them until the day they die. Those present lowered their heads with more fear, hearing that from a god was a symbol of Hephaestus' fear, and they were amazed to see Hestia's attitude. It was the first time that she showed a face so full of anger, anger, of resentment. But that if they come back, I will forget this. Do you want to atone for your sin? Help me look for it. Hestia, now calmer, stretched her arm towards those present while rays of sun entered behind the glass, giving a divine image to the girl. Before a goddess the adventurers immediately knelt was something special, without a doubt Hestia sometimes showed that air of a deity yeah, after Hestia's words Hephaestus was the one who would speak but even if you want to form a search group. Almost all of our members went to Loki's family's expedition but that Gohan Kuen, being a level 7 adventurer, has lost. He hasn't lost, Hestia said seriously. How are you so sure? We are talking about that one not for nothing, said Hestia with a drop of sweat. I could let anyone know I can only send Uka and Makoto. Chigusa would be a serious support. The others would only get in the way three of them lowered their heads. I will also help Hestia two people entered the temple Hermes. What are you doing here? The god entered with his companion and heard that one of my dear friends was in trouble and I came to help her especially because a special monster appeared. I came with your request to look for son Gohan and his friends Hermes showed the paper to Hestia your dear friend. You've barely spoken to her since you came down from heaven. It's true, how bad they are, but it's true that I want to help Hestia, and help son Gohan, what will you do, Hestia, asked Tick. For now I will find as many more as I can, I don't know why Gohan hasn't shown up, but that only shows the seriousness of the situation, but what was that creature exactly? Makoto asked those present. The gods lowered their heads. We wouldn't know until we see it directly, but it's surely an undead beast. A lynch, lynch? You have heard of Elder Lynch, right? They are dark beings that manipulate magic. Well, this is a lynch version of a Fenris, only smaller how, those present were silent. They belong to the old scale of the ancient dungeons, but this one is worse, a bloodthirsty monster like the Minotaurs of Damnation? Makoto asked. No. Theminotaurs are like ants before him the atmosphere was filled with fear they are intelligent but stronger. They like to make their prey suffer but more than anything. That they love to do it in large groups, it is an apocalyptic beast Hestia looked at the floor with a drop of sweat. And what is such a horrible monster doing in the dungeon? Makoto asked, somewhat nervous. I don't know, but that's what we'll find out as soon as we find Gohan, for now that's our priority that's why I'll go to Hermes Sid with a smile, but everyone made a face of astonishment. The gods are not supposed to go to the dungeon. Tis is serious, something that only the gods can handle, as long as no one knows about it, we must also avoid causing unnecessary scandals, said Tick. I'll go to Hestia, said with a serious face, I'm going to save Bell, and my beloved Gohan, sorry, it's our fault. Tick approached again, embarrassed. Okay, this is going down a very strange path, is that monster so strong, I asked as Phil. Theminotaurs of damnation are higher than level 7, just imagine this monster the girl had a drop of sweat coming out. It's certain that not even Gohan Kuen can do it alone, I didn't believe it. Hestia clenched a fist, hey, something must have happened, I'm sure, Gohan wouldn't lose so easily. Don't you think you give your son Hestia a lot of expectations? Hermes asked a little nervously, and the others were still strange. One thing was the Minotaurs, but they had just said that this beast was worse. Then why did I trust him so much? That doesn't matter now, I have to find them no matter what, Gohan, I'm sure you're fine. Hestia held her chest with a smile. He's fine, he won't lose. To anyone Gohan on the other hand was walking through the dungeon with Welf on his shoulder and Bell carrying Lilith. Forgive me Gohan, don't worry, for now let's find a place where I can treat that wound. The bad thing is that there are no herbs here or anything like that. We will have to continue going down, but what about that monster? Bell also looked at Gohan. I can feel it anymore, it's very strange, the only thing we can do is keep going down until we find it and treat that wound can't you feel it, Gohan? Bell asked. No, it's strange, it's as if something covered its energy, that beast is dangerous Gohan and the others continued walking through a rocky area with a certain amount of light, it is not known where they had fallen and they could only continue walking. 
Where are we? The scion asked Lilith. We are no longer on the central floors, Lilith said to the scion who was still looking around the area. Another group of wolves attacked the group of adventurers directly. Toth Saigohan shouted at the two to attack with a golden energy that destroyed all the wolves. Incredible Egansama, it's true, but you shouldn't attack just your Gohan, Bell said with some disappointment at not being able to fight, and she was also worried that Gohan would be the only one fighting. Don't misunderstand me, Bell. I need you to also conserve all your possible strength. We don't know what we will find out there. I understand the boy with some surprise responded to what the scion said. Bell knew that Gohan was not conceited, nor did he undervalue his friends. In fact, he was thinking more than anything about them, especially Bell, who at the moment after Gohan, he was the only one who could physically fight because Welf was injured and Lilith was more supportive. Lilith, any ideas? The scion asked. We can't leave just like that, much less with that beast loose, but we must take care of Welf. The best thing we can do is go to the 18th floor, 18th floor. Yes, that's right. There we could take refuge until we find the beast and stop it. Why should we fight that thing? Welf asked. Don't be an idiot. Are you planning to let that monster loose? Lilith comically yelled at Welf. No. I didn't want to for now, let's do what Lilith says. If that monster is from the dungeons, we must be cautious and have all our strength to fight. Do you think that such a strong monster is from these floors? I don't believe it, said Lilith. Who knows well, for now let's use this Lilith took out a bag with a terribly unpleasant smell. The three of them had to cover their noses. What disgusting Lilith rented with this almost no monster will approach us. Let's start our walk through the floors before the effect disappears and said and done the three began to follow Lilith who was in the lead with the fetid bag. Do you want me to take her? Gohan asked. Thank you Gohan Sama but I'm not that weak forgive me. I didn't mean. Ha ha ha. Calm down but you better be in the rear helping this fool with a mocking smile Lilith looked at Wolf who clicked her tongue well okay. Let's go the boys were walking but in a certain place a guy was sitting on the throne where uranium should be it will be boring and we would destroy everything quickly. Before that I want to cause a little more terror what are you going to do? Said uranium's on the floor. Shut your mouth god of the dungeon. You're lucky you're still alive. Let's start by releasing something fun the seated being raised his staff and made it shine brightly. Now wait. Let the pleasure begin. Gohan and the others were walking. They had been walking for a while until the bag was weaker in smell. Clearly it was more bad than good. The smell is disappearing very quickly then there is no other choice. Bell, protect Lilith, yeah. P.O.W.W. P.O.W.W. Loud footsteps shook the place until the four of them were nervous. What is that thing doing here? Two minotaurs appeared in front of the two but they did not come alone. A larger beast appeared behind. It was a gigantic beast with the body of a lion, the horns of a goat and the tail of a snake. A chimera. Lilith exclaimed with drops of sweat, but it wasn't just one, it was two, accompanied by several bats the size of a human. Damn. Wolf Gohan said, looking at this seriously, just like the four themselves. We must fight, are you ready? Yes, exclaimed the four Wolf. Don't stop me, Gohan, I'll fight too, said Wolf, anchored on one leg and pointing his sword at the monsters. Gohan didn't say anything, but I respect that spirit more than ever. Without waiting for a sign of anything, the Chimeras launched themselves against Gohan and the warriors began the fight. To Kethis, Lilith with the bow began to shoot arrows against the creatures of the sky, hitting them and knocking them down. Wolf and Bell faced the Minotaurs. Bell at full charge began to fight and cut them up. Wolf also clashed weapons against them. Gohan knocked down a Chimera with a kick. However, one threw a blow which Gohan stopped and threw a blow again. They are more intelligent beasts, Gohan kicked the two at the same time against the Lilith wall and attacked the creatures of the sky with several arrows that he launched. Bell managed to knock him down against a minotaur, but he hit him against Welf and threw them to the ground. Bell Sama, W-E-L-F Before Lilith's scream of terror, Gohan went out to support him, but a flash of fire made him put himself on guard, and when he looked, they were the two chimeras that stood up, very badly injured. Gua K-Y-A-A-A Get away the flying beasts began to corner Lilith who shook her hands and several energy attacks were pushed away by Gohan. Gohan Sama. Are you okay? Yes, but. A minotaur attacked the two and Gohan completely decapitated it with one blow. The chimeras were quite nervous and their gazes rested on the two adventurers who stood up. Damn. G-R-U-A-H-H-H-H, -H -H -H. the beasts launched themselves against Bell and Welf who, when they looked, both put their hands in front have. 
Both cast spells, but the creature continued running towards the two, but Gohan threw himself at the two with an attack and made them crash against the wall to launch an attack and finally eliminate them in a strong explosion Gohan.ahhh. The other beasts launched themselves against the other boy's attack, H-A-A-A. The four combined an attack against each other and shot at the monsters, making a strong explosion. In the end, only the Minotaur came out, but Bell jumped in and decapitated it with his two knives. Webb eat them. Yes, but I feel more approaching wealth and those fell to the floor just like Bell are you okay, Lilith and Gohan approached the two yeah. But Wolf's leg was more injured and Bell had a strong wound on his side. Furthermore, Gohan and Lilith had small wounds on their bodies, with Gohan clearly due to the fall, it was more dirt. They are not in condition, we must move forward, Lilith, please guide us to that floor, yes, whatever you say, the girl said before Gohan. Gohan taking Bell and Wolf and Lilith in front as a guide, the two went directly to the front in a certain place, the being sitting on the throne watching with a gloomy smile, the subject had special red clothing similar to a red-brown K.O., his hair was green and he was sitting on the throne in a very relaxed manner. That two chimeras, as if nothing had happened, that human, is not normal, he also gives off a power, quite broad and I feel that he has more hidden in him, the being changed his smile from recently on a quite serious face but still maintaining his calm. Placing his finger on his chin it looks like we will have fun, for a while on the other hand, being at night in the city of Orio, a group was gathered and looking at it was Hestia with a cloak covering her body. Ready? Yes they all affirmed so, let's go. Hestia Summer. A voice was heard behind the group and there appeared a girl with a green cape covering her head and a kind of sword could be seen. Who are you? Calm down, she came to help, said Hermes, who also wore a cape on his body. Hestia stated with a smile. So, let's go, oh, they come more at this hour than it's fun, wait, two of those are gods of this world in a crystal ball the subject observed the group that entered the dungeon you understand that the gods cannot enter this dungeon, how interesting, this will be more fun you are a demon Uranios, who was on one side, quite hurt, looked at the subject. Don't be confused, I'm a god Uranios began to tremble looking at the subject more precisely, a Kaoli, how dare you usurp the sacred title of the Kaosemis, because you're really annoying. It seems like you want to continue suffering the subject stood up and created a kind of whip with K.I.E. Hope. That you don't die since I need your life for now. In a certain place, Hestia's group arrived and they found the huge hole and fallen rocks. Those present, even the gods, stood tense. How terrible. Did that monster do that? With guilty faces, the take adventurers clenched their fists. Hestia looked at the scene with sweat. Go and call and be defeated by something like that. We must keep moving forward, are you sure? I asked. If I am sure, let's continue, said none other than Ryu, who was the girl accompanying them. I also trusted that Gohan would not be defeated that easily. If that is true, it is most likely that they are hurt, which means that they can try to go to the upper floors to take shelter. Although Warrior Legendary is not injured, it is most likely that his friends are then we will go, Hestia said. Starting to walk forward and the others followed him, however, Hestia and Hermes felt something that made them tremble a little. What was that? Did I tremble? They both thought, looking at their hands. Is something wrong? Makoto asked. No, nothing. Come on, but the two left with a drop of sweat falling down their faces, which meant that it was a premonition while they were walking through the dungeon. By the way, Hermes, why did you want to help me? I already told you to help. Leave that. With a fairly high tone of voice, Hestia stopped Hermes, the reason her words were lies, if even the gods lie. The truth is that it was a request from a certain person, ascertained person, Booty didn't just come here because someone asked me, the truth is I'm interested in seeing the second level 7 adventurer on the other hand. Gohan and Bell arrived at a very remote place, it was rocky and full of stones. Gohan carried Wolf until he felt his hit fall. Wolf.welf, Bell, are you okay? Yes, but... When he looked at Bell Gohan, he saw that he was carrying Lilith on his shoulder. Don't worry, she's unconscious. I Z, I'm glad, but we must get out of here quickly and get to the upper floors. Yes, come on, Bell, leave that backpack and carry Lilith. I'll take Wolf okay returning again with the being seated on the throne. A floating being appeared before him, bowing before him. Where is your servant? I left it at rest until you give us our next order, okay? The reason I called you is because we will need your forces when the plan is ready. You know that, right? That's right, my lord, but why are you waiting? It wouldn't be easier. No, we are not going to fight just like that. It would be risky even for us. The plan is already underway. 
We can only wait if those are your choices Wiggids are not invincible, it's even annoying to say it, but it's just the beginning in the dungeon. Gohan and Bell both walked carrying one of their companions until they reached a place with a shiny wall. Gohan, this place, the Great Wall of Regret, is where the boss Goliath is boss? To the most powerful beasts on the floor surely the Loki family should have already eliminated him, but considering the time it takes to revive, you are the only one who can beat him okay. Let's go the two entered through a narrow path, but it broke in seconds and a gigantic humanoid beast emerged from there. It's Goliath shouted Bell Bell, take Wolf and Lilith and go Gohan. Okay Gohan walked up to Goliath and kicked him in the face, making him crash against the wall. Take this. But next to Gohan another Chimera appeared again, but this one was much bigger like Goliath. Gohan runs but Quickly Bill, you must save our friends. Gohan dodged a blow from Goliath and the Chimera. Bill ran away without any other option. Kami. Gohan dodged the Goliath blow without leaving his came hang posture. Hami. The Chimera also attacked but Gohan kicked it without losing his posture. H A A A and throwing a cane haim ha at both of them, he completely disintegrated them, producing an explosion, but at the same time he made the place rumble, causing stones to fall. Gohan jumped on a rock, he launched himself towards Bell, and they both threw themselves at an entrance that was in the place, falling. Into the abyss Gohan and Bell between the two began to skate along a long path full of stones until they landed in a kind of place. The place denoted a lot of tranquility, its silence made it clear that there was green grass and also a lot of tranquility. The boys fell and Bell fell unconscious due to the tiredness of fighting and the injuries. Bell was not weak enough to fall unconscious just because, but he was injured and he was also not as resistant as Gohan, but Gohan was also dirty and also had injuries from the injuries. Rocks Bell, Bell, Gohan took the boy in his arms, but as he lifted him he felt an energy approaching him slowly that he turned to see and there he observed her, the owner of that energy Ein San, Gohan Kuen. Bell was lying on a stretcher in some kind of camp besides Lilith and Wolf thank you, I don't know how to pay you for helping us you don't have to thank me for anything, Gohan Kuen, are you sure you don't want to be checked? Eins and Gohan were sitting next to the unconscious boys. Unlike the others, Gohan was healthier, but there were stains of dirt on his clothes due to the constant walks and fights they had along the way. As Goku said, being a super scion does not make him immune to certain things, and his clothes could get dirty. No, I'm very calm however, Eins began to take his face with a hand on his cheek. Those scars, you've always had them, do they hurt? Gohan was blushing a little. Yes, but it doesn't hurt, don't worry, Gohan gently took her hand, which made her blush. Gohan looked at her and blushed, removing his hand slightly. I'm sorry, Ainz apologized. Do not apologize, what is this? It's like what I feel with Hestia Gohan was holding his chest, his heart was at a fairly high rate. Well, your friends will rest for a while, I would like you to come with me and talk to our leader in another cabin of Rivian, the 18th floor on the first day. You are definitely special a short man said to Gohan, Finn was sitting in a chair, Riveria was on one side, just like Ainz. Edge of you my most sincere thanks for helping us Gohan bowed slightly to those present. You even defeated Goliath, I am amazed, you are incredible, worthy of being level 7 Riveria was addressing Gohan no, I mean, I'm not that special those in the place realized that Gohan was a very polite person, despite his serious and even cold attitude towards some, he was someone polite and kind hearted. Anyway, Gohan, you can stay as our guests. In the end, we also owe you one for the Minotaur's thank you and besides, Ainz would be angry if we left his friends alone. Ainz looked at the end with a pout. After the talk with Finn, Gohan and Ainz came out and two dark-skinned girls were waiting for them. Look, he's an Argonaut Argonaut. Gohan asked himself, looking at one of them who seemed very excited. They are Tioni and T1. You reminded me of a fantasy story that I heard as a child about an ancient hero. When I saw you fight against the Minotaurs, I was very excited. Tiona took Gohan's arm, making him blush a little the moment she turned. Rubbed on it, please didn't pay attention to him. I also wanted to thank you for helping us that moment. Don't worry, no problem, he's blushing. How cute. Tiona got closer to Gohan, who withdrew his face to one side trying to maintain seriousness, but on the other hand, towards a small pout. Leave him Tiona, he has to rest Ainz took Gohan by his metal arm and took him away E-H-H-H-H-H-H-H. The two looked at how Gohan was carried away by Ainz. Well, I can feel his warrior's side and it makes me feel strange. Tiona placed her hand on her cheek. On the floor the workers, blacksmiths, and everyone worked calmly. Gohan on the other hand looked curious. 
Is that Kane knew, Ainz who accompanied Gohan on a walk opened a question when he looked at his back and saw how he was carrying one. Egg yes, Wolf did it to me the blacksmith. But why a staff? Why not a sword or a more special weapon? Gohan gave a small smile for what he said. It wanted to remember my father, and that's why I wanted a cane like the one he carried your father? Yes, he was a great warrior. I wanted to wear something that would make me feel as strong as him eyes with his serious face continued looking at Gohan as you say, your father must be. I've died a long time ago, I'm sorry. I know what that is Gohan looked at Ainz who changed to a more lonely tone and didn't want to say anything that would make her feel bad. By the way, where does the light come from? This is supposed to be a flat, right? Come with me Ainz took him by the hand and took him to a place where, when he looked up, he saw a large number of crystals on a tree. Crystals, yes, but according to legend, on this floor in those crystals, it symbolizes an ancient era before us. Eh? Interesting, I remember reading ancient legends, especially about some strange dark beings. Dark, yes, but I didn't continue reading so I can't tell you more. I'm sorry you are very funny. Gohan Ainz showed a smile and so did Gohan, but Gohan opened his eyes a little. Are me laughing? And I'm still an SSJ. I'm doing it, Gohan. I'm not fine. Ha 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 Heinz tilted his head a little but didn't say anything. Some time passed and it was actually getting dark. Gohan was sitting in the camp. Gohan felt a movement behind him and when he turned around he looked at the three of them turning to one side as a sign of moving. Boys. Gohan approached the three who opened their eyes. Do you know who I am? I could never forget you, Gohan-sama, Lilith said. I say the same thing, Gohan, Bell spoke. How good, I'm so happy and if I listen to Lily Rennet we are fine, now it was Wolf. Asking Hestia and Artemis to teach him how to dance better. Artemis and Hestia were going to Gohan but Hermes stopped them but he earned his blows. Otter, is it possible to bring a herd of minotaurs here, not me goddess, while they were dancing, a lantern illuminated the two only as the lights went out, Apollo approached the two and looked at Gohan to get a somewhat scrupulous smile, which made Gohan get serious. They are Gohan, right? Yes, Gohan answered seriously. Artemis and Hestia faced the scion Apollo. Artemis, I heard your story. Poor thing Artemis became serious. What do you want Apollo? I heard you had problems with my family. I don't deny it. The scion replied seriously. And so you have the courage to tell me to my face. Gohan did not leave his posture. Because you are here, I am telling you to your face, but if you expect an apology, forget it, I would apologize if it were really my fault silence fell throughout the place, this human was responding to a god so he would left my family like this. A street light came on and the boy was bandaged saying that it hurt with crutches, but at first glance it looked so fake that anyone who believed it was stupid. Are you really doing such a stupid performance? Apollo got angry. Are you calling me a liar? Ife is so bad, why is he on crutches and not in a wheelchair? Second, I threw him to his companions. Why are they then behind him without a scratch? And third, why did I leave him like this because isn't the other one the same? Gohan pointed to the member who had the black eye who seemed to get angry. It's true this is incredible, Apollo, said Hestia and Artemis. I didn't need to explain anything. I want compensation. I'm not going to give you anything, said Hestia. All right, then. You don't leave me a choice. The Apollo family challenges the Hestia family to a war fire. Hestia and Artemis, like the other allied gods, became serious, but the others began to shout with joy, yes, a war game, I went to see it now, a war game, and if I win, I'll stay with your family member. Apollo stuck out his tongue to lick his lips. Do you challenge us to fight? Hestia said. Gohan was serious about facing Apollo. Do you want me to fight your family so much? Were they so hurt by not being able to win? It is not so simple an ignorant child, it is much more complex so, what's different about it? Soon the truth Apollo smiled at Gohan in his disgusting way. Gohan was simply listening to his words. Let's go, Gohan Hestia Artemis and the Scion left the party, leaving Apollo with his smile. When they arrived from the party they told Bell about what happened. IZ, I'm sorry, this was because I got into a fight with them no Gohan, that scoundrel Apollo doesn't change, he did this to ridicule me just because I have them both in way except, that depends on you Gohan, we can win, but. Those poor people are already fed up with seeing us as trash, I got them into this and I will not allow them to continue seeing you as a joke, let's accept and win I will fight too, Gohan, let's defeat those guys that's right they've both bumped fists and the gods. Smiled. Well, so be it. But, Gohan, you must be completely ready, we need your arm quickly, and I give you permission to use the Z-Sword the three were surprised. 
It is time for the Hestia family to stop being everyone's joke. It is time for us to be at the top. More when you deserve it, Hestia looked at Gohan and Bell, who smiled, I also think it's time for you to have what is rightfully yours, life must reward you, go and win, said Artemis, touching Gohan's cheek. I didn't care about luxuries or things like that, but it's true that people see Hestia with different eyes, Hestia, we will win that same night Gohan was training with the Z-Sword, already mastering it better. You didn't rest for a second, Hestia, sorry, I woke you up, don't worry, but you should rest no, especially when I fight against people I don't know. I'm tired of being seen as mere leftovers. You don't deserve that. You are a great goddess and I want the world to see it, Gohan. Hestia blessed I owe you my life, our home, our peace. That you have done so much for me that I will not let you belittle us when Gohan was going to continue. He felt Hestia taking him by the back, hugging him tightly. For heaven's sake, how happy you make me. I don't understand how someone like me was so lucky to have you, Hestia. Gohan put down the sword and took it by the face. I'm sorry. It's just that hearing you say that moved me a lot Gohan blushed too. Aye. Gohan didn't say anything else when he felt Hestia kiss him. Yes, she stole a kiss from him with so much passion that her blushing skin was the example. Hestia. Shoot, don't say more. It was time for me to show how much I really love you. It doesn't matter if there are more of you than me. I won't walk away from you. Hestia supported Gohan on her chest. Thank you for choosing me. I always will be. I will never regret it. Tell me what to do and I will do it, don't say it like that. Stupid sorry the next day. Bell got up and got organized, but Gohan remained serious. Aru leaving Gohan. Hey, Bell, take Hestia and Artemis and prepare for the worst what's happening. That's what I'll find out Gohan came out seriously at the door and there he saw several adventurers on the roofs of the houses. They were sons of Apollo, armed and with fighting faces. Gohan read their intentions perfectly and that's why he didn't lower his guard or one second what do you want? What are you doing here? Some of them raised their hands and cast spells that Gohan deflected into the sky. Astonished them by the feet I asked them what they wanted. Bastards. Gohan did not resist and seeing that words and warnings were of no use, he got into a fighting position. Gohan launched himself against them and with a kick he knocked one of them to the ground, taking his position. Another attack but Gohan also knocked him to the ground, making a fuss and at the same time people began to look out to hear the commotion and the waitresses saw it. My mom also came out to see, and when Seer saw Gohan in front of the adventurers, he got scared. What's wrong, Naya? Hey, isn't it? Gohan Ku and Seer shouted scared and Ryu also looked out. You unfortunate people, I will not forgive you for this returning to where Gohan was. He was looking at the other adventurers. He did not understand this. Is this how the war game was supposed to begin? If so, what a cowardly and dirty method. Artemis, Hestia, and Bell went out to see what was happening since Bell told them that Gohan left the house seriously. Soiree strong, huh? According to the rumors Daphne and Cassandra looked with the others, many of them looking at Gohan with defiant faces, pointing their weapons at Gohan, however, Gohan did not lose his posture. What have you come to do? We still haven't accepted your challenge this is a war, the girl said without changing her face. When Apollo Sama likes something, he chases it. So? Well, tell him that I'm not on his list, Gohan said, starting to lose his posture. Did it really hurt you that much when Gohan beat you? He didn't understand anything. It seemed absurd and ridiculous to him, and even more so, coming to attack. His house in such a blatant manner, this made him angrier, expressing it with his face. Daphne, you shouldn't fight with him, I feel something in him, silence Cassandra was interrupted when the girl and some adventurers with their weapons in hand launched themselves. Gohan stayed in his position without moving watching how they approached with their weapons in hand. At the same time, the strangers felt that he lost the desire to fight. Some accelerated the attack more violently, but Gohan raised his arm little by little and after having it completely straight and with a scream he expelled a wave of K.I., sending them flying. Better leave and don't bother again, you are not my indicated opponents in war it would be different, very different, said Daphne, standing up, leaning on the wall. So different, huh? Some citizens and adventurers saw this, Hestia, Artemis, and Bell anyway. I was thinking of accepting the battle anyway. I think it's a waste, but, well, if they leave us alone with that Gohan threw himself on the floor in front of the three who nodded. On the other hand, Welf and Lilith were waiting in the dungeon, but nothing came that Gohan or Bell arrived when the two are so punctual. The adventurers gathered were chatting with each other with their groups there taking a while, Welf said. Yeah, did you hear? The Apollo family attacked the Hestia family. 
They say that legendary warrior defeated them and now they are going to Apollo's mansion Wolf and Lilith were amazed by this saying of an adventurer who came running to give news about the current situation. Many were impressed by how an adventurer was beating several members of a family by himself, although many knew Gohan, even Otter, who was level 7, would not have an easy time. The three of them arrived at Apollo's mansion and the doors opened and there were more adventurers around the door. The four of them entered along the way. Apollo get out of there, Hestia shouted, and Apollo came out. Hey, give me your glove. Hestia went to the dwarf who got scared and gave it to him, then Hestia threw it in Apollo's face, scaring everyone. Do you want a war? You will have it, what's more? Let everyone listen to me, we are going to kick your ass and I will show everyone. That the Hestia family from now on is the strongest family. Did you hear me? The loudest. And those more adventurous people came out screaming with excitement and strength for Hestia's acceptance. Well, I'm dying to make you look ridiculous. I'll let you know when. It won't be necessary, said Gohan. If you want tomorrow, we can do it. Everyone fell at this statement. I'm one of those who don't like to waste time. I finished them quickly, so. Do you accept or not? Apollo smiled with more disgust. Cheer up. But I'm afraid we have to at least wait a few days. I'm not going to wait a few days. You better fix it quickly. Rest assured that I won't forgive you for this. Gohan looked angrily at Apollo and the people were still in shock, without a doubt. This boy was interesting after certain events. The Hestia family and the Apollo family had challenged each other to a war game. The god Apollo in an attempt to humiliate Hestia due to past grudges and because his family received a severe beating. He has decided to take the scion to he outside the Apollo mansions. Everyone was calmer. Hestia sighed heavily while Artemis and the boys looked at their goddess. So have to wait. Yes, but with this they won't attack us anymore. However now the annoying thing is coming Ami bothering you. That's right. In addition to the rumors that will come, we must establish the rules of the fight. And without a doubt Apollo wanted to put us at a greater disadvantage when it's just us only you can fight. Gohan, Bell, Artemis said to the two. No problem. With Gohan, I can say that we have won the fight, said Bell, looking at the scion. Not just me. I'm counting on you too, Bell. If we still have time, we should train, although with Gohan, we almost have victory in our hands. The problem will be the rules. I'll take care of that, Hestia. You can't say anything, Artemis said. I know. Luckily, no one. Damn, the family of that idiot Loki knows about Gohan's story. Artemis got scared or really, yes, but I hope they haven't told that flat chest anything I think not. I trusted Ein San Hestia looked at Gohan with a certain face, earning a nervous face from the scion. Well, Gohan, you must be ready. I will tell Hephaestus to have your arm quickly. You must be more than prepared. Yes, that's fine, Bell. Train a lot, yes. Kamisama, they will be difficult days. People will attack us, and so will the gods. Even though Gohan is level 7, there are still many children and that is why they are so confident, but he trusted that we would silence them that day. He trusted both of them both nodded seriously. Guys, a scream was heard in the distance, warning the family Lilith, Wolf we found out what happened, sorry for being so late neglect are you going to fight against Apollo's family, that's right, we can't let them do what they want, we have to stop them I agree, said Wolf, nodding to what the scion says. Well, with you the victory is clear. As long as the rules are in your favor, that's what Hestia said. If I take care of that after all this, that same night the Scion and Bell were in the patio of their house. Ready Gohan Bell took out his two knives and Gohan took out his sword. Get ready, because I will be more serious this time Bell nodded and launched himself at Gohan, starting the exchange of clashes of weapons. Of course Bill was the one who attacked the most and Gohan only stopped the attacks since if he attacked with her he would surely break the knives even if they were made. Of hard materials on that same night Lilith was walking through the dark night until she felt someone approaching her and turned quickly with her bow. It's good that you're okay, Erda the girl Zanis, a young man with short, gray hair, carrying a sword, faced Lilith. What are you doing here? It hot you had died, but I never imagined that you were allied with the Hestia family. How do you know that? Because I was also in the attack of the Hestia family, of course as an observer Lilith was impressed by this more by Erda's smile when adjusting her glasses why do you help the Apollo family, they hired us, of course, it's a shame we couldn't help much, but in the end the payment was the important thing as greedy as ever although I also wanted to emphasize the doubts I had, I heard that you were supporting the Hestia family, is that true, Lilith became a little more nervous. Then it's true, you are our dear companion, we can't let another family have you Lilith was starting to sweat a little. The Hestia family will soon be destroyed Lilith was still serious. Even if that adventurer is level 7, being only 2, they have no chance of winning. When Apollo Sama will send all his children Lilith was angry, but she hid it. 
I didn't plan to return to the Soma family that, just as you heard, I won't come back, now I'm with Gohan-sama, and Bell-sama and you think we'll let you go just like that? What do you want me to do to make you let me go? The tis for Mr. Soma to decide. But I warn you, you won't be able to leave us. I recommend not sending your troops. You will only end up falling. How daring. Sooner or later that family will fall. I assure you will. What should I do so that the family can be there? Xanis smiled and Lilith felt a blow on the back of her head, leaving her unconscious. He 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 he. In a large house there were many people at a door trying to enter. Please Soma Sama, give me a little of your drink. Please just a little more. I cannot live without her. Many people at the door with tired, sleepy, and even exhausted faces tried to enter, begging the guards who stood firm in front of the people. Soma Sama, in a room a man with young appearance, black hair that covered his eyes, was grinding something in a cup. It brought the girl Lilaruka Erda has returned next to Xanis was Lilith, but rubbing her head a, eh, did you bring me by force? Silence, you are before Soma Sama Lilith turned and looked at the young man who was the god Soma grinding and making liquor. However, he was something special. He did not pay attention to them. He was completely gone, just working in his place. He says that he will change his behavior and serve the family. Soma Sama, please let me leave the family, Lilith exclaimed to the god, but he did not pay attention to her. He was completely focused on his affairs. What manners are those? If you plan to leave, you must pay the price price. Yes, you must pay Mr. Soma for everything he did for you. Let's see. Ten million is enough what? I don't have that much money. Is that enough Mr. Soma? I'm ordering it to you, was all the god said without stopping his work. Next day in a meeting there were several gods gathered and sitting looking at a single place. Among them was Loki, Mayak, Take and Freya. The latter was smiling and was completely in other thoughts. Where is Hestia? Apollo hit the table. It's only been a few minutes, Mayak said. Yes, calm down, Apollo, Tick also said with a bored face because of the god's attitude. Surely that dwarf is thinking about fleeing. Even if she has a level 7 warrior, she is completely out of battle. Those present laughed at Loki's jokes. Freya was still smiling, but her face showed ignorance about this. Tick, Mayak, and Hermes were the only ones who were not laughing. They were very close friends of Hestia, and although they were neutral in this case, they did not think it was appropriate. Loki's offense and more when Gohan saved his family Watwords, for whom you owe so much Loki Loki and the gods fell silent when they saw Hestia and Artemis arrive. What did you say, dwarf? Hestia remained serious and looked at Loki for a few minutes. She was impressed by Hestia's seriousness. Well, I don't expect much from you, envious. In fact, I don't expect anything from many of you. I know who I count on and who I don't. Now Hestia looked at Taken Mayak who gave her a smile. Hestia also looked at Hermes who, although he was neutral, knew that she had her friendship and even looked at Freya who smiled back at her. Hestia was not very close to Freya, but when she saw her not laughing returned gratitude for his words harsh words Hestia, especially when you said that you were going to be the best family of all, can you really be? Just think about it, here there are gods like Loki and me with many followers, on the other hand, you, again everyone laughed again Artemis was going to say something but Hestia stopped her, she was serious without losing her posture. It's true, we won't be the best family, I repeat, there are friends here that I love and their families are great and I respect them for that, however, from today I will stop being the mockery of all of you, of such petty gods. Like you. Apollo. Hestia pointed to Apollo who was smiling at her. And you, Artemis? What are you doing at his side? Someone who can have hundreds of followers. It's none of your business, narcissist, the girl said in a serious tone. How rude, for someone who hated relationships, I see you very close to others we're getting off topic, can we start at once? Clear the two Hestias sat at the table and Apollo Artemis sat in the distance since Hestia was the main leader and she should be the one to negotiate. So how are you going to play? Don't screw up, Loki said from above. If I win I'll take your children what if we win, I'll do whatever they want, of course it's impossible as you want, and I give you the right to choose how we are going to fight, as long as the right of my children to fight is respected, wait, there's Hestia, Apollo said, raising his hand. It is true that you have two children and one of them is level 7, but I heard that he has an artificial arm and certain equipment, and this fight its use will be prohibited both Hestia Artemis, Mayak, Take and Hermes made a bad face. It's not fair. Gohan has a problem with his arm. It's not my fault that your family member did something stupid to lose him. Ha 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 unhappy. Hestia was going to stand up upset, but decided to sigh and sit down again. I won't let myself be provoked. My children have the same right to equipment as yours booth is level 7, so what? It's not my fault that your children are cowards like you. 
Apollo grimaced more at the insult than at his children. It give you the right to choose the fight, so we have the right to team. Do it really give me the right to choose how to compete? The gods were a little surprised since in this type of fight there was a one versus one mode and the all against all mode, that is, a siege. If Apollo chose one versus one, it would be Gohan and Bell against the children that Apollo chooses, but in individual battles until one wins, obviously Apollo was everything but not an idiot. If he chose this way winning would be impossible because Gohan was the highest level of Oreo, so his safest option was the siege where everyone would go against the two in a pitched battle. This is clearly an injustice, but if Hestia gave her every right, there was nothing she could do. There were only two who knew about Gohan's power and one was not very clever and this obviously made Hestia nervous. If I do not care how brave Hestia, but sometimes that bravery is more idiotic. What happens if I say I want a siege, I don't care. But I repeat, I want my children to have the same rights to fight as you, especially when you already have a numerical advantage what if I say no, what a coward what's wrong, Apollo. Freya's voice was heard in the place, drawing the attention of the god and the others, more to Hestia. Do you want two to fight against several armed people, with spells and so on? Is that worthy of a god? Apollo pouted. If Hestia gives you the right to choose the fighting mode, it is your duty to give her the right to use the equipment for you. Hestia and Artemis looked at the goddess in amazement since it was rare for her to help its true Apollo. It would be very cowardly of you if you allowed this, Artemis shouted, hitting the table. I agree, Mayak said. Me to now I speak take I flee them leave them. Leave them. Leave them, the gods began to shout in chorus. This amazed Hestia, even Loki helped shouting. Maybe in the end they have some heart towards Hestia, or maybe it was Freya, but she helped, she helped. It's okay, Apollo said, already angry in Arto. But, I choose siege mode. And, you will be the ones who defend. Everyone fell silent again and Hestia sighed. Sure, they will defend, and they must attack too. They must do both. This scared everyone, defending and attacking was something impossible for two boys, technically one had to defend and the other attack and conquer the enemy base, although there were two of them it was very difficult since if one fell it meant defeat. That's not fair Apollo shut up Artemis, I gave them their right, it's my turn hypocrite, the goddess shouted, hitting the table, although she knew that Gohan and Bell could do both, it didn't mean that he was a true manipulator. Are you happy, Freya, yes, a lot with a smile said the goddess Apollo. She was surprised because she was literally eating more than what they gave her, in other words she was stealing. Well Hestia, I repeat, whatever you want, as long as you respect the rights of my children of course Apollo smiled like a madman. After the conference Freya, wait Hestia stopped the goddess of beauty who was about to leave why did you help me, why, because I'm dying to see Apollo's face when he is humiliated, that's why, no, you could have talked about Gohan's power and put me at a disadvantage, why didn't you do it? Do you think I'm so little Hestia? I repeat, I want to see your son humiliate that fool, that's why Freya was leaving and Hestia smiled thank you then Hestia, Mayak, Take and Artemis were going down an elevator. Hestia, I know that Gohan is strong, and Bell too, but, why are you so confident? He, he what would happen if I told you that I had already won the fight, well, I know that they are both strong, but we are talking about defense and attack, and there are only two yes, but first, I'll take care of Gohan. I have to go get what's his bell on the other hand was training at home this time he was training alone, since Gohan, Hestia and Artemis had to leave for the rest of the afternoon. The boy was training with all his determination since he also had to do his part for the next. Fight the boy was more changed, he had more character, more attitude, he was learning from the scion, imitating him bell huh? Wolf. Bell watched Wolf arrive home, although a little nervous. What's wrong? Why are you so nervous? He heard a rumor. It seems that someone saw Lily taken unconscious. According to what I heard, it was the commander of the Soma family bell was astonished as ever. Opening his eyes and his expression indicated fear and increased tension if they were her family. Why did they leave her unconscious? I don't know, but it seems like they took her by force. Bell remained silent for a few seconds. Let's rescue her. Wolf, we must do something you're sure. Yes, I want her to leave that family. Wolf smiled at this. Okay, let's see what can be done, can I help? The two turned to look and it was Hestio with Makoto and Uka's group with Naza. Kamisama, what are you doing here? Artemis stayed with Gohan, and along the way I met the boys, and I heard what happened, so I'll help bring Lilith back Kamisama. Don't think I haven't seen how the two of them behave Hestia approached Gohan's ear, making him blush. If I found happiness, why not you? 
Thank you knowing the Soma family, they will surely want money to deliver Lilith money. Yes, his family is very greedy, especially when Soma made a terrible mistake many years ago because of his alcohol. Many say that Soma's alcohol is the best and it is true, but there are other delicacies even thousands of times superior to his drink. Everyone was amazed really, yes, but they belong to other kingdoms where we cannot access so easily, in short. That made Soma sink into a very great depression, and whether he is someone who does not care about anything, but his family. Money how much are we talking about? Let's see, if I know Soma, I think 15 million more or less so much. Welf shouted. I only have three saved, said Bell, remembering when they left the dungeon of the gods and distributed the profits. After paying for some things. I have two, it would be five and Chestia said, crossing her arms. There are ten left, said Wolf. I will help with one. Wolf. No, let me help you. She is also my friend. Thank you. Minus nine left. We have no choice. Let's go with that and negotiate. Quickly, we will help with something, Uka said, and the others nodded. No, don't do it. We owe you a lot. At least let us help you guys. Thank you. Okay, let's go and negotiate much later. In the family house, Soma Lilith was in a cell, and there her commander entered there. There was a man on guard sitting. How do you feel? Terrible he 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 what do you want of me? You have a very peculiar transformation ability. I will use it for business. How do you know about my transformation? Soma Sama told me Lilith sat down again money. Greed. Does that make you happy? What's wrong with it? I want everything that Mr. Soma has. I want to enjoy all the pleasures of life. Revisit your thoughts. Valazanis adjusted his glasses whatever tomorrow morning. Sir, a family comes to talk. It is a little goddess. Demands that Mr. Soma come out to talk how annoying. But well, let's see what he has to say. Lilith was also surprised by what the person who arrived said. At the entrance was Hestia and the others, and the Soma family stood in front with their weapons raised. I want to talk to Soma. Let him come out now, Hestia demanded. Soma Sama, how dare you? Tisis a matter of the gods. Don't get involved. Hestia made her hair burn a little, silencing the adventurer. What a surprise, Hestia Sama, what brings you here? Xanis came out to talk. Where I Soma? I want to talk to him, he's busy, it's better, are you the commander? I want Lilith right now, now, it was Bell who spoke. I'm sorry, but she's part of the family, you know you don't care about her, I know perfectly well that you only like pleasures, well, I came to negotiate, how much do you want for her, oh, are you thinking of buying it? How cruel it is more cruel to have her for money, don't fool me, said Bell, annoyed. Well, well, how about ten million, minus ten million, Hestia was amazed. You didn't have the money then. It have six point three million, is that useful, I'm sorry, it's ten million or nothing, Bell clicked his tongue. I want to see Soma, let him come out now, Hestia said, more annoyed, but Bell didn't wait and grabbed the commander by the neck. I want her back or what are you going to do? Bell didn't wait and hit him in the face. The adventurers didn't wait and rushed at Bell who started fighting. The others didn't wait and rushed to help Bell while Hestia just sighed and he ran towards the mansion to enter it and ran to where Hestia was, but at the same time Lilith arrived. Lilith, Hestia Sama, it hot you were trapped well, and Monage to escape Lilith remembered the guardian who gave her the keys just because she didn't like Xanus. Soma, listen to me, I'm Hestia but Soma continued Soma, please stop your family, you weren't like that Soma continued with her thing. Soma, listen to me, I know what it's like to live alone, thinking that you only serve what people want, I was alone since I came down from heaven, but I assure you that you can change, those drinks of the gods cannot be given to humans, understand it people are the same, they just want my drink was all Soma said. Soma Soma, I am very grateful for what you have done for me, but... I want to be a different kind of person. I no longer want a life like the other Soma stopped and turned to see both of them carrying a glass drink this, and if you can bear it, I will listen to you the nectar of the gods. Soma, how do you think of? I will do it. If I resist it, will you listen to me? Soma nodded at Lilith's request. Lilith drank it in one strong sip, surprising Hestia, but the girl fell to the floor with a laugh and writhing. Hestia went down to help her, but she did nothing. Soma, why? What do you gain by making them addicted to this thing? You should know. Hestia get over that damn trauma once and for all. But Hestia was amazed when Lilith took the goddess's shoulders and stood up again, gritting her teeth. Soma also turned to look. For Gohan-sama, who was like an older brother, and for Bell, please stop the fight Lilith bowed and again asked Soma, who only stared like Hestia. You resisted it, yes, Edo it for those I love, Lilith. Soma took a vase that he had on one side and threw it on the floor where the fight was and faced his family stop to fight Soma-sama. 
Zenith said, impressed when he saw his god speak and even intervene. Bell guys, stop the fight a voice was heard behind and they saw Gohan with Artemis. Gohan, Lestento, what happened? If you want Valus in exchange for Lilith, done, but that's repulsive. Gohan approached Xanus, pointing his finger at him. It's not necessary, Soma shouted from above. She showed me that maybe not everyone is the same turning to see Lilith. The girl and Hestia smiled at the god's decision. After this, Lilith was sitting and Hestia let a drop of blood fall on her back, going from the Soma symbol to the Hestia symbol, indicating that she now belonged to Hestia's family. Thank you very much, Hestia-sama. I want to go down to thank the others. It's okay. By the way, Bell was the one with the idea of rescuing you. Izzy Lilith blushed a little and ran away. I'm glad that the two of you are getting closer, just like Gohan and us. Yes, I'm very happy for Bell. Didi really give that girl my blessing. Yes, one who disappointed you and you ignored. She is a girl who became strong because of what you did, Soma. It is time for you to change what happened a long time ago. We must overcome it, I think so. On the other hand, Gohan was present and the situation was refreshed. I Z, it was risky, but brave Bell Gohan patted him on the shoulder. Yes, thank you, Bell Samano. No problem, Bell scratched the back of his neck, a little nervous, although the atmosphere had calmed down. Mayak and Take had also arrived to take their children. Gohan, Bell, Hestia, Artemis, we wish you good luck. Thank you. The two sons bowed before the two who wished them luck. Good luck to you both, yes. We trust you everyone spoke except Makoto and Wolf who were serious in silence. After a slight chat both families left Lilith. On the other hand she was an official in Hestia's family. In the morning I was sitting drinking some tea although Gohan is strong. There are three against an entire family. I wish I could help them. Takamikazuchi sama eh? Makoto? Makoto stood behind Take and knelt down. Please let me join the Hestia family, hey? Don't get me wrong, I am infinitely grateful for everything, but Gohan, Bell, Hestia, all of them I feel like I owe them more than a favor, I feel like I should fight alongside them to be able to feel relieved, I need to thank them. Forgive me for me selfishness, Tig looked at Makoto for a second and smiled at her, he was one of the few gods who loved Hestia as a friend, that's why he didn't get upset. On the other hand, Welf bowed before Hephaestus Doi who want to join Hestia's family, yeah and why are you sure I'll let you go so easily, because I know that the goddess I respect. Would get angry if I didn't ask her didn't you want to make a weapon superior to anyone else. My passion continues to burn and I can do it anywhere. You taught me that one last question. Why are you asking me this? For me friends Hephaestus sighed only because Gohan has been a good customer and I respect him. I allow you this. Good luck thank you that day Gohan and Bell were already physically training everything so that Bell would be more powerful that's Bell. Keep it up. You've already mastered your strength much more Gohan dodged Bell's every blow and kick. Hey Gohan, can we join the training? Gohan and Bell turned to look and saw Welf, Makoto, and even Ryu. Guys, what are you doing here? From now on we are in the same family that, that's right, Gohan. Hestia and Artemis, along with Lilith, looked at both boys. But Ryu dot you too, however, I will continue in my mother's tavern, I will not abandon her. Gohan and Bell looked at each other and smiled quite happily. Thank you, friends. Of course you can join. Let's train, yeah. And so they began their training for the next day. Apollo, on the other hand, was sitting on his throne smiling in a dark room. It's a shame, Hestia. You won't be able to beat me. When we used that, Apollo touched something similar to a black sphere and an eye. After the adventurers burst the black sphere, they started to fight against the adventurers. What is this energy? Gohan was about to speak, but he stopped an attack from one of the adventurers when he looked at his face. It was a face full of bloodlust with drool and no pupils. What the hell? What did they do? Gohan dodged another attack from another adventurer. Gohan was not someone who liked to hurt people, no matter how bad they were, unless it was necessary, but they were giving him few options. Bell was fighting another, but he seemed quite tedious and even more so when he saw how he began to change and his face began to fill with veins. What power? What level will it be? Three, four, five. Stop, I don't want to kill you, Bell said, pointing his weapon at the adventurer. You better shut your mouth, poor weakling. The others were fighting against the others, the blows, the swords were coming, but when they attacked it was clear that they were not showing mercy. Very good enough. Stop. A shout was heard behind everyone and the adventurers turned to look and saw it was Hestia. Ignorant mortals, you have fallen so low as to accept the power of an undead being. What a shame, Hestia. Gohan looked at the goddess who was quite upset. Even he was surprised to see Hestia like that, who was normally tender and even playful. Now she was seriously upset. 
Meddlesome goddess one of the adventurers attacked Hestia Hestia. When Gohan was going to defend her, Hestia stopped the sword with her hand and slapped the adventurer, making him fall. Damned. Stay there. Upon hearing Hestia's heartbreaking scream in fury, the subject and all the adventurers with their leader began to tremble, even the adventurers. What we gods hate most is that our children give their souls to those who abandoned life. Life is supposed to be beautiful, difficult, but beautiful, because when you face something and overcome it, you become stronger, because pain and fear are also part of living. But just as there is pain, that there will be hope Hestia began to walk while her hair changed color to pink and a golden aura surrounded her. Gohan and Bell listened to Hestia's words, but above all Gohan was amazed. Each word with so much passion and seriousness made him feel calmer and above all feel that someone could say such words with so much passion and beauty. You who sold your soul to the devil himself for revenge, repent all the adventurers bowed to Hestia except Bell and Gohan. Gohan.Bell, thank you for coming to help me a calmer Hestia looked at her two children with a smile and looked at Gohan to approach Gohan that you did not succumb to anger, your heart is nobler than anyone else, thank you for being my son Hestia. Bell, thank you Bell smiled at Hestia who was looking at the adventurers who were poisoned by the evil power. Now I will be in charge of cleaning their souls, but as punishment. They will never be adventurers, and they will have to apologize to their father god however. Their leader was beginning to get angry and raised his hands to look at Gohan and Hestia. You, damn, I refuse, there is no point, Gohan spoke. Do what Hestia says, you still have time. Shut up, shut up, their leader began to increase in size and became muscular, but his eyes disappeared and he began to spit saliva, surprising the three and the adventurers. You will pay M-E-T-K-S but when he launched himself at Hestia, Gohan stopped his attack with one hand. You better calm down, you don't have a chance I didn't have a chance. He began to charge a black energy in his hand but Gohan dodged it when it hit far away. It produced an explosion that warned all the adventurers. What did you do? Gohan said very upset. He 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 you have lost your human judgment, Hestia said annoyed. Ha ha ha, I don't care as long as I am the best. In those moments, Gohan and Hestia remained silent, even more so when they felt something approaching behind them and indeed a giant arm launched a fist at them, hitting the entire cliff. The adventurers fell down the cliff, but Gohan caught Uka's group, being helped by Bell and Hestia who were in his arms holding on to wherever they could. But unfortunately, those who had used the power that Hestia was so upset about, the power of the undead, fell into the void. Cannot. Gohan be careful, Bell shouted and Gohan, even with everyone on top, dodged another slap from the giant beast. Ist it? Gohan and everyone remembered that beast that attacked them in the dungeon, and indeed it was this one that appeared but even bigger. Gohan and everyone landed on another cliff, it's that beast. Damn Gohan lunged at her, who swung his hand, but he kicked him in the face, causing him to lose his balance. Oh, not bad that human is strong in the fight Gohan was hitting the beast from all directions that's Gohan. Finish him off Bell encouraged Gohan but Hestia was watching the fight until she felt something behind her and when she saw she saw many monsters reach the floor. It just can't be. What a surprise. Earthly goddess, how nice to see you a voice came from behind everyone and when Hestia turned around she saw a being with red clothing similar to a Kao. He had the appearance of a human except for his pointed ears and his pale skin, black hair covering an eye with a pompadour goddess Hestia are you. She looked at the clay she wore in her ears, but above all at the word on her clothes M.A. Wada surprised that a goddess entered the dungeon the subject descended in front of Hestia, surprising the adventurers. What memories, right? You gods fought in these dungeons, right? The seer began to walk around Hestia, who was serious. Makayo, how dare you set foot on human lands? Hestia clenched her fists. What a way of speaking. Gods like you are supposed to address us with respect. I didn't have to address a rotten fruit with respect rotten. So, we are damaged, right? I didn't give a shit if you insinuate yourself, Kao. That is blasphemy. Hestia launched herself against this being that stopped Hestia's blow. The others looked nervously at this scene. Bell was also amazed. Hey calm down guys, go hey, this place is being infested by beasts, you are adventurers, help those below Hestia address Tuka's group in such a way that they nodded and left but Hestia-sama. Go away Makoto, and tell him what's happening Soma and everyone ran away while Hestia looked with a bad face at Makeo who was smiling. Kamisama Bell didn't come closer. Damn the adventurer leader appeared behind Bell who was dodging his blow. Great god let me kill him it's okay. But I doubt you're a match for him. Let me help you. Makeo shot a lightning bolt at him, making him become more muscular and starting to look like a beast in front of Bell. 
What did you do damn, I only gave him what he wanted, little goddess, no, you're killing it, you're worse than the rotten thing, you're seriously an eyesore, did you call me an eyesore? Marqueo launched a blow but Hestia stopped him with her hand even though he left skidding. Very good goddess, let's see if you have what it takes to challenge your superiors you are not a KO, so don't say that Hestia began to attack the evil god, both began to exchange blows and kicks at great speed, however, the great difference between her and Makeo was noticeable. Not bad goddess, you are not a normal deity despite your size don't judge me for that, in my time I trained a lot then you should have killed the minotaurs you're wrong, it wasn't me the divine being raised his eyebrow. If you didn't go. Then who, are you blind, in another fight, Gohan, with another strong blow, definitively knocked down the monster he was fighting with, which fell in a remote area but produced another tremor, drawing the attention of all the adventurers. Impossible let me tell you that it is possible Hestia bumped fists with Makeo who continued in a constant manner. Damn, where did that come from? Can't it be? I see that you realized it, but you won't be able to win anyway both of them were moving away from each other. What is your goal, Ko? What do you think it is? It warn you that you will not achieve anything. The other deities will not allow a being like you to get away with this It is true. There may be many obstacles along the way, but it does not mean that you are not prepared, huh? Hestia felt someone behind her again. Hestia's scream was heard, and with a kick he knocked down the being that landed behind Hestia covered by a hood and had a sickle. Gohan Bell Gohan shouted at Bell, who was still fighting the adventurer who looked more like a monster. I'm fine, the boy shouted. Bell, Doi get knocked down with a kick, so it seems said the two beings looking at Gohan. Who are you? That mortal is not normal will be a god, I didn't know, but this won't stay like this the being took off his hood, revealing an image similar to the other one, only this one had white hair and yellow skin. Who are they? Makayagahenma, K.O. Dare, that's right, I see that you realized, they are what are known as the evil or rotten fruits fruits off evil, your father trained with a K.O. Sama, right? The Chaos Samus are the gods who govern the gods of the planets that are at their cardinal point in the universe. They are born from a tree known as Sijin or Tree of Life, but the Makeo are its counterpart. When they are born as fruits, they are born damaged. Not quite the opposite IZ, so that's where his name comes from. Ya what do you damn want? We didn't have to answer that the one with white hair launched himself against Gohan, who also launched himself, but at a greater speed and gave him a strong blow to the face, throwing him away. Damn they both disappeared and shock waves began to be heard throughout the place, beginning to break the place where they were made. Hestia also launched into action to fight against Makeo, however, while she suffered, he only smiled, demonstrating his absolute superiority against her. Bell on the other hand continued fighting against the adventurer. Ha 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 ha, what's up little rocket? Do not underestimate me but at that moment an arrow hit the subject's face Belsama Lilith, stay away from the idiot Welf entered with his sword against him also cutting the man's chest making him angry on the other hand. They watched the waves come and go in all directions. The adventurers watched Hestia fight, which amazed them. Lilith and Welf knew that despite her attitude she was a goddess, but at that level, but seeing Gohan fight in a similar way with another guy, seeing the two of them fight like that left everyone amazed. Inu Gohan was strong, but fighting like that I can see them, those two must be very strong, Bell said with a drop of sweat. Better worry about yourselves and charging at them like an uncontrolled bull, both of them dodged a body blow, falling in different places. Meanwhile below the adventurers were attacked by the beasts fighting wildly against them. Stop the creatures quickly Finn gave the order to all the adventurers who took their positions and began to fight, however in the distance the shock waves of the fights of both could be felt. What's happening upstairs? Hestia Samais, fighting alongside her family Makoto, responded to Finn T-Sis the power of the goddess Hestia. The high-level people said with a drop of sweat. Notably Hestia Sama, Gohan San, defeated the giant and it seems that he is fighting too weight. Are you saying that he has strength similar to a god? Reverius shouted with a drop of sweat. I don't know, but he, it's really surprising Hestia was kicked down by the god Ko. you really fight very well Hestia shut your mouth, cheap copy of a god head, before they call me god I prefer death. I'm a demon Makeo formed a K.I. sword in his hand, surprising Hestia. Tsis you're in goddess Hestia, I doubted a kick scene from behind was Gohan Gohan are you okay, Gohan picked her up. Yes, but. This bastard, he keeps getting involved in our business. Wait, Makeo turned to look back and saw his down partner getting up and coming back to his friend. This damn guy is stronger than I thought I see that on the other hand, Bell Wolf and Lilith were fighting against this adventurer who was already beginning to look like a demon. 
I will still, I will fight becoming more and more into an unrecognizable being amazed the three so much that they could only begin to sweat from fear. The subject was beginning to change so much that now he looked like a real demon. Ahaha, how about, my new power, but when he spoke you could hear his voice hoarse and full of pain, it seemed like he was suffering inside became a monster gross you sold your soul for power, how sad, Bell said with a feeling of pain and pity. As Gohan said, you had hope, but you didn't take advantage. Shut up, shut up, when I kill you, I'll kill him pronouncing his last words, he became a completely unrecognizable being, so much so that Gohan and Hestia turned to look. I cannot believe it. What a guy, he renounces his humanity, it sad Hestia said in a sad tone while Gohan gritted his teeth. Tesis all your fault, poor people, I will not forgive you but then something began to happen in the environment, it began to change abruptly. What is this, Lukat Thadaka pointed up and observed something impressive. The landscape began to change. A strange portal appeared and began to enclose the entire place where they were. Hermes Samatis is bad. You stay here Hermes ran at full speed towards the place, but he did not see that two girls ran out at full speed behind him. You stay no, I'll go to the two girls ran at full speed with Hermes directly to that place. What's happening? Bell said and the other girls watched as it began to appear and absorb the entire place where they were. When he was going to hit the three, he felt two cuts on their backs. It turned out that the cuts on the back were caused by Ainz and Ryu who were stabbing the guy in the back. Girls. They are fine, the highs. Gohan. Girls, verily, the Makeo shouted and in those moments everyone including Hermes managed to enter the cube that covered the entire place, which was covered in white and disappeared from the place, leaving everyone doubtful. In a gigantic coliseum, everyone present appeared with floors like the adventurer's dungeon. Where are we, the Gohan said looking at the place, but Hestia was more surprised. Hestia. This place, the dungeon of the gods, correct said the Makeo this place, long ago was where the gods fought like mortals against beasts now, what if we took this place to your world? Hestia, Gohan Hermes, and everyone opened their eyes from the impact. Bringing all these beasts into your world, wouldn't that be fun? Don't say idiots, what do you think the adventurers will do against them? Gohan shouted, completely annoyed. Exactly, wouldn't that be fun? You're crazy, Hestia shouted. Do you think you're going to get your way? I know that yes the two Makeo faced everyone brother. Hey, the plan is ready, correct? Correct, so you can come now brother with our special visit we're already on our way, resist, soon. Everything will be carried out after hearing the statement of the Hestia Makeos, Hermes Gohan were really serious and even nervous because of what you can see, they are the only ones who know how serious it is. Are you crazy Makeos what do you gain by putting people in danger? Simple, chaos that simple answer made them realize more about their twisted mind. How can someone want just that? You guys are twisted, Gohan said with a grimace of rage. Bell, Welf, Lilithines, and Ryu were attentive and also listened to what they were both saying. In front of them was the former adventurer who was now a kind of demon. What did they say with that? Bell exclaimed nervously. According to stories, a long time ago, gods like us also fought in dungeons like us Ryu spoke seriously. Really, yes, but they weren't like those, their dungeons were really. Monsters, like the Minotaurs of Damnation and possibly that giant monster elsewhere on her throne Freya was looking into her crystal ball, but she was biting her fingernail. Themakeos, I didn't think they would come out, if they do something to Sun Gohan, the woman got up from her throne and went directly to a room where there was a very large closet. It's been a while. Since I've been in action returning to the dungeon and are you planning to release those beasts into the mortal world? Bell shouted. That's right, what do you think Huma? Wait, you, oh, how interesting guys, be careful, Gohan shouted from behind. Are you planning to stop us? Well. Then come, the two Makeos release their K.I. auras no matter how strong they are, they are no match for Gohan I won't let them get away with this Gohan through himself at both of them but... Let's see about that Makeo launched a kind of attack with his hands, and in those hands Gohan felt immobilized. Gohan. Don't forget about Emmy, the former adventurer, already deserving of that nickname and transformed into a demon, attacked the group of five adventurers. He's strong said Ryu maybe he's at the level point six in that case, we must all attack him guys, Mr. Hermes, don't worry and help Gohan, shouted Ainz, who was launching into the fight against the demon. Be careful Hermes also rushed to help Hestia who was fighting one of them. 
Do not think we are stupid the Machaos opened a portal with his hand and from there something so immense came out that Hestia and Hermes were nervous. Courtesy off the demon kingdom and the dungeon a huge four-headed snake appeared on the scene of Hydra. Both gods dodged the attack of the beast Hermes, release your seal in O and paying attention, Hermes was enveloped by a golden light similar to the Kamisama of the earth, as well as boots emerging from his feet with wings of fire. Hermes kicked the beast and Hestia hit it, making it fall, but the Hydra got up again. What's happening? The Thydra has something strange. Yes, it's damned. It has energy from the demon realm. Damn Makaeo's Gohan freed himself from Makaeo's grip. Astonished, the two attacked each other. Gohan dodged an attack from Makaeo, who formed a sword with his hand and attacked Gohan, who dodged his attacks and hit him, throwing him to the ground. You better stop this stupidity. You are not a normal earthling. I must admit that you are stronger than me. Gohan was serious and threw himself against the butt. Don't underestimate me. The Makeo flew directly towards the other brother. Take it, eh? Shall we use it now? Of course. That guy is not normal TKS. I see that and with his hand he took something that impressed the gods even more. When he put it on, they realized the truth. Photolacles? Fusi O N N N. The two beings merged, creating a strong reaping light. The Makaeos began to release more power. Gohan began to charge energy in his hands. However, the Makaeos began to transform, beginning to change his appearance. His hair grew. He grew a black robe and a sickle. Those damn ones, they became. Ha 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 ha. How about E H? Speaking with two voices, they addressed everyone. It's true. He became very strong, said Gohan, approaching. This must be a joke. Did those unfortunate people have Padala earrings? Tesis ridiculous now I have infinite power. How are you? Come on my pet. Devour those gods. The Hydra was launching itself at the three when Gohan observed the Hydra. The fusion Makeo launched itself at Gohan this time, hitting him in the face. Gohan Hestia, be careful. But the warning would not be enough as the creature opened its mouth directly to devour Hestia. Hestia. Kamisama, both Gohan and Bell screamed when they saw their goddess about to be devoured until... Fiam. A lightning strike hit the Hydra directly, causing it to fall. Everyone was amazed. The Makaeos looked at this with suspicion and quite peculiarly. Hestia, dear, they almost ate you. That sad a beautiful woman came down with a really beautiful red gold armor and a spear in her hand. Freya, Hermes and Hestia were shocked looking at the goddess. How did you get here? He he he. I have my tricks little one. Gohan stared at Freya because it seemed like he had seen her somewhere. Even the Bell and Wolf boys were fascinated with her beauty when they saw her. Even the men who saw this through the screen he made my battle armor has been wearing it for a long time. Hestia shook her beautiful hair. What is she doing? How did the goddess get here? Spoke the Makaeos Shin. You Makaeos, you should not be in our kingdoms. How dare you talk to me like that? Gohan grabbed the Makaeos shoulder to hit him in the face. Your opponent is me, damn it. Don't mess her, Gohan made him retreat with a kick that slammed him against the wall. Freya blushed. However, Hestia and the other girls felt a cold down their spine. Listen to me, why are you blushing? Hestia shouted angrily. I'm not Freya turned around. Something tells me that Gohan has it difficult, Hermes said in his mind. Girls. Sasha, we kill this beast, the Hydra, a boss of our dungeon. It brings back memories, Freya said, pointing her spear at it. Hestia raised her hand and released a spear of fire. You said it the three of them threw themselves against the Hydra that, like a beast, threw itself with its four heads. Hayes capable of fighting a Makaeos, that excites me more Freya thought to herself. On the other hand, Bell and the boys fought against the adventurer, making the situation quite difficult for him. Lilith supported with her bow achieving good results nosy carrying a black sphere. He threw it at the girl, but Bell stopped her with a sphere of fire. Thanks, Bill. You are welcome. Ryu fought very well against him, in fact. He was even on par with Ainz, who gave him a lot of problems. It's sad to see that an adventurer has stooped to being a demon shut-up. Now I'm stronger. Stronger than that rabbit, but no more than Gohan Ainz's words made a vein appear on his temple shut-up. What's more, together we can defeat you. Let's attack him. Yes, Kalan C.E. taking out a sword from his mouth. He launched himself directly into the fight. On the other hand, outside in the dungeon, everyone was fighting with great difficulty against the other monsters. And, we can't find them, they disappeared with that strange cube, I'm on it, the Hermes adventurer was with a crystal ball, this magic ball allows me to see where Mr. Hermes is going, if it is another dimension everyone had a drop of sweat coming out. Don't not wrong me, IT is for emergencies, the girl placed her on the floor, and placed her hands on her. Show us where Mr. Hermes went, and once said and done, the crystal ball expanded and everyone began to see a field like a gigantic coliseum full of towers. What's that? It can't be. 
It's the dungeon where the gods fought it was said in a low voice, but everyone could hear Mr. Hermes will explain it to you later, Miss Hestia, and I can't believe it what's wrong. All the boys were blushing when they saw Freya in armor and fighting. The goddess Freya, I can't believe it, is she fighting, and Gohan, Makoto approached and when manipulating the crystal ball she saw Gohan fighting and beating a handsome being with white hair. A.K.O.? No. Now everything makes sense, Amakeo, what the hell is Amakeo? Bet said arrogantly. Be careful with your words, they are the worst fear of a god, and he is beating him everyone had a drop of sweat watching Gohan and Ma's fight Ko, both of them fought in an amazing way, however, Gohan was much superior Vala warrior Tiona said with a strong blush. And what are they doing, I don't know, but... It must not be good, in those dungeons there are worse beasts than those minotaurs they faced how? Was the final cry returning to the dungeon Hestia, Freya and Hermes were fighting the Hydra until Freya cut off its head. Idiot, he will grow too, note if it's the one in the middle Hermes kicked the creature and indeed two were about to come out. Hestia, cut it I'm an IT, but the beast began to spit fire, making the three lose their opportunity and two more grew. Dash, good job Freya, yes you are complaining little one, be quiet careful, the Hydra smashed its snout against the ground very stupid. It's time for you to die Freya raised her spear and it began to divide into many throwing them at the Hydra it seemed to receive a lot of damage, making it shake it's my turn Hermes started running and started kicking the Hydra that fell injured. And finally, Hestia charged fire with her spear and launched herself against the Hydra's heads in an attempt to defend the one in the middle. They attacked but Hestia released a flame that burned them. D.I.E. E, and cutting off the head in the middle he ended his life with a clean cut and making a pose with his spear everyone was speechless now we will respect her more loki's entire family said in their mind with comical faces of fear on the other hand bell and the others had the adventurer on the ropes they are cursed said the subject with many injuries let's kill him ryu and Ainz attacked him who in an attempt to win turned his arms into axes the two stopped their attacks and their wolf lunged and cut his arms making him scream in pain Lilith shot an arrow hitting him in the eye now Bell. Bell placed his arms on his side and began to charge his attack. Came, Haim, damned. I'm sorry, but... I can't let you do what you want. Ha, way ya. Throwing a came, Haim, ha, he disintegrated the adventurer, producing a strong explosion. Bell clicked his tongue and Lilith approached and took him by the hand. The others sighed for victory with many injuries. In the distance the Makeo fell completely defeated on the floor you became very strong. Maybe you are at the same level as the androids. That shows that I became strong Gohan said clearly as a super scion. Damned, Tisis your end. You did many horrible things. I don't care that you are a god. I will finish you however. Gohan felt a cold on his back. A lump in his throat for some reason he felt something as if he had already felt it and turned abruptly upwards Makeo showed a sadistic smile. So, that's the reason why you're so strong. You're from another world, IZ. I don't know how you arrived, but it seems like you come from a place other than Earth. I'm a semi-scion. Ha 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 ha. What was that? Yes, your face. You have the traits of one. What is happening? The three gods looked like everyone else at the hole in the sky. IZ, that they beat you. The guy with the spear appeared on one side of this be quiet t the place. A deep voice was heard inside the hole in the sky. That's right. Appearing out of nowhere the subject who arrived was in this while a smile was made inside this ihope you can entertain me an insectoid shape being came out of the hole, surprising everyone. In the dungeon the adventurers were fighting against the monsters that had arrived, apparently they were controlled by the adventurers. On the other hand, Finn and certain adventurers were observing the situation of the gods. It was the first time they had observed three gods fighting against something that normal humans could not cope with. The topic of the gods was very complex for them, the mortal adventurers were families for their gods, however they knew that even they kept quite personal secrets and that the people among them should not know this situation. Finn and the others discovered that even the gods were afraid of certain things, especially these beings who called themselves deities but of a higher rank. Let me see if I understand, you are implying that that place was where the gods fought monsters before before becoming gods bet, still not being able to believe what the blue-haired woman was saying, spoke to her rudely. Tesis incredible, then even the gods were previously adventurers Reveria couldn't believe this either. That's right, of course that was in those times, however it was very different, Mr. Hermes told me that when they were gods they could challenge their limits by fighting against those dungeons, 
And the creatures are very powerful like those minotaurs they faced if that is true. Why didn't the goddess Loki tell us anything? You understand that the gods cannot talk about that, especially if they had problems in the dungeons. What do you mean by problems? You should ask the goddess Loki. Directly, however, there is no time for that. Now the gods are fighting against the Makeo. What exactly are those Makeo? To put it that simple, they are evil gods with a higher rank than our gods are they also gods. However, what impresses me is that young Gohan is defeating that Makeo Wegnu that Gohan was special, but this already says a lot Tioni spoke. Well, that tells me it's cooler, Tiona said with a smile. And how is Ayn's feeling? Bet asked. Okay, they are fighting against that guy. To think that he would become that beast, that shows that he had a deep hatred at least, we see that it is going well. Wait, what is that? Everyone looked at a strange hole that was made in the sky after seeing how everyone was defeating the beings in front of them. What's that? I didn't know in the dungeon everyone was with their eyes directly in the sky when they saw a hole and from there a man with chaos clothes came out. He had gray hair which came out with his arms behind him and an eye patch. Did they beat you brother? Shut up dot you were late sorry sorry and now what? Hestia said with a vein on her temple. Another Makeo? Freya suggested with a drop of sweat falling down her face. It can't be. The demon kingdom is supposed to be sealed. Because of Cronoa, they shouldn't appear in this world. What a surprise. Three gods in this place. How does it feel to return here? And why did you leave your rotten world, Makeo? Rude words for someone of your level repeated. Disgusting fruits. Calm down, Freya. Don't make them angry. I don't care. Because Gohan is more than enough to tear them to pieces. Excusing. The Makeo spoke. T sis the world, a deep voice was heard behind the Makeo that's right, my friend, this is the world from the whole came a being that, upon being seen, drew a strong sigh from everyone like a drop of sweat. Gohan was completely nervous, however, he felt a cold run down his spine. A being with a green insectoid appearance with a pair of black wings behind it was present, despite its insectoid shape it had a human, muscular shape and even a defined human face. T sis the world where you can enjoy. Mr. Cell. Well, I only see garbage. Eh, Cell rested his gaze on none other than Gohan, who stood looking at him as if he had felt this fear, this anguish somewhere. Oh, but just look at who I find Cell with a smile full of sadism and arrogance looked at Gohan who was completely sweating. What a surprise to see you here, Cell ascended to the floor and stood in front of Gohan. They are Gohan, that, everyone sweat dropped, especially Hestia, when she heard this monster say Gohan's name. How do you know me? With heaviness in his words, Gohan tried to calm down and stood in front of Cell. The reese no doubt, it is you. You are his living image. Son of Son Goku Gohan opened his eyes again the tension, the pressure, was felt in the place when they saw and had such a creature in front of them. If music were heard for these moments it would be an apocalyptic song. What the hell is that thing? Welf said looking at Cell. I don't know, but when I feel it, it's as if everything was going to be destroyed. Bell spoke. It's true, said Hermes. That guy, it really is as if it were the apocalypse the three gods were serious. The Makeo got together and witnessed everything with a smile how. How do you know my name? Gohan shouted at the top of his lungs. How do you know my dad's name, and especially because you have his presence? Gohan shouted loudly to Selv who was with his arms crossed, but hearing this made the others impressed, but even more so when they saw Gohan's crystalline eyes. Sel sighed and lowered his arms. IZ, you don't know me, so you must come from a time where I didn't wake up or... You didn't see me wake up, wake up, Gohan, let me ask you, did you kill 17 and 18, do I know them? Questions and more questions were asked with this being that was in front of them, however there was no answer, who was he, why do you know him? How does he know Goku, so many questions and he wasn't going anywhere. But above all, that fear of Gohan, he felt something familiar in him, but at the same time he didn't know him, all this made the scion begin to sweat heavily, feeling short of breath. Of course I know them, what's more, I ate them, what, Gohan let out a loud cry of surprise as Hestia, what, did you eat them, that's right, this form, this perfection is thanks to those two, because just so you know. I am an android, Gohan and Hestia were left speechless with surprise, they couldn't believe it, or rather the declaration of this being made them both completely frozen. That not only the two of them, Bell was also left in complete shock. What the hell are you talking about? Android? What is that? Lilith was listening to everything like everyone else, however. What, are you an android, surprised, hey, you Hestia stood behind Cell, her face was dark and full of rage. Cell turned to see Hestia with a face of indifference, only turning a part of her face. 
Those androids are supposed to have died. Who the hell are you? Cell turned his body and completely faced Hestia who was sweating. Mr. Cell, could you please kill those gods for us? These guys. Are they the ones I will face? Don't give me this shit what arrogance coming from a monster like you Freya approached with her cell spear. He was just serious without saying a word. It was as if he saw them with complete contempt and of course that was the case. You see us with contempt, but let's see when. Did lost Cell raised his hand and Gohan noticed and immediately attacked Cell. However Cell dodged the blow. The android remained floating in the sky. What do you mean by all that damned stuff? Explain yourself. Cell just smiled but Gohan and Cell realized that Freya and Hermes attacked Cell from behind but Cell without turning around hit them each in the face to throw them away. Everyone, absolutely everyone, was speechless, especially the adventurers who witnessed two gods being hit in the face and falling to the ground. Did I defeat Mr. Hermes? It's a monster, said Finn with a really pale face like everyone else watching this amazing and apocalyptic scene. Returning to the dungeon, the two gods lying on the floor only raised Gohan's anger and he came out to help them. Are you okay? Gohan said, taking Freya. I'm sorry Gohan, I couldn't, U-N-H-A-P-P-Y-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z. Hestia was now the one who launched herself against Cell, stopping the attack of the girl who was on fire dam. If you are an android, then you also made Gohan's life hell and what with that? Do you think that loser deserves to be protected? Cell grabbed Hestia by the neck, who was trying to get away. Hestia, they are Gohan, you disappoint me, I thought he was someone like your father. A warrior, but apparently you are just a useless good-for-nothing coward who failed him and his friend's release. Gohan launched himself against Cell, who threw Hestia at him and took her in his arms, however. Gohan did not see or rather could not react to the punch that Cell threw at him, making him crash against the floor. Gohan waste cry of everyone when they saw Gohan fall with a blow. Not even Makeo had achieved that and this monster was doing it. Gohan. Are you okay Hestia? Yes, forgive me. Hestia got up and helped Gohan sell. She only had her arms crossed, watching them with a smile. Gohan sighed and wiped the corner of his mouth and spit out blood to walk directly toward Cell. How do you know my father? Do you want me to answer you? Yeah. Are you sure? Cell's smile couldn't be more diabolical. Yes because I killed them what did you say? I will explain it to you that easily, I come from another timeline, I am an android that was born with the same purpose as the others, but I was special, because I am the most powerful android Hestia was beginning to sweat like the others who were listening to this monster, hearing him say that he killed Gohan's father scared and surprised them. Are you a damn android, from another timeline, that's right, in that timeline your father was saved, to die in my hands Gohan didn't know what to say or do but his downcast face and the tears falling in his eyes said it all. You're a monster. Hestia shouted with a vein on her temple. Although the others did not understand the timeline except Bell, they were all shocked. This monster was telling Gohan to his face that he killed his father. Who gives you life, right under your nose? Their faces did not express more than pain for the scion for hearing such a truth, and to top it off he said it with a smile Gohan. Hestia treated to calm Gohan who had a face of such anger as if he was going to burst at any moment, his tears indicating pain. Me that you took away my father, and you tell me so casually, you damn androids. Don't forgive the me e e Gohan let out a loud scream, and with it he released so much power that Hestia covered herself, being shocked as everyone, even the adventurers who were watching from the crystal ball, were stunned. Gohan was covered by a golden energy that looked like a fire burning his body until the Makeo themselves were in shock. I, I will show you that I can kill you with my own hands. I owe it to my father, but first answer me. What happened to me in that timeline and my friends? Cell lowered his arms and held them. I killed you, Hestia, and everyone were more shocked. Hestia covered her mouth. I killed you as a child. You had power. Impressive. There is no doubt. Your father was proud, but in the end. You couldn't kill me. Cell smiled with such evil that he looked like a real monster. You are ashamed to him. You always have been so that happened, Gohan said with a lost but hateful look. Then, for me father, for trunks, my friends, for the earth, and for myself, I will kill Y-O-U-E-E Gohan and sell through themselves against each other, colliding fists that shattered the entire Colosseum and even destroyed many floors in seconds. Gohan Hestia covered herself the others also covered themselves, however Hestia and Hermes approached them and created a barrier. Freya also stood up, watching the scion bump fists with this monster. 
Gohan. You are incredible. Freya jumped in and helped the gods create a barrier to protect them. Thank you, Hestia. Get away from here. Gohan spoke to Hestia in his mind. You have become stronger. Show that monster who you are. I will do that amazing Gohan. I must admit that you have always impressed me. You are as strong as your father. I will destroy you. Damn you. I will not let you do your thing here too. I can already imagine what you did to the earth and you imagined well. I will do the same here scoundrel. Disappearing from sight, they began to fight throughout the Colosseum, beginning to exchange blows and kicks at full speed, only to feel the waves. And rays coming out of them. The attacks each one produced were so intense that literally this entire dimension was shaking. The Kaoma were watching with a drop of sweat. That scoundrel had all that power don't worry, this guy won't be able to do anything the other adventurers and the gods were stunned, unable to say what was happening. It was a fight on another level, something completely unprecedented. It was the first time they had seen Gohan fight in this way. No. I can believe it, Gohan, Wolf and Lilith, as well as Ainz and Ryu, were amazed, in fact, everyone the two couldn't keep up, kick after kick, punch after punch, each one dodging and countering the other until each one kicked each other to get out and crawled across the floor, skidding and breaking in the distance. Incredible, maybe I'm wrong, you're not like your version of Heia, you really fight like a warrior, Cell said with a smile. Be quiet. But, that's not all I can do. Cell placed his index and middle fingers on his forehead and began to use a technique that Gohan recognized instantly. It just can't be. Makankasapo, Cell fired a powerful cannon from his fingers with a snake of energy surrounding it. Gohan was speechless Gohan, Gohan launched energy and they produced an energy clash that was equal. Cell smiled but Gohan let out a scream, raising his power and the energies exploded together, producing a monstrous explosion, making everything shake again. Gohan came out of the smoke looking for Cell until he dodged an attack from this that technique. How do you know? Do you remember it? The technique of your teacher and friend, Piccolo Gohan, gritted his teeth. Let's see, do you recognize this one? Cell pointed his finger at Gohan and started shooting purple rays that Gohan dodged. The freezer technique exactly Cell said to start shooting more and more piercing every place where it hit. How do you know how to do them? Gohan continued dodging the attack simple. My dear Gohan, the cells of all of them are in me what thing? That's right, I was created with the cells of each of your friends Cell stopped shooting and created two purple discs from his hands to throw them towards Gohan who dodged one, leaving a scar on his face. Gohan began to dodge by flying all over the place, avoiding the discs that were obviously Krillin's technique. However, since Gohan did not see that Frieza made that technique, he also only thought about his bald friend. And of course the Yamcha technique, oh kidding unhappy. There the discs hit Gohan making everyone scream but the image of Gohan disappeared and appearing behind Cell he managed to hit him on the back but Cell responded with a punch that guy is very strong Makeo watched Cell with a drop of sweat. Gohan stood up facing Cell I congratulate you my dear Gohan keep your compliments to yourself Gohan spat blood again. Kamion, the fun is just beginning I'm going to tear you to pieces both of them got into a fighting pose. In the dungeon the adventurers were fighting against the monsters that had arrived, apparently they were controlled by the adventurers. On the other hand, Finn and certain adventurers were observing the situation of the gods. It was the first time they had observed three gods fighting against something that normal humans could not cope with. The topic of the gods was very complex for them, the mortal adventurers were families for their gods, however they knew that even they kept quite personal secrets and that the people among them should not know this situation. Finn and the others discovered that even the gods were afraid of certain things, especially these beings who called themselves deities, but of a higher rank. Let me see if I understand. You are implying that that place was where the gods fought monsters before before becoming gods bet, still not being able to believe what the blue-haired woman was saying, spoke to her rudely. Tesis incredible, then even the gods were previously adventurers Reveria couldn't believe this either. That's right, of course that was in those times, however it was very different, Mr. Hermes told me that when they were gods they could challenge their limits by fighting against those dungeons, and the creatures are very powerful like those minotaurs they faced if that is true, why didn't the goddess Loki tell us anything, you understand that the gods cannot talk about that, especially if they had problems in the dungeons what do you mean by problems? You should ask the goddess Loki. Directly, however, there is no time for that. Now the gods are fighting against the Makeo. What exactly are those Makeo? To put it that simple, they are evil gods with a higher rank than our gods are they also gods. However, what impresses me is that young Gohan is defeating that Makeo Wek knew that Gohan was special, but this already says a lot Tioni spoke. 
Well, that tells me it's cooler, Tiona said with a smile. And how is Ayn's feeling, Bet asked. Okay, they are fighting against that guy, to think that he would become that beast, that shows that he had a deep hatred at least, we see that it is going well. Wait, what is that? Everyone looked at a strange hole that was made in the sky after seeing how everyone was defeating the beings in front of them. What's that? I didn't know in the dungeon everyone was with their eyes directly in the sky when they saw a hole and from there a man with chaos clothes came out. He had gray hair which came out with his arms behind him and an eye patch. Did they beat you brother? Shut up dot you were late sorry sorry and now what? Hestia said with a vein on her temple. Another Makeo? Freya suggested with a drop of sweat falling down her face. It can't be. The demon kingdom is supposed to be sealed. Because of Cronoa, they shouldn't appear in this world. What a surprise. Three gods in this place. How does it feel to return here? And why did you leave your rotten world, Makeo? Rude words for someone of your level repeated. Disgusting fruits. Calm down, Freya. Don't make them angry. I don't care. Because Gohan is more than enough to tear them to pieces. Excuse me. The Makeo spoke. Tsis the world, a deep voice was heard behind the Makeo that's right, my friend, this is the world from the whole came a being that, upon being seen, drew a strong sigh from everyone like a drop of sweat. Gohan was completely nervous, however, he felt a cold run down his spine. A being with a green insectoid appearance with a pair of black wings behind it was present, despite its insectoid shape it had a human, muscular shape and even a defined human face. Tsis the world where you can enjoy. Mr. Cell. Well, I only see garbage. Eh, Cell rested his gaze on none other than Gohan, who stood looking at him as if he had felt this fear, this anguish somewhere. Oh, but just look at who I find Cell with a smile full of sadism and arrogance looked at Gohan who was completely sweating. What a surprise to see you here, Cell ascended to the floor and stood in front of Gohan. They are Gohan, that, everyone sweat dropped, especially Hestia, when she heard this monster say Gohan's name. How do you know me? With heaviness in his words, Gohan tried to calm down and stood in front of Cell. The Reese no doubt, it is you. You are his living image. Son of Son Goku Gohan opened his eyes again the tension, the pressure, was felt in the place when they saw and had such a creature in front of them. If music were heard for these moments it would be an apocalyptic song. What the hell is that thing? Welf said looking at Cell. I don't know, but when I feel it, it's as if everything was going to be destroyed. Bell spoke. It's true, said Hermes. That guy, it really is as if it were the apocalypse the three gods were serious. The Makeo got together and witnessed everything with a smile how. How do you know my name? Gohan shouted at the top of his lungs. How do you know my dad's name, and especially because you have his presence? Gohan shouted loudly to Selv who was with his arms crossed, but hearing this made the others impressed, but even more so when they saw Gohan's crystalline eyes. Selv sighed and lowered his arms. I Z, you don't know me, so you must come from a time where I didn't wake up or... You didn't see me wake up, wake up, Gohan, let me ask you, did you kill 17 and 18, do I know them? Questions and more questions were asked with this being that was in front of them, however there was no answer, who was he, why do you know him? How does he know Goku, so many questions and he wasn't going anywhere. But above all, that fear of Gohan, he felt something familiar in him, but at the same time he didn't know him, all this made the scion begin to sweat heavily, feeling short of breath. Of course I know them, what's more, I ate them, what, Gohan let out a loud cry of surprise as Hestia what, did you eat them, that's right, this form, this perfection is thanks to those two, because just so you know. I am an android, Gohan and Hestia were left speechless with surprise, they couldn't believe it, or rather the declaration of this being made them both completely frozen. That not only the two of them, Bell was also left in complete shock. What the hell are you talking about? Android? What is that? Lilith was listening to everything like everyone else, however. What, are you an android, surprised, hey, you Hestia stood behind Cell, her face was dark and full of rage. Cell turned to see Hestia with a face of indifference, only turning a part of her face. Those the androids are supposed to have died who the hell are you? Cell turned his body and completely faced Hestia who was sweating. Mr. Cell, could you please kill those gods for us? These guys. Are they the ones I will face? Don't give me this shit what arrogance coming from a monster like you Freya approached with her cell spear. He was just serious without saying a word. It was as if he saw them with complete contempt and of course that was the case. You see us with contempt, but let's see when. 
did lost Cell raised his hand and Gohan noticed and immediately attacked Cell, however Cell dodged the blow, the android remained floating in the sky. What do you mean by all that damned stuff? Explain yourself, Cell just smiled but Gohan and Cell realized that Freya and Hermes attacked Cell from behind but Cell without turning around hit them each in the face to throw them away. Everyone, absolutely everyone, was speechless, especially the adventurers, who witnessed two gods being hit in the face and falling to the ground. Did I defeat Mr. Hermes? It's a monster, said Finn with a really pale face like everyone else watching this amazing and apocalyptic scene. Returning to the dungeon, the two gods lying on the floor only raised Gohan's anger and he came out to help them. Are you okay? Gohan said, taking Freya. I'm sorry Gohan, I couldn't, U-N-H-A-P-P-Y-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z, Hestia was now the one who launched herself against Cell, stopping the attack of the girl who was on fire dam, if you are an android, then you also made Gohan's life hell, and what with that? Do you think that loser deserves to be protected? Cell grabbed Hestia by the neck, who was trying to get away. Hestia, they are Gohan, you disappoint me, I thought he was someone like your father. A warrior, but apparently you are just a useless good-for-nothing coward who failed him and his friend's release. Gohan launched himself against Cell, who threw Hestia at him and took her in his arms, however. Gohan did not see or rather could not react to the punch that Cell threw at him, making him crash against the floor. Gohan waste cry of everyone when they saw Gohan fall with a blow. Not even Makeo had achieved that and this monster was doing it. Gohan. Are you okay Hestia? Yes, forgive me. Hestia got up and helped Gohan sell. She only had her arms crossed, watching them with a smile. Gohan sighed and wiped the corner of his mouth and spit out blood to walk directly toward Cell. How do you know my father? Do you want me to answer you? Yeah. Are you sure? Cell's smile couldn't be more diabolical. Yes, because I killed them. What did you say? I will explain it to you that easily, I come from another timeline, I am an android that was born with the same purpose as the others, but I was special, because I am the most powerful android Hestia was beginning to sweat like the others who were listening to this monster, hearing him say that he killed Gohan's father scared and surprised them. Are you a damn android, from another timeline, that's right, in that timeline your father was saved, to die in my hands Gohan didn't know what to say or do but his downcast face and the tears falling in his eyes said it all. You're a monster. Hestia shouted with a vein on her temple. Although the others did not understand the timeline except Bell, they were all shocked. This monster was telling Gohan to his face that he killed his father. Who gives you life, right under your nose? Their faces did not express more than pain for the scion for hearing such a truth, and to top it off he said it with a smile Gohan. Hestia treated to calm Gohan who had a face of such anger as if he was going to burst at any moment, his tears indicating pain. Me dot you took away my father, and you tell me so casually, you damn androids. Don't forgive the me e e Gohan let out a loud scream, and with it he released so much power that Hestia covered herself, being shocked as everyone, even the adventurers who were watching from the crystal ball, were stunned. Gohan was covered by a golden energy that looked like a fire burning his body until the Makeo themselves were in shock. I, I will show you that I can kill you with my own hands. I owe it to my father, but first answer me. What happened to me in that timeline and my friends? Cell lowered his arms and held them. I killed you, Hestia, and everyone were more shocked. Hestia covered her mouth. I killed you as a child. You had power. Impressive. There is no doubt. Your father was proud, but in the end. You couldn't kill me. Cell smiled with such evil that he looked like a real monster. You are ashamed to him. You always have been so that happened, Gohan said with a lost but hateful look. Then, for me father, for Trunks, my friends, for the earth, and for myself, I will kill Y-O-U-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E
I can already imagine what you did to the earth and you imagine well, I will do the same here scoundrel, disappearing from sight. They began to fight throughout the Colosseum, beginning to exchange blows and kicks at full speed, only to feel the waves. And rays coming out of them. The attacks each one produced were so intense that literally this entire dimension was shaking. The Kaoma were watching with a drop of sweat. That scoundrel had all that power don't worry, this guy won't be able to do anything the other adventurers and the gods were stunned, unable to say what was happening. It was a fight on another level, something completely unprecedented. It was the first time they had seen Gohan fight in this way. No. I can believe it, Gohan, Wolf and Lilith, as well as Ainz and Ryu, were amazed, in fact, everyone the two couldn't keep up, kick after kick, punch after punch, each one dodging and countering the other until each one kicked each other to get out and crawled across the floor, skidding and breaking in the distance. Incredible, maybe I'm wrong, you're not like your version of Heia, you really fight like a warrior, Cell said with a smile. Be quiet. But, that's not all I can do. Cell placed his index and middle fingers on his forehead and began to use a technique that Gohan recognized instantly. It just can't be. Makankasapo, Cell fired a powerful cannon from his fingers with a snake of energy surrounding it. Gohan was speechless Gohan, Gohan launched energy and they produced an energy clash that was equal. Cell smiled but Gohan let out a scream, raising his power and the energies exploded together, producing a monstrous explosion, making everything shake again. Gohan came out of the smoke looking for Cell until he dodged an attack from this that technique. How do you know? Do you remember it? The technique of your teacher and friend, Piccolo Gohan, gritted his teeth. Let's see, do you recognize this one? Cell pointed his finger at Gohan and started shooting purple rays that Gohan dodged. The freezer technique exactly Cell said to start shooting more and more piercing every place where it hit. How do you know how to do them? Gohan continued dodging the attack simple. My dear Gohan, the cells of all of them are in me what thing? That's right, I was created with the cells of each of your friends Cell stopped shooting and created two purple discs from his hands to throw them towards Gohan who dodged one, leaving a scar on his face. Gohan began to dodge by flying all over the place, avoiding the discs that were obviously Krillin's technique. However, since Gohan did not see that Frieza made that technique, he also only thought about his bald friend. And of course the Yamcha technique, Okidin unhappy. The the discs hit Gohan making everyone scream but the image of Gohan disappeared and appearing behind Cell he managed to hit him on the back but Cell responded with a punch that guy is very strong Makeo watched Cell with a drop of sweat. Gohan stood up facing Cell I congratulate you my dear Gohan keep your compliments to yourself Gohan spat blood again. Kamion, the fun is just beginning I'm going to tear you to pieces both of them got into a fighting pose. Cell, an android appears in the middle of the fight against the Makeo Gohan and Cell face each other in an amazing battle that even astonishes the gods themselves, but not only gods, all the adventurers who were watching the fight were also amazed by such a fight. It was literally a fight that was outside of logic. In the stadium, everyone present watched the fight completely stunned. No, but I thought those androids had already been defeated. Bell turned to Hestia. I never thought there was another one, much less on that level, that human who created them was completely crazy Bell Sama what do you mean by androids? Why does that monster know Gohan, it's true, I wonder the same thing both Welf and Lilith asked their friend about their partner and team leader, in the middle of nowhere this monster appeared and said that he not only knew Gohan, but that he killed his father and family, clearly the doubts appeared especially in those close to him. From Gohan Well we will answer that later Hestia said seriously, even the other gods Ryu and Aings looked at Hestia. For the moment, we can only hope that Gohan beats that cursed monster shouldn't we help him? Ryu asked. It will be of no use, it pains me to say this, but not even the gods can be of much help are you aware of what you are saying, Hestia? Freya said. Because I am aware, I know what is happening ha 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 ha, you are intelligent goddess the two Makaios appeared above the boys did you bring that beast? Bell asked. What a daring human are you aware of what you damn people have done? Yes, we brought the most powerful being, made with the cells of the strongest, especially those who marked history, the science, scion, was everyone's question. Gohan's father's race Hestia thought with a drop of sweat. What do the cells of the strongest have? They must have been monsters. Eno Hestia screamed loudly at Hermes' words, her face was crestfallen and Hestia's complete innocence was lost, she did not show any trace of doubt. You didn't know them, they were warriors who fought for what was right, so many things had to happen but in the end. 
They fought for those beings who could not create such a monster with their cells. That monster is a disgrace for them. With a scream so loud and full of pain, Hestia spoke in such a way that everyone felt truths in her words. It was like when she saw these adventurers surrender to such negative powers, Hestia's words towards them made them kneel before her. Kamisama, Bell, with a smile looked at Hestia who was still standing firm. Very true words, goddess, I see that you know a lot about them, the fused Makeo spoke, what you don't know is that he also possesses the cells of the galactic demon Frisia and his father what? Hestia let out a loud scream. That's right, if Cell is a monster, with these cells you will see very funny things you are crazy on the other hand, Cell, who remained serious, turned with his eyes straight to where those present were. His calm but serious face indicated that this android, or rather bio-android, was planning something. What are you looking at? Gohan threw himself hard towards Cell, who dodged the attack to kick Gohan and throw him away, but Gohan turned around and threw himself at Cell again, managing to hit him in the face. After that, Gohan punched him in the stomach and finally kicked him in the head, making him retreat. Well, I didn't think he would attack me like that, this Gohan, he's not like his young version after all, he really wants to kill me Gohan launched himself against Cell repeatedly, exchanging blows against Cell, who was smiling while Gohan threw punches and kicks at full speed. Producing strong Cell waves he began to notice something. This Gohan was beginning to delve deeper and deeper into his power, he was releasing more power, especially seeing his face full of rage, Cell was beginning to lose his smile and became a more serious one. You really are amazing I'm going to tear you to pieces with more force, both exchanged blows and kicks, levitating as well as at the same time the blows and kicks were given until pow. Gohan managed to give Cell a strong punch, earning everyone's joy. Gohan did not wait and launched himself against Cell again to hit him with a mallet to make him crash to the floor. With a flying kick, Gohan launched himself against Cell, who with a turn dodged Gohan's attack that collided with the floor, creating a strong crack and rupture in it. Cell and Gohan began to distance themselves, and each one at their distance fired a KI attack that collided with each other again, creating a strong shock wave. They both struggled hard, but this time Cell had a face that indicated more pressure Gohan was in the same until he gained more momentum and surprisingly pushed Cell, who dodged the attack and went to infinite space, producing a powerful explosion that made people tremble more. The place well, you really impress me, Gohan, however, Gohan ignored him and attacked Cell again, who, despite dodging and countering the attacks, continued speaking. I see that you didn't stop training, you even surpassed the strength of a super scion cell, kept stopping Gohan's attacks that he didn't pay attention to. You really are a worthy scion warrior, I left my naivety a long time ago was the only word Gohan said, managing to hit cell in the face again. During me life I learned that I cannot let peace encourage me to stop preparing, surely that was what was missing from my version that you killed. I come from a time of war, exactly, hard times make strong people Gohan continued attacking without responding to anything Cell said. You shouldn't underestimate me like that Iden, what's more, show me your strength, your true strength show it to you, that's right, you have reached a level similar to what your previous version had, but it has not yet shown everything you can do what are you talking about. I see, you haven't made it either, said Cell, changing to a more serious face. Do you want to see my true power? I will show it to you. Gohan fisted his hands and began to release more power, making the entire dimension tremble. That's it dot release all your power, show me all your power H A A A A A Gohan let out another scream again, releasing a strong golden glow that blinded everyone. At the end, Gohan was shining brighter, his hair was brighter and his face was more serious, his image was more and more heavenly for everyone. Freya and everyone couldn't help but blush Hestia was amazed and Belle along with the boys were amazed to see Gohan with that image and that countenance it was like seeing another god even Cell was impressed where finally everyone was also speechless. A large number of feelings with seeing Gohan what is that appearance said Finn with a drop of sweat. That golden color it seems like a god Reveria was now the one who said with sweat falling from her face. Wow I didn't expect Gohan to be so cool Tiona with hearts in her pupils was watching in amazement. TKS, that wretch, was he that strong, jealous bet, shut up damn Amazon I didn't know what that power is, but seriously, Gohan, you must win the Makaos were sweating with amazement that damn, what power it's true, but there's no problem, Cell will be able to fight this once again Cell made a face to turn to see the Makao Tesis my true power, amazing that you are someone who surpasses my POWW, but Cell didn't wait for Gohan to disappear and punch him in the stomach and then hit him in the face and throw him away. Gohan grabbed his foot and slammed him into the ground. 
Damned. Don't think I'm weak, Gohan crashed into Cell again and threw him away while Cell stopped in the sky. This boy doesn't plan to give me a chance, I see, you've really lost your naivety. I like that, Cell was going backwards and from his hands he began to shoot energies as well as Gohan that collided producing another powerful explosion. Everyone was covered by the strong explosion, including the Makeo, and after the smoke left, Gohan launched himself at Cell, but when he attacked, he continued straight and was surprised by having hit the air. Here I am, Cell had his hands on his side in a position that amazed Gohan so much that more emotions came to his mind. Kami, Skane, you don't deserve to use that technique, hey ami ami ee. Gohan placed his hands on his side as well and began to say the words came. Dot hemi what do you mean? If you throw that energy you will destroy this entire dimension and release the monsters before their time that guy, he's going too far, he might even kill them. Both Makeo had to create a protective barrier that monster, if it destroys this dimension, it could release all these beasts into the underworld, Hermes said with a drop of sweat falling down his face, alarming everyone. Capable of destroying this dimension. He really is a monster, said Freya. Gohan. Stop damn it, there are people here, well, that doesn't matter to me. Damned. Hiya H-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-
Sil smiled he was joking that G H U A A H H H H H H H H H H H Sil's destroyed side began to grow and in seconds he recovered again Gohan and everyone were completely terrified where Fan, Hestia, Hermes, Friabel, Wolf and the girls were speechless. Are you impressed by Gohan? Gohan gasped in fear. Piccolo's ability is very useful, don't you think, unhappy, don't tremble so much Gohan, I'm tired of playing with you, since I hoped that at least you had the same power as you where I come from what are you saying, I'm talking about not fighting seriously yet, let me show you, my true power, that, what did he say? He still hasn't fought seriously? G-U-A-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-
in an act of greater cruelty, took Gohan's metal arm and began to pull what would happen if I do this, Cell began to pull hard. On his face you could see the joy and satisfaction of making Gohan suffer. Why so much desire to make him suffer? This monster really has a deep hatred for Gohan. Stop, let go of me, Gohan threw a sphere of energy in Cell's face who only allowed himself to be received. Does this sound familiar to you? Like when you lost your arm against the androids, Stopii, Hestia, the girls, Bell, and the others launched themselves at Cell, but he only stretched out his tail and hit them all with it, throwing them aside. Gohan was impressed. He 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 damn Hestia, with her fists lit on fire, threw herself again and began to hit Cell who did not move. No Hestia that this monster is very strong, I don't care. Hestia shouted to end up punching him in the face, but Cell was still still. Bell was now the one who lunged with one of his knives, but when he hit him with one of them it broke. Bell took distance to place his hands on the side of his body, which Cell noticed. In the final cell he did not wait and faced Bell to grab him by the face not bad kid. If you know this technique it's because you learned it from him, right? Cell turned and threw Bell against Wolf who were dragged to hit Lilith and crash into a wall. In the end, Ainz and Ryu were the others who attacked Cell, but he only raised his hand with a wave of energy and threw them away. Die, damn, I won't forgive you for what you've done to Gohan. Freya raised her hands and created a large number of spears against Cell. When throwing them, Cell raised his hands and stopped the spears halfway, scaring Freya. What did you try? Cell returned the spears to Freya who received them and fell to the floor. Gohan was so angry and upset that he got up in rage and started to hit Cell, but Cell, in super speed, tore off Gohan's metal arm without an act of mercy. I think I broke your arm again Gohan was holding his shoulder and Cell kicked him to stop him from rolling and crashing into a wall again, Gohan was left on the floor. Damn, I can't give up how sad Gohan, in the end I am grateful that you came to this pathetic world, but since you already bored me then I will destroy everything, I will get out of here, and you can imagine what will happen, right? Don't not you dare. This was enough a soft voice was heard behind Cell, it was Hestia. Hestia was standing looking at Cell with her red hair lit on fire and her fists as well. Hestia, no please. Are you still standing? You androids have caused nothing but pain and suffering, so many people. To so many innocent people, you took away the future of a child who lost his father. When I saw that I wanted so much to be there to fight alongside him, although I they will kill Hestia. What's the point of fighting when you know you'll die? You call yourself a warrior and you don't understand that. Cell frowned. Beauty doesn't matter, now it's my turn to protect Gohan, get ready to fight a goddess Hestiano, dot take Bell and go Gohan, this time with you was so beautiful, even if you had more than one, I'm telling you now. I would love you forever Gohan also opened his eyes in surprise when Bell stood up and looked at Hestia, seeing the face of her other son, she only accepted his request to fight for Gohan even if it was impossible. Napoli's don't fight Gohan was silenced by a lightning bolt in his chest. Gohan how annoying you are, I would have liked to fight with all your power but it would be better to leave it like this cell began to approach the two step by step. Gohan was looking and trying to stand up but he couldn't and fell again. Damn, not again, can't I? Can't lose, starting to shed tears, he looked at his palm and squeezed it tightly. I for like my dad, he would know what to do, he always fought with all his strength. He never let anyone down, I also want to be like him remembering as if a painting manifested with Goku and each of his battles, including that of Frieza Mecha and Cold. I wish you had seen, how strong I became, are you proud father, I could have been strong, closing his eyes, remaining on the floor, Gohan lost consciousness. Don't talk nonsense, Gohan, are you really going to let me win? Gohan opened one eye and as if he were in some kind of dark plane, he heard a voice that could be heard in the distance. A glow appeared in front of him. A silhouette, a small girl with yellow clothes and red hair earrings, appeared in the distance and from there a silhouette appeared in front of her that she recognized at that moment. Gohan, you have become very strong, the woman spoke. Who are you, Gohan, just look at you, how nice to see you, the image appeared in front of him. He was a man with somewhat different clothes, but his face and especially his hair were what caught his attention and brought out strong feelings in Gohan. Dad, Gohan. But how, do you come from the other world? Goku denied. No Gohan, I am so to speak, from another place, and I'm sorry for not being able to help you know Dad, I can't protect the land that you saved so many times, I'm not as strong as you, I need you by my side. You're wrong about that, Gohan. 
that, when I died in the fight against him, I told you from the other world that I would always be with you, every word is true Inno, but I am not like my version that fights against the one who says he is stronger. And you believe him, hey, hey's afraid of you, that's why he told you all that, but you are stronger than you can imagine I was afraid of me, why didn't he kill me, because it is a conceited monster, if you fight with all your strength you will win, find that strength that you have fought to have what strength, don't you see it yet? Gohan, you are the strongest in the universe, stronger than that damn one I, that's right, don't you see it, son? Dot, don't get discouraged or lose hope, the destiny of the earth is in your hands dad, forgive me from wherever you are, I always cause you problems Gohan, don't cry, even if we are apart, always remember that you will be my son, I am very proud and don't worry, soon you will have more answers, but now, kill that monster, protect your friends, don't let them take them from you Gohan stretched out Goku's hand and he bumped it gone fight Gohan dad. I won't regret leaving you here with my best friend you are. I can tell you nor can Hestia, but send him my greetings unleash your maximum power, Gohan, get angry, cutting the image of Goku and the girl both disappeared leaving Gohan in dark space it's true, how blind I have been, now that dad, nor Mr. Piccolo, nor anyone is there, the only one who can defend the earth, it's me, coming back to reality cells had Hestia and Belled by the neck, who was unconscious. Kill only me, but leave them alive. He he he, you are a brave girl. Flash. Cell crossed Hestia's shoulder, leaving her speechless. Gohan observed this and was petrified. The gods, no one is a rival for me, Cell threw Hestia's body to the side of Gohan who stood on his knees and took her with his arm. The look of each one reflected more than a simple feeling but above all Gohan you didn't have to get involved, you useless Gohan, thank you for being in the family of this useless goddess. Silence was felt for a few seconds while around Gohan like a dove he began to fly calmly and after a few seconds it felt like lightning hit the scion. Cell saw this and turned to look. H-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-
Ha 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 ha, how about E.H.? I'm perfect, but Cell was shocked to see Gohan still in front of him without any signs of damage. It just can't be. Gohan opened his palm and launched a K.I. wave against the bio-android. Preparito die, I can believe it, despite having reached this state, am I inferior? Seeing Gohan like that was like looking at his younger version. He wasn't scarier and Cell felt like seeing the image of Goku next to Gohan too. Damn you, son Gohan, I'm not going to let myself be ridiculed here, if you want to repeat history, so be it. Cell went directly to the sky and began to release more and more power and his body released lightning and thunder. I will destroy them along with the solar system, what thing? Kamii Gohan clenched his teeth and noticed that he was missing an arm. Gohan dot attack him. Dad are you going to allow that monster to destroy everything again? I trust you, finish it booty only have one arm. Don't give up, you must beat him, do it. Gohan opened his eyes, he felt as if Goku was talking to him behind him. He wanted to turn around, but what would he see? Clearly nothing, he couldn't lose concentration, it was all or nothing. Kamii Gohan placed his arm on his side and began to recite the words of the technique. Tisicity of EU, this is how Gohan killed you, you looked pathetic fighting with one arm, you gave in and in the end I won not this time. Gohan said with a strong voice. Hami Hamii both created curtains of energy that made the others cover Hermes and Freya Soyeri going to die again like your younger version? Nothing will give me more pleasure than to kill you again. Not as time, because I am the son of Son Goku, and a Saiyajin, and from the family of the goddess Hestia Gohan was covered by Morei Sobit. Until ever, Cell launched his powerful attack against Gohan. Dad, dot, please give me the strength to. So that it doesn't happen again, Gohan launched his attack at the same time that Cell's techniques impacted each other, producing an immense collision as if two supernovas collided with each other. Even the human world itself and the families felt a tremor and pressure. They both struggled, but Cell was also smiling, and Gohan still showed difficulty. How sad Gohan, condemned to repeat history again, how does it feel to be weak? Shut up, I will be weak, but I will still get up Hestia who saw this was amazed, but felt something in her head and remembered something. This, I already saw a dream and Ohestia ran out, surprising everyone, until she charged a fireball and threw it at Cell, who only felt something collide with him, and that's it. Did Lost Cell sent a beam from his eyes crashing into the floor where Hestia flew away. Hestia, Sunti will go, to the other world the energy was beginning to overcome Gohan, who was cornered. Hestia? Freya said, standing up. The gods will fight too. Freya and Hestia shouted at the same time. Let's go too, everyone said, looking at Hestia who nodded. In the clash Gohan was about to lose curse. Gohan, use all your power for Givma, for being so weak. Weak, look how far you came on your own. Trust in yourself, everyone trusts in you until ever. Self fell when he felt several energies colliding in his body. When he turned to see, he looked at everyone colliding magical attacks on his body that clearly did not feel anything. Don't be in the hinder, Cell shot a wave from his body sending them flying. What did they try? This, a scream was heard in the sky as well, and it was the three gods charging energies from their hands to Hestia's. Fireball Hestia threw a sphere of fire directly at Cell that collided with him, making him feel a little hot, but above all, making him lose concentration on his face. N-O-W-G-O-H-A-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N, Goku's voice that stood aside from Gohan shouted with all his might and Gohan too. A monstrous golden energy came out of Gohan that completely overwhelmed Cell, consuming him in it. N-O, can't be, it's impossible, Cell was completely disintegrated, his entire body began to shatter and char to disappear as particles and also his brain mass. The energy destroyed the entire dimension and was shot from the dungeon towards the sky as a powerful beam of energy where it emerged into the atmosphere producing a monstrous explosion. Adventurers and gods at the same time were left speechless. In the dungeon the others also had to cover themselves when they saw how a monstrous lightning bolt came out of nowhere. Finn and the others came out to observe after having seen all this in a crystal ball which was completely destroyed. In the other dimension everything was completely destroyed and the walls were like destroyed glass, the dungeon was completely shattered and you could see Valis and jewels all over the place and there was Gohan floating in base state again with. His arm raised and trembling while I was panting from exhaustion to smile and start laughing it at it. Did I win? Gohan closed his eyes and started to fall, but before that Hestia caught him and they both fell into what was left of the Colosseum. Gohan, Hestia, and everyone approached the place. The girls came to look at the scion who was with a smile while he was panting from exhaustion. 
The scion smile was so much to make everyone happy that they approached and hugged the scion Hestia, taking his head and hugging him on her chest and everyone on him. Gohan. You won. You avenged your family again. Hestia said in a brittle voice, crying with happiness. Thank you, to you said the scion while also letting out some tears. And also, dot thanks dad in another space, or rather another place, a completely remote place ugh, I win, your words were very helpful at the last moment, yeah. The word was short, but it reflected so much feeling in her that when she looked at the sky she smiled with her eyes bright, with intense pride and strong joy. You did a good job, son, you would like to be there, right? Yes, but I know I can't, at least I know I win, thank you really, you don't know how much I appreciate all this don't worry, I'm so glad that my friend is okay too. Thank you, Hestia, but unfortunately it was all I could do. You can't just do something and hope that nothing serious happens. That's why you can't be with him. Yes, I know that. But thank you anyway. At least knowing that my son is happy, I can be happy too. I hope to see him again one day. And tell him everything Lefi is curious, don't you think? Even I believe that how strange that someone like you says those things, especially when you are supposed to be one of them, right? It reminds you that at least you will see him again. Just give me a little more time. I don't even know when I can see Hestia again if someone like you says so, even I have my limits. After all, our duty at the moment is different and by duty, I mean you already know if you're right. Can I ask you to let me see him from time to time? Of course, I'm sure there will be more who want to see it, don't doubt that. Goodbye Gohan. We will meet again, get stronger someone's smile was reflected, it was a smile that we all knew. He was next to a girl in yellow KO clothes. Also in said person, we could notice some quite special clothes of a red tone. Also, from his expression and voice, it was as if he were from the same age as Gohan. How curious, isn't it? If he is who we already know. Why is he the same as Gohan in image and even possibly in age? Shuri Ri okay, dot yes, very happy, the melancholic but serious and happy voice was noted. IZ, it is normal for a father to be proud of his son, it is a shame that the others missed him I'll tell you. Calm down after the battle against Cell and defeating him in the camp where they were and the others finally ended up killing the last monster that had attacked where they were finally like that and everyone let out a sigh of happiness and joy, the fight. The tension and the emotion made them let out screams of joy and even some of the girls applauded slightly, well, after seeing. This fight anyone would applaud what a fight. I didn't think Gohan was so strong because group along with Makoto could not express their astonishment and congratulations that in this way it's true. Not even the gods could beat him, but Gohan could. This reveals a lot that bastard. He was always like that. No wonder I can't beat him and now you're further away from. Don't you think so? Shut up. You stupid Amazon bet on the other hand made a grimace of disgust and well it's not surprising. If before he couldn't against Gohan, now he felt further away from him and in fact the reality was like that. And, we defeated all the monsters one of the adventurers appeared in the tents what was that that happened a while ago, nothing, just, we saw the best fight in the world of the strongest adventurer the strongest. Immediately the wall was destroyed and from there they all fell, surprising the adventurers. Gohan was being held by Ainz and Hestia. Gohan, hold on Hestia was really nervous, the others were hurt but Gohan was the one who was the worst. At that end, and everyone came running to the place Reveria. Please, yes, let me look at it, Hestia, and everyone placed Gohan on the ground. His wounds indicated that without a doubt the fight that this boy experienced was overwhelming. Reveria began to heal him. The other adventurers approached, looking nervously at Gohan. Are the gods hurt too? I'll tell you later. How do you see Reveria? I finally asked. Hay's very delicate, but it will be fine if I treat him. He is undoubtedly a boy with enormous determination Hestia, and everyone sighed with joy Hestia was with a happy look, and there she stood up and looked at Freya Freya. Thank you Freya looked at Hestia and smiled at her. I never thought we would have a fight like that. I don't know what life he had, but it must have undoubtedly been a very hard one. I saw him fighting well. I think this is over Freya raised her spear and launched a bolt of lightning that sealed the door. Ready, that place was left in ruins, thank you, don't even say it, but why, a song of the strongest and most beautiful goddesses, I couldn't allow those demon fruits to do their thing, Hestia. Yeah, we will meet again, Freya looked at Gohan with a smile and left the place in a strange flash, Hestia stayed looking at Freya, I didn't know why you helped me, but thank you, Hestia Hermes approached Hestia the Reese a lot to clarify about this, could you explain to me? As Hermes, I must know what happened to guess I owe you Hermes, thank you Hermes, he smiled and scratched his head. The Tiswood friends are four bell, goddess Hestia we also want to know Wolf, Lilith, and even Ryu and Ainz looked at the two who looked at each other to agree after this they couldn't hide anything from them on the other hand. 
In another place there was an individual observing this floating in another place similar to a black sky. Southey died, eh? Well, but it seems that not all failure, that guy sell could be a good ally, but in the end. Anyway, I will report this, after all I made an incredible find, and it would be a shame to let it go, you won't always be able to get your way. We will rise again and stronger that same day, after all, a last party was held at night, this to solve certain things that happened, but Gohan was lying unconscious, bandaged his eye, forehead, and body while Reveria performed due care, helped by the Amazons. But the others listened to Hestia's story, leaving them speechless. Some Hestia told them that Gohan was a semi-scion, the son of an extraterrestrial scion and an earthling who in a past life lost his family and lived in an apocalyptic world. Is that true Hestia-sama, that's how it is, well, the universe is big, he said with his thoughtful pose. That explains a lot. Ainz and Ryu looked at the scion who was in the corner with some regret on their faces, probably because they felt they were the same on the issue of losing their loved ones and not being able to do anything. Hestia, if that's true. Listen, this has nothing to do with gods or mortals. Gohan is a normal living being and that's why I want this to stay between us. Please, Hestia lowered her head. I'm asking you too, please. Now Bell lowered her head. Raise your head, Bell. Hestia, I speak wealth count on me for anything also with me, said Lilith. We're a team and the team looks after each other's backs, guys. Count on me too, said Ainz. And with me I speak Ryu, we won't talk either, look as group spoke. Same as us I speak the end, Hestia and Bell smiled and were very happy to bow their heads a little more. Thank you so much, no dot thanks though Gohan, we are fine Ein's words made everyone look at the scion who was resting peacefully. Hestia approached and grabbed his face, Ein's and Ryu too. Thank you, Gohan, my greatest treasure, and also thanks to you, Kronoa I found this for Hestia Hermes passed Gohan's arm to the goddess it's a little broken, but I'm sure Hephaestus can fix it thanks Hermes allowed to take it in person Wolf took the arm and Hestia with a smile nodded for the favor. Gohan himself opened his eyes Gohan Hestia. Guys, try not to move too much thank you, I'm fine, thanks to everyone, we were able to win and also, thanks to dad your father, Hestia was surprised. Yes, I could hear it, I felt that it spoke to me, it gave me the courage to continue. Just like you, thank you, I feel so happy to know that I have such valuable people Gohan, Hestia and the girls placed their hands in the sign of support and thus everything calmed down and this horrible nightmare finally ended. And Hestia yeah girl sends you greetings Hestia was again surprised to smile. IZ, thank you the next day they left directly to return to Orio and everyone was more recovered, the final group would take a different path while Hestia and the others returned along another path after their fierce battle against Cell. On the other hand, Uranus was being cared for by Loki. Makeos, and to think that you would be a victim of them I appreciate your help, but it seems that this may be a premonition of something Loki was very seriously looking around a corner did they leave? Or did someone beat them? Whoever it was then is more powerful than you. I doubt he was a mortal. I do doubt that. Do not underestimate goddess Loki. As gods we know what beings from other planes can be. Loki turned to look at Uranus. It seems that even the gods, we will have to pay attention to the events that are appearing. It seems that we are going down for something more destiny. Who knows at Freya's palace she arrived and sat on her throne again. Gohan, I want you more and more. After this you showed me. That your color changes to a more exciting one. You are the first man that I truly fall in love with upon returning home. Bell's group said goodbye to rest and Wolf took Gohan's arm to Hephaestus. A bell, thank you for saving me, said Lilith, who turned a little red. It's no big deal have Lilith handed him his suitcase full of rocks and that, ip it them together before leaving. If you want later we won't divide them although I think it's fair that Gohan is the one who has them I didn't think he accepts this you're right. Well... Let's go after saying goodbye. The three of them entered the temple, feeling again that their home was humble, but it was their home and Gohan felt so happy to return. I'll go and let them know that we're arriving. I'll bring something to eat, Bell said. Thanks, Bell. Bell comically pushed Hestia over to Gohan and left, giving him a thumbs up. Mold, Bell Cohen is something wrong, Hestia. Eh, no nothing. Gohan, let me change your bandages. You must be uncomfortable from wearing that for several days. Thank you, Gohan took off his clothes and was left in his boxers with his bandages. Hestia took out an ointment and began to remove Gohan's bandages. Let me know if it hurts, don't worry, I'm sorry about your arm, but Hephaestus will fix it. Gohan was silent for a second. Thank you Hestia dot for everything hey, since you helped me, you have done so much for me, I don't know how it came about, but. I really feel so happy for what you do Hestia opened her eyes a little, some wetlands appeared beneath them and her eyes became crystal clear. 
No, Ishul, thank you, for appearing in my life, for being with a goddess as useless as me. How can you call yourself useless? What you did, well, each one, impressed me and never thought they would face that kind of threats. You leave me speechless, do you think so? Hestia bit her lip. You know, Gohan, you came into my life, thanks to an old friend of mine, Afriend of yours, that's right, someone more powerful than me and all the gods together, even so, someone incredible I see after this being said. Do you hate me? How can I hate you? Because he is what? Bet had as it may, it doesn't take away from the fact that you are someone very special to me, Gohan. Really? Very seriously, Hestia placed her hand on his chest while the scion surrounded her waist, something difficult due to her short stature. So he surrounded her head more. I feel strange, really. What do you feel? Ido not know how to explain it. I'm the same, and I won't stop feeling it. Let's let life flow, and no matter what happens, I will never leave your side. Hestia looked at Gohan's face, and he at her. Guys, come back. Belle was coming in, but when she looked she saw Gohan asleep on Hestia's lap and she just smiled and left the food to go rest. Rest, Gohan. I will get stronger. I promise and so, a few more days passed. In a really dark area, night reigned at this moment, the moment in which living beings rest from their days and work. The night is supposed to be made for silence and peace. However, this was not the moment. A distant castle full of trees that with their roots surrounded this entire monument was located somewhere far away. However, this element, but above all a statue of a woman with a bow lay in the distance with a somewhat strange symbol on top of it like a, a kind of magic circle. Inside you could hear bangs and crashes as if it were being demolished or rather there was a fight. It can't be, shouted the guy with animal ears and an adventurer's dress. Ice it weakening, it can't be dot kyaa an explosion was heard and felt throughout the place, sending many adventurers flying into the distance from the impact itself. Even a beautiful blue-haired girl flew away and was dragged throughout the place. With great difficulty and with wounds on her face, she got up and witnessed a terrible scene. Corpses of some adventurers scattered on the floor and also on their sides there were some flags with an arrow symbol on them. The girl let out a sigh and then tears. Yes, wake up, it will be the end of us. How could he wake up? A monstrous roar was heard from the heavens so loud and deep that a surrounding forest trembled abruptly as if it were being raised to the ground. Hestia, only that simple word was heard from the woman who was getting up with too much difficulty. A day like any other began the day, the moment that humans used to work and carry out common activities. In Gohan's case, it was even earlier, the more recovered Sion was outside the temple with his eyes closed and holding his hand. I never thought I had this power, but now I know that I have the power to face any danger Gohan was entering the temple again and Bell was getting organized Riodido go, yes, but Gohan, are you sure you want to go? You should rest a little. T sis why I can't stop going, if I stay still my body will rest you understand Ohio, the two turned around and Hestia, who was sleeping in the bed so peacefully, got up. Sorry Hestia, shall we wake you up? No, it's time for me to get up are they leaving now? Good luck to them. Gohan will take care of you until they repair your arm. I'll have a goodbye goodbye Akami-sama. The two were leaving and Hestia sat on the bed. Ben, I will also start training from today. Hestia got up motivated, but first she noticed a paper on the nightstand, taking it and looking somewhat depressed. I didn't think Gohan would have been able to handle it. Anyway, I'll keep it, because it's a gift you left us while Hestia was doing her thing. Gohan and Bell were on their way to the dungeon. Toyang people, may they do well, thank you, wow, what hard-working young people, good morning, ace, legendary warrior, and little rocket, take care, children, yes, people greeted both, but especially Gohan. Many found out that the semi-scion lost his arm again, but seeing him get up and go fight filled them with admiration, although they didn't really know why, but it was better this way. Helaga and Kuen, Bell San Helisir, he raised your lunch, thank you, Gohan, listen to what happened in the dungeon, I'm sorry about your arm, don't worry, they are repairing it, I will have it again soon if you need help, don't hesitate to ask me, thank you, by the way, haven't you seen Ryu? We haven't seen her for a few days. No, sorry, answered Bell. Soyu haven't seen it, well, if I find it I'll tell you, Gohan showed some concern. Same, Bell said. Good see you later, goodbye, Gohan Seer held his chest looking at the scion, maybe he felt sorry for his arm or something else. In the dungeon on the other hand, Ain was with a box, and there she saw the two hello and saying hello, are you going to the dungeon? Yeah, Gohan, be careful, will you? I'll have it. They worry too much both met Wolf and Lilith again and entered the dungeon. Another normal day for the group of adventurers, but let's remember that life is already a struggle. In the dungeon inside, they were fighting against beasts in a quieter place with weaker creatures. It was something normal and calm despite being fighting. Gohan looked at the ceilings and remembered the fight. 
Gohan-sama, is he okay? Lilith asked. Yes I am are you still thoughtful, something like that, I'm really sorry don't apologize, Wolf said. If it hadn't been for you. Let's not talk about that, and let's relax a little. How about we go to the festival tonight? Festival, so, it's a celebration we do in honor of the gods, it's fun, come Gohan it's true, you will have fun, there will be a lot of food I see, if so I'll go by the way, before going I want to share what they brought from that day there's no need, no, yes it is the three side and smiled. Okwi will ya thank you, and by the way I must also see Ryu to tell him the same the elf? Isn't she around here? No. And it worries me maybe he'll be at the party, Bell said. Ihope, so in that same night there were people, food places, and many people having fun where it was a festival, oh, said Hestia, who was also with them. Yes, it is, said Gohan. Idis the Divine Lunar Festival Divine Mole? Hestia asked. Yes, it is an ancient festival that was held before the gods descended to the underworld. Hey, how interesting, said Gohan, looking and even sniffing the food places. The moon was a symbol to worship the gods and ask for their protection well. The customs of mortals are interesting everywhere. There were masks and objects with the symbols of the gods that were sold everywhere. It's true. It's a very quiet place, said Gohan, looking everywhere and breathing the air of tranquility. For a while the group entertained themselves and had fun. Lilith seemed to get very attached to Belle, which they noticed and thought was very good. Hestia also wanted to get more attached to the Scion, although they had more fun as a group. It's true, this is very funny Gohan was eating a squid, isn't that right? I speak wolf while eating too. Doi wa want takoyaki, sounds delicious listen everyone, those who are far away listen. Those who are close observe but the group's attention was drawn when they heard Hermes who was on a platform calling the attention of the people who will be the hero who draws this sword. Is there any hero around here? Hermes, what are you doing? Yes you can see that he likes to do these things a sword? It looks more like a spear, Wolf said. Beauty sounds funny, Gohan, let's go, Einsan, come on a more childish voice was heard and Lafia and Eins were observed it's okay. Huh? Both Lafia and Hestia looked at each other. Ainsy don't know what, Hestia's family both pointed at each other Eins, Gohan are you back? I'm glad to see you again Eins blushed. Likewise. Ah, Gohan, come on Einsan, let's go to Lafia and Hestia began to drag both comically while they looked at each other with a bad face the others looked with a drop of sweat the adventurers were already beginning to climb and try to remove the weapon that was stuck in a piece of ice some with robust bodies but they couldn't even move it does anyone else want to try it I shouted Lafia but she couldn't even move her I'll continue Eins offered himself surprising everyone present the princess of the sword but not even she could move it eh not even Einsan it's level six Gohan go Hestia told him with a smile since she knew he could do it do you think I can get her out with one arm Lafia didn't see the fight so she doesn't know much what did you say Lafia pouted go Gohan I'm sure you can yes go and have fun Kamion Gohan eh okay the scion went directly towards the sword some who saw the scion's bearing stared out of curiosity as to what was going to happen Oh, legendary warrior, will you try? Yes, but please Mr. Hermes, call me by my name Hermes looked at Gohan with a smile while covering his face with his hat. Gohan took the hilt and the scion felt that some runes were drawn on it. You are the chosen one, huh? Gohan felt a voice in his head and then the glass broke. Everyone remained silent, but then shouts and applause were heard. Even Ains applauded Lafia. She was somewhat shocked, but then she just sighed. Well, it's level 7, it's logical in fact, there are more reasons, Ayn said, still applauding. Gohan, congratulations Hestia went to hug Gohan, Ayn's made a small gesture of seriousness when she saw this. How are you? My Gohan is the best Hestia began to shout at everyone with her chest up. But what was? Congratulations, Gohan Hermes approached Gohan. Although after what I saw it doesn't surprise me excuse him, now I want to introduce you to the sponsor of this activity everyone turned to look and saw a beautiful woman, not as beautiful as Freya, but she was incredibly beautiful, she had a good physique, green eyes and long blue hair with two long strands, two strands on the sides and a partially braided tail at the back. She wore a white and pale blue outfit, long brown boots with a light brown design, a belt in which she kept a piece of white cloth and a dagger, golden bracelets, and several golden hair accessories. When Hestia saw her she was happy like never before. Artemis, do you know her? Yes, she was also my friend Artemis. The girl launched herself with her arms open. Hestia also opened them, but Artemis launched herself to hug Gohan, throwing herself on him. I found you. 
Dot Orion, my hope, huh? Both Gohan and Hestia were impressed to hear Hermes, on the other hand, was watching with a smile, but then covered his face with his hat again. After more festivities and celebrations, everyone was in a temple. Can you tell why you didn't greet me? Sorry, Hestia. I got excited. I said worth so little a friend of so long, and also hug my son, your son. That's how it is, Artemis, or Artemis stared at the sound and him at her, but more out of curiosity. Booty can't believe that Artemis hugged someone and that's because Kemisama, Artemis is one of the virgin goddesses, a goddess of chastity who hates intimate relationships, intimate relationships? Gohan asked. I'll teach you that later, Gohan, Hestia said, patting him on the back. Wait, don't you know what intimate relationships is? Artemis asked. Not much, Gohan said somewhat blushing, partly because since he was a child he had lived completely alive on the subject of war. I can't believe it, it's true, you are a pure being of heart, you don't lie to me, said Artemis, amazed that a man doesn't know about the subject like others. Let's better change the subject, why is she sponsoring this event? Hermes then made a serious face. The truth is, we need a monster to be controlled on the outskirts of Oreo a monster, that's right, Artemis's family found him, but they can't stop him so this was what this was for, it was good for it to be true calm down, please. When Hermes, Wolf, and Lilith were talking, Artemis stood up and faced the scion. It looked for you for a long time, Orion, my name is Gohan Form, you are Orion, the one who should carry this weapon to my ears, your exploits with the Makeo came, please, Artemis grabbed Gohan's cheek, surprising Hestia, do you want me to stop that creature? I will be honest with you, it is a creature with great power, that is why after your feet I know that you can do it enough Hestia hit Artemis with her own head, bringing out beads of sweat on everyone. That hurt me Hestia, me too, are you okay? Artemis grabbed Hestia's forehead in an attempt to rub her. Yes. Wait, okay, we accept the mission Hestia stood up. We will help another old friend from long ago Artemis hugged Hestia, thank you very much Hestia, thank you very much well, in the end we are friends, I'm going too, Bell said. Then I'll also go, but I'll ask for a reward later Lilith spoke. Since you are, so Gohan, what are you saying? Hermes looked at Gohan who had the sword in his hand. If I can help, then so be it Artemis smiled. Alta are not from the same family. Allow me to show you my gratitude. Artemis stretched out her hand to the scion. Kiss her Gohan, that's fine. Gohan took her delicately and kissed the goddess's hand. After each one kissed her, they prepared to leave. On the wall of Oreo, everyone was gathered with clothes and armor except Gohan, who was wearing his G.I. Hey Gohan, you should wear armor, not Hank you, Mr. Hermes. Then I won't be able to move well, you understand well, Hermes. Then how are we leaving? Gohan can't take us all, can you fly? Artemis asked. Yeah, well, I want to see, Gohan rose, surprising Artemis. Great, but you can fly, right? Note if we are in the earthly world, you understand well. Here they already arrived, three dragons appeared in the place next to Ganesa, we'll, we'll fly in them. Yes, if we go on land, we will arrive in a month, but if we go on them, we will arrive in ten days, ten days? Gohan asked. That's right, and don't worry, they are tamed. The problem is that I didn't get enough then, well, we'll have to go two in each one then. I'll go, with Gohan Hestia, unfortunately, couldn't go with Gohan because Artemis beat her, and she went with Hermes. The dragons were flying all over the sky, and starting an adventure on the other hand, in one place a huge magic circle began to crack. After leaving Orario and the respective creatures, Gohan was next to Artemis, who watched everything calmly driving the dragon. This brings back so many memories so, that's right, as a child I had a small dragon as a friend, almost like a pet, sometimes he would carry me on his back so. How cute, but because you said almost a pet, wasn't it a pet? My dad let me keep it, but my mother didn't, she said it distracted me that's bad, a pet has nothing wrong with a child, it teaches you responsibility well, that doesn't matter, and you're Artemis, are you Hestia's friend from heaven? Ha, huh, yes, we were the best were, Emian, we are and what was her other friend like, hey, just curious, I'm sorry, but we can't talk about her, I see. Hestia told me something similar. Artemis leaned on Gohan's chest. I didn't know why, but you give me a lot of peace. Is this palpitating? Artemis, Hestia shouted from the other dragon, making Hermes scared by what the goddess was doing since it made her lose her balance. Hestia, calm down, you will fall, you will make us fall, Hermes-sama, where are we going? Lilith asked from the other dragon. We're going to the ends of the continent, far from Oreo, to the ruins of Elsios in the distance the sun rose, starting a new day. The sun's rays were beautiful and made others feel great beauty. During their travel days the boys rested, traveled, and took their time. 
Gohan marveled at the beauty of these spaces, they made him feel like he was in those times with his mother and father in the Payaz Mountain, although almost all the time his mother kept him. Locked, however, there were times of peace and these times, even during those times of breaks, Gohan trained to try to get his body used to his new power, but now that he was limited without an arm, five days passed. They were flying again, Hermes seemed very happy, why are you so excited, it's been five days, I'm fed up, right Bell, yes a bit Gohan on the other hand was looking serious and they were entering a forest. Artemis was observing the ground and both she and Gohan felt something. Lo in oh huh, Gohan stood up and jumped to the ground, slightly surprising Artemis. On the ground were a woman and a little girl who seemed to be her daughter, both running from some scorpion-shaped creatures but somewhat different. Gohan faced them and took the woman and the girl to place them in a safe place. I won't let them get away with it Gohan began to charge energy in his hand and fired it like a powerful beam of energy from it. The attack came straight out like a lightning bolt, destroying every creature in front and producing an explosion, leaving rocks everywhere. Everyone saw this, but Artemis was left speechless. This was not a normal power. This young man had an overwhelming power. The woman and the girl were also amazed. Are you okay? Gohan approached them. Sugoi, that was great, the girl shouted very happily. Orion, are you okay? Yes, I am, that was incredible. I didn't think you had such power well. Gohan Kuen Hestia got off the dragon. Gohan, are you okay? Yes, but I think I overdid it. Hey, is it my idea or Gohan Sama is more powerful than before Itis because of their scion blood? Scions become stronger after recovering incredible. It's true, why are you so strong? Eh, hey, well, excuse him. I want to thank you for saving us, the woman approached the group. How can I reward them? Do you know those monsters? No, they have attacked other villages, and everything has been very sudden IZ. Gohan Kuen, it's good that you didn't use the spear because... We didn't want to be discovered IZ Artemis kept looking at Gohan and Hestia observed this, but not in a jealous way, but in a strange way. Goodbye, Kemisama. Mina the girl said goodbye with the woman. The others did the same helping people is very nice. But did we have to give them our food? We only have bread left. I didn't need to eat maybe you, but we are very hungry. Also remember Gohan-sama's appetite everyone made a face of agreement. Gohan had a drop of sweat coming out, but he didn't say anything. Hey. I'm sorry. Artemisa fell to her knees. What's wrong with this fool? Lilith she is still a goddess I didn't care a fool is a fool's ha. Huh? How did it end like this? I said so different. Before I had a determination like an Amazon in the sky flashback in a place similar to a paradise was Artemis, but naked aren't you ashamed? Thank you very much a group of men and among them Hermes were tied with a smile and arrows next to them. End of flashback yes, that happened everyone saw Hermes with a drop of sweat. He looks like Master Rashi, Gohan thought to himself to sigh but it also brought back happy memories of his father's perverted teacher. Gohan began to search through all the trees and noticed a river nearby. Bell, can I ask you to pick up those fruits? Everyone turned to look and saw some fruits above. Oh, yeah, sure I'll be back where are you going Gohan, Tofish Gohan went into the forest later that night at a campfire Gohan brought a huge fish the size of a car luckily there were fish of that size here oh, amazing Gohan it's true, you have to teach me how to fish like that clear bell, please off course bell took one of the fruits from the bonfire and broke it in two, looking like it was soup. Placing the fish on another bonfire they made a fish dinner and this fruit was even enough for the dragons. That's lovely it's true, Gohan, Bell, they saved us, said Welf. It's true he he he, but it was Gohan who noticed them don't say that Bell, I know you have the ability for this too Orion, you know a lot, Artemis spoke. My father taught me to fish since I was a child, eh, how interesting aren't you going to eat, Gohan noticed that Artemis was the only one who didn't eat. It's not that. I'm not hungry I see uh, Artemis brought him the spoon, Gohan was surprised. I can eat with one arm in peace but it must be hard, let me help you, it's the least I can do to correct my silly mistake the thing is Artemis, only I can feed Gohan Hestia tip the spoon and the two of them introduced their spoon into him, making Gohan choke. Gohan I'm sorry I'm, cough, fine, after eating the group began to discuss what kind of monsters were they, we had seen scorpion type monsters but never of that kind it all started when the number of monsters increased, some families tried to find the cause, but they disappeared, don't tell me those Makao had something to do with it. I didn't know, but his presence is already something of an investigation and everything happens from those ruins. The ruins had a lock a lock to avoid pollution, erosion and deforestation. Long ago the fairies served as the supreme guardian of the region. 
enclosing two dangerous beasts. One is called Antares, and the other had no name and was known as Chaos Chaos. Hestia made a sign of distress that's right. No deity knows his true name, only that he was an unstoppable monster that was sealed with Antares, but that he was called Chaos for bringing Chaos wherever he went. Gohan listened to everything seriously like the others. Wait Artemis, chaos is a legend, a tale of the gods it's true, for now the one that worries the most is Antares that's right, or Rio thought that the appearance of the Makeo would have to do with this, we thought that their real objective was him. So my family came to see, there we saw Artemis and we went back to look for reinforcements wait, then if that's the case, you didn't look for Gohan directly? It doesn't matter, Artemis responded. Those monsters can only be sealed, and only that weapon can end that weapon. It shows you, they are Gohan, winner of the Makeo wait. If that's the case, there's one more weapon that can. Artemis opened her eyes. No Artemis said out loud alarming everyone. Only that spear can, nothing more Artemis. Hestia stared at the goddess who clenched her fists. Does it really have to be like that? Well fast. Surely Gohan. I'm sorry to tell you that we don't know if Gohan can beat him it can't, only that weapon can seal it Artemis Sama, have confidence in Gohan, you don't know how strong he is it's true, he can defeat her, right Gohan, and eh, I would have first. I don't want to be rude, Orion, but you can't do it without that weapon. Gohan became serious. Well, don't worry, with Gohan and the sword we can do it, let's rest everyone was going to rest, but Gohan was awake. How strong will that creature be? Artemis San was very nervous. Gohan remembered the Makeo and Sela must be stronger. Gohan took the weapon on the other hand. Hestia and Artemis were both lying on a bed. So it's level 7? No wonder it's so strong you haven't seen his true strength and never thought you had a family well. Gohan and Bell are my only members. Hestia, yeah, what is Orion to you? Hey, yes, do you like it? Hestia blushed. Okay, yes eh, well, I must say that he is a very handsome boy. You have really changed Artemis. Where was the Artemis who hated romance? Hestia was silent for a few seconds. Hestia, Artemis, where is your family? They are not here, but they await my return. Hestia rested her head on Artemis. You have changed, you think. The gods are supposed to be eternal, but you have changed. On the other hand, Hermes was in a tree on a branch. Lephi's complex, the next day, everyone was flying in the trees, but when they reached the forest, it was completely dead. It just can't be the forest. Gohan was serious and looking out of the corner of his eye trying to find a solution, but he didn't see anything itis the work of Antares. There is this Elso's in the distance a castle was seen okay, Gohan said, becoming even more serious like everyone else. In that sagebrush he took his breast Artemis San, he right comes strange, but black lights began to rain from the sky. Be careful, Gohan stood up and created an energy field that stopped the attacks. Hestia was impressed not by Gohan, but by the attack that managed to break through Gohan's barrier, but luckily, although difficult, they managed to land on the ground. What the hell was that? Gohan said gritting his teeth, but immediately went down towards the forest. Thee are fine. Yeah yes, we are fine, but one of the dragons seemed to get hurt. What was that? They attacked the sword and suddenly creatures appeared around more damn monsters. No, they are different. They have a different size and shape. Please move away. I'm going to destroy you. Come wandering wind, wandering traveler, cross the skies and run through the jungle, dye the light with stardust and destroy the enemy. A magical incantation was heard in the distance and a girl suddenly came out, Ryu, and destroyed all the creatures with her magic. Gohan-san, I didn't expect to see you here, Norm Ryu. I came for a difficult mission. With them behind Ryu appeared a group of adventurers with Asfai Hermes' family, Hermes Sama of Baka. He left us looking and left without telling us anything, thus she became furious in front of the god calm down. I went to look for who pulled out the sword, but it shouldn't have gone like that. Asfai, please forgive Hermes Artemis. They are Gohan. Did you take out the sword? Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. Honestly, I'm glad you came. How are things going like this? They get worse. The earth is being destroyed and the monsters come out nonstop. The villages are in pieces. Have they attacked? A barrier prevents us from passing a barrier? Bell asked. Yes, it separates us from Antares only from Antares. Hey, ah, uh, Gohan. Chaos is a secret that because it's better this way. Hermes said seriously. Ah, uh, since on the other hand, Artemis was serious and even depressed, Hestia looked at this very nervously, she seemed to suspect on the other hand, after meeting Artemis, she was alone in the forest touching what little was left alive. Sagebrush hey, let's talk Hestia was very serious and Artemis was the same. Gohan who was walking with the others saw this Gohan, let them talk among women Hermes, something is happening Hermes was amazed. Is that thing so strong? 
Hermes remained serious. The problem is not his strength, Gohan. Maybe you have a chance, but you do not know. Are you willing to destroy that creature no matter the cost? When I see it, I will attack it with everything. I will destroy it with a single attack. Can you really do it? That weapon is the only thing we have to fight, and it can only. I'll try. Let me please Hermes remain serious. Let's hope so. You are our greatest hope Hermes was leaving. Gohan remained serious and held his hand. On the other hand, you didn't act like the Artemis I knew. Who are you? Everyone arrived at a base where the adventurers prepared for the fight. It's good that you are here, Gohan. Your help will be useful to us, don't worry. I intend to finish this with a single attack. As soon as I see it, I will destroy it, so, that's right. After seeing what that beast does, it's obvious that it's a threat. I'm not going to have mercy on it, Ryu saw those eyes full of fury and couldn't help but smile. We're counting on you then, Gohan, yeah, then rest well for tomorrow, Ryu left with a slight blush. No matter how strong the two are, I will crush them immediately, Gohan Kuen, it's time for our adventure, Hermes spoke to him from a bush, but after a while Hermes was seen with a group of men talking about looking at women, Gohan just sighed. Gohan, are you here too? Bell spoke. I'm sorry, but I have to prepare for tomorrow, I'm going with you both, we're leaving the place of course, after a while everyone was tied up, even Wolf were beaten too, huh? Where is Gohan and Cranial? They are training, Wolf said comically. Well, at least there aren't two idiots, said Lilith. On the other hand, Hestia was lying down with signs of depression in her to get up, take the spear, and go out to a cliff. Where are you taking her, Hestia? A familiar voice was heard behind Hermes. What are you doing here alone, strolling with a sword? Shouldn't you look for Gohan? Artemis is becoming interested in him. Don't pretend. You have helped them to be together if two join together more. The sword will be stronger. You already know that for sure Hestia gripped the weapon harder. Is there no other method? No. Gohan is strong, probably without the weapon. Hestia, Hermes raised his voice for the first time. Hestia began to cry and fell to her knees. There are no options other than this. Hestia, you know how strong Gohan is. He will defeat them. What if he can't? Hermes spoke with more weight in his words, as if he were holding something back. Artemis, my friend, my valuable friend, I'm sure Gohan can do something. Would you be able to ask your beloved follower to die for a selfish desire? Hestia opened her eyes full of tears, holding the spear tighter. None deserve it, Hermes approached and placed his hat on her head. How good you are, Hestia Hestia opened her eyes and remembered that she had something in her pocket. She thought about it. She had her doubts. However, thinking about her most beloved follower, Gohan could see hope in her hands. On the other hand, Gohan was walking after talking to Bell. He was taking a walk through the forest. He felt sorry for him. He was dead and the little life resided in a river. Poor thing. I didn't deserve an ending like that. Hoy's there. However, Artemis's voice interrupted the thoughts of the scion who was distracted. Hey, Orion, Gohan saw Artemis covering herself with a towel. Gohan was sad like never before. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were here. I'm leaving. Wait, I can't. You were naked true. Before I would have shot you with an arrow. How aggressive. Well, I guess it's a normal reaction you think. I think so. I don't know much about that. He he he. You are very innocent. Gohan scratched his cheek a little embarrassed. But that makes you cute. Hey, you remind me of Hestia when we were in heaven. So what was she like? Very pretty, but very lonely. Although she was proclaimed as a deity of great power. Eh, that's right. But that made her lonely Artemis stood aside from the scion. Despite being strong, she was very ignored, and that made her lonely. But I and another girl met her, and the three of us became friends, I Z, and you? How did you meet Hestia? She saved me, I Z. Friends are very special people, yes, you re right. I promise to defeat those creatures. It's a promise. I won't allow it to wreak any more havoc. Artemis looked at Gohan out of the corner of her eye, and his bearing made her feel that there really was an opportunity. But at what price? You know, I previously hated romance, but my followers told me one day love is beautiful. I never knew what love between couples was, but I think. It is a great feeling, because it teaches us to love those closest to us. Artemis turned to look at the scion. For someone who has never experienced love, you know a lot thank you Orion, let's dance sorry. Artemis took Gohan by the arm and began to spin him around in the water. But I don't know how to dance, also, why now? Because I want to celebrate the fact that I met you. Thank you for taking care of Hestia while they continued dancing in the water Gohan felt something in her. It was a feeling similar to pain, but at the same time joy. However, she felt joy in these moments and that made him calm down Orion. 
I'm glad to have met you later that night still in bed Hestia was asleep or rather she was awake but she pretended to be asleep Artemis was putting on her clothes to go out Hestia got up with regret on her face she knew something that the others didn't. On the outskirts of the camp the others were preparing to fight listen on the outskirts there is a nest of monsters their number is large but do not fear defeat is not an option this will be our strategy Artemis was in front of all the adventurers the Hermes family will scare away the enemy just scare them away don't do something risky understood Falger yeah you're in charge understood while they drive away the enemy we will enter Orion you are our hope to defeat Antares Okay, I will go too. My divinity is the only one that can open the door, Artemis San. It's okay, I trusted you. Orion, I'm going to Hestia, appeared on the scene, Hestia. I'm not going to let you go alone, Andy. Also, Hermes Samakamasvi Hermes patted her on the head, then come on. We'll order an extra wear, demanding with money, thank you, my children. Seeing the group's joy made him smile. He also felt very happy, however. Out of nowhere, the monsters attacked, surrounding the camp and the adventurers. They are surrounding us when Gohan was about to fight. The adventurers began to fight the monsters. Leave, you shouldn't be here, but... Go away, you are our hope. Don't waste your strength here, Gohan and the others. Listening to his high determination could not interfere because it would be disrespectful to that spirit. Okay, don't die, take care, Gohan and the group began to run directly towards the ruins. It was like a giant castle, but unfortunately in poor condition. Is it here? Bell asked. Don't forget the attack from a while ago. Don't let your guard down, Gohan. Are you ready? Yes, he said very seriously, but Hestia opened her eyes. Upon entering a huge cave, they observed many hieroglyphs. Some were even seen that were not normal. For example, several beings with Chaos clothes fighting against a strange being with an antenna on its head. Gohan approached to see him. Then against a giant beast and also against something similar to a demon with a sword and strange layers of breaking glass on its sides. Gohan was lost for a second Gohan-san. Please don't be distracted, he said like this. I'm sorry Gohan walked away from them, but he didn't notice that in one there was a strange mountain and something stuck in it. Everyone arrived at a gigantic door. Gohan opened his eyes for a second. Itis an overwhelming power I see that you felt it, Orion. That's what Antares is behind. Good Artemis approached the door, and with her hand on a symbol on the side of it, she opened the door. When they opened it, they found a big surprise. There were cocoons all over the ceiling, and strange things surrounded the ceilings. Is I didn't think. It was so bad, Hermes spoke. The door, all that terrible weed, if you could call it that, even covered the door through which they entered. I'm going to destroy that monster immediately, but Gohan was interrupted when scorpions began to emerge from a cocoon. Are they eggs? The scorpions began to attack and everyone began to break through Hestia. Gohan took Hestia and with one blow destroyed a scorpion bell. Guys, let's get there quickly and finish him off. Understood the creatures became stronger and resisted everyone's attacks. Even Asfi, their evolution became stronger and stronger and more and more of them began to appear. At this rate, they will be more dangerous than the dungeon dam. Then Dai Gohan charged energy from his hand and fired it at them, breaking them into pieces. Bell also fired an attack destroying several, Lilith and Wolf also managed to destroy them with their weapons, but more and more continued to appear. In the Ain Guild, I was sitting drinking a cup of coffee until it broke fence AU broke it yes it was my favorite hey, I haven't seen your friend in a few days if it is outside of the clock but you can't get out of the office. Yes, suddenly Ain and her friend with whom she was speaking heard people murmuring and when they left they saw many people looking at the sky what's that? What's going on? Help an adventurer approached Ain they have to help us. The beasts in the dungeon went crazy that, and just as they said in the dungeon, the creatures were going crazy, making the lower ranking adventurers run away. Ain was scared since this was dangerous understood Dash. Ain and her pink haired friend whose name I forgot were going straight to the guild and a half moon was observed in the sky, which was strange because it was daytime and the moon looked very big in the ruins. Gohan faced the creatures while the others followed him. Where is that damn thing? A little further in front then, Haya Gohan charged energy and placed it on his forehead. Masenka Gohan released a huge yellow beam that said he was killing everyone. Don't waste your time. Quickly, take care of the back. Understood Gohan. Bell need elixir not Hanks Lilith. Finally they reached some stairs and Gohan felt the energy directly in front of him. Gohan yes, there is this one. Hestia was more and more tense as she looked at Artemis who looked at her in front of her. She couldn't stand it. Gohan Hestia shouted, drawing the scion's attention. Can you win without the gun? Tell me yes Gohan noticed the girl's sad face. Artemis didn't say anything. I don't know, don't say that, you can, please Hestia. Please Hestia took Gohan's arm and he looked at Artemis. 
I will do their walking, they finally reached their place of origin. When they arrived, they saw a monstrous black beast step to the folds of the wall as if they were veins. Isted and Teres, good Gohan passed the SSJ creating a strong current, although Artemis was amazed, she couldn't help but fall to the ground. Artemis, damn Gohan, placed his arm in an attack position and began to charge energy I will annihilate him in one fell swoop, however, the beast opened its mouth and something was seen that left Gohan astonished, forcing him to stop charging his attack. Hestia opened her eyes and turned her face. Everyone was speechless. It can't be. Artemis San, in a block there was a body, it was that of Artemis Gohan stopped charging his attack and looked at Hestia who was with her eyes closed damn monster, I must recover his body. In those moments the beast began to fire attacks into the sky, bombarding everything. After that Lilith was lying on the floor Lilith? Lilith, Bell had Lilith in her arms. Bell, Wolf. Where are Gohan and Artemis Sama? They're not here, Wolf said. What does this mean, Hermes Sama, he shouted at Hermes. Why does that thing have Artemis's body? He consumed Artemis such a response impacted everyone, especially Asphi. In another place Gohan was with Artemis on his arm where he had fallen and there Gohan saw a number of corpses. What, what happened here? They are my family, Artemis said, approaching his body. That body that that monster has is my body, that beast ate me, and now I am its core it just can't be. Yes, my children died, by my own hands Artemis a girl with red hair approached then you are. Yes, I am what remains of Artemis it can't be. So you're dead? No, that beast has my body, but in easy terms, you can say that I am dead so had if I get your body back, I didn't think it's possible, because that monster has my power, and it's very dangerous, and it also uses my body as a core, if he dies. That me too it can't be, Gohan clenched his fist. I refuse, I can't kill you there are no more options there must be some solution there isn't, you said you would finish it without thinking about it that was before I realized the truth, there must be another way on the other hand. Hermes and the others heard the same words that Artemis said to Gohan. It cannot be, then it is invincible, no, Gohan can beat him, Bell said. The problem will be the emotional struggle that he will have to fight, said Welf. Isn't there something that can be done? Hermes shook his head. And oh, Hestia said with a loud voice, drawing everyone's attention. The Reese, but it is impossible even for the gods, what? Lilith asked. Hestia then took out a paper from her pocket, surprising Hermes. The Reese only one object that is capable of saving Artemis Hestia, that's impossible, Hermes said annoyed. Forrest yes, but not for Gohan, I know he can free her. I need to go with him quickly in the place where they were, Hestia ran at full speed, ignoring Hermes' warnings, who tried to stop her, however, she did not pay attention and just continued. Something came to Hestia's mind, a small memory of a little girl passing her a piece of paper. Dash, don't use it until it's not necessary. It can be your last trump card. Hestia stopped from running so much, she held onto her knees. My friend, I'm sorry, but... I think this is our last alternative. Forgive me if I do it out of selfishness. I'm really so sorry Gohan Hestia started to cry, and after wiping her face she continued running. On the other hand, in reality all the adventurers observed very impressed how there were two half-moans. What is that? Uka's group with Ainz looked impressed at this. Two moans? No, that's not a moan, said Ainz. And indeed there were magic circles between them forming the image of a half-moan. Loki observed this from a high place. What's that, Arcanum, the bow of Artemis Freyo was sitting addressing Loki Eno that, using that power in the netherworld is against the rules, your Hermes and that tadpole used their powers, that, don't forget, Loki, that Hestia helped stop the Makeo Loki fell inside. Okay, however, using that power in the lower world will make her return to heaven that, or something has her prisoner the place began to shake not only in the castle but throughout the day. That activates, it will blow the netherworld into pieces we were already close to being destroyed, and now this we can only wait for Hestia's follower to do so are you talking about Sun Gohan? It's true that he helped stop the Makeo. He he he, who knows Loki, there are still things you don't know and Uranus stopped us for this. He knew what was happening Levite, after the Makeo he took the situation more seriously, he was the one who did the worst what does that matter? We have a duty to assume. Loki ran away, leaving Freya alone. Otar got us go safe, yes, he trusted Gohan, but... Also in Hestia Wido you trust a goddess like that so much, because only I... Know what she is capable of doing, but that doesn't mean I say she's better than me returning to the ruins Hestia continued running like there was no tomorrow, she was completely determined to continue no matter how tired she was, 
but that made Hermes catch up with her. Hestia, what do you want? Let go of me. I have to get to Gohan Hestia-sama. I understand that you are in a hurry, but... You said that there was a weapon that could save Artemis-sama. What weapon is it? Hestia remained silent. I'll tell you and let's get there quickly, Hermes, and everyone looked at each other. Trust me, it's okay, Hestia, said Hermes. Yes, I trust you, Kami Samabel approached and extended his hand to Hestia, who took it still crying. Forgive Mabel, I left you alone when there are three of us you understand your anguish, but please trust Gohan, I'll do it, let's go and said and done, they all ran at full speed. On the other hand, Gohan was facing Artemis. Do you want me to kill you next to that beast? I can't. You said you would save everyone, right? I'll do that, but there must be another method can't save both, you should know Inno. I know it perfectly, Gohan, with a grimace of pain, but for that reason, I must do the impossible. I have already seen many people die, my friends, my family, even no matter how small the thing may be, I must try even the heroes. They must lose t -sis, not about being a hero. This is about saving who you love, but you don't even know me. But you are someone very special to Hestia, and during this time, I got to know you and became fond of you. I refused to lose another friend. Artemis blushed a little. In those, the beast in Teres made itself present before the two, causing an explosion that made the others realize its presence. It's for I a hurry Gohan looked at the beast with rage, feeling very helpless in his heart. As long as I have your body, if I kill her, you will die, right? Yes, Artemis said regretfully. Gohan, I don't know what you are, but if you use the spear. Be careful, Gohan took Artemis and dodged an attack from this demon dam. You miserable Gohan faced Artemis as if mocking. It made Gohan get angry and kick him in the face. And Teres was not an idiot. That kick made him see that this individual was powerful. Gohan fell to the ground and with one blow cut off one of the beast's legs, but it regenerated it. Damn, he can regenerate and if I attack him with all my strength and Teres, as it was said, was intelligent and that's why he saw Artemis. Gohan saw this and rushed towards her, taking her with his body, defending her from an attack that he launched from his core. Gohan, what are you doing? Let me go, you must kill her. I refuse, aren't you supposed to defend the earth? Well, I prefer that he hurt me before harming you, for me friends are valuable, they are not just friends, they are family and family takes care of itself even with your life at stake after that attack they both fell to the floor, Gohan was held by Artemis because... I already told you that I prefer him to hurt me. Gohan stood up behave received worse attacks. Disgusting monster and Teres got closer but before he attacked again, a K.I. attack hit him in the face. Gohan and Artemis turned to look. They all arrived and attacked and Teres, helping Gohan. Mine, Gohan Hestia hugged Gohan Gohan, forgive me, I'm sorry Hestia Gohan Sameha's Lilith gave him an elixir thank you Gohan drank it, healing his back a little. Hestia Lilith, buy us as much time as possible please what does Hestia Sama want? Hestia Hermes approached, what are you planning to do? Gohan, forgive me, but I want to ask you for a whim. A favor from the depths of my soul Hestia took Gohan from his hand and put it on her neckline. Save me friend, with the legendary weapon, the Z sword, Hermes and Artemis opened their eyes wide and their mouths seemed to fall from their jaws this word Z. Hestia, is that your brilliant plan, this sword? Itis the ultimate weapon, long ago certain supreme deities forged a supreme weapon, and that weapon was given to a certain deity, but she decided to give it to the earthly gods in an attempt to see who was worthy, but no one could. No god could that weapon is capable of recovering Artemis's body and at the same time saving the world, Hestia waits tell me if I'm lying Hermes no, you're not lying, but not even the supreme gods could, how do you expect Gohan to achieve it, no offense. Because a trusted Gohan, it is true that Gohan is powerful, I do not deny that, but... Even above Akaishin, who are the absolute entities? Todd Raw the weapon you not only need power while they were talking, the others were fighting against Antares, being crushed flatly. Gohan, I know you can the Z-Sword according to history. It's on Mount Mayakuji, careful, everyone dodged an attack from Antares that became more powerful again, the beast attacked but Bell stood in the way, stopping the attack. Thanks, Bill, please, Akami-sama. Hurry up, Bill was going to fight again. With this, we can enter Hestia took out a small chest to open it, and inside was an earring. A Padala earring? Artemis mentioned, sweating to see the object. No, it is an apprentice pendant. It is only useful to enter Mount Mayakuji, but it is only useful for ten minutes since it was a sacred place, but the bad thing is that it is a world in ruins due to a war that took place a long time ago Gohan entered that mountain and removed the weapon Gohan listened to everything very amazed and serious. 
The adventurers were receiving a beating from Antares Gohan, no. Gohan, the Z-sword is impossible to use. Hestia if Gohan doesn't get it in ten minutes. It's very risky, I know, Hestia said out loud, stopping the two's words. That's why Kronoa told me not to use it except in case of emergency. I know it's another selfish request at this moment because I'm putting them in danger. But Gohan, I ask you from the bottom of my heart, grant this silly wish to a weak girl. If I tell you this, it's because she trusted you. Hestia began to cry Gohan was serious and took Hestia's head with that weapon. Can I save Artemis? Yes, I know it is, but it won't be easy. I will do it. Take me to that place, Orion. Artemis shouted in amazement. Don't worry, I'll come back. I'm not going to let myself be defeated so easily. Hestia and Artemis were blushing under her hat, but she showed a smile. Gohan, you must return before they kill us all. We trust you, Gohan nodded with an extremely serious face. Sobit, you have to open the portal directly here. How do we open it? Lakithis Hestia took out a paper and placed it on the ground to bite her hand and draw blood, scaring Gohan. The goddess let the blood fall on the paper and began to make a kind of spell, causing her red hair to float. Gohan, put on the earring and give me your hand. Gohan listened and the earring began to shine. At that time a glow in the sky fell on the ruins and a portal opened. This must be it. Well here I go. Where did you get that Hestia? That doesn't matter. Gohan, forgive me for putting you in danger. Don't cry Hestia. I'm glad there's still hope. Gohan, this is a camera. We will let you know the exact time. Thank you, Gohan. Watch the floating sphere, and it went deeper, but without first looking at everyone and Artemis. I will return. Trust me, I will not let anyone die again. Gohan entered, and everyone let out a sigh of fear. Please save Artemis. Gohan entered, and there he saw a place full of mountains, but destroyed and shattered, stones, dry magma, and only chaos and destruction. Gohan closed his eyes and sighed hard to run out and take flight. The gods looked at the sphere with tension. While the others fought as best they could against Antares' mind, we have to buy time, don't give up the adventurers nodded and threw themselves back into the wounded area. Meanwhile, the dungeon was in chaos and Loki's family, as best they could, barely stopped the monsters until Otter appeared to help them. In the place where Gohan was, he was flying at full speed until something appeared in front of him and he stood guard. Who are you? Who are you? I am a ghost from the past. You are a mortal, right? Yes, and what with that? Nothing me child. I just want to know why you are here. If you have that earring it means that you, I came for the sword Z. Please so you venture to obtain it. Why are you looking for the weapon? Why does a mortal like you look for such a weapon? For me goddess, my friend. I want to save her and her friend. I want to save my loved ones. It may sound stupid for someone who has nothing to do with it. I Z, many have tried, but no one has achieved it. But it will not be easy. Anyway, having the earring means that you have been allowed. Follow me. The ghost was leaving and Gohan followed her to reach a full place of chaos clothes thrown everywhere before. Where there was life, there is no. Longer, even the gods die. Gohan looked around and saw a sword stuck in it. That's right. You better hurry up. Time is running out. Gohan approached the weapon and took it when he touched it. He felt an overwhelming weight. Before tell me. Why did you trust me so quickly? Why do you give permission to someone who is not a god to free her? Because I knew you would come, the ghost said, giving Gohan a question mark. Whoever placed the weapon here suspects this one day. There will always be time for everything I see. Thanks for the opportunity Gohan took it with his arm to inhale and exhale forcefully and began to pull with all his strength. His face showed that he was using all his strength so much that he began to scream loudly but the weapon did not move even a millimeter. An arm, that is courage, but it will be more difficult I didn't mind. Gohan began to pull harder, but he didn't even move her. Gohan released his white aura, but he didn't move her. It was impossible. It seemed like no one was pulling her. She was still alone. The gods from their place watched. They were nervous. They already expected this result, but Hestia still did not lose faith. I knew it. Artemis said, closing her eyes. Gohan, cheer up, Hestia shouted, hitting the floor. Gohan pulled so hard that even his hand began to bleed. This impacted a little on the ghost. You must give up. You only have five minutes left. No to it. H-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-
The adventurers were completely weak and lying on the floor. The dungeon was about to overflow with monsters so much that even its giants were beginning to appear. Minus four minutes left. Gohan, you must come back, Orion. Forget it. You must go back. Hestia Artemis looked at Hestia, who stood up crying and nodded but. Gohan again took the weapon, drawing the attention of the gods again. Yotsant warrior. Dot time is going to end. One last try. Please the ghost sighed at the tired words. The last one. I'll get back to you later. H A A A A Gohan took the weapon again, and with everything in Super Scion, he began to pull it. His screams and being able to make the place resound as lightning began to fall. Gohan did not give up. He continued pulling hard on his hand full of blood. It was the example of his strength. I'm not going to disappoint Hestia. Anyone else? Recently, I almost lost them again. If I return without the sword. Not being able to see their faces, the sword still did not move while the blood ran through the weapon. The three gods closed their eyes. They did not want to imagine the pain. The ghost was serious, looking at the boy's determination. Although you are not a god, you have the will of one. I didn't want to be called god. I can't give myself, because only three minutes left. Give up, I will not give up. Everyone, put their faith in me, if I return with nothing. It would be an insult. Gohan's body began to fill with lightning and his hair stood up. This impacted the ghost a little. Gohan's pupils disappeared. Gohan raised so much power that he made the whole place shake, lightning and thunder falling, reminding everyone who was waiting for him. Gohan felt more guilty for not being stronger, and that helped him release such power again. Surprisingly, the sword began to move, impacting the ghost and the gods as long as there is hope. They must fight. I must save my friends Gohan let out a war cry passing to SSJ2 beginning to draw his sword but in those moments the sphere broke where the gods saw everything AH. Gohan Hestia approached the door very scared for it to close abruptly Hestia and the gods were speechless Artemis covered her mouth so as not to scream but Hestia did fall to the floor crying and covering her mouth there was silence. Everyone else was lying on the floor. Soundtrack immediate music or destination a glow appeared on the site scaring Hestia. In the glow, a silhouette was seen coming out of the glow. Gohan left there with the sword on his shoulder in SSJ2, the Z sword in his bloody hand while the sweat fell down his face was an obvious sign. He achieved the impossible with a heavy sword, he said stoically. I feel like it was crushing me. Gohan, yes, Hestia. Come back. Both Hestia, Hermes, and even Artemis could not believe what they saw. It was something unheard of, impossible, incredible, and many other things. This young man, this human, was carrying the most powerful weapon in the Divine Kingdoms. Impossible, Hermes said, sweating. Artemis couldn't take her eyes off him. And Terry showed signs of fear. Even the gods themselves felt something that left them tense. Loki was sweating and nervous. Hephaestus, as if something was screaming at him that he must be there. And Terry's launched a bolt of lightning from Artemis's body. Gohan moved the sword with great difficulty and deflected the attack only for the weapon, still being held, to fall to the floor, but he deflected it. End of soundtrack Gohan leaned on the sword stuck in the floor. The weapon was without a scratch. It shone like a mirror. It's very heavy. Gohan noticed another attack and stopped it with it, but was dragged with it still in defense. It's a really heavy sword Gohan sighed tiredly both because of the weight of the weapon and because of all the force he had to do. On the other hand, the bow and arrow in the sky were almost ready for their attack, and if it was launched, the lower world would be left in ruins. Gohan sighed, trying to raise the weapon, but both the pain and the force were too much. And Terry's let out a loud roar drawing out more power and showed Artemis' body again to load more power and point it at Gohan. It's the moment, Gohan. Please save my friend World Orion. This will be. The final blow, Gohan expelled all his power and raised the sword as best he could. His will, his fighting spirit, were what made him raise it like never before and go out against the monster that expelled a huge beam of power. Both would collide, creating a huge wave that made everyone fly away and the gods, covering their sword, surpassed the lightning and destroyed it until it reached the core completely. Gohan gave a battle cry. Turn 360 degrees and... Cut the core next to Artemis's body, and as a last move cut in Terry's with the weapon the three gods were stunned, speechless, impressed with such a demonstration, a simple human. A being from the lower world achieved what no god could. It did it, I did it, Gohan little by little fell to the floor, slowly closing his eyes and falling exhausted. And Terry's began to crack and destroy itself and little by little it began to break into pieces until it completely exploded. 
Its explosion produced a glow that went to the sky, creating a glow that illuminated both the distance and the horizon. Dust was falling everywhere, even in a place where there were only women, and also in the dungeon everyone felt the dust falling as the bow and arrow began to disappear. In the end Gohan fell to the floor still with the gun in his hand and next to him fell the body of Artemis still in the core, but it began to crack Gohan approached the glass DD make it. The sword began to shine and in the crack Gohan also lifted the weapon as best he could and buried it in the crack. During that an image appeared in front of him, it was Artemis holding his cheek, it was a kind of illusion. You kept your word, Gohan, with a face of immense tiredness, smiled at him. It walked away from love, when it was love that allowed you to triumph, thank you for teaching me, Orion, or rather, Gohan the entire core lit up and it was destroyed, dropping the body of Artemis that Gohan held while he dropped the sword that sank into the ground and cracked it. Gohan dot you did it, you did it, Hestia and Artemis approached while crying but out of happiness Artemis was crying like never before as she approached his body and when she touched him her essence entered it again. Artemis began to open her eyes and Hestia couldn't stand it and hugged her as she began to cry into her chest like a little girl. Artemis hugged her and the two began to cry as they hugged each other. Gohan fell to the ground completely exhausted while sweating. Hermes approached and placed the hat on Gohan's head. You did it Gohan thank you in the morning everyone began to celebrate with immense joy. We are in debt, he said. I only fulfill my mistress's wishes Otter was leaving Freya from her castle, she watched this happily. The dungeon is under control, thanks to the Loki family and the others, we only suffered minor losses in the city Loki, Hephaestus, Ganaan and some of their families watched the dust a hooded being spoke to Uranus IZ but still, that does not explain why the gods felt pressure a few minutes ago, it was a supreme sign, even for us Artemis was saved why are they Gohan, that's right, he has something under his dispersion that not even I can understand nothing could save the goddess. Artemis, accept something from the K.O. kingdoms, it is impossible for a human to possess something like that we will know in due course, however, this does not answer something chaos. Was he also released, chaos? No. We don't feel its presence, it's true, anyway. I think this boy will surprise us in the future, but I'm glad he hasn't been woken up Gohan, Hestia threw herself at Gohan, hugging him and crying comically while Gohan scratched the back of his head. Gohan, thank you very much for saving me, said Artemis, looking at the scion who nodded. Gohan, what me you would make it all the boys got up injured to greet Gohan, thank you to you too, incredible. Is it really the sword Z that is mentioned in the Legends of the Supreme? Hermes took it by the handle, but did not lift it. In fact, it fell that heavy, let's see. So he took it by the handle, but when he picked it up, he fell face down on the floor in an instant. There, that hurt me, it's very heavy they all took her and tried to lift her, but together they couldn't move her from the floor she's very heavy, or is she just letting herself carry herself as Gohan, no, it weighs too much on me too and you fought with her. Only because it was an SSJ otherwise I wouldn't have been able to move it and even so it's hard for me to move it too much I see Hestia looked at the weapon and sighed happily. She always knew that only he could carry her, that's why he left her, she always knows how to do things after a while Artemis was burying his children, Gohan came over with a flower and put it on a grave. I'm sorry don't worry Artemis started to cry and Gohan hugged her, she hugged him too. You know what it feels like to lose your family is that why your arm? Yeah I'm sorry Artemis began to vent her frustration on the scion who hugged her tighter, although it was a happy ending, there was bitterness Gohan. You saved me, and that's why I will live in the netherworld to the maximum good after that Lilith was tending to the scion's hand and the other's Hestia was going to go to Gohan, but Artemis called her Artemis, Hestia, I'll be honest, I want to know love, hey. Andy wanted to be Gohan Hestia's jaw almost dropped, I'm not going to. Take it away from you, but if I want to experience the same thing, I want to know more about, that's why if you hate me I won't blame you I didn't hate you, I knew something like this would happen, I just don't know how to solve this can't we both, both, yes, well as long as you and Gohan agree I, you left me speechless that you asked me for something like that. I didn't know the subject but, I learned that as long as there is love, there are no obstacles I think so. Hestia scratched her head and sighed. Okay, okay, but I'm the first. Did you hear? Artemis smiled and nodded. I will win Gohan's heart. I promise my god, how you changed. This scares me, oh hand. I want to be in your family, A-H-H-H. You can continue being the leader. I will just be like another one. Don't you plan to make your own family? I think that after what happened, I don't have the right Hestia was sad. You understand, it's with us, and that's how the fight ended creating a sheath. Gohan carried the sword on his back, but it was really so hard that everyone had to help him move. I'm sorry, what are you saying? Thanks to you again we are saved, you are a hero said Wolf. No. 
I'm not a hero, I just wanted to protect the earth and you as humble as always, said Lilith. When everyone finds out about the sword. It's better than not, said Hermes. Win it? That weapon is not just any weapon, even Hephaestus himself would say that it is not worthy of being in his presence, that weapon is even worth more than the heaven's wealth had a drop of sweat coming out. If certain gods find out that Gohan carries the supreme weapon on his back and he can use it, who knows what they would do, from even trying to steal it, even wanting to steal Gohan by any means Gohan, don't use the weapon if I don't know what's necessary, it's advice Hermes said. I will do it, anyway I can't use it yet, but I do plan to train with it anew you'd say that that doesn't matter, what matters is that Gohan is fine Bell, Welf and Lilith and Ryu smiled at Gohan who did the same for them, the value did not matter to them. The most valuable thing was their friendship that's why Gohan broke his limits and that Artemis made her see that affection and love was a source of invincible and unbreakable power. Hestia, if your friend gave you all this, it was probably because she and you trusted me, since you only gave this to me, and if she left this it is because I suspect everything. Gohan, thank you. For believing in me. Hestia blushed and nodded happily. Let's go back. To the morning. Hestia said happily and everyone behind her father, Mina, I will become stronger and so everyone returned to their home. Hestia, how did you get access to that place? It is true that there was a time when the gods could go there, but that was a long time ago, Hermes asked Hestia, who smiled slightly. Let's say it was a gift from when I was in heaven, from a great friend really, well, I guess in the end, everything you suffered was rewarded my greatest reward, is Gohan returning to the place where Gohan dropped the sword. The ghost approached the wall and there she was looking at a serious image. There were four individuals fighting against a being with an antenna on its head. Dash the weapon, I s already in good hands, Kronoa Sama, but this is not over, is it? The ghost began to disappear, they are Gohan, you still have many obstacles to face, you must be ready. For the worst the ghost disappeared completely after the events of Antares, the Hestia family began their new life with another goddess in the Artemis family, however Hestia was still the leader. The first day of arriving, Gohan was already training with the Z-Sword, the supreme weapon. Its weight was something unprecedented, something incredible. Gohan could barely move it but he staggered, especially with one arm, since his artificial arm was being repaired, however, with only one arm. Arm could already half tame her of course Bell was no exception, he was also training with Gohan, helping him to handle the weapon, both of them who were like brothers, enjoyed training. Hestia and Artemis still did not believe it, the supreme weapon, a weapon that was above the divine, was in Gohan's hands, it was not fake, it was authentic. I still don't believe that Gohan can swing the sword in just a couple of days, Artemis said, impressed by seeing Gohan move the sword, it wasn't very elegant, but moving it was a miracle. P.S. In the anime, untrained Gohan mastered the sword in less than two days and this Gohan did not stop training so his mastery would be faster it's true Hestia did not take her face off. What do you think will happen if they find out about the sword, Takno? But well, even if Hermes said it, you felt its weight. No one, not even a god, can move it. Only Gohan and that's hard for him I'm not surprised. After what you told me, then. Gohan came to our kingdom. I only know that I have my hero by my side, nothing more and I owe it to him with my heart you will say our hero he he he, yes, yes they both started laughing Gohan rested while sweat fell down his face. Gohan, you already master the weapon in your base state no, behave to master it perfectly shall we continue training, let's leave it like this for today, we must go to the dungeon will you take the sword, no, I'll leave it here yes, Kaisama said that if they see her you can love a big scandal yeah. After training, the two of them with their team and surprisingly Makoto were on the floors fighting against monsters. It was clearly easier for the adventurers to fight against the monsters. Every monster that approached Gohan was eliminated and thus obtaining a lot of loot. And never thought that the central floors would be so easy it's true. Thank you for joining us Makoto it's nothing. I asked them to come. By the way, I wanted to apologize for the last time. Especially to you Gohan Dano don't worry about that. Gohan said with a smile. Yes, that already happened, but uh, I can forget it. I would like to compensate them in some way then. Train with us, said Gohan. That's all. Yes, so I accept your offer, Gohan. Donald Makoto bowed okay. Then let's continue. This is not over yet, yes. Everyone exclaimed at Gohan's words. After a day in the dungeon, the four were in a tavern drinking less Gohan than just eating really. But it's only been a few days. It's serious. Gohan already dominates her, Bell said very happily. Kamion Bell, I haven't mastered it yet. In fact, I'm not even close. Don't be modest, Gohan. You can brandish it. Or am I lying? Well, no, Gohan's is incredible, yes. But today we are not talking about that. 
but rather that Wolf managed to raise his level, congratulations. Gohan raised a glass of juice and the others raised their bottles. Thanks Gohan, yes, congratulations, Bell said. Level 2, as a blacksmith of the Hephaestus family your value will increase a lot, but that means that you no longer have reasons to go up to the dungeon Lilith was a little sad you achieved your wealth mission, I'm proud, said Gohan, although somewhat depressed. Thank you Gohan, I owe it to you, and of course I will continue in the group, I am not going to leave the three you were happy for wealth's decision. However, a group of boys in black clothes at another table listened to everything but with mocking faces. Gohan-sama, aren't you going to attract her with you? A, that, no, I prefer not to attract attention, besides you must continue to level up, I want to see you grow too, I want to see you reach level 4, while they were talking very calmly to each other at the other table, it was short almost like a child got down and approached the table. Level 4? Don't make me laugh, I don't know if he hopes to break a record, but you shouldn't fool people in a rude manner, the boy began to address the group, earning everyone's gaze. Did you lose something? I can believe that a man with one arm like you is level 7 and insulting Gohan made the three of them angry, but Bell and Wolf got up from the table Levite. I don't care what he tells me well said Gohan-sama. That trash is not even worthy of talking to him. You are just a group of cowards. I bet they fight for you and you don't move a muscle. How annoying, said Lilith. You better get lost, shorty. You're annoying us, Gohan said in an irritated tone. Look, his classmates are stupid people from other families. This did make Gohan tighten his face as a sign of getting angry. What did you say? Gohan said with an already annoyed tone. I'm warning you, I have no patience with guys like you. A failed blacksmith, a dwarf support and a cowardly rabbit, and a one-armed man like you. What a pathetic team. Well, I didn't expect anything less from a dwarf goddess that they have Gohan. Yes, he already lost his patience. The three of them were worried, but it was because what Gohan did who had his face fallen, I'm warning you, you say that again and I don't respond well, I'm saying it, a useless goddess like yours didn't expect more from one than a fucking team, enough, Gohan hit the table with such force that it broke it and also part of the floor. The boy and most of the customers were scared. Gohan got up from the table and grabbed him by the shirt. You can tell me whatever you want but I don't forgive those who insult my team and my goddess. The boy began to tremble. It seems that he is one of the typical talkers while his group got up anyway, but when they saw Gohan's furious face, they could not move. However, Gohan threw him against them, making them fall. Gohan let out a sigh to calm himself as the two stepped aside from Gohan. Let's better go Gohan. Yes, it's not worth getting angry about this, however. In front of the three stood a serious man with brown hair and wearing the same clothes as the others. Haze from the Apollo family Hyakinthos, the Phoebus Apollo Gohan said, but in moments he faced Gohan who stopped a blow and dodged a kick to give him a sweeping kick and make him fall he recomposed himself, but he didn't expect Gohan to hit him on the chin, making him crash against the table. Are you coming with them? Gohan said to the guy who was on the wall. How? Is it? Possible, said the subject, getting up with blood in his mouth and a black eye and then falling unconscious. If they approach us, I will not show mercy Gohan approached him and seeing him unconscious left him died defeat the Apollo family. Incredible it's not level 7 for nothing the people with sweat falling on their faces gave way to Gohan who approached the table I'm sorry for the damage, I'll pay you so after that, everyone was at Hestia's house Gohan, are you okay? Artemis looked askance at the scion yes I am fine and you? Hestia asked. Yes, Gohan beat them up sorry Wolf, I ruined your celebration don't worry, I'm glad you defended us of course, Gohan said. But Gohan-sama you are becoming very violent really? Gohan scratched his cheek. It's true, Gohan, don't fight with those idiots, you're not like them, said Hestia. I'm sorry, it's just that when they offended you I couldn't stand it and even more. You guys Hestia blushed like Artemis. That makes us happy they both held Gohan's cheek. But ignore them next time. Tell them my gods are too important to bother me, yes, I promise, Gohan said. By the way, what family were they? Artemis asked. The Apollo family they both looked at each other and a drop of sweat came out the next day. Did you fight with the Apollo family? Ain't scolded Gohan since she was also his advisor. I'm sorry, but my goddess already scolded me then I don't have to tell you anything. But be careful, fights can turn into a war. I'm really sorry Gohan came out of the door and there he found two women, one with red hair and the other with blue hair. Are you Gohan? Gohan looked at his symbol and it was the same one the others were wearing that night. If it's me, do you need something from me? Gohan said in a serious and cold tone. 
Well, you're aggressive. I'm Daphne and this is Cassandra if you come for your friends. I don't want unnecessary fights. Leave Gohan turned around. Wait, that's not why we came. Give this to your goddess. The red-haired girl handed him an envelope. I'd an invitation to an Apollo banquet and invitation. You didn't have to go, but Daphne slapped Cassandra on the head. We already did our job. Let's go. They both left and left the envelope to Gohan. My condolences Gohan opened his eyes. What do you mean by that? Answer me. You will know when it happens. The girl showed a smile. Do not come to me with threats. I warn you. If you mess with my friends, you don't have energy. Huh. The two were leaving, but Gohan remained serious. In the house Artemis was sweeping, and Hestia was reading the letter in Apollo family banquet. We cannot ignore it, shall we go? Gohan asked. Yes, I think it's better to go, but it says I can only take one of my children, that's not fair, Gohan said, annoyed at excluding his friend or rather brother. Don't worry, Gohan. In fact, today, I was planning to train late Bell. I'm sorry, yes, forgive me, Bell, don't worry. I'll stay here anyway. It's better that you go if it's better. Then we won't look bad, Bell, if anything happens. Immediately raise your KI and I will come right away because, promising ha, okay then I'll call Mayak and take to come over, I guess I can go, Artemis said, but Gohan was serious, looking out the window. He didn't care about the sword because, besides, no one could even move it. They didn't know that he had it. The one who cared was about his family. That family, they have something strange on the day of the party, Hestia and Artemis came down in a carriage with very elegant clothes. They were able to get very good clothes for today, like Gohan, who came elegantly with the two of them with elegant clothes. Don't worry, Gohan. You look great. I'm sorry these clothes are not mine. Don't worry or pay attention to people. If they knew why you lost that arm, they would keep their mouths shut. He 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 he. Thank you both very much for getting us everything Mayak was getting out of the carriage with one of his daughters, Naza. Artemis, what are you doing here? I came to accompany Gohan Artemis, hugged the science arm, shocking Mayak for seeing the most unaffectionate goddess being so common human. Artemis, wait, please don't do that. It embarrasses you, huh? You don't like it? Hestia was just standing with her arms crossed, but Mayak was surprised. Don't worry about that. Thank you very much, Hestia-sama, the woman thanked. Welcome on, the take group must be waiting for us upon entering the banquet. There were many gods obviously dressed very elegantly with their companions Hestia, Mayak, Gohan, and Naza Hermes was the first to greet the group Hermes. Hello, Hestia greeted. Gohan Kuin, how have you been taming her? Awol, he he he, I've mastered it, Hestia said proudly. Oh really? No, well, I'm, it did not expect less from you. You are very scandalous Hermes-sama, he said with take and Makoto on one side of him. How are you doing, Artemis? Well, I have no problem. Someone appeared in the middle of the stage. The host appeared, Hermes said, turning to look back with a smile at the person welcoming him. And in it appeared a man with red hair, a red cape and a crown on his head. It was Apollo. Is that the god Apollo? Yes, Makoto responded, approaching Gohan. Next to Apollo were Daphne Cassandra and the boy who hit Gohan. There was him with his black eye looking at the scion with disgust. Gohan looked back at him. Gohan was not aggressive nor did he like unnecessary violence, but he was not a fool who allowed himself to be belittled. Sometimes words do not make many people understand. I decided to make a banquet different from the normal one. Do you enjoy it? His tone of speech was somewhat proud, but no attention was paid to him. Bringing them to a banquet like that is a big change, don't you think? Apollo sent his gaze to Gohan who I catch it and place another shadowed face thanks Apollo well thought tonight will be for our meetings the night is young have fun and the night passed peacefully Hestia eating Artemis next to her eating the same but close to Gohan the gods were surprised by how Artemis was like that with Gohan but hiding it as best they could but it was something incredible but Gohan was looking around those words that he this girl said they made him go on alert is something wrong Gohan you and Artemis attract a lot of attention huh well I don't care, Gohan is my only distraction, Artemis said and Hermes only had a drop of sweat come out. Maybe he's upset with me, are you talking about Apollo? I know Apollo from heaven. He is a very spiteful person. I thought so, Gohan said, looking more serious, but... At that point, people began to make noise when a dazzling beauty entered with her son. Freya together with Otter made an appearance and of course her beauty made the men and even women blush less Gohan she helped us against the Makeos. If I'm not mistaken she's Freya, right? That's how it is Era. I see that you are not affected by her beauty, Gohan because I should, everyone, whether men or women, is hypnotized by her beauty. It's something like you Hermes laughed. 
Please don't joke like that. Besides, I don't feel anything strange in me, Iz. There is no doubt that you are someone very special in those moments. Hestia was approaching Gohan and the gods. Hestia made a jealous face and Artemis looked somewhat serious. Artemis, it's good to see you still here, yes. Thanks, Freya Gohan. Yes, excuse me. I want to thank you for your help. You didn't have to thank me. I liked helping the goddess placed her hand on her cheek to caress her. I'm glad to see that nothing serious happened to you. While I'm leaving, Freya was leaving with Otter. The reese this dwarf and to greater surprise, Loki along with Ainz appeared before them. Loki, hello Artemis, it's good that you didn't destroy the world, don't joke about that, what's wrong, Loki? I didn't listen to you because of your simplicity. What did you say? You call him a dwarf to whom you owe more favors than anyone, Loki clicked his tongue. Well, I have so many ways to pay you that I don't care, Dash. Shut up, that Freya damaged the entrance of my dear Ainz as conceited as always, but you don't have the prettiest by your side. Ainz took Loki by the sleeve, hiding from her sadness when she looked at Gohan. See you again, huh? I think so, Gohan said seriously. And your arm, eh, they are fixing it, eh, why did it hurt you? No. It just hurt me, eh, I'm impressed that they have to pay for it, you're not going to change Loki, my Gohan is the strongest of all or Rio. More than your eyes, I don't know what Gohan had a drop of sweat coming out and Artemis side people listened and began to watch the fight between gods. Yes, he has a physique and a face, but I still don't believe it, that he is level 7. Are you jealous? That I have a model like Gohan, in addition to being strong, your family will have many members, but I have more quality than quantity. Artemis sighed and Gohan sweated and was embarrassed by the fight between the two. This dwarf ruins my mood. Let's go now, I say the same. Let's go, Gohan. Artemis, the two went in different directions. Ainz looked at Gohan. I'm sorry about that. I'm wondering the same, Ainz san I thank you for your help. You don't know how grateful I am. I'm glad I helped, Ainz said, placing his finger on his lips, indicating that he didn't say anything and will do so to retire and leave Gohan with a slight smile to turn around and return to his goddesses. As time passed during the dance, some couples were dancing with each other and Gohan was resting on the balcony of the mansion. He was not used to this type of celebration, but at that time he noticed the guy who had hit him who was downstairs and a man of color was approaching him. Advanced age, Gohan observed this with quite a bit of tension. The words that the women who brought him the letter said left him quite thoughtful and serious. Bell seemed to be fine since if anything he would have given him something, raising his energy. Gohan was secretly watching the two approach and at no time did he lose concentration and stop watching him. What are you doing here? Hermes-sama seeing some pretty girl. It's not going to change, right? You are very cold, Gohan. You should relax and have fun from time to time. You are very young, and I have also seen how many people look at you. You should live your life more. Be a little more human, Gohan. Listen seriously. I know you must have had a very hard life, but remember my words. Your life must be an adventure, you know, Hermes-sama. I always thought I was going to die at any moment. I was prepared for that, but now that I'm alive, it was a great miracle. I don't know how, but my greatest joy is seeing the world happy and spend with my friends every day. Hermes smiled at this doy know how to dance, Gohan. No, Ido, you want to dance with me? Hermes approached Ainz, who did not stretch out his hand. I know. Do you want to dance with son, Gohan? Ainz opened his eyes and Gohan blushed a little. I have to leave. I'm leaving Hermes winked at Gohan, who looked at Ainz, stretching out his hand. Gohan accepted it and they went to the track. I, I didn't know how to dance, I said the girl took his hand with her other hand, just follow me, they both started to move, and little by little Gohan was learning how to move in his own way. Luckily training and his ability to fight helped him keep up with the rhythm, and so they danced for a while, Gohan thought it was fun, and this helped him to free himself a little. What's more, he thought about, 